side Kept banging that stuff, putting ransom in my head So much I had to jump on it myself Yo, RV, I see you Yo this is your boy, Jennifer, Jennifer Online, true number 11, Red Pill, true number 9, click, like, comment, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you know when we go live, and please put the numbers of your like in the chat, you know, like, that. From the law, from the judge and probation huh? Even gunshots now, ain't got no patience Free my nigga slugs, all my guns that I caged in Sent this bag of racist, Yo, he's a foul mason They call me a pagan, call, call me a pagan Cause I don't live in fear of man-made religion or Satan So many brothers converting cause they're faking And the priests are trying to fuck the kids in the Yo, congregation Call me a pagan, call me a pagan The truth in the Bible's lost in translation Don't, don't fear hellfire or eternal death my wings are like a shield and a shield. Shout out to my boy Southside. Kept banging that stuff, feeling ransom in my head. So much I had to jump on it myself. Yo, RV, I see you. Yo, it's a bit fast. From the law, from the judge and probation Even gunshots now, ain't got no patience Free my nigga slugs, all my guns that I caged in Sent this bag of racist, be the foul mason They call me a pagan, call, call me a pagan Cause I don't live in fear of man, made religion or Satan So many brothers converting cause they're faking And priests are trying to fuck the kids in the congregation Call me a pagan, call me a pagan The truth in the Bible, lost in translation Don't fear hellfire or eternal damnation Adam and Eve's story is a man-made creation I, I drink Alcohol and I eat bacon. Look like I'm on MDMA when I'm raving. With two bad bitches, you can call me Craven. Real road runner, right? Playing on his pavement. Call me a pagan, call me a pagan. So cool, bad boys sitting in a station. Switching on a man, them making all these statements. To the boys in blue, hell no, I'm not mistaken. Call me a pagan, aka Andy. I'm all tibia, that's why they can't stand me. You can ask Blem, ask Self, ask Randy. I'm harder than rum. Vodka, brandy, them other man are got. Ginger bit. Shandy, this one gun made my mum disappear. Bambi, I've been on a stampede with a bag of bad weed, but it's mad weed, fake niggas don't understand me. Get a Luminati, what do to shoot the party? The man will chop and kick, but they the do karate. You bag of fruits, every you, and my chief is farming. Move to your loser army, show me your juicy mommy. With a new Ferrari, your shovel, but Junior Ali will do to the Kuganani. If you love real niggas, you should salute me, doggy. Half these bam guys are sprinkling their Zeus with Charlie. I, I sing it all through the Agon Horus. Man, that white people singing the Jedi of Horus. The real team UK, they can't try and ignore us. The game to rest and walk, and I'm Tyrannosaurus. The, the, the opposite of Rizzle kicks. These little bricks like future if you get pissed for wit. Call me your fair bro, call me your fair bro. And I'm E for being check the way that my hair grows. Music and warrior, let's give a rare flow. Raising the end certain done for the dare go. Call me your pagan, trail from the other side. Every day gets from my side, they don't let nothing slide. Shoot a smiley face into the side, you get rubber shrine. It's in God's with a gully blood up from the gutter side. We just wanna touch bread like a butter knife. I ain't got a lie, this is life in these troubled times. Sitting in the station, real road runner, right? Playing on these pavers, pagan, pagan, playing on these pavers, pagan, 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 sitting in the station, pagan, aka Andy, I'm all Tyrion. That's why they can't stand me. Stand me. I 
Family tree. They should have just said they wanted to be me. They should have just said they wanted to be me. Walk one, though, man. We're going to claw this thing back. What's everyone saying? There's only 11 of you in the building, but I appreciate all of you lot. Um, I'm not seeing 11 likes, so there's got to be some silent listeners and whatnot. Yeah, man, do me a favor, man. Hit that like button. Yeah? Tell a friend. Jedi's gone live, man. Let's make this happen. All right, man. I'm going to get straight down to some business. Straight down to it. All right, cool. First things first. 
First things first, never pay for pussy or water. They both come free, so take back that jewelry you bought her. Think twice for you buy her that eyes. She's not your wife, she's not even fucking tonight. She's just sucking you dry. Don't be a sucker for life. Let her hurt you like a cut from a knife. Treat you like a fight, stick and move, duck and you dive. And you never let that bitch you cry on your knees, groveling, begging for one more night. This ain't R&B, ladies, pardon me. When I say paying for pussy, sounds bizarre to me. There ain't a drop of trick blood. Running through my arteries. I'm from the old school. These weak niggas are jarring me. It's hard for me to understand. How your Panani worth a hundred grand? Even on the solid platinum underpants. I ain't having none of that. Rather have you on your back. Paying me to chop you down to size like a... Uh, if she's such a brother's dick, can you still love the bitch than your pussy whip? Uh, right? Look, you even get impromptu little fucking 16 bars in that, mate. You know what I mean? All right, hope, hope everyone's good. Realistically realistically i hope everyone is feeling great you know i'm just gonna move on with the move ones you know and get down with the get downs getting where you fit in it's motivational monday i should actually come and try to give you like some motivation first thing try to call it motivational monday what, what have i got here what have i got Let's check this out. It's not motivational, by the way, but let's just check this out. Ali Dawa meets evidence and runs. I wanted to watch this from time ago, but I was always at the studio computer. Big up, big up, big up, big up, big up, big up. Things that we can test. Um, and how I decided which way to go was kind of comparing the profits. You know, we share Lut, Abraham, No, Musa, how we share these profits. Mm -hmm. And let me start this again. I don't know what he's talking about. So the title obviously yeah. interested me. Ali, pardon me. Ali Dawa. Ali Dawa meets evidence and runs. We got everyone hitting that like, man. If you saw a six in the chat before you type six, then there's no way that you like number six. You know what I mean? Don't beg it. Don't beg it, man. Be honest with yourself, Braithwaite. Be honest. Uh... Oh, you're not number eight, so maybe I should just read properly. Um, yeah, that was what I was gonna do. Boy, I'm not gonna lie, I got a mad appetite on me, you know. I could eat for fucking Britain right now, I'm trying to hold it down, but it's 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 tough. It's tough. And niggas got, I got cravings like I'm fucking pregnant, mate. I got fucking cravings. I just want to eat. Uh, join the show. Yeah, I just want to eat some food. I can't lie, I'm starving. I can't lie, I'm starving, man. And I had, what did I have? Oh, I had like chicken and so. Okay, I know. I need to eat some more though, man. I need to eat some more. Boom. Pin. All right. Just reading, reading. Yeah, man. So how you lot been, man? How's your weekend been? Everything been nice? Any surprises? Any news? Let me know, man. Hit me up. Follow me on Instagram, Red Pill Trill. Follow me on my other YouTube channel, Jedi Online. Very important. Follow me on TikTok, man. Wait, did I say Red Pill True? Follow me on Instagram, Jedi Online. Follow me on TikTok, Jedi Online. Follow me on Twitter, Jedi Online. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. Nah, look, there's no way you're going to be like number seven. You lot confusing me. Man said eight, the next man said six, the next one saying seven. You lot all over the place, man. Get your numbers right. Get your numbers right. I'm hungry, man. I fucking got cravings. Well, my God. I'm hungry. Maybe, let me just drink water for now. Just drink water, gents. You don't have to eat. Fucking starving, man. Yeah, I'm waiting for some people in the chat that's actually going to type back to me because I don't know. John BBB is working. I don't know what everyone else is doing. The thing is slow. Ah, oh, mate. You know when water just feels so good? You know when it just feels so refreshing? 
it's the right temperature. All right, we've got 18 of you lot here. 18 of you lot. Let's get the likes up. Let's get the likes up, man. I'm just warming up. I'm trying not to do play too much music in the beginning of my show, man. Two songs. That's it. Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. Is that magazine? Big magazine. Up, Walk on. Hey, listen, apologies, you know. What happened? Yeah. Nah, because I never... Because you, you knew I was like number six, innit? Oh, yeah, that too. <laughs> <laughs> but I meant to... um, I meant to come and see you still, and I never got the chance to, and it was literally on my toes. You know what I mean? I don't know if you're still there. Um, So I'm there no. again to uh, tomorrow morning. I've got to go pick the stuff up. That's Tomorrow's the final day, innit? Right, I'm definitely gonna be there tomorrow. Cool, cool, cool. Definitely gonna need you tomorrow. Hundred percent. So yeah, yeah, come, come check it out early, innit? Because as I said, I gotta go pick it up. Like early, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So what you? So what is it still up right now? Yeah, yeah, it's still up basically because I'm teaching in the evening. I gotta get my stuff early. Okay. Okay. Cool, yeah, so it's been all right though. Yeah. It's an interesting little neighborhood you got there, bro. Yeah, it's a crazy neighborhood, and it's uh, <laughs> off, air, off air. I'll tell you the maddest coincidence. Yeah, that, yeah. that yeah, the, the maddest coincidence is it's like what? That's fucking weird. Oh, I know you yeah. you wouldn't know, but if I when I tell you, be like, oh, swear down. Okay, um, I've just made my <laughs> like I've got some chicken to to fry, yeah. <laughs> Okay. But I'm not gonna do it now. I've been gym early, da, 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 and um, I decided I was peckish, so I'm like, you know what? I want a munch. Mm -hmm. If I was in the studio, I would have clapped a, a pack of crisps, but I'm at home and hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. yeah, I'm at home and this is what I've selected, yeah. <laughs> All the bowls are in the dishwasher, which I hate the dishwasher, right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so don't judge me. <laughs> don't tell me you got the plastic thing. Hold on one sec. I'm on the wrong screen. Sir, sir, sir. Well, I just yeah. seen a glass move away. You need to re, re wheat a bix in a jar. In a in a in a in a in a working men's club pint glass. Yeah, is it a working? What is? Wait, this might be my daddy one. Oh no, it's not. Yeah. I got a couple that's, one. That's that. I see them shape of glasses in it, or you go. Yeah, up love the daddy. Yeah, love you, daddy. And then obviously, yeah, you get the ones with the um, the father's dating on them or something. So I'm not gonna lie, yeah. Just to be bad, man, I wanted to try some of my son's like treat cereal. He's got a, a box of cereal that he begged for, but it's only for a treat, right? So right, he can't right, be eating yeah. this every day. And anytime he gets sugar, he goes crazy. So this is for extra special treat. Mm -hmm. Um, I've just poured it into a glass and poured some of his oat milk on it, and I'm probably not even gonna eat this. I don't know why I've done this, but yeah, I'm I'm moving, nice? like a, I'm moving like a teenager, bro. It's wheat, what choco wheat a bit crispy, mini, yeah, yeah, that's all right, isn't it? Is right, Mm. I had it for time though, to be fair. Oh. Is it them small wheat of Ixes? Yeah. Yeah, I had it for a while. Anyway, how's your weekend been? It's been all right, man. I've been I've been, as I said, busy like going back up west and living in South. Couple but well, it wasn't even a birthday party. Someone just had a party, a beer to throw away or something. So then yeah, had loads of people around their house. Um, what else? Well, that just work, cool. working between it all. Do you know what I mean? You like, can't invite me places, you know, Mag. What's that? I'm saying you can't invite me places. I don't think the world's gonna stop if you say, "Jess, do you wanna? Do you fancy?" I'm not saying, man. It's just a thought, man. <laughs> Fair enough. You, you're always welcome, man. You need to you need to tell me when you're free, and there's there's always shit going in, in it. But to be yeah. fair, do you know? Saying that, like, you know, when I just go into like hermit mode. Yeah, I, don't, I might not socialize properly. Like, socialize properly for like two months or something. Yeah, and then the week, like the last couple, 
I'd just be out every day, going things, going events, checking you know stuff. Do you know what I've Trying really to be supportive like? for everybody, you know, all that stuff. Yeah, yeah, it? yeah, yeah, all that. Just yeah. get on a roll with it. Bro, you know what's so crazy, bro? Go on. I just had the foot today, yeah. Yeah, do you know what, bro? You're a, you have these proper antisocial tendencies and periods of, of, of your life. And in when you're being antisocial, you're actually a bit depressed. You're actually a bit like depressed is a horrible word. No one likes to use it. But you actually mm -hmm. know, like, and this is how I realized it. Yeah. I'm just doing me I'm on my own vibe. I don't see no one. I don't hear from no one. No one phones me. No one messages me unless they want something. Really, do you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Nothing, right? Yeah. And then, so I realized that throughout the weekend and whatever, I ain't really chatted to no one. I've just been doing me, doing my own thing, where, where, whatever. Yeah. I got to the gym this morning and it actually felt good to chat to the man them and bust some jokes. Yeah. And I was thinking, you know what, bro? I miss associating with my friends. When I was, when I was, I miss living in the area where all my mates live and just going down the road and linking up a couple brethren and just associating, chilling yeah. and just, just socializing. I fucking miss that shit. So I realized yeah. I haven't been doing that enough at all. And obviously, I'm in, I'm in like circles where if I don't holler at people, they don't holler at me. Which is you know, sure, sure, sure. But like, I'm not hollering at no one. So, <laughs> anyway. And then yeah. you're not going to tell me you all went out on the weekend. Hmm. I need to. I need to. I need to get more social again, man. I reckon. No, bit. I hear it, man. But as I, as I said, I I feel like it's a phases thing, and I feel like to be fair, yeah. not even I feel like it is. This is a fact. That type of behavior of just associating is kind of stigmatized. <laughs> no, but where I'm at, right where I'm at right now, like socializing for the sake of socializing and just associating and all that type Bro, of stuff. Bro, it's mad because I'll be this out. Is, I'll not, be just, out. Stig not just stigmatized by like others, like stigmatized by, to, by myself. Like I'm. Yeah, me too. Me too. That's what but, I'm gonna say. Yeah. I'm, I'm saying I'll be out socializing, doing this this clever idea. Oh shit! I need to go and link people and go places. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then uh -huh. something will happen. And I'll go running back home and I'll be like, why the fuck did I go out? This is why I stay my ass at home or stay in my yeah. own lane. I've had that a couple of times. Like even last year, I just decided, oh yeah, I'm just going to go up the road, link up with the man them. And you know, like, you know, like there was no motive. I think that's when yeah. it's most dangerous, right? There's no motive. <laughs> Not almost warning. Yeah. And yeah. I mean, I link to man them. We start smoke, drink, we're rare. Before you know it, I'm nearly, I'm nearly beating someone into a coma. Do you know Mad. what I mean? Yeah. Right, exactly. Ah! I said to God, I'm like, and then I'm crossing. Before you said knocking someone out, you're talking coma and that. <laughs> and then uh, while I'm running back, running back, ditching bloody clothes. Nah, I'm not joking. I'm just, I'm, I'm dramatizing it, right? Right, but right. While I'm leaving the scenario, the argument or whatever it was, or the, I'm thinking to myself, this is why I keep myself to myself. Jeds, you just need to keep your shit exclusive. So then I just keep it exclusive. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to wake up one day and think, fuck, why am I not socializing? And the cycle continues. <laughs> yeah. I hear I hear it. I hear it, bro. But you know, so there's that one. There's that one where some stuff keep going left and that. Yeah, definitely. Mm. But I'm talking the one where it's like, I've got aims and all that. Yeah, you got shit got to do. I got aims and responsibilities and uh -huh. all that, and obviously, uh -huh. for the sake of drinking and smoking and just being around and being around it's and, worth it. and being a consumer in it, mm -hmm. I have to. It's like I have to be mindful of like, what am I getting out of this? Do I? And then it's like I don't want to always be walking around fucking networking. Facts. But because I don't want to be that networking guy, because I grew up with bare them. It's a fucking. And they're still and they're still where they were at. It's a sticky, it's a sticky. Yeah, you know, you know, you know the man who uh, always had a copy of their book in their bag and that. Mm -mm. They're still rolling with the copy, of, and it's like, yeah, you kind of gotta be that guy when you're running your own thing. But balance in it. Ah, oh, boy, it's difficult. <laughs> I said to someone today, I said to someone, you know the thing about this country. 
it always makes you feel like you should be doing something. And if you're not, there's this hidden like guilt that just lays on your subconscious. Thank makes you. you feel- Slightly uncomfortable for not doing enough because at the day when you're when you're looking at your dream and you're thinking why are you not at your dream and you think because I because you need to then someone tells you if you really want to make a dream you got to dedicate every every hour every second to that dream you wake yeah. up you go and get that you know I can hear Slice alone in my ear mm-hmm. telling me that I just need to focus stay in my lane and just do me and then you focus stay in your lane and do you and then you feel a little bit like. Where's the fun in life? <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know? And then yeah. all of a sudden you want to take a holiday and go mm-hmm. sit some in some hot spot doing absolutely fuck all and you feel great for that. Yeah. It's weird shit, man. I personally want to live a sl- slightly slower paced life. I've come to that realisation. Even though I do have the juxtaposition of being a highly ambitious, highly energetic being with, with a load of creativity... Just mm-hmm. because I'm creative doesn't mean I have to be creating all the time. Mm-hmm. Just because you're artistic doesn't mean you have to be arting all the time. Because it's not sustainable necessarily. Nah, 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 not nah. You need to replenish. Thank you. How do you repl- How does the artist replenish? My seeing things. Right. So you can't fucking sit still. Then you got. Thank and you. that's another thing, bro. Yeah. Another thing about me going out not, is... Not just seeing things. I'd say seeing things, but also like taking the chance to reflect. So seeing things internally as well as externally, basically. Pause, but yeah. I, I take... Um, I just think to myself, Ra, Jeds, like anytime I... If I go out, I will... If I, if I go out, something will happen. <laughs> and then that will, Like, no, 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 not, not, not even in a bad way now. I'm on the good yeah, side yeah, yeah. now. I go out and something will happen. Something will fall into my lap or something will fall off the back of a lorry or I'll bump into someone, an old acquaintance or a new acquaintance or an opportunity. And then I think to myself, Jeds, this is why a man like you can't be locked away in his studio and in his yard. Yeah? Because you can step out and your world can change in a positive way. You, A door can unlock just by standing in the queue or something and you get, because you're that guy. You will chat and da, 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 and, where, and before you know it, or you will see something and before you know it, if you was in your yard, you wouldn't have got that opportunity or seen that thing. 100%. That, that, happens, that happens a lot, you know. And I've, and I've noticed it happens a lot and that's why I've been really trying to force myself to show my face. and just <laughs> to show your face, yeah. You know what I mean? To do things and make links and just, and do you know what it is as well? See when people are having their little fucking debates and there's types of people that I would just blank more time. <laughs> Just nestle myself into the conversation and see what yeah. fucking happens. Throw a couple rocks. No, pebbles, pebbles. Throw a couple <laughs> pebbles. <laughs> and mm. see what happens. Do you know what I'm saying? Because, again, that's I think that's the healthy thing as well. It's healthy to do these things and not, and not be stuck in your little echo chamber or whatever, stuck in your mind. Every time I think I'm having an epiphany, it's not really an epiphany because I had the most profound epiphany when I was like, Seven, I see. <laughs> and now every other epiphany, they're good and that, but a lot of the time, when I break them down, it comes down to the same thing, and that is, I'm gonna get this tattoo, I think, or or, or make it because I, you know, this is one of my sayings, copywritten. God is the middle. Let it sink. Sorry. Ooh. God is the middle. Oh, well, like midsection or the middle. Now nah, you're gonna have to explain a bit. Like I nah, got my. Don't. Nah, don't. You, this is what I'm saying. What, do you, want, do you want me to respond to this and give nah, mine? No, no, I'm just, I'm just dropping it there. Like yeah, it's okay. just there. Bam. God is the middle. <clears throat> Now, yeah. what happens... Yeah, I, would, you, I, would, I, would, I wouldn't see God as the edge, so you're right. When, when you ponder on it, it makes yeah. more and more and more and more and more and more sense. God's the middle. Oh, yeah, it's like the nucleus, isn't it? The hub. It's the middle. The source of which everything em- emanates from. The middle. Yeah. Balance. I hear that. You know? And I suppose it's being in that being in that balance is being divine. That and balance, cuz you feel me? Like, yes. 
the social, the anti-social, the networker, the hermit. You can be in the middle. The, the God is the middle. <clears throat> you know? Because I, I be taking shit to extremes, man. I'm taking shit, shit to extremes, man. And then, and it's not... I'm not hermiting because I want to be a hermit. I'm hermiting because I'm getting battered by one season in particular out of the four. <coughs> out of the four. <laughs> there's, one, there's, I, there's one season that kicks my fucking ass every time, you know? Oh, really? um, and, it, and it changes. I'm like a bear, bruv. <laughs> you just got to sleep in it. You know, like it proper changes my energy system, my outlook, <laughs> my motivation, my da da da. I read like yesterday, I just took my dog out and just sat on my favorite bench with my little ritual as a, a cigarette and a spliff in my pocket with a lighter, buy a drink from the shop, sit on my favorite bench, and spend half an hour telling my dog not to chase its own tail. I'll flick it through my phone casually or listen to some music. Such a fucking lovely pastime. I've passed an hour, hour and a half just chilling there. Like, I should have bought two splits. Do you know, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? And I ain't done that since fucking summer. I, right, because it don't because it don't make sense doing that in the winter, it, or it, or it does. It does actually, but it takes it more. Don't, bro, it don't. It takes sense. more. It takes yeah. more. It, it takes more. You might have to stand next to the bench. Yeah, exactly, because it's wet and cold. And yeah, and suddenly the, suddenly the drink that you should you could have got from the shop that would have been a juice is now a right. spirit. It's now a spirit, bro. <laughs> you got one of the mini red nephews. <laughs> you see it there? Changes everything, man. I, and 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 generally, I, I'm I'm saying it a lot because I'm really trying to speak it into existence. Um, I've spent a couple decades being a Londoner, you know. And I've, mm -hmm. I've, I'm good now, you know. I'm good. I get it. There is no more FOMO because of my level of detachment, because of my ever-changing social circles and, you know, the <clears throat> growth and development of people leads them into different directions, including myself. I no longer have FOMO because I have children that are of a certain age and my, 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 my home life is set in a certain way. I don't have FOMO, preemptive yeah. FOMO of leaving London anymore, which is, which was something I had massively. Thought you was losing out, thought you was going to miss out. And now I'm like, nah, because this last six months, I ain't done shit that I, that I couldn't have done from another country. All right, maybe bits and bobs, but generally speaking. Bro. No, I understand that still. You understand? Um, so I'm yeah. like, yo. You have, to, actually, you, have to, you have to check that one. There's no need for me to spend right. winters. There's no need for me to spend winters in the UK, bro. There's like, there's no need. Absolutely, there's nothing I am missing. And we, no one raves anymore. Well, yeah, ra rave is raving's kind of weird nowadays. Yeah, it's weird. It's done, bro. I, I, you, it's just not gonna happen again. No one raves Raven, anymore. Raving is really weird nowadays. What else? Man. All them quirky things that Instagram throws up about this massive building filled with bubbles or this building where you can smell sounds and you can see <clears throat> colours and shit. It just looks... Like, now, do you know, okay. It looks I good, a, but yeah. I know it's expensive and mm. no one's trying to go. So cool. Yo, Jeds, I, I had a conversation with this, about this, sorry, with my brethren, because he's, he's my brethren from school and he lives down here as well. Yeah. And so the conversation was having you. It's not yeah. just about like how much things cost in it, because realistically... When it comes to enjoying something, you can put your, your money, your hand in your pocket and just do what you need to do. Yeah. But there's something that happens where you know you had to fight to earn the peas that you've got. Like you had to do <laughs> some... No, no, you, know, you did have to. So in some <laughs> sense, whether it was Burger King, whether it was business, <laughs> whether it was some easy thing in the boardroom where you had to press a button, like you had to put in work, Either way, you had to earn put the fucking shit. outfit on, go there, earn the peas. Yeah, imagine when it comes to spending your peas, you got to compete again. From the from the moment you tap in, you might wow. not even get a, you might not get a seat. You still compete. Oh, fuck from, off! Yeah, you're you, you're still competing to spend that four pounds to get into central. Then again, uh, you got to do uh, some admin thing to go see these bubbles that you're talking about that you thought was sick on the video. Yeah. actually, you your email and do all this. You got to do an email, a QR and... code, a da -da -da. Yeah, so you off. are doing double work to give these people your piece. 
the peas that you've been fighting to get. And allegedly you... and allegedly enjoy yourself. So suddenly the trade-off ain't too nice. It's, so basically, in a nutshell, man, things have got too complicated. This is the reason right. why I can't kick back on a Sunday evening and say, you know what, fuck it. I'm going to watch that crazy documentary you was talking about on More 4. Why? Because when I flick over there, what are they telling me? Please insert your fucking email. Man, suck it. Log in. <laughs> I refuse. ITV3 yeah. wants my email. Man, mm -hmm. piss off, man. Thank you. I'm not happy with <laughs> Yeah, that's why. And there's documentaries that I wanted to watch. And uh, you, I can't <laughs> access them. And I'm just... Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm, to be fair, I'm lucky I've got... The, I, don't, I don't use the BBC one out of um, principle, innit? But I use the four... <laughs> I used the four it? one. I logged. I logged into four ages ago. Ah, so you're in now. Cool. Do you know what I mean? And do you know what it is? Like I remember, like because when I, I I ain't been on it, and then I was like I started watching something. This is like last year. I was like, what's in my brain? Like yo, what's this password now? And I just went. I just in my mind, I just referred to this old favorite. Yeah. <laughs> Log me back in again. Me and, and Mrs. Been, been watching like, Married at First Sight for like a year now. What? <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like. What? So we set up, we set up, man. I got up Final Four, all these, but do you know what it is? Then they start with the adverts. Oh, don't lie. Yeah, the adverts are, you they know, when I first do. used anything like this, yeah, there was like one, two adverts. We all look back like, yo, this is better than TV. Over the years now, oh. the advert level has gone up so high if you're on 4OD. It's like every five minutes, like you're in America or something, bro. I can't believe there's a weekly travel card is basically 60 buff. 60 buff because with the change, you can't buy fuck all. That's 60 pounds. It's more of a job holding on to that one pound fucking 80. Yeah. <laughs> Joe, you might as well keep it. You do yeah. me a favor, <laughs> especially with the give it, to the give it to that woman who walked through the train with the sign. I didn't even say it. Hey, now those are the ones I rate. The sign is not even a sign woman, it's the it's the it's the notice on the on the on the chair next to you guy. That guy there, I rate him still. Them guys, you know Hold the on, ones. Right. Some of them like they may they may like put a note and a pack of tissues down. Oh the tissue. I was about to say, don't tell me the tissue, man, because they're violent. Yeah. No, they're not violent. That's a good, that's love. That's a good one. <laughs> no, because they place it down. No, they place, place them all down. They pack out the, the carriage yeah. with tissues. And they yeah. see who's, you know, like hotel bar. Like, yeah. see who's took it. <laughs> <laughs> mini bar. They, 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 they do the mini bar hustle. That's the one, though. Because guess what? You might have a booger in your nose. Or you might think, you know what? It ain't something for nothing. So <clears> hold that. People yeah, like, yeah, no, you know, I understand that. It's, they've got a little hustle like to go with yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Ain't something no, for nothing. You know fair, what? There was one the other, the other, what, the yeah. other day, yeah, and she did some kind of singing thing. And it was a traditional song in, in her language. So, to be fair, it could have been a curse or something. Fucking hell. <laughs> Let me try and do an impression of how it sounded. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Belter, it was a belt, it was mad. It was mad, it was mad, it was so sick. You know, when it's like you're sick, but this is highly in irrelevant and inappropriate right now. Uh, you know, what's yeah. crazy? <laughs> like, I'm sw I swear, I was like about an hour ago, I was gonna do a video. But I said, nah, it's been done before, Jids. You can't. But the ideas came to my mind. Like, you know, like I see a video before saying how different nationalities sound on the train. Have you seen that video? Have you seen uh, it? Possibly, possibly. I'll right, say, but then he, he just picked, starts picking random countries. And, so I'm going to do a couple countries, yeah? And, yes. um, like, yeah, so, <clears throat> so on the bus. Let's do the bus. The bus is better. Yeah, you know, because the bus is where you hear them. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Ah, do you know over there? Do you know how to do it? Go on and sit. You could, you, could be fucked, you could be fucked with that still. You could be fucked, especially so like with the, uh, the outfits. Ooh, yeah. Oh, I'm a Tana, Mono. A Tana. A Tana Pinocchio Gipetto. Eh, Pestalami. Eh? Okay, cool. We all know who that was. Right in the, in the chats. Who was that? What was that? What? Italian. Cheers! 
All right, what's this one now? Oh, wait. Uh, wait, hold on, hold on. Oh, wait, 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 fuck it, that was it. I can't have my phone. <laughs> So Keep a straight cool. face, bro. Keep a straight no, face. I'm a chain. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> nah, why is it why is it gone now? I had a confidence in it that it's just like it's just run away. It's maybe it's for the best, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, are you sure you want to be doing this one? If okay. it's- He's having okay. such an effect on you. No, no, yeah. No, no, yeah. Yeah, like I said, in it. <laughs> That, I thought oh. is that like the Far East? I, I presume. I just, <laughs> just like, oh, oh, just love it. Fuck it out. Nah, let me, let me, let me not. You right there, Jada? You come to life, yeah? Good girl. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, why is all the why is all the accents gone out my head now? <laughs> whoa, 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 Mag, whoa, Yo. What was that? Chill what was out. what? That noise. Oh shit! I'm I'm using like a spray gun. Is it? Is it? That that sounds like you followed through on. A... <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> I just realised you making that noise. I was like, shit! I've done it, haven't I? I realised it. Yeah. It's the spray uh, gun. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh. uh... I was gonna. I thought. <laughs> I can't. Ah, uh, I don't know where all the access has gone out of my head. Spanish, everything. I had German lined up. Had Ghanaian lined up. Turkey. Oh, there was a good. One, there was a good one the other day. Because normally, you see, like if, if the people are on holiday and that. For they they're, 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 they're normally I'm, a bit meek with it. I say now. You say who? Hey. Ah, yeah. <laughs> this is this sounds Nigerian to me. I do the parody of my own shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, do you know? Do you know what it is? Yeah, it's the words that they choose to do in English. Yeah, London Bridge. Yeah, London, hey, hey, London Bridge. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean. That's a London Bridge. <laughs> oh, man. It's like I... a Mac store. You know what I mean? Wait, was that Italian? I don't know. Uh, you know why? Why is Spanish gone out of my head, bro? Because it's like Italian just took over. It's, it's, it's a bit. It's a bit more lis- lispy, isn't it? So it's like take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, like that. <laughs> No, no, no. See, look, no, see, I'm going back to Italian. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 <laughs> uh, 
des prises de, de, de cronche au euh, professeur euh, Koukra. <rire> Koukra. <rire> Qu'est-ce que Koukra? <sighs> yeah, there was a massive group of Germans the other day hyping. A Farouz? No, no. What? Yeah, what no, no, there was, there was oh. also. There, you, know, like, you know the one where you forget which one you're stopping at and you realize. I hit that. Zig Heil! Zig Heil! No, no, I can't. What? That's French, bro. No, Zig Heil. Yeah. Zig Heil. Yeah, no, 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 I can't cancel that. Ha, 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 ha. Man, my access has gone bad, man. Guys, too scared. It's gonna scare us. There, but it's gonna hurt I'm not gonna say that's German now. Jeds, <laughs> <laughs> have you seen just an interview with RTM podcast talking about when he left Congo as a kid during the war? I saw bits and bobs. I, I, I to be honest, I don't watch the RTM podcast, but I saw like you know a couple highlights from that. Just those guys seem like a really interesting character. Um, yeah, I saw a couple highlights just sitting on the toilet. But I, I haven't watched the interview. Apparently, he's saying he saw his, his uncle raped or something. So, just sad news. It was sad to see. It's not something anyone wants to watch. I mean, um, yeah. It's not it's not a nice thing, is it? I don't even know that was in there. Uh, but I seen that yeah, I've seen a bunch of my headlines off that still. Bigger, I can't believe. I can't believe I, I I'm guessing I know who that is. I'm guessing I know who that is. I can't believe. You called me like a month ago and said something. Do you remember what you said? I can't believe. About a month ago, surprising still. I thought you were true to your word. Thought you was true to your word. You smoking too much herb. I'm about to kick these bitch ass niggas to the curb. Yo, word is born. Niggas got it on. I form a Voltron. Come form. I don't know. I basically just don't want to be judged today. Yeah, I, I can't believe in it. You're bad. Say nothing. Say nothing. All right, cool. Now we got all the accents out of the way and that. Big up everyone, man. Slap the like button. Hope you're good. <coughs> yes. Where are you calling from? I'm call what's your name? I'm, my name's Adam. Uh, I'm calling from England, Yorkshire. Okay, yeah. Are you Muslim or not? No, no, no. I, I study Islam maybe for maybe five, six years now. Um, I oh, wow. Five, six years. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I yeah, I'll be on the ropes. I'll be on the ropes at this point. Time. Yeah, if I if I'm a Muslim in this situation and a man says, "Yeah, I've been studying for five years, six years," and but I'm I still not Muslim, not, you know what? I still, you know. And I still not and I still not converted because everybody yeah. who studies for more than two years seems to kind of think, Do you know what, this is for me. How so uh, let's let's get your let's get the Islamophobe hat on. Do you know what I mean, Maisie went to study Arabic at Oxford. Yeah, and she ended up ended up changing her name to Saki. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I came to my faith through apologetics, um, <laughs> basically testing the. <laughs> yes, I'm in that kind of mood today. Yeah! Come on. So I, I was going like... to say Bushra. Bushra, you know. Yeah. Bushra. I know Bushra, Yishra, Ishra. Yeah. Yashra. Is Yashra a name? I think maybe. In the evidence, the things that we can test. Um, and how I decided which way to go was kind of comparing the prophets. You know, we share Lut, Abraham, Nu, Musa. How we share these prophets. Um, I mean, if someone said to you, Ali, I, I love your work as well. I watch you a lot. I always listen to Muslims to, to study. So I've watched you for many, many years. Um, someone said to you, Ali, you've got a, a grey jacket on, and someone else said you had a yellow jacket on. All we have to do is look. You're wearing a grey jacket. So when I compared the prophets, I, I put them side by side. 
the story side by side. And I looked at the archaeology, like we have in Rome. You know, we know the gladiators existed because we have uh, mm. the Colosseum, all the every all the stories inside and outside of Roman literature. The mm. armor is that that kind of evidence exists for the the prophets out in the biblical description. I'm just wondering if that's. I know that the Quran is proof for the Quran itself, but do you have? You know, Muhammad's revelation came 600 years after Jesus. The other prophets are a lot further away, but is there evidence that backs up the story of the the prophets from the Muslim description in the Quran? My man asks questions like, M.A., like, you know, by the end of the question, you forgot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yo, shit. <laughs> like, let's just make sure everything's clear, in it? Can you not simplify this motherfucker, like... I always think to myself, M.A., like, why are your questions so convoluted? It's convoluted. Convoluted is a bad You know word. what? Yeah, okay. In defense of these questions, yeah, you know when people have a tendency to run? Yeah. Do you know when you know someone's going to run? Or do you know when you know someone can take this the wrong way? Because M.A. is yeah, quite... So you, so, okay, so you're... Because M.A. is quite... This is why, like, secretly... So this is a long way. disclaimer. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Yeah, like now, let's the, the, the power. Ma does it. He's just in love with the words. He, he <laughs> pick a word like, no. um, you know, uh, how do we, how do we extrapolate the, how do we extrapolate the stigma, the stigma from the social paradox that we find, uh, uh, you know, uh, juxtaposed. To you know, cuzzy, 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 cuzzy. Like, and then he's going and going and going and going. I'm like, yo. And then Saturn in the brain just says, standby mode. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, uh, Jedi, what do you think? Uh, um, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Ask Axem. Axem, what do you think? <laughs> Mag? Mag, are you there? <laughs> Mag, where's Mag? <laughs> Trying to work out MA's question. Like, MA's question. Like, there's a couple people like that. It's just like, Sneets laughing. She's like that. So, Sneets is not answering the question. She's answering the question. And she's going to tell us something about our childhood. Give us a bit of childhood. Give us a bit about what Saturn your sister said to you the other day. Maybe Saturn you watched. Then be annoyed at somebody that coughs or breathes or or burps while you're talking, get distracted by the fact that they might be cutting you off, and then and then shout at Jedi. That's basically how our answers go. Look, can you just let me finish? The fuck you, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm really upset that I... I believe I believe them in them. I believe them I believe them in them. I'm going to be there. I'm going to be there. I'm going to be I'm not even in Europe, bro. I'm going to be there. No, I'm saying, no, I'm saying do Polish. They don't talk. <laughs> Polish people don't chat. How do you hear the Polish accent? They don't fucking talk. Well, you got me there. Right? Okay, Romanian then. Fuck off. I can't do none of that. I don't hear them talking. They just look at each other and give signals and that. I don't hear them chatting. I don't know what, what that sounds like. I don't know what that sounds like. I, I really don't. Who would who would who would <laughs> Sorry, man. Sorry. Right, Giza walked past us recently. He go yada 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 yada. Me and my missus both just looked at each other in it, and we just started creasing on the platform. Was he talking on the phone? Yeah, I think he was. I think he was doing AirPods in it, and he just goes yada 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 yada. yada. And I was like, wow. And we were like, what language is that? 
like just doing like frog noises or something on the platform is just crazy. <sighs> don't worry, man. I'll be back with my foreign languages, right? And what they sound. I if don't know. What practice. I'm... I think you might have to just spend a couple of days, like. Nah, I don't. I just been. I just got stage fright. Stage fright. <laughs> Cause I was smashing this. Yeah, I just got stage fright, man. The Bible, I don't need to defend the Bible. I can test it with archaeology, which doesn't need an opinion. We can test it with archaeology. Come on, brother, man. You know that he's just he's so deep into his thing. He's like, yeah, the Bible, yeah, a hundred percent. The Bible I can test it with archaeology. Like listening to yourself, bro. Huh? Is he listening to himself? Like, you know what I mean? like yeah, just that with archaeology. Um, uh, all right. So the fuck oh, up by the way, to the, all the Hindus out there, happy holly. <laughs> I see, I see, I see a bunch of people getting powdered yesterday. Still. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, this sounds very Mediterranean, I'm not gonna lie. Fuck off, man. How many how many? Mediterranean, you know. Yeah. How many how many how many how many how many South America South American possibly? South now, now you're just now you're violating South American. Mm -hmm. American. <laughs> American. South America. <laughs> no, it's not South America. No, it's no. Yeah, that's South American as well. That's what that was supposed to be. All right, good, good, good. You get you see, you're getting it back now. It's just uh -oh. you know what it is sometimes you you're taking me for MD out here. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, yeah, anyone's celebrating Holly, big up yourself. I think, unless I find out it's about demons, which it probably is, but big up yourself anyway, because I don't, what I don't know won't hurt me, and I'm not celebrating it. The, the evidence speaks quite loudly, but it, if, uh, as a, you know, a scholar with a shake next to you, is is how do you test the stories of the the Karanaki? I can't believe that they're in India right now. Do you mean India, India, or Tower Hamlets? Can I can I ask a question? Since you brought this, it's, it's very good. That Could you, you answer a question, Aki? Sorry, I just I've I've tried yeah. to get this question answered for such a long time, and I always find questions actually, get answered with actually, other questions. I will, I will give I will give one example. And okay. I will give one example, and then give you you need to, to understand how the, I will give this example, which answers most of your questions. Quick question, yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> that wooden thing that the 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 cup and the thing that looks like Tabasco sauce is sitting on. Yeah. Is that is that a headboard? Yeah, it looks like a bed still, bro. Okay, so, all right. If that's a bed now, here's the next question. I thought you might say that. What is he sitting on? He's sitting on the... Ed no, wait. <laughs> because, like, look at... No, you look, obviously, I'd imagine he's sitting on the edge of his bed, but then the angle is, like, he's sitting far no. back on it. So, but then he couldn't be possibly lying down on his front. No, because you'd see more strain in him. So, what's going on? Unless it's some kind of weird daybed type thing that he's got there in the corner. Day I know that thing's not a, um, a radiator cover because why has he got them big gaps? Nah, there's no radiator. Do you know what I'm saying? So, like, I don't get what that structure is behind him. This is unless, <laughs> unless there's more, unless there's more distance. Then we're perceiving, and it's just something. We, but he looks like he's close to it, and he sat down. But then, how is it? Yeah, right. Sneaks, no. Sneaks talking about some kind of stool, as per usual. Uh, yeah, as usual, man. When does she ever stop? 
When she's not talking about schools. <laughs> wow. Oh my god. And I would give one single example. Now these stools you can rest your weight on. Uh, oh my god. <clears throat> According uh you know to the Bible, let's use this, yeah, the example that I'm using. The what was the title of the king at the time of Joseph? Are you Oh, you're Egypt talking about Pharaoh and a different king. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah. What, what, what's interesting, you know, go with me, go with me, I, I, I've go done Dawah script before, but listen, what's interesting is I'm not defending words. I'm looking for the evidence. These are Why titles. No, 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 you, you're shifting it. It's okay no, if you struggle with the question. It's okay if you struggle with the question, no, no, with the question. but this isn't I'm answering the question. Me. Okay, that means you, you came here to listen to yourself, not to listen to No, answer. I came here for an answer of a shake. Okay, so that's why my point is to you. When is the title of the king at certain place is addressed in the Bible in a wrong way? Yeah, in a wrong way. Why am I saying I'm saying wrong way? For example, at certain point in the history, uh -huh. uh, the, uh, the, the, the late king of England actually was a king of Egypt. Even the late uh, Mary Queen as well. She was as well. A so Pharaoh and a king. Point. What's the difference between a Pharaoh and a king? Can you pause it like I know the answer to that. However, regardless of the gender, king was a term used most frequently by the ancient Egyptians for their monarchs. It's in the middle. Uh -huh. A pharaoh is a specific religious title in the ancient Egyptian. Is it a religious so title? Never, no, no, yeah, it's part of the religion because they, they consider pharaoh is part of the divine, part of God. So it's not just only a title of a king. It is part of divine according to them. And he, the, but, that king, mm. pharaoh, is kind of a representative of God okay. according to the ancient Egyptian. That's is he still a king now? It, it, now... During the time of Joseph, Texas, who ruled Egypt... Is this answering the, the question? Egypt, I'm listening to you. <laughs> which, is, which is a thousand years before Moses, Texas ruled Egypt during that time, and Texas never believed that the king is part of the divine. And they had used title kings amongst themselves. And actually, when they discovered in all these monuments and all these on the pyramids and the scrolls that they found, there is no single title for the pharaoh called for it, it, it was used for uh, the, ancient, the, the the kings during the time of Joseph. Okay. Okay. In fact, they were using the word the term king. So okay. they were talking about king. Okay. Now, when it comes to Moses' time, mm -hmm. which is during that time, the ancient Egyptian had they took the title pharaoh for the for the king was as part of religious thing okay. and they nah, he lost me he lost me you know what yeah he served yeah. the brother right for that mad question that he asked in it like i feel so as well i feel like you know, I mean, if you ask them type of questions you get them type of answers they're kind like, of yeah. answers yes i this would agree deeper, this is deeper debate stuff it's not it's not easily consumed um they're both just basically showing off how much knowledge they have themselves and they're gonna have a knowledge off knowledge off man and who, knowledge i mean and whoever 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 like i don't know whoever feels like they won wins i think whoever says mercy loses <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it, like whoever just says we gotta to agree to disagree <sighs> okay, that's okay. why they, they use the term pharaoh okay. and that's why it was used for moses okay now why the quran when that's why the test you said the Quran, when we are saying the Quran, is insisted, insisting for the story of Joseph, and again repeatedly, two, two three times in the. Ah, in the story I mean, we have the archaeology for Joseph as well. Yes, yes, and actually, through the archaeology, they discovered the Quran got the title right. Ah. And it Hundred years. Okay. Before, before so, would you be? No, that's brilliant. Can I just, just interject for a second? Right. Well, do you know what? Yeah, this geezer's mannerisms, yeah, because he's got like the white geezer. He's got like mufti mannerisms. It's jokes. Mufti, you know. 
Like, you know, the hand just does a little funny accent that he's doing and that. Like, yeah, he's trying to relate. He's trying to relate. <laughs> this time he's trying to hate. He's trying to relate, man. What's the question? Exactly, Axel. I have no idea. This is literally the grain silos mentioned from the biblical account of Joseph. <coughs> okay. And we used to say to the Muslim, okay. your book mm. is wrong because mm -hmm. to be Pharaoh, we used to say, uh, well, actually, yeah. our God told us. Nah, it's like you're not listening, though, cuz. <laughs> He's doing that. He's doing that stuff. Nah, you can't do that. Nah, that's not genuine, bro. Uh -huh. mm, ah, ah. Like, what is that, bro? You're not listening to him. That's the type of stuff we say. This is where you're wrong. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Like, basically, if I say that, then you're gonna finish your point so I can get to my point. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he ain't there to listen. He's there to catch people out in it. That's. That's that type of stuff. Axum says that was Sakara. Sakara? Sakara? It's all news to me, mate. I don't know. It is king for Joseph. It is Silly me. An English guy like Silly me. Discovery of the okay, yellow habibi. That... <laughs> see, see what I mean? Yeah, yellow habibi. Yeah, you see what yellow I mean? He took one too, many, one too many bus tours on his last trip to Egypt. And now... You know what I mean? Yellow habibi. <laughs> That's like, like a white thing saying, yeah, man, yeah, man. Cool, isn't it? Cool, isn't it? <laughs> cool blood, cool blood. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> Holding mash up, man. You see me? <laughs> Babylon, <clears throat> fucking Babylon, isn't it? Always after us. Fun, fun Babylon. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah, ah, yalla ha, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then when they found the Rosetta Stone and they found the oh, the Rosetta Stone. Okay, yeah, I, I know this. To uh, to all Greek language, Sheikh. to uh, to the Latin Sheikh. language. Sheikh, Sheikh, come on now, Sheikh. Ah, well, <laughs> again. Yeah, Ahay. Ahay. He did call him Ahay already, didn't it? Yes, yeah, so I'm saying he's he's watched a lot of speakers' corner, man, and he's thinking. Big up, Vic. How, do I, how do I keep this guy talking to me for as long as possible? Uh, no, is how do we stop this guy talking? <laughs> no, no. How does he stay? How does he keep me on the thing? Do you know what I mean? Because like. Where this guy's coming from, he probably normally would just get get not listened to or thrown off or whatever. Clearly, yeah, he just he he wants to ask another question, so he's just trying <laughs> to wrap it up without getting thrown up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's kind of like, all right, all right, yeah, yeah, all right, cool, cool, yeah. Mm -hmm, uh -huh. yeah I've, I've done that in, in conversations before, like on the phone. You know, like when you're trying to, you know, when you're trying to get off the phone. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. 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 Cool. All right. Uh huh. Uh huh. All right then. You know. Okay, then you know, you do that that tone that says this is the end of the call, and they just right, yeah, exactly. Not hearing it. Like, mm -hmm. Okay, then, yeah, yeah, ah, <laughs> try to look for an opening. <laughs> yeah, Vic, where's your like number, brother? Like up the show, like up the show, family. Yeah, it's not the language, which is not okay. me, not you, even not Egypt, it was an English guy like Shake. And then they discovered <laughs> it is impossible. Okay, the title of the thing, and actually. It's a silly thing, you know what? That's like to say, I know. You so, know, so, know that Sisi, Sisi is the president of Egypt. I cannot call Sisi, he's the hero of Egypt. Okay, Egypt okay, so, so, Sheikh, yeah, he is the Caesar of Egypt. I can, for example, in England, take now, a breath. It's full of, take a breath now, full back now, cuz he <laughs> <laughs> take a breath, take a breath, lad. <laughs> yeah, I can't hear you in that fucking accent of yours. Oh no, it? It <laughs> fell out. It fell out. You know the mass just dropped. Yeah, you you sound a little Arabic -y again. <laughs> I, I, I don't understand it. You're in England. You're oh in England, and you're sounding God. like you're in fucking Sahara or fucking Arabia. Arabia. Like, you know, Baghdad. 
Some of them, some of them in Kabul. Mosul. <laughs> Mosul. <laughs> Islamabad. <laughs> hey, Normally wait for 53. Oh, you wait for 50, for the 53rd? Okay, that's nice, Vic. That's, weird, uh, that's amazing. But, Vic, yeah, we might not get 53 likes. And maybe your like now is the like that sparks the algorithm into saying, hey, let's unshadow ban this dude. Because it's, you know what I mean? All right, come on now. Debaters, talkers, conversationists, you know? Look, man, the show is whatever you want it to be. Big up yourself, Axum. Big up, big up, big up. Happy New well, Week and all that good stuff. Yeah, welcome. Happy New Week. Welcome. Try not to talk out of your nose today, okay? Big up yourself, man. My nose? Do I ever? Yeah. Sorry? Nah. Do I ever? Really? Nah. But big up, though. But big up, though. No aggression, either. Aggression? Um, yeah. Yeah, I don't know about that, but yeah. Yeah, no bullying. Bullying? Yeah, so what do you say? Me and you, peace no, today. No, no filth. No filth. You without filth. No, it's no, no. Actually, actually, it's you without filth. I do filth. I I do no filth really well. It's you. No, 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 no. We're not doing this. We are here's, not doing this. No, here's no. the aggression. Here's the aggression that you asked. Yeah, me. exactly. You see, you know, <laughs> here, the phone going lower. She's getting ready. Like, come on, man, be nice. Be nice. Okay, okay. So, no, no, so, no. So, so, so the question you're gonna ask me. I'm mm -hmm. going to give you the answer before you ask it again. And it's, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, see? That worked, didn't it? <laughs> I know what you're going to ask me. And I ain't got a fucking clue. I don't know. <laughs> it was Like I said, it was like a long MA type question. <laughs> and, I and, cracked it when I heard that still. <laughs> yeah. And he's getting a... It was an MA question... And it was a Sneet's answer. No, it's not a Sneet's answer. It's a Shifa answer. Ooh. Nah, nah, mm, I don't know. I said the white geese are shiffering still. Mm -hmm. huh? The white geese are kind of shiffering still as well. No, the white guy ain't had a chance to shiffer. He's asked one question. They ain't had a chance to shiffer yet. Really? No, no. Again, whilst his geese is answering, that's when he started shiffering, I'd say. Shiffering. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. Um, no, but I'm, I'm, I think it's a sneak's answer, but yeah. 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. We have more people that, like, you know, no. waffles the way around. Not, 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 with a, not when it comes to answering. No one beats sneaks. No one beats sneaks when it comes to the waffle answer. She fears it. Even when she starts talking, she fears it. So it makes her stutter and that. And she starts talking like this, trying to force the words out because they don't want to come out because she's overthinking the words. And she yeah, knows. but you're making her more insecure by speaking like this, though, Jax. That's no business. I'm, it's not insecure. I'm highlighting. I like you motherfuckers who roll your eyes and don't say shit. I tell her, get to the fucking point. No, 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 but yes, when yes, she's doing yes. that, no, 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 when she's doing that, instead of like encouraging her, you know, Snakes, you're doing it again or saying something else, yeah, you just ask Snakes if I've done that. That's your well, slag. What? Huh? What? What did you say? No, I said ask Snakes if I've, if I've done that, if I've encouraged her to stop. I yeah, I know she, you have. She's, she's come a long way. Based on me, you like ain't done shit to help her. You didn't tell her. You ain't said fuck all. Just laugh behind her back in our secret group chat. So. <laughs> You're weirdos. So I'm back. Yeah, mm. AV's the one answering in my question. Oh my god. Nah, don't nah. <laughs> not even, and you know what? I'll be real. Louder shake because the shake has not gone to AV territory. And <laughs> let me just say, let me just say, Sneets is not the worst waffle. No, you, she's not the worst. No, 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 I, I'm not even saying she is. I'm just saying this is a Sneets one because Sneets will answer. It just takes her a bit longer to like decide to stop talking. 
AV. Fucking hell. I tell you what, brothers, oh. you're asking about Adam and Eve. Bro, AV. I can't even listen. I can't even listen. Because I already know at the start of the sentence, this is a wasted. This is it's wasted. It's yeah, wasted yeah. Yeah. The brother yeah. don't make no sense to me most of the time. Right. Then the real question is, right, why is there crust on bread? Right, Jedi? Because, yeah, ha, you didn't think of that, did you, Jedi? I'm like, what? What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, look, look, look at you trying to cover it now, Jeds. Look. Yeah. Like, and this is for and this is for the same question that we're dealing with on this video as well. Yeah, it's like, you know what, what is wrong with you, AV man? I can't. So you're even, saying well, yeah, it's well, it actually super dead. I, I can't even. I'd be real. I can't even have a conversation with AV. It's got that bad. I just can't even chat to him. Mm. Uh, Vic Rose wants to know why you're acting vaggy, and uh, Sneets wants to get involved. She heard vag and she's out there with her tongue out. Like, Vic, how does one act vaggy? Mm -hmm. Oh, teach me. Oh, so you lot, so you lot are, are defending each other's your defenders of women's defense league is back again. Mm -hmm. I can I see that. Clan. I can see that. What makes the something smells waft ingestion. <laughs> wow, this is not. Uh, yeah, quick question. Quick question. Um, do you ever smell other women's fannies when you go to the toilet? In a public like public toilet or something? Uh you can smell some smells, yeah. You can smell no, some smells. I'm asking pum. Have you ever smelled I've No, I don't smell. know. Uh, yeah, but it smells yeah, it's, it smells, smells. Nice. No, I didn't say it smells oh. nice. I'm just saying it oh. smells like it smells like yeah. You know, it's a woman's bathroom. Let me just put it that way. Yeah, no, I, yeah. No, you talking about piss though? You're just talking about like oh, this piss, piss. And no, piss. I'm not talking about piss because yeah, some women do have a smelly pom pom, and you can leave this uh, uh, odor. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just yeah. in the air. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, man. There are some women that smells heavily, like yeah, very heavy. Um, so this is not... why. This, this is because I've always wondered why do men sniff seats, or well, not men, but why? Yeah, why do men sniff seats? And because I've so women actually do leave a smell on their seats sometimes. Yeah, you would, imagine, you would imagine. Listen, yeah, it does smell. It does smell, and yeah, whoever like sit. Literally on the fucking toilet seat on last day, anyways. So yeah. Um, check the TikTok, the TikTok link in the in the side chat. If you if you fancy a detour in this direction. <laughs> oh yeah, I've seen yes. this. Yeah, I've seen this. <laughs> I heard this about Holloway Prison as well. I heard Holloway Prison stank when you when you like, when it was open. <laughs> I was I was watching it and I showed it to my missus, and then she goes, "Oh my god, his eyes are still watering." Mm. But yeah, this happens probably for women don't wash the high infection. I don't know, All right? Okay. Bacterial vaginosis. I don't know. Like yeah, nastiness. So you know the names. Here's, here's yeah. a question. Here's a question. Axum. Side yeah. question. Yeah. yeah. Has your fanny ever stank? Why are you asking me that, Jediah? Yeah, right, let's move on, man. Let's move on. Yeah. King Charles is the Caesar of England. Everyone. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, can you note that the defendant did not answer the question? You said I'm not supposed to. No, no, I pause the shit. Pause the shit. Sorry, I'm telling you to the shake. No, 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 no. I'm no, telling no, listen no. to the shake. Do you mind? No, no, no. Yeah, listen to the shake. Now. <laughs> You said when I joined the panel, I'm gonna chill. Yeah, I need to chill. You need to chill with the nastiness. Okay, all right, cool. Yeah, all right, no problem, man. Big Bigger vein mm. about noted. Shush your face, Vic, man. Ew, <laughs> okay. I mean, what? <laughs> I'm just saying, you said a lot of words, and you probably could have. What do you want uh, me to if, say? If you don't want to answer, you don't have to answer. 
That's cool. Yeah, but why are you asking me that? For what no, reason? Don't matter, don't matter, don't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Taking you down to a town. Thank you, Vic. Mag, please. <laughs> Yeah, so I could ask you, like, have you been dealing with the uh, stinky pom pom? I've, I've, I've smelt, I've smelt one that wasn't good before. Not dealing oh. with, but I've smelt one that that's made me say, Do you know what, sisterin, I'm actually gonna tell you that this is not good. Oh wow, wow, you told her. <gasps> yes, I'm gonna tell you. Oh. I told you I had to open the window. <gasps> no, did you tell yeah. her to wash? Yeah, of course I did. Oh, no madness in the dunya. No, how did she feel? How was she? He did. How did she answer you? <laughs> no, I, I would answer that question, but bearing in mind, about ten minutes ago, I asked you a question that you just couldn't manage to answer. We're just gonna. No, but on. I don't understand why you feel the need to know. Oh, much whoa, 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 whoa! See that? And yet again, and yet again, here we go. No attempt to answer. Listen. Do yourself a no. favor, yeah. You're not talking to me as about smelly pump. Like you already honest, know, man. I've told you. Do yourself you a flavor. Do yourself a flavor. I okay. wash myself every time I go and pee pee and poop. -poo, no, that's cool. Whatever. That's yeah. Cool. So how can I have I, a stinky pump pump? No, said, man. That, that's self-explanatory. Yeah? No, I'm not doing this. I, I, no, 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 no. I never said you have a stinky. I never said that. I asked, has it ever stunk? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> no. You're weird, you know. You're a proper weirdo. <laughs> I'm a weirdo passing it if it's ever stank. So, but why are you asking me that, Jedi? Why, you, why well, now you've never answered? <laughs> yes, he can. Why are you asking me that? I don't get why it. Can't you answer? Why can't you answer? Uh, we know the answer then, basically. Cool, man. Big up. Where? Yeah. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, please note down that she couldn't say no. Yeah, <laughs> in a way, you got a rater because you don't want to lie. Do you know what I mean? Who said I'm then... lying or not lying? I'm not answering no. this damn foolish question. Yeah, like... all right, all right. Yeah. But, yeah. By you not answering, you've told us the truth, and we rate you. Did so... I? <laughs> <laughs> what accent? No, Vic. No, never that. No, no, no. I don't smell. No, stop it. No, you don't. But don't say never that because you didn't want to answer that question. Jedi. Why is this yeah. so important to you? Why? It's not, it's not important, man. It's just I'm 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 gonna take a guess that you're the only person on the panel with a vagina, but I couldn't be sure after what I saw in the lad bible. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what my, my situation. Huh? <laughs> what? I what? What? I said. I, no, I said. I am assuming that you're the only one on the panel with a vagina. But after we watched that thing on the Lad Bible the other day, I don't want to speak for Mag because I don't know what. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah safe, 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 just safe. Now oh, I let you confirm or deny your ownership of certain items. Item. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. I don't own one of those. Still, we're good. Lol, are you questioning each other's genders now? That's mad. Yeah, I don't each other's, just mad. Yes, you are. Yes, you <laughs> are. <laughs> each other's, yeah. Not each other's, just mad. Wait, Axel, stop trying to divert, man. She's trying it. No, trying no, no, it. I'm You're not mad. I'm not, but I think this is weird, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> you do not are crazy. You're actually crazy. <sighs> all right, all right, all right. Let's get back. Let's get back. But yeah, does man. anyone still know this question though? Like, it's been no. He wants to know basically. He's, he's, he wants basically to know. The question is, yeah, is there something in history that proves mm -hmm. the existence of the prophets from an Islamic perspective? That sounds like his question. My okay, but, but he's saying, yeah, but, but no, he's saying, we, he's saying, I use artifacts, right? Are there artifacts from history? Ar archaeology, I, use, I can use archaeology to prove the Bible. Mm -hmm. Is there but the same thing they can do for Islam, yeah. Really? Well, Couldn't this Sheikh explain I, that because there are I, artifacts and stuff in I, I, some. I, I don't think the Sheikh is really explaining that, to be honest. Lord, yeah, no, nah, I hear you because I listened to him and just waffling around the Pharaoh. Or whatever. Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah, his waffling. But well, you believe yeah. that it can? They are parts of the Quran that can be corroborated with um, archaeology. I mean, when I was in Turkey, yeah, I saw some stuff. They had some stuff in the the museum and uh, in in the. Uh, yeah, no, we don't mean like all that Muhammad's hair and Muhammad's sandal and, and all that. We don't mean that. And Noah's Noah's footprint and all that. That's crazy. No, it's like Abraham's Abra no Abraham's footprint, isn't it? Oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but I think that was within the where is that? I think that is in Mecca still. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, it was Abraham. <coughs> right? Yeah, that's when he's trying it. That's definitely trying it. Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know, but um, I don't know. Just man, I have no, no idea. This is okay. interesting. Yeah, we're gonna get good. to the end of this. I move on. The yeah. Roman Empire ruled England. They used to call them Caesar. You understand the difference? Uh, okay, I, I, I know you've talked a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Did did I uh, mention Joseph? No, you didn't. No. Okay. So, I mean, the beautiful thing about the, the colour of Ali's shirt is it's grey and they can look. How I actually came to the faith was testing them side by side. So anyone listening could just test them. Yeah, they wouldn't need to... How do you test the story of Joseph? Yeah, so... One second. What colour is, color is my shirt? Isn't it grey? Yeah, but you're saying it's yellow. No, I'm doing, an, I'm doing an example. I wasn't saying it was yellow. If somebody... No, so because we're, we're asking a simple question, yeah? yeah. We're saying, you could how look. did the Quran know? How did the Quran know this fact that you're talking about grey? It's a fact. Yes. It's a historical Love fact. fact. Love so fact. I'm saying the Bible is saying my shirt is yellow. No, no, no. no. Oh, oh, this is a... long. Uh, this is dead, Jed. Sorry. The, the, yeah, yes, but yes, yes. One the, that's a One fallacy, second. isn't it, Ali? Did the Bible call them call it's the ruler? Straw man Pharaoh? argument. It's a straw man argument. No, but what, what, what I'm saying to you, a straw man argument. Now, Adam, Adam, very simple. Did the Bible call the ruler Pharaoh or king? <coughs> Pharaoh in one and king in the other. Okay, one second, Pharaoh. Pharaoh which is which that's is fine. That's like you saying, oh, okay. that's like you saying my... Okay. It's not fine. That's like you saying my shirt, my, my jumper is yellow. Uh, is it, is there, there's a very king. strong argument. Okay, so the Bible says Pharaoh and the Quran says king. Is that what I'm guess I'm guessing? No, both says both things, don't they? <coughs> mm. Are you sure? Ah. Uh -huh. Are you sure? Pharaoh's in the Quran. Uh, yeah, Pharaoh. Yeah, Pharaoh. The, well, yeah, I've heard this before. Pharaoh. Pharaoh. Pharaoh is in the Quran, and so is Pharaoh is in the Bible too, like this guy said, and also King. Strong argument there, Ali. <laughs> it's a very strong <laughs> argument there. Um, I, I nearly take shadow on my YouTube channel. Yeah. <laughs> this guy. Yeah. We're English, though. We know sarcasm, don't you? I don't know if that's gone over your head. No, no, no. Okay, how did it get it wrong? Can Allah's word be changed? Well, Allah's word cannot be changed. Okay, so how can the Bible be changed? Oh man. Let me one verse. Let me one verse in the Quran or any Sahih Hadith that says no, listen, that says it's been changed. Uh, but, uh, very simple, do you, very very uh, it's very simple. Allah's, Allah's word can't be changed. Be changed. Listen to what Allah judges, what he said cannot be reversed. Now, very simple. How did the God of the Old Testament get a historical uh, mistake? They're two different books. There's 66 books in the Bible. I'm, I'm just, but what, what, you're, you're, you're changing the conversation instead of uh, how you test the Quran. I'm going to give you another minute. I know, because you're scared, Ali. But if you want to debate me live, mate, we can do this. You said Ali Ali, 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 Ali. Stop. Like, They're taking a the piss. Yeah. You see all of this? Yeah. Is that, is that um what what was that? The passive aggression kind of thing. I don't yeah. know. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I mean, I, but like, the question want... itself is quite interesting though. Like, yeah. can you prove like can we do the side by you... side? Between, yeah. between the two um, do you know the uncleisms though innit it's the uncleisms that are just killing it like Ali 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 like what are you doing man like you've gone and practiced in the kebab shop to chat to these man 
Yeah. Hit me with a, Listen, a Adam, green Adam, screen. Adam, we can. Simple question. Simple question. Oh, it's not a simple answer. The Bible, the Bible, get it wrong. Simple no, question? but I, ca I asked you a question, didn't I, Ali? No, no. Ali, I came to ask. Nah, where's this music coming from? I don't know. get an answer. How do you show me the evidence of the, the, the prophets? Hmm? Nah, really. Chef, like under that, like let's, you're there. You're right, like under. It's, it's the. So what is that? Was that was it? You ran from that, and you you said. Uh, you got me. Well, hold on, Run Wyatt. Wyatt. Hold, what was that thing that was written there? Run Wyatt discovered those five things. Yeah, Matt. One geezer. Gamora, Red Sea Crossing, Sinai. Huh? Fair play. This was so, that was so dead, my bro. Yeah, it was. Seriously, it was. Man. You know what? I ain't thumbs down the video for a long time, but you gave the thumbs down. Hope, hope that does something. What the hell was that? <laughs> Yeah, we got fully clickbaited, man. 100%. 100%. <coughs> oh we should God. explore the question, though. Shouldn't we? Or is it only me who thinks that it's interesting? Maybe. How do you compare the Bible and the... the pro he, wants to, he wants to compare the prophets, the biblical yeah. prophets to the Quranic prophets. What's yeah. Compare them? yeah. That'd be nice if you find stories and whatever. It's a lot of work, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It is. It is. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot of work. <laughs> it's a lot of work. It's an interesting one, though. It's like, for me, at least. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Not really. It's not that interesting. So okay. Me, like, it's not that interesting. I like the Jesus and Isa. I like that. You know what I mean? And maybe like Moses and Musa. I mean, yeah, I'm thinking uh, King Solomon and Suleiman. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The stories are different, so yeah. <laughs> and also well, Google it. Tell me if, if you find anything, if there's anyone that's compiled <laughs> those, those two things, then we can go through that. If you if you want to research it or Google it for me, you might be able to pull a video out. Um, I had another video. Where is it, bro? Oh shit! So apparently, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we're gonna get into this first, and then while you're while you're researching, we might get back. The sound I wanted to play. I've been wanting to play it for like a week now. Ah, free Congo. Okay, you do that. So, are you gonna look at? Are you gonna look at the prophets? Yeah, Maybe. or should I look at a hundred eyes right now? I don't know. What, what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> no, you said that was interesting. So I'm saying, if you want, if you want to bring something up, if you want to, if you find anything, then we can look through it. But obviously, like otherwise, we can how... bring it up to another time. Just yeah, I'm gonna look into it, right? So we can oh, do this. Look, 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 look. I told you. No, no, I can't. I can't. Don't worry, I can't. But okay. Congo Kinshasa. Uh oh. Where's your sound, bro? The second largest country in Africa. Free Congo! Free them today. Free Congo all day. Free them. Free Congo! Free Congo! Free Congo! Free Congo! Free Congo! Free all of Africa! Bro, you know, I'm slipping into, like, a niche, you know, of... of I don't know, man. What do you not think about protests? I don't go. Sorry? I never go. I never go. What do you think about go. them? I think it's uh, a bit juji. Um, you think a protest is juji? Yeah, a little bit. I do. Because there's so much energy going in there. Um, that's me, though. Uh, uh -huh. I also don't see the point of it. For me, because uh, this it's the power of in, you know this the power. So we decided this. It's like okay to protest because it's controlled. 
opposition type of thing. You know what I mean? Um, and it's like people don't realize, people don't realize the magic in a like in the UK. Yeah, uh, people don't. Uh, all right, where is it? Let me tell. You, where is the Congolese? Where have they gone? Where are these lot? Is this uh, Parliament Square again? I don't know. Where is this? Have they gone to the Congolese um, embassy? Maybe. This looks like an embassy. They, why would they protest yeah. at the Congolese embassy? It's not the Congolese government that, that they're fighting, is it? Okay, okay, okay. You need to break this down. What happened? What's what's this? Uh, why people suddenly? They're going to talk about it. They, of course, they all, all these people going to talk about it. It's going to interview people and it's going to tell everyone. Oh, what's sorry, going sorry. On. I just want to know where yeah. it is, because the reason why I'm asking where it is is. Hmm. Seems like protests always seems to be in the same locations in in London. Uh. Parliament, there, certain embassies, and it's literally in a, in like a, a square, like a square, a square mile. It's where all these pro, all the major protests take place. So when you said Juji, mm. I'm thinking about the energy yeah. and the, maybe even the grid that these guys are walking on, and it seems to be you're right always in the same places. Now, for me, one mm. thing I've never liked about protests is being surrounded and surveilled and uh, instructed by law enforcement, police. police They're the ones controlling it. Yeah. yeah, police are just like, all amongst you, look, the police is everywhere. Yeah, police, mm -hmm. police, police, all the vans here. They So they've said, yeah, you can be here, it's cool. Now, the other issue I have is on this theme of protests being judgy, isn't it funny that a lot of these protests fall on funny days? Look at the date that this one f fell on. 24th of the 2nd of the tw of 2024. 24, 24, 24, 24. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's oh, it's just coincidence. All right, cool. But I don't know. There's such... And like I don't think saying. it's a coincidence, though. But huh? I don't think it's coincidence that it happened. Two, two, four, two, four, two. Yeah. You feel like standing yeah. here. You feel like standing here, beating the drums, waving your flag. Do you feel like this genuinely has any impact whatsoever on what's happening in the Congo? And if it does have an impact, I'd like to know what impact does it have? I'm not saying it doesn't, but I'm struggling to see it. Mm. That's what I think in general about protests. How much impact do you think you can do, like, have? I'm thinking also, like, look at the Palestine-Israel thing. Mm -hmm. So many people have been uh, protesting. For protesting. what? For what though? Like no one can do shit about it. They're like, protesting no in Canada. They're protesting, mm. protesting in America. They're protesting in Europe. Yeah, and yeah. people's just getting their like getting their bomber clots bombed. Basically, there's like Still, there's no. Yeah. They're just shelling. They're shelling babies' heads off their shoulders as we speak. And, yep. You know how many weekends of protests? Like what? What do you do? What yeah, do you, do? you don't have and, any power. And, that's and, that's and last, last but not least, but not least, yeah, they protest. They protested the Ukraine war. Yeah, mm -hmm. and Ukraine is getting shelled out of their senses as well, with mm -hmm. no, with no sight of stopping. So, exactly. So, what okay. is it? Yeah, okay. Mm. The advocate says, yeah, but Axum, we're creating awareness. You want us to just stay at home? We're creating awareness. We're making people know. We're lobbying. Uh, lobbying? No, not what's the word. We're petitioning, you mm, know? Mm, mm. And you can help by writing to your local MP. Or what was it thing you would say? Uh, Melato would say, Write to your local governor, your local MP, and tell them that you don't want our taxpayers' money being spent on these things. 
like to do you know what I mean? Yeah, I hear you, Jetsy. I'm just <laughs> advocating, <of them. laughs> but we don't have any power, man. They don't care, they don't care. Solidarity for humanity, all of that. No one cares, like okay, in the human level, people's going out. I see that, I love it for everyone, but it will never change because it's the powers to be who decides everything. They don't care. They're allowing this to happen that you can protest because it's one of your human rights. But to be fair, like, to be honest, like, there's no point. There's no point. I've said this for ages. It's no point. Like, so, okay. Like, no point at all? Mag, do you think there's no point at all? It might not be there. No. Uh, um. Making nah. awareness is one thing, so people are getting a little bit more uh, educated about the issue, right? I can I can see that one. I get okay. Let me give you that one. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but to be able to change it uh, in this day and age, I can't really see it happening. I am okay. Let's go back to the sixties and all of that mm -hmm. marching stuff in USA. Blah blah blah. I hear that. That was cool. That, like, oh, you mean like, what are you talking about? Like Million Man March type thing? Yeah, yeah, type of Martin Luther King type of shit, yeah? Yeah, yeah. And, uh, yeah, okay, cool. It did have an effect. Uh, did it? Yeah, didn't it? Now I'm questioning myself, man. Yeah, I'd say, you, you said it does. Ah! Did, did, did it? Mm, or it wasn't controlled and actually they allowed it to look like it did have an effect who knows um yeah i, I don't really believe we do have a power <laughs> yeah if the governments are not okay with it then yeah i'll tell you one thing about protesting it makes the mm. people on the ground feel good it makes the protest yeah, the feelings good. yeah the feelings yeah, yeah. feeling. as a protester yeah you feel good to be out there for something you care about, but mm. you know, there's a difference between a protest and a demonstration. There's a difference between a protest and a riot. I would say that a riot is the most satisfying form of civil disobedience, right? Yeah, protest, because you do, mm, mm, yeah, because yeah. you, yeah, because you just, you know, you, you you get into channel your anger or channel your emotion and tear some shit up. So yeah, because it's more physical, though, right? This one, it's just like. But but wait, wait. wait let me just say, in a riot, you feel like maybe if we could just keep this fire burning for a little bit longer, hmm. more people will join, and this is going to be something that you could never control and never put back in the box. That's the thing with rioting that feels good. It feels like maybe if we just go crazy enough, we maybe shit never does goes back to normal after this. And what we always forget is how quickly our countries can clean up. So once the, the burnt buildings get torn down, once the, the smashed windows get, get boarded up, once the burnt bins get thrown burnt away. Burnt and cars. Yeah. And yeah, yeah, yeah. guess what? Monday morning, we back to, we back to work, y'all. Exactly. Nothing you know? changes. But, the, but yeah, the... I'm thinking of like France. Yeah, France is really good at writing. <laughs> and actually, sometimes Sweden too. Um, yeah. yeah, they're more out there, out there. We'll smash it up and smash the whole system down. So they have to do something about it. Like, yeah. But the, uh, the purpose of a pro, like, well, the purpose of a riot is not just to make some noise, but it's to change some shit. Like, yo. Yeah, change it up. In, yeah. yeah, we are physically mm -hmm. coming to change your shit up. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. a good, good riot should be, right? A good riot should be like, yo, we storm in the building that's, we storm in the building that's taking the piss and we are, we're going to pull it down or we're going to pull the people in there out. So mm -hmm. they have to run away. Now they don't have their seat of power. That type of vibe. You know, in, yeah, in but that, that type of yeah, I feel like that's the typical like throwing off the regime type of shit. Yeah, right, happening. right. That's a, a coup. Yeah, a coup. A coup. Yeah, a coup. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. When but the riot goes, mm -hmm. police are like, okay, yeah, yeah, all right, boom, boom, boom. Remember, I've been to protests where they're saying 
We've got to thank the police for letting us be here. Lol. <laughs> <laughs> you too. You know, thank, thanks to the police for letting us be here. <laughs> I like, mean, I've been to a demonstration, though. I, uh -huh. I turned my back type of thing once uh, to the racist in Sweden, whatever. Yeah. And, um, racist parties. And I felt like, well, what am I doing here? You know, it was just Did like... Did you feel like that, yeah? It was just yeah, like I said to God. I was like, what am I doing? Cool, let this demon speak. But we all turned her, our backs back, you know, towards someone who was speaking. And it was just like... Oh, okay, we are good people standing here against him. And then I was like, Ooh, yeah, yeah, what's this? Yay. <laughs> and then the policeman says, all right, guys, can you look, just make your way over to the left, please. Follow mm. down this road. And, and it's like, huh? Is this, a, is this a police thing? Like, what is this? It's not, it's not outlaw enough. Yeah, but it's something about, like, you have to seek, uh, what's it called in English, man? Help me. Um, okay for the police to be able yes, to have yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, permission, yeah. isn't it? Permission, yeah, yeah. All, all, all this permission to do this and permission to protest and permission that's to be why, in this area. But if, yeah, that's the that's like the main thing about a protest. Now, mm. protests feel good when you're in places where they say you shouldn't be or they don't want you to be. A protest would be good if we, I got careful what I say, but like, yeah, if yeah. we went into important buildings. When they said come out, and thousands of mm. us went in the building and said we're not leaving. Yeah, that'd be sick. If we, if we was there in Parliament while they're doing, do you know what I mean? That might be sick for the whole world to see. Like yo, yeah. these people, just, you know, like kind of what they did uh, in America, the capital. America, people. yeah, yeah, with the rednecks running into the place, right? And <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, but that's a. <laughs> oh, this is mad, but yeah, so exactly. Cool. Yeah. So mm -hmm. cool. That, that would look like some government thing anyway. Yeah, but yeah, exactly. okay, so, mm -hmm. you know, uh, Congo's having some issues. We want to free Congo, and we want our voices to be heard. Yeah. Very few people knew this protest went on. I didn't oh, even know it was going on before it went on. I didn't know. Yeah. And for that reason, I feel like there was more people supporting Diane Abbott than supporting Congo. And even that supporting Diane Abbott, that you know, we mm. stand with Diane, we stand with outside of the council in Hackney. And what, what now? I mean, like, I feel like okay, people, if, yeah, if the people, people are if the people are unhappy, this has got to be the softest way to show it, right? It is, this is the softest, simplest, and easiest way to show it in peaceful ways, right. But would it change anything? No. It doesn't make you feel good? Yes. What next? No, what What really next? Hmm. Are you going to have any impact what's going on in Congo when there's multi-billionaire companies doing whatever with, with the kids? Is it about the kids and the minds? Yeah, I believe so in my head. But I don't know. It's part of it, but it's about the war, isn't it? Oh, it's about the war. Okay. Uh, what war? But the, but the war is between those interests, basically. If you think ah, right. okay. Typical thing. White man, Africa. Okay, interest. So, so people over here on this floor, yeah, do they really think that they will have any impact? What's going on down there? Yeah, because I think if you join a protest, you tend to believe in political pressure. You tend to believe it has the power to apply political pressure for people to make decisions or raise things in parliament mm. but then again yeah mike we've I been looking at... uh -huh. i don't see that happening personally yeah no me neither um hmm. we got bb oh me we oui, my bien. love yes, bonjour bonjour ça va ça va bien yeah, yeah. Good. your French oh, accent had me cracking up every time. How you say, uh, BB? Uh, uh, you sound proper French. Fromage, BB. 
Why one? You know, we we talk we've talked about protesting a lot. I know I've had some conversation with you about protesting. I've seen you in the chats. Mm. Um, mm -mm. what do you you been to a protest before? Yeah, yeah, bear bear protests. Bear protests. We used to go all the time, man. Protesting okay. against racism, against police brutality, against that kind of stuff. And, and so you was going. All right, let's bring your mind. Take your mind to when you were going to the protest, right? What was what was going through your mind? What was you hoping for? To be honest, we just listen. We we felt so frustrated that the only thing on our mind was just break stuff, man. Trash cars, <laughs> break shops, uh, windows. Yeah. Just take take something. It felt like you you know they just you're taking something back, you know. Okay, well, I can't have my rights. Yeah. Then at least I'm gonna trust something. I, you feel like a little bit vindicated, or what's the word? It's like little, little revenge. It's like having it's an like, argument with your missus and smashing up your fucking house, though, isn't it? Or going outside and smashing something outside. The argument's yeah, still feels, in the house, bro. Yeah, I know. I mean, I don't believe that it's gonna help do shit. The protesting and, and uh, like you said, I mean. One protest, okay, you know, to make people aware, like this one. If you didn't, if you didn't, if the people didn't protest for Congo, no, none of us would have uh, known about. It. So, like, uh, I don't believe it's gonna help, though, you know, because the people no. who are in control, they don't care yeah. about that shit. They're exactly. the one doing the fuckery. They're the one in so, power. They're the one doing this. You've gone there. <coughs> <coughs> To smash something up now when i look at that 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 says that you're you're frustrated mm. you feel helpless and out of options mm. so you want to relieve some release some yeah frustration, that's it right now mm. releasing frustration who, who does that help because if you think about it if you release your frustration Mm -hmm. And that's a bag of you lot that are less frustrated. Yeah, that's that's yeah. helping me as a that's helping me as a person who's doing a fuckery. Imagine mm -hmm. I'm doing fuckery on the panel, yeah, and yeah. and I'm winding you guys up, all three of you. You guys are getting wound up. Then you guys come off the come off line. You go and shout at your your partner, or shout at your neighbor, or shout at your children smash something in your house then you come back online and i'm still going on fuckery mm. yeah you see the <laughs> pointless <laughs> no point yeah, I'm saying. Mm. Yeah, think, yeah of course how many times I'm... has a protest happened and then people said you know what we got a fucking we we can't do this anymore because these guys are not having it because they, they they're in central london right now they got flags and you know, mm. they're shouting slogans. Mm. Mm. I, I can't yeah. think. I can't think. I don't. I feel like the system doesn't even respond like that. The system won't even yeah. respond. You know, I don't the, know. The one just, positive yeah. thing about right. this protesting thing is make people, other people aware. who don't know, aware. That's it. Yeah. Yes, yeah. it's gonna yes. solve the problem. Of course not. Mm -mm. But mm. awareness. Of, yeah, we think we've all agreed. The awareness and like you know the protests I've been that's, on, I think that has been my mission. Let's make as much noise so as many people know about it as possible. In the back yeah. of my head, I'm wondering if loads of people knowing about it is going to change it. Hmm. I've been invited to big protests because of the regime in Eritrea, right? Yeah. And demonstrations, and uh, they did do a mad. I mean, they do do some madness in London. You guys remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And even Sweden, they've been doing the craziest. They're trashing the whole place. It's more riot still. Yeah. Um, yeah. But then again, it's like, okay, cool. You've done the riot, and you know that nothing's gonna happen to it. You know, no one is gonna remove this demon down there. The pressure is still going to be like, you know, the outcome anyway. So why are you doing this? Like, we don't have any power. So we're still standing on the same thing. Awareness. It's only that far yeah. we can get to this place, right? We can't. Yeah. We can't do nothing more, so basically, really. Basically, 
you need to bring your protest to Eritrea and physically force this guy out of power. Exactly. Yeah. Now that's no longer called a protest. That once no. you get to that point, that's what what's that? What did we say that was? That's a coup, cool, isn't it? A coup. Cool. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Cool. yeah, that's a coup. Cool. Yeah. Revolution. 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 So. Yeah. Protest is very feel, low on a revolutionary scale in terms of okay, creating awareness, but awareness doesn't always create change. Mm -hmm. That's yeah, that we can say exactly. Mm. And I mean, it depends what your objective is. If it's okay. about war, then of course you're not gonna change much, right? Mm. But if it's like some minor things, like you know, a policy, yeah. Then you can cause some. some noise. For instance, let's say let's say this. Let's say this. Uh, the U uh, the UK, uh, UK, Belgium, and uh, Sweden have agreed that from July the eighth, all citizens will be required to carry a ID card. All right. And then yeah. little protests start kicking off. And mm -hmm. what and then what the parliament they go back to parliament and say, you know what, the people are so unhappy, we can't go through with this anymore. Have we have we ever seen that? No, I've not seen no. it. Yet. We had no. apparently poll tax was like that, but it seems like it's not really working. Have we seen it? <laughs> no. Really it's always a vote voting going on, right? It's always about the voting. You, you can't make the people vote. It's kind of like uh, this British opinion to um, to not have euro as a um, um, currency. Currency, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's always been like opinions. Yeah. And there's hey, so, so Sweden voted against the euro. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So they don't they have a euro now. Sure. No, can you spend no. euros in Sweden? Or just exchange? Exchange. Mm. Mm. So we've been doing that for years. Like, we don't want to. So change the government that. said yes. And the people so said the, no. People said no. And that, uh, yeah, the people's uh, vote went through. Right. So the opinion was like that. We're not having it. Project said, remember the university protest. Uh, look, this is where I'm. This is where I get a little bit cynical. Forgive me yeah, and challenge me by all means, yeah. But I I start thinking, and I feel like Mag was just about to touch on it with the whole poll tax thing. I start feeling like the things that do appear to get overturned are kind of things that they weren't going to really, really do anyway. You oh, know? Shit. So it's like, they, do you know what I mean? It's like, a, like they say they're going to do some mad shit. We protest and they say, oh, no, no, we ain't doing it with the government. And it makes you feel like the government have responded. But really, they weren't going to do that anyway. We, in case, in terms of the poll tax, I, I'm not sure how quick, because we was youths, isn't it? I'm not sure how quick they, like, whatever, if poll tax was actually enforced and then stopped being enforced. But what I do know is not long after that, council tax came out. Exactly, which is basically the same thing, and that's gone on a mad thing right like, since then till now. Look at it, unchallenged, Probably. unchecked, mad thing. Um, yeah, you lot in the chats, let me know of, of uh, any policies, laws, or things that have been changed via this type of okay. protest. Yeah, wasn't well, Brexit uh, one of them? I can't remember the outcome. Nah, but that's nah, not really a protest. Nah. Yeah. It was a vote, yeah. It was a vote. Mm -hmm. There's a vote. Oh, yeah, they went yeah, through. Yeah. They took the Brexit, and yeah. and I said, I don't know how long it's been. Ten years, maybe, whatever. I said that you will see no real difference, bro. Yeah. Get me. That don't ever get it twisted. It's a game. I mean, <laughs> for you lot, it became more expensive, innit? Like. Because you're cutting yeah. off from Europe. Yeah, but we don't know why it's become more expensive. Yeah, things There's always been, like been five getting more expensive. Things. So now it's just like convenient. <laughs> yeah. Because uh, before Brexit, things are still getting more 
inflation, this, that, blah, 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 tax on this, tax on that, VAT, this, that, blah, blah, blah. Things are still getting more um, expensive. Cost of living was yeah. still rising. So, so it's like, I believe that they're making the cost of living rise and keep rising. So now look, even if we didn't have Brexit, they're going to blame the war in Ukraine for oil. They're going to blame the mm. war in this for that. The this and that mm. for this. Do you understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's how I feel, man. If somebody parked somewhere in the world and they blame, yeah, it's something happened over there, so prices are going up. So prices are going time. up, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, this whole Russia and gas uh, uh, thing, that's why we need to pay so much gas now <laughs> for most places in Europe. And the gas pipelines, they're shutting it down. Well, that's what they say. Huh? Yeah. The situation like that that's when protesting doesn't help any, anything no oh, man i'm for <laughs> chaos i'm for anarchy just fucking... yeah man trust me that's the only way if you break stuff you're gonna at least invite you to a conversation you're gonna talk you about it so? then they invite you the... to the conversation well where, where does that happen <laughs> yeah um yeah people sorry are are people because people are sheep, man. It doesn't happen. Because it seems no. like whenever we get the revolutionaries in certain countries, they become the they get installed. Yeah, they work yeah, with well, the UN or whatever. Mm. And next, you know, they're basically the same people. I, I, I like the, the, the example, yeah, yeah. most recent Black example, Panthers. the Taliban. Taliban. Trust yeah. me. Yeah, but then 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 okay, Mali, let's talk about protest yeah. though demonstration. So. The Arab Spring, right? Yeah, yeah. The massive impact of the Arab Spring and what they did to the North Africans, and you know. So I know it happened in Egypt. Where, where else yeah. did it take place? Uh, <laughs> oh, um, the whole North Africa, except for Morocco, wasn't it, baby? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But they got yeah. they got the army uh, army joined in and they got subdued. They got uh, what's it called? So it didn't work actually, Arab Spring. Okay. So, so what were they? What were they springing for? Well, you know, away democracy, the leaders, more right? rights. Mm. So because they're basically all dictators, right? Mm. Yeah. One, one for one, they're all dictators. The, the, the countries are in poor shape. People are dying outside of hospitals. It's, yeah. The food, uh, the food is expensive, like expensive. bread, water. Yeah. That's what they're protesting for, but. And and mm -hmm. what was it? What was the result? Chaos, well, like always, chaos. So no when we throw it away, the the dictators, yeah, we always get madness happening afterwards. Like, okay, maybe you want to talk, or you should I talk? <laughs> no, 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 go on, go. On. No, but look what what happened with Saddam Hussein. Look what what happened with um um. Mohammed, um, what's it called? Uh, Hosni Mubarak, yeah, in Egypt, the Gaddafi. Gaddafi uh, yeah. yeah, we can look at all of these dictators, right? What happened when they were thrown off? Yeah, madness happened, like in the country. Yeah, of course. So, full blown madness, yeah. So, is it so good? So, you, you, you cut um, class Libya as part of the Arab Spring? It was, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it was. Right, yeah. And then uh, I remember the reports where I knew Libyans. And they're telling mm. me, yo, these guys coming in, are, this is Al-Qaeda and, and, and mercenaries. These yeah. guys coming in, acting like they're us during this spring. It's not us. Oh, yeah, shit. Really? People, people are coming in on uh, uh, over the border uh, in, 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 in armies and shit. You get me? Yeah. Mm. I remember seeing a scene um, and it was like, it looked like a group of like, 800 to a thousand people yeah all standing there yeah and then it's like someone gave a signal and then it all started making noise Arr! and then the camera went on and said yeah um you know there's groups of protesters da, 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 da. but it was like all staged that's crazy that can happen but i mean i do believe that protests genuine people went to protest and Right. I mean, I saw that even in Morocco. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. General yeah. people go to protest. The infiltrators come and kick it off. Mm -hmm. This is what happens in most riots. Mm -hmm. 
not most, I should say most riots, but a lot of riots, there's inside Trust me, fire starters. Yep, 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 yep. They I've push the people to get me. You get me? Or they push the police yeah. to respond in a certain way, then then the people get pissed, and then they're just basically fighting with the against the police. Boy, did it's you see like the stuff where it was like piles of bricks? Piles left on each corner. <laughs> Yeah. That sounds like some Antifa stuff, yeah. Yeah, um, that's what it was. Left on each corner. Mm. Oh, was it in Antifa? Yeah? Various cities. Mm. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> you know, in the UK, when they had a riot, there's reports of, you know, um, guys jumping out of vans and opening shops and saying, yeah, guys, yeah. Come, come, come in, come in. And then, and then boom, they're gone. <laughs> I've seen guys, you know, jumping out of our midst. Nobody knows them, and they're trying to fight the police. <laughs> While our own people trying to stop us from fighting the police. Yeah. And nobody and fucking knows. Really to... Yeah. They're, they're trying to kick it, it off. It definitely happens. And the police, even the police are trying to, you know, come on, man, come on. You know, trying to... <laughs> trying, to trying to get you to... Trying to stop it, yeah. Mm. You know, like the ref in wrestling. Mm. Just giving hints. I just feel like... A lot of the stuff that we see in terms of this type of protest and these revolutions, I fear that a lot of them are not very organic, and it's and it, and it, it's really a lot of people getting manipulated into a situation that ends up worse for them, because when these people come and say, "Okay, we got to get order," and they flatten your fucking city for you, fuck up mm. your shit, and then they install, they say, "Okay, we're going to come and help rebuild," all the contracts go to them. All, all the all the politicians, all the major people in power, are are. You might think they're people from your midst, but they're all, always been collaborators in the first place, waiting for this moment, so that they could look like a genuine. Oh yeah, the people have have have, have uh, uh, selected this person to be in power now, and yeah, rare, rare, and you know, uh, uh, President Bush has gone to meet with them, uh, you know, a uh, 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 what, what would they say, a historic moment. Uh, yeah. The last time, yeah. Yeah, the last time a British politician was on this ground was 1960 to the and now we have a real chance for peace and and the embargo is getting lifted and really what we're looking at is like just a, a another a, puppet, a, another puppet, another puppet, a clever business yeah. deal. Someone's mm. son's escaped in. But that thing, and, yeah. And, and what, what should and, we and do just, though? Just to add, just to add quickly. Mm. Isn't that how all these so-called dictators were put in power in the first place by the mm -hmm. West? Exactly. So they were put in power for like 30, 40 years ago. Mm -hmm. And then they get removed by the people or the, you know, the skies of um, mm. the US, <laughs> like always. Then they have some new one. Mm? So dumb. I just remember Egypt was crazy. Oh, what's BFM saying? Hmm? Yeah. Oh, he said Big the market will keep us set himself on fire. Hmm. Big up, Rion. All right, let's yeah. see. Let's see. Let me play a little bit more. And that uh, look, here's a good example. Let's go back. Rwanda is killing civilian people in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Imagine that now. Oh, are we doing now, xenophobia now? Sorry. Now check this. No, nah, because what happened in Rwanda? Ah, genocide. War, yes, yeah. Right? Yeah, civil genocide, war, right? genocide. Yeah. Which, which it seems the fire was stoked by. Let's not get into it. The West again, right? Genocide. Mm -hmm. After the genocide, a new person comes into power or a new power mm -hmm. system, which the West controls. Now we're talking about sending immigrants from uh, UK and stuff like that to Rwanda. Yeah. So that means that they got yep. the Rwanda's cushy. And they've got a good deal with Rwanda. They own Rwanda. So now they can send people that want to come here for migrancy 
Um, they can sell them to Rwanda. That's letting you know how controlled Rwanda is now. This is mad. This is actually mad. So, Did you know about this? It, 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 Rwanda, they're trying to Rwanda's like a Liberia, so they got a yeah, few places where they yeah, but they're the using it up. for everybody though. Jed, this is what I'm saying. They're using it for so if you're from Afghanistan, you can still end up there. Yeah, the sounds of this thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and now Mike, I heard about this uh, from the immigrants in the UK. They're gonna they want to send them off to Rwanda. That's crazy yeah. for me. Yeah. All it, all type of refugees, really. Um, but why it? Rwanda? It's okay. They are yeah, they are yeah, because of the civil war it. that they they utilized to be able to have. It's like a it's like a base. It's like a US base. It's like another um, mm. Liberia. Mm. Yeah, so America and and what's that? <laughs> I don't know that country. I don't know. You, oh, you, 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 yeah. What did I say? <laughs> you, you. you. No, I'm trying to say it in English. Yeah, it's just Swedish. Yeah, Then we have uh, yeah, <laughs> madness. Regent Street. Oh, here you have a jet. Are you mad? Michael, 100 eyes from Powers Network, live at the Congo protest. I am here with my brother Stefan. How are you doing, Stefan? Yeah, not too bad, not too bad. A bit hungry, but I'm all right. Okay. Uh, we're here for a couple of hours, man. So it's about time to get our feet stuck in the mud, isn't it? Yes, uh, we came to protest regarding the cold and the stuff, but we are just thinking about our people. Okay, they've gone outside the Apple building because Apple are taking the... The minerals. Cobalt. Are, uh, is it cobalt? cobalt? Yeah. It, yeah. yeah cobalt. Cobalt. cobalt mines, right? Yeah. Yeah. No. Good strategic now. <laughs> yeah, that, to be fair, that right, makes sense. Now, all right, look now, look. I see that makes sense because that's an attraction as well. So everyone's going there has is getting the awareness right now. That's about, nice. Now, yeah. obviously, tiptoeing around what I, you know, um, that's a good strategic location mm -hmm. to step up your 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 form of protest to actually really make proper impact. Some noise. Yeah. No, no, not really. Quarters, you, know, you know what I'm you, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, this is a place oh, yeah, yeah. hands on. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's yeah. something that around the world people could get hands on with that company and their property if you wanted to be revolutionary. But they've got this term that begins with a T and ends in errorist. Um, that scare most people from from doing anything. Mm -hmm. Well, they're loose. Well, they're loose. You can throw a brick in a in a in a in a in a window in a car window, or you can burn a bin, or you can like you know vandalize a sweet shop. But go to central London to to the big Apple store flagship and that and get busy. Nah, people people not on that kind of smoke. But this is good though, because I've seen this happening with the um, the, the, the the court issue issue in Middle East, right? Um, people going into Zara, right? Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So people going in there and <laughs> yeah, some... people um, McDonald's um, letting off mice. Yeah, I've seen that. You know, they yeah. did that a couple times in the UK. I feel, to be honest, I don't feel like they've done it. You know. <laughs> anyway, mm. properly. Um, <laughs> Yeah, like you know, like 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 you know, like dedicated, like with a passion. Because guess yeah, what? Yeah. I I'll think they got caught thing, though. I'll tell, you, I'll tell you one thing, though, family. Yeah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we will go and stand outside of a hair shop in Peckham because it's local to us. Yeah, and we feel safe in our own community. Yeah, to do certain moves, so we stand outside the hair shop and make it difficult for people to come in and shop. Right, but mm -hmm. it effectively shut down the shop for a week or two. But we ain't mm. doing that to Apple. Of course not. Because really and truly, you lot want protest. If that's what you're on, go to every Apple shop and make it an issue every day. And get me every day, make it an issue. Groups and groups and groups. We get Apple. But 
they got us so busy. We got to go work. We got to pick up the youths from school. Da, da, da. We can't even. We ain't got too much time to protest. Mm -hmm. That's you know true. I mean? mm. A lot of us got com com comfy jobs and comfy positions where we're not going to go against the prison warden because he's given us a decent little job. So there's only so much we're going to do. That's the reality of why protesting has like a ceiling because it yeah. calls for... Um, big up, Sarah. You're low, you know, Sarah. You're super low, Sarah, though. Am I really low? Oh, oh you're better okay. Now. Better. Better. Yeah, just quickly, like a lot of these shops, people don't get out insured. <laughs> so rioting ain't doing shit. No, but the consistent consistent targeting w if would you, have an impact. If, if you keep your money like they did with the whole Palestine, it did start to sort of impact them. Not greatly, to be honest, but it did kind of dent their pockets a bit. But then they'll just think of little, they started bringing up the Stanley Cup and everyone went wild for the Stanley Cup. They were back in business. You know, and mm. people are quite frivolous. They'll just get back on task. Yeah, I hear you, Sarah, but I'm thinking more like to infect the people who's trying to get into the shops, right? And, uh, you know, to be honest, like if I see a group of people outside of the shop that I want to get in and want to do something and I see what one really, I'm going to hesitate to go in. Then I know the shit. And yeah, so once again, this is about making awareness of the madness people are doing, right? So, but, but like, it's the whole system, system man. It's just highlighted, system. Yeah, that the awareness is not hmm. good enough. It doesn't not, work. It didn't like work with Nestle. Like, yeah. It didn't work with Nestle when we were youths. It's not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it didn't. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah, it ain't gonna work. Yeah, with no, Mac. no. Two generations later, no one even knows about that Nestle itself. Right, and it ain't gonna work with Mac. It didn't work with H and M, Gucci, none of that. Dove. But I, I feel hair. like they can hair with cosmetics. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> don't be wearing that now, bro. No, yeah. no, that's kind of um... <laughs> <laughs> what did you say, baby? It's, uh, I don't know, man, about this Zara thing. It's just one shop. I feel like it's, it's made way too easy. It's like, yeah, if you protest against Zara. Mm -hmm. Then suddenly, I don't know what's going to happen. It's not Zara. I've never seen Zara in my life. I think people maybe yeah, not buying maybe. as much. That's why I find that a lot of these companies are trying to bring out all these Eid collections and stuff because they lost a lot of money. So now they're trying yeah, to buy. Yeah, but it's one shop. But ultimately, they're insured. Man, these people are insured. There's bigger companies above them. Everyone, everyone eats. They've already eaten. Yeah. Our little pennies ain't doing much to them. Yeah. The most you can. Yeah, do but for boycotting Starbucks, though. Yeah. So it didn't do anything. Trust me, everyone's back. It didn't Starbucks. do anything. What they just took a different angle. They started bringing out Stanley Cups and partnering up with Stanley. Mm. Every little girl in America's got a Stanley Cup. Every girl in the world has got a little Stanley. Yeah, cup. Just like sell it, selling a, they just a coffee now. A bit and just yeah, I probably spent forty pounds in Starbucks <laughs> in my life. You get me? Like, who's spending forty pounds in their life? Probably nobody. Mm. No, no, but this is what I'm saying. Like know. over the whole course of my life, I've probably spent forty pounds in Starbucks. Yeah, like bro. it's hard for me to protest oh, about this thing when I'm not particularly. Invested. Yeah, but that's a lot, though. No, of course it is. But like, I'm saying, I've been five times. Yeah, that's a lot. I've been five times. They only need every, everyone to go once, bro. Yeah, true. There's a lot, do you know what I'm saying? There's enough people. Yeah. That's how I'm they lose their money. I can't not go. Yeah, I'm not course, going. Yeah, you're not going. Yeah. Unless but, you, um, shit, man, anyway. I feel like, mm. of, <laughs> anyway, it is where it is. But we're at a point now where maybe 50, maybe uh, maybe 40 years, 30 years ago or something, maybe mm. that they would have turned these shops upside down. Nowadays, people ain't got the heart. Mm. I'm, I'm not, and I'm not, I wouldn't advise anyone I to agree, go. I, agree. I, agree. I wouldn't and advise anyone to go. Let me say this. They let me say this. destroy shops. It's normally I'll, smaller I'll, businesses that aren't. I haven't got anything. I, and we wouldn't advise anyone to go out there and do criminality blatantly. Of course not. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Not. We wouldn't advise that mm -hmm. for anyone. But I'm just saying, for those that have the passion, and did it there, I feel like all they're left with is placard holding. And I, I'll give you a good example. Local shopping at ends served the community for, for mad years. Close-knit community. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. it's, a, mm -hmm. it's a corner shop. Across mm -hmm. the road, they open up a... They plan to open up a co-op. Right? So now mm -hmm. people in their head that nah, you lot are trying to like kill the business by bringing your big corporation, your big franchise, and we don't need it. And you lot keep doing that. Rare, rare. They protested outside there for a little bit. Rare, rare. And now that shop's ram. It's oh, ram. Wow. 
because it's bigger than you, man. Who's got time, man? They've busied everyone, like you said, in it. People are trying to feed their kids basics, let alone standing outside shops. Um, they know that. That's why they make all these protests around poor areas and designate off their areas. Do you know what I mean? Big up Chill Twin, big up Victor Renz, big up Silverside, and big up Styler Boy. Yeah, much love. Yeah, man. So I'll probably sitting yeah. comfortable in that ivory tower looking down in amusement. Trust me, they don't care. When people got embassies, I just look at them like, what are you doing? Like, what are you doing? Unless you're going in there stealing all the documents and violating the place to the fullest. This what is what, what I'm saying. What you doing? Unless you're actually They're getting laughing busy. at you. Can't like just coffee. stand outside. I and then they'll just take a day off. It's a bit off. gesture, you know, yeah. Especially when you tell them uh, mm. four days in advance that you're going to be there and get permission from, from the police. and the the authorities, nice, yes, yeah. Nice Everybody barricade of police. Or, it's not even like they're shook to go to work because yeah. you like, may just pop up. It's not that. You, you're giving them a full heads up. It's so it's done so diplomatic. You don't re realise it on the street. But if you think about it, an organised protest is uh permission to express your uh, unhappiness that's it at, yeah. at, um, publicly that's all you're asking for you're asking for permission to do what you can do anyway which is which is uh declare your unhappiness about something and it benefits them in a way because you get the the normal folks to relieve their, their frustration and anger so now yes. less frustrated. less of steam and and, yeah. and and on top of it yeah. I actually come to find out that quote unquote Babylon makes money every time you protest. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know how much money is spilled yeah. into controlling those protests and not all right. of it goes to controlling the protests. <laughs> right. Yeah, it's Babylon business. makes fucking money of you protesting. Plan and strategize these protests. Get me, and not in a good way. Not in a good okay. way. They oh, get they money, money because they're gonna they you get me, they're gonna get extra uh, resources to pay oh, yeah, for yeah. the extra this and extra that and blah, 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 oh, blah, yeah, blah, yeah, yeah, blah, yeah. I mean, mm. yeah, man, I don't know. Just and then they're gonna build the taxpayer, so you're paying it. You're paying, yeah. it. they're gonna bill you if you riot, they're gonna bill you. Just you, they get paid for the chaos, just pay. Yeah. And take you your money, leave the country, man. That's the only way. Good. You guys really want to take your money, bro. Take your money and leave. Make hit them where it hurts. Even though they're gonna try and do what America are probably gonna start taxing you abroad. <laughs> but <laughs> um, I don't know any other way to be honest. It's, it's then again, way. I hear the other side. I mean, what are you supposed to do then? Just sit home and mm. let it be. I don't know. No, you got because you know what, Bibi. The truth is. None of us are going to say it on here, but the truth is, you have to go all out or not. It's mm. half half stepping. It's not Jamin, and they got us in a way where we can only imagine doing these, you know, begging. Well, yeah. they got me by the balls. So, yeah, <laughs> yeah, pause. Pause. yeah, big, big balls. What did you need to say that though? You can say any other type of analogy, but you chose <laughs> that testicles. One. Testicles, then yeah, no, like, baby, you just needed to show your last you're more yeah, a fan no. of, of testicles. Then, or, 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 so was this like a recent or one? Or yeah, 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 about oh, maybe a week ago, less than a week ago, a week ago, something like that. I've been prosecuted, killed, oppressed uh, in Congo, and then uh, it's a war we didn't need. Why, why are they being killed and oppressed, though? Why, what's the reason behind it? The thing is, uh, with Congo, we've been blessed having a lot of. Uh, raw minerals and mm. then what which attracted a lot of uh, enemies of congos like uh, the western we've got uh, the rwandis they've been used by the american uh, eu and uh, other uh, multinational com uh, companies to uh, invade congo so that they can procure the mineral for the locals but on top of that as you can see on my board 13 mi million people have been per perish and then since, uh, since when since uh the war started in 1996 i'll say 28 28 years now 28 years war. Yeah, war and then the eu the europe the america they've been silenced no one cares about congo 
compare the Ukraine war. When you, you're right about that, but when you say they've been silenced, silenced by who and why are they silenced? No, I'm saying they've been silenced. That's silent. Because they're the ones doing it. Yeah, they're the ones doing it. Yeah. They've got the oh, they puppet of uh, Kagame, yes. which uh, is like a marionette they're playing. Yeah, they're, they're giving guns, they're giving uh, anything you need so that they, they can get the mineral and then they come and sell it in Europe or in America. The funniest thing, the last interview of Kagame, he washed his hands and said that all the mineral passing coming from Congo passing through my countries, he doesn't receive any penny of, of that. And Not at all. That's why he's trying to tell us. Oh. We don't have any manufacturing to treat the, those minerals. All the minerals are going straight away to Europe. So we should not get, uh, blame Kagame. We have to get, get, blame the European countries. And so what do you think Congo should do right now at this, at this moment? How can they get out of this oppression? Yeah, from, from, from the, the Congolese have to be united. They, are they not united? Yeah, we are not. We are not kind of united. There's a tribalism inside the Congos and the division and then the people that people are selfish like the politicians if we, are, we we were united talking one voice I think that world will be finished long time ago because what the Europeans are doing they are using our own uh, brother Congolese to put them like leaders of rebellions but they're just puppets mm. so if you're united what did we say <laughs> exactly exactly yeah, controlled, mm -hmm. controlled opposition. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Big up the uncle. We got a good uh, army. I think that war wouldn't take more than uh, six months. Thank you, Stefan, for your contribution. Yeah, You're thank welcome. you very much. Yeah, Big up, have a good one. Yeah, Big up. It's weird. Yeah. Huh? You know it's weird. You know it's weird. Mm. Rwanda is a tiny, tiny country compared to Congo, which is like a giant. So I'm thinking, mm. how can a, a tiny country like Rwanda do cause all these problems? Weapons in it. That's Weapons why. Everything. <laughs> That's yeah. But is. Congo is so much bigger, man. Just sheer yeah. numbers. Yeah, but, who, but, who, yeah, who, but who, if you have the backing of the EU <laughs> and America, not only that, they they've seen a pattern of behavior where they will send the militias to villages. While out, everyone runs away from the village. Next thing you know, within like weeks, there's a mining comp there's a mining company that's set up there. Yeah. People need to expose yeah, that. Saying... Follow the money, expose everyone's name. That's what needs to be done. All of this protesting thing is not really. Mm. And oh, all yeah, yeah. banging the drums, conspiracy. Like, you don't believe right. if you keep a lot of people, they'd be like, it's just a conspiracy. They're not fighting amongst each other. This is actually strategically done. And there's a pattern of behavior. Do you know what I mean? Jeez. Lord, we have the mind, white man's finger in this man. We just don't. Mm -hmm. Pause. Yeah. Pause. Um, <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, you lot, man. I would, but yeah, <laughs> the white man's need, finger is in this. I would right? actually so, love to hear like a Pan African view on this. So this conflict. Say that again. Batman. You love. You want to hear a Pan African no. view on it? Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Proper breakdown. Where is it going on? Man. Yeah. I don't I'm think not gonna lie. African people were whining out. Don't know shit, the bro. They were for this. <laughs> I really heard nothing about from the Pan Africans. Yeah, because now you're hearing like the Congolese side. This, this is old. This is old news to them. They've been talking about this for time. This is it's a mm -hmm. long time though. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, yeah oh my! Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, long, long, long time. It's horrific as well. Some of the stories, man. I'm not gonna lie, like. But man just said there, 28 years, 13 million people died. Yeah. yeah. Mm. And no one is talking about it. This is the issue with Africa. Mm. Because we're not white, people don't care. People don't care. Don't care. Mm. You guys saw that woman that was... Um, so basically what happened, she... Um, so they rushed her village or something. She mm -hmm. got raped in front of her husband. Her husband got raped, I think. Then they cut off his testicles and fed the testicles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw that. I saw that. That's horrible. To, to and the what? Yeah. When was so that? They, they, Where was they this? They raped her. 
Well, Volga. just not so long ago. It wasn't long ago because I remember seeing it on the news. It wasn't long ago. That's demon, proper demons. I don't know. Man. Where is this? Congo. Congo. But there's been a lot of like, horrific rape stories, rapes in front of children. Yeah, men it's raped, really used as a tactic. Children. It a... It's a tactic, isn't it? Once rape happens, people run. Like, you're not thinking twice, you're not fighting, you're running. It's like the ultimate yeah, de power. Demoralize the, the enemy. That's it. Like, your woman got raped. How what would you do after that? And you baby just that. said she got raped, they raped him, cut yeah. his testicles, and I'm fed the testicles to the woman. Yeah. I'm done with life. It's just, it's yeah, this, this shit it's happens, so man, in wars. So horrific. Yeah, yeah. They're not on drugs as well. A lot of them, a lot of these guys are like, yeah, high on all kinds of stuff. I'm like, you have to be in a devilish state, and to get into that state, you must be. Like, man, what listen, human beings think about that stuff? If you see your woman getting raped, bro, you don't. I don't yeah, know. You know what? You know. Just, you know. I'm not gonna lie. Let's. Oh, sorry. Let's, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. oh, sorry. 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 <laughs> sorry. Sorry, man. Go on, Lily. Yeah. Go on, baby. If you see a woman, yeah. If you see, if you see your family getting that shit done to them, I, I would just fucking, I would nuke the whole village, the whole country. I don't care. I would if turn you, into a demon. But to, for them to do that, though, you probably don't have any power at all to do such a yeah. thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But for it to get to that state, that is literally the highest level of humiliation for them. Like if we've done that, you've lost, we lost a lot of time for that to happen. And they know that it's farmers. Mm. It's even in my country, there's a lot of cases, Axon will tell you, where rape is used as a weapon from both sides. Yeah. You know I mean? And usually yeah, it's when the villages have no power. Yeah, either. usually it's the poor people, the villagers, the farmers. Villages, you know? farmers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Always the villagers and farmers, too. Yeah. But they know what they're doing. This is a war yeah. tactic, isn't it? So right. they're doing yeah. it to humiliate you and your whole tribe. And yeah. Oh. It's like sadistic point score. Oh, this one. Okay. I don't know what I'm saying. Stand up for cold ones. Fight. A lot of police, man. Apple, we're no longer asking you, we're demanding you. You ever let our people go, and we're not going to let you rest. We're not going to freeze. We're going to be on your neck 24 7. 24 7 we're gonna be on you we're gonna be on you you wanna know you don't wanna let my country go you wanna keep using children you wanna keep using little girls little boys you wanna keep raping our mothers our sisters you think you can get away with it you're not gonna get away with it i'm telling you god has spoken i'm telling you this is god speaking this is god talking we have had enough Hi, hi, hi. Anyone? Oh, you do it. We have had enough. Do you know how many lives I've lost? You know what? If you want to take heroes, go ahead, take it. Leave the people alone. <laughs> yeah. Leave the children alone. Hello. Congo is the most blessed country in the world. Sorry, brother. Oh, okay. Africa is the most blessed continent in the world. Yes, yes. Hmm? Country? We can, take, we can take. It will never run out. We are so blessed. We will never run out. But leave. Do not take the life. Do not take the innocent. Do not take the innocent away from the children. These are innocent people that are killing. How will you feel? How would you feel if your child was a loser? Shame on you! Shame on you! Shame on you! Shame on you! They're behind a the cordon. They're behind a the line. Yeah. They're behind a the cordon. Oh wow! Yeah. So on the other, on the other side of Apple, behind a cordon. Everything went past. Yeah. Hello, people. And the police protecting the building. Oh, that, or, or is that just customers on the other, like regular public? On the I don't know side? what that is. That's about police are just protecting the building there. Are you mad? My show comes to the Powers Network. I am live at the Congo protest in central London. 
I am here with fire of truth, my brother. How you doing? Respect, my brother. Respect, man. We keep bumping into each other at these protests, man. I'd like to see. I like. I'm glad to say our visions align. Yeah. And do you know what? I'm, I'm privileged to be here, supporting the mandem and supporting the females, supporting all of Africa. But my brother, the ratio up here is a bit mad. There's more women than men here. What's your take on that? My take is mandem are in the gym, bro. In the gym doing what, cuz? Exactly. They need the muscle hair. We need the muscle hair. We need the. James, where were you in the morning? He's again, Jim. Why are you in the gym? Why are you in the gym? Man, I was in the gym. Man, he would never be there. So, babe, I don't know what you're on about. <laughs> no deep wow. protest, money. Money. Prepping for the revolution, man. Huh? I don't know about protesting, man. Yeah, he, he, this, anyway. but yeah um Sentiment why are the man them, why are the, why are the man them not there maybe uh, one this reason is, is because it really it, well, i'll say one reason is mm. it may not have been promoted uh that that well and obviously well, you might have to be in certain circles or whatever to maybe catch the news that this protest is going down maybe more promotion would have done well and maybe because was it a weekday? Maybe the only well. protest because it's popping and it's an opportunity, it's like a camera opportunity and whatnot, right? Do you know what I mean? So mm. they may not have seen this one as being as popping. Maybe they're tired from all the um Palestine marching that they've been doing and the Black Lives Matter marching. Maybe they're <laughs> tired. Do you know what I mean? Because <laughs> so protesting does take a lot out of you, it's an energetic thing. Do you know what I mean? Maybe a lot of man's working because you know cost of living and that a lot of man's That's what working. I would think, yeah. People work for weekends, like even if it was a weekend. I'm guessing. And, and then a lot of men just don't give a fuck. Like really, they just don't give a fuck. They That's really don't really. The main, really. I, and the truth is, yeah, don't get it twisted. Because yeah. you see thousands of people going to this protest and that pr protest. The truth is, most people actually don't give a fuck. You know, like mm. like. Don't think that protest's not full of people that actually generally don't give a fuck. And this is just a menial little gesture. Like the masses, they ain't doing shit in their life to support Palestine or very rare. Just that's it. They're just gonna go to that thing. But obviously, it looks good for the visuals. You think, right, wow, this many people are impassioned and very rare, but people walk I around think what and would do... it be something a bit more beneficial was if they actually mm. got in contact with people in Congo. There's a lot of brothers out there that are trying to build temporary houses for orphans, for widows. That probably, even though it's still a plaster on the situation, that's still going to benefit. Everybody dropped a pound, that's probably a house. All of this, standing, what, what are you going to, everyone's going to go back home and feel good that they did something. How's it helping? Like hated, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? It's not going to help any of the people there. Or get together and do something where you actually are physically helping these people. Because there's so many widows, so many children, like literally displaced, living in tents. It's ridiculous. It's wait, so wait, bad. Mr. Sarah, Sarah, hmm. would you, would you want to say that the protesting was hard on? I just remember. Was it you? I don't, I don't think whether it's halal or haram, it's not from our religion. It's nothing to do with us. It's not from... Yeah. It's not nothing to do with us. It's not our culture. It's not our religion. We don't. I don't. Even as an Amhara woman, we got war in our country. We don't. Who's protesting? Fun now. We have our own resistant groups doing what they need to do. Farmers, local men, um, protecting the villages. We don't protest. That's not from our culture. We just do what we need to do. We're very hot-blooded people, Amhara people. Who's protesting? There's an actual genocide happening in my country right now against my people. No one's. Pro we don't care about protests, bro. We're gonna do what we need not to like do. Not like the Tigris. To protect yeah. our lands. To protect our farms okay so how about those that can't go over and protect the land protect the farms those that ain't got money to send and very rare, rare if they protest then that raises the profile and then more people maybe would start getting involved in sending aid in that what about you that so? well yeah maybe if they if they was out there like these lot are out there, then more people would know about it. People on their buses going home and Google it, what's going on. And possibly people that care might then activate. Hmm. Yeah. So we are going to treat the symptom, but not the illness, right? 
that's what you're saying, really, Jets. Well, while people are on the ground fighting and trying to resist and doing whatever, people that are not in a position to do that, rather than doing nothing. Mm. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I know what you mean. Yeah, but the problem, <laughs> the problem still is still though, right? It's quite new, right? Being poor and not having nothing had always existed. But this protesting thing isn't that. From when? When did it start? What were people doing before that? When shit popped off. I mean, mm, yeah, but now, yeah. now we got the opportunity used to silence people and rub their egos a bit. Now you feel good. You go home, have a good night's sleep because you did something. That's all it is. Hmm. Do you know what? Yeah, I think all oh, this is easy, yeah, Sarah, to say when hmm. you don't really believe in democracy. You see, when your social yeah. contract has been broken, this perspective that a lot of us are running with right now is easy to access. You get it? All this stuff about how it's not going to work, all this stuff about you should be really doing resistance. Like, it don't make sense to somebody who's bought into the paradigm of the thing of called the democracy, where if you'd speak up for somehow you're having your say in it. And that's the difference it is to these people. Every, not I wouldn't say every single person, but a lot of the people within a crowd of this nature feel like feet on the they ground, bombs on the seats, numbers makes a difference. Yeah. Yeah. I think we need to start as well, like Beefy said. Um, a lot of people, Cobalt's quite hard though. Like most companies do use it as well. But don't buy a new iPhone. Let's see how many people buy a new iPhone. All these people protesting. I'll, don't buy a new iPhone. Don't upgrade your iPhones. Mm -hmm. I'm saying. Don't. Don't do all of that. And then be up. Yeah, it's not only iPhone. It's basically every iPhones, smartphone. Most things. But just. Who's going to do that? Until it. I don't know. But. Yeah, it's, it's all well and good until some simple thing needs. You to have the news. Fixing it. Man. You get me? It is tough, man. Because they are rapidly changing how to access stuff. That's what I'm saying, man. This boycott, boycotting Apple, Zara. Ah, we need something Plaster, bigger. Plaster. Plaster. Mm -hmm. Another plaster. Something that can make an impact. Boom. Well, it seems that the things that make impacts are, are, are things that can't be spoken, I believe. I don't know. Yeah, that's it. You know? <laughs> well, like, boy, like, well, not even, you, you know, you can imply and stuff and whatever, but outright saying, mm. you know, I don't know, because, like, I think it's, it's that deep. Like, I think it's that deep. Personally, if you're going to, if you're going to affect Apple, affect Apple, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, you know what I mean? Affect them, then. If you're gonna affect Apple, otherwise, yeah, I don't know. Cause see, it's not like down. Ukraine where yeah. it's not like the Ukraine where people are, are are running for a chance to get on a plane and go out there and fight. Give me, like people ain't do that. Do that, well, you probably get done for terrorism. Yeah, people are helping that. militias in. No, oh, yeah, 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 of course. You do that. So, guys, I put up like an article, right? Certain significant protests that changed the course of history. Okay, here we go. Okay. Mm -hmm. right, show, show your. Uh, Should I share my screen? Let me speed through yeah. this. Let me. See. What do you want to do? Yeah. Do you want to? You, let's yeah, get yeah, through this screen. first. Share your screen, and then we'll get okay. back to this. Yeah, I can't see that. Okay. Oh my god, that's the first one. Wow, man. Yeah, yeah, this is fun. Oh. This is fun. Let's do this. Yeah, seven yeah. It doesn't say. Joe, okay. Yeah, Political protests have reached past with very de de degrees of success in accomplishing uh, what they are originally set up to do, right? Ba 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 ba. Bullshit. Okay. George Floyd. Oh. Been. What are we Floyd. saying? Did that change? No comment. Let's you... be honest, that was a flop. Let's go. Carry on. <laughs> nah, nah, wait, now nah, what do you mean? Go, 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 nah, I don't think it was a flop. I've got a couple of people, what? so I was, I, it went a flop. Well, well, they got peas. It went a flop. Yeah. For them. Thank you. I'd say, I'd say I think that I think them lot got peas. I think a lot of people got peas off of this. Yeah. I'd also yeah. say that it, and it, it, did, it, it did what it was purposeful to do. Yeah, when you look at the way the um, corporate landscape has changed, they've had an impact. Whether we like that impact or appreciate that impact or see it as um, legit or not is separate. But I think it had an impact. 
It did have an impact. Totally. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what's the next yeah. one? Next one, go on. It's actually quite interesting. What goes after that? March of March Science. Of Science. What? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Read it, really. I don't know what the hell that is. On Earth Day is a oh my god we have an oh. earth day you know 22nd of april 2017 uh, roughly 100,000 people marched on washington dc in a oh. non partition rally to celebrate science and promote making policy decisions using scientific oh. evidence particularly on issues like climate change public health yeah oh like the women's god. march the, the march of science was inspired by the election of president trump <sighs> Look, you're free. Really? You see what you're friend doing, friend? yeah? Well, no, man, leave me alone. I'm not free from this. <laughs> well, now look, we, have you, we have you Liz now, innit? So they have changed some stuff. That's just getting worse and worse. Up. No, What's no, the next no, one? Keep going, keep going, keep going. Uh, okay, the plastic okay. bags are a pound in that. The one was much in uh, Washington, yeah? Oh, What's that? I don't know. Oh, oh, man. Oh, that's Misogyny, blah, 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 behavior oh, from yeah. Trump. It's something to do with Trump. It's probably because of his comments. Let's carry on. Yeah. The so Protestant, the Protestant Reformation. Interesting. Um. Oh my days. Are we really doing this? By no. no, we're not doing this. Martin Luther in Germany. You know, the, when they started to, when he made yeah. the Protestantism. Okay. So that changed the law. That's a, that's a big one. Yeah. To be fair. Yeah. But yeah, it is a big one. Yeah. Just kick her off, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he just can't believe me. I'm just yeah, reading it. Really yeah. Oh yeah. my god. The scientism. Uh, what? What's the scientism? What so I was actually keeping reading. The other one was the storming of Bastille. We uh, are okay. Gandhi and the Boston Tea Party. Remember that one? Yeah. Seventy-seven-three. Boston Tea Party. Yeah. The South African National Day. Uh, March of Washington, Tiananmen Square in China, I guess, and uh, Berlin, Berlin protest. They changed it up. That's a big thing, you know. Berlin protest. Oh, yeah, the, the Berlin uh, Wall protest. Yeah, Eastern uh, West Berlin, isn't it? This is a big thing in 1989. Um, uh huh. Iraq war. Yeah, but that's that's before I was born. So yeah, stop know. that. Stop that. Stop that. Iraq war. Man said, "I didn't do anything there." To be fair, what's the? Apparently, a million people came out for the Iraq war protest. Yeah. They, still yeah. went, they still went there. So I don't know what this is. Up. Yeah, <laughs> with pests, with lies, and they came back years later. Like, yeah, we lied, guys. Just lies. Just deal with it, guys. Just deal with it. The Orange yeah, Revolution in Kiev. Yeah, that didn't end well neither. Mm. In fact, it's still ending. Ah, right. uh, this was dead, man. Sorry, I only knew it was dead after the first three. Though, to be fair. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that was a flop. I know said, before it came. Up. Said, you know what I mean? Most of these big platforms are run. A lot of the black community platforms are run by Congolese brothers. Where are they? Where are they? I don't see them. Where's the 90s podcast that was disrespecting Congo? Where's Bobby Kasanga? Where's Major Fit? I'll call out names because this is out of love. You lot Whoa. should be here. I've got respect for you lot and your platforms, mm -hmm. but you should be here on the front line because it's just sisters here. I want to turn this up. I can't turn this up without brothers here. There's not enough brothers for us to turn this up. We should be outside Apple. We're across the road because the women are shook and they should be. There's not enough men. We're not protecting our women. Real I'll true. say African brothers, you're not standing up for your women. You're not here. They must question. Af when I say African brothers, I mean Caribbean, the whole diaspora. <laughs> I'm not just kidding. <laughs> I'm talking about us. They must question. We're here, yeah? You see everyone with phones and Android and Apple phones. Yeah? <laughs> Don't you think Voila. the first step <laughs> it's true, they're filming it on their phones, is that <laughs> yeah. with the cold box. That's what I'm saying, man. Yeah. Oh boy, what can you do? I don't know. But could you say you've already bought it, it is where it is, but it from is now on, I'm not going to Yeah, but miss, and even listen, then it's tell hard. Them, everything has it in it. Yeah. Like, tell them to that's their phone. You think they're gonna throw away their phone? No. But it's already been done though, you've purchased, you've already given them the money. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know people that said from now on, I'm not going to ever purchase another Apple product. I respect, Do you know. But then it's like a lot of even the smaller companies probably take it from 
But I, I don't get it. Why, why is it only Apple? It's not only Apple. That's the thing. It's yeah, the exactly. fucking whole so, technology world. It's yeah. the whole technology world. Science, everything, everything. Yeah, all the computers. It, I'm sure there's a specific reason why Apple's being targeted. Maybe it's in the same way you see with the sugar thing and all that and capitalism, they always so go for Coke and not Pepsi, and it's like both of them. Mm. It's just because it's the popular one. Yeah, Maybe I think they generate so. the most money or whatever, or the most It's like the or... symbol, the. Or the... mm-hmm. well, maybe they're the yeah. biggest. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, true. Know. They are the biggest, and to be fair, they're, they're the, the one that would make have added extra appeal to it. The most growing as well. Yeah. But Microsoft is up the road. They could split into the group. Come on, God. Right. No, but yeah. you know what I'm saying, like Michael, you know where Microsoft is. is nah, from there's here, not enough. Not, there. Didn't you hear him say there's not enough? It's yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. So, so that means more people need to go or just stop protesting. And know. he did answer the question when he said that you know if there was more people there, you know, it would have been yeah more. Yeah, I yeah. get that. Yeah, but maybe the bigger the crowd, the bigger the the bigger the crowd, the bigger the, 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 bigger the, crowd, the so-called bigger the impact. Well, not necessarily the impact, but more the bravery of the crowd or whatever. True. Mm. Strength in numbers type vibe. Mm-hmm. Get me. It well, right, the witness vibes, though. But the they're not only taking cobalt the crowd from... Was bigger, they wouldn't even let you on the road. Trust me. Mm-hmm. If the crowd's bigger, they won't even let you on the road. Not, oh, God. They're not only taking cobalt, though. They're taking a bit of the stuff from Congo. Oh, yeah. Loads of minerals. Loads yeah. of minerals. Mm-hmm. It's, it's, it's interesting um, that they're all there. Yeah, no, it is a very risk, like resourceful. They're actually in yeah. that location. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. It's like, a lot of. It's funny that, that this even, even still that this gets overlooked in all of this, like the nature of that. They actually combat. flattening whole villages to get to create yeah. these mines because these were just normal villages. They weren't mining spaces. They were just villages. They kick the people out, they flatten it, then turn it into a a mine. Mine, yeah. To be boycotting the phones <laughs> before we come out here. I say the phones is a piece of us. It'll be hard to do that. The only way yeah, that there's lots of phones. The only way that's good, and they all they, they all probably contain the same mineral. But my uh, feel, feel. but my thing is until Canyon West makes a phone for the black race, because that's the only person who's gonna do it. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? No. I want that easy phone. Nah. You know what I mean? Because nah. 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 you were talking about it on the internet the other day, yeah. easy phone. So I want that easy. All I'm saying is we need our own phone. Mm-hmm. We don't even have our own phone company. What's a black phone brand? If someone could tell man in the comment, what's a black phone brand? I will buy that. I will buy that. A, a last question. As long as it ain't made. No, I was going to say a joke. It would have been bad taste. I was going to say, as long as it ain't made by Niger, brother, going to take all my <laughs> videos. No, it's <laughs> not. Nah, nah, this is me. God, he said it every way. He said it every way. This up. guy here, he's a... Just this is meant to the Nigers, bro. No, but no, listen, no, 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 no. forget that. No, I love my Nigers, brothers. You should be here because you lot are the strongest fucking brothers in the world. You should be here, man. Where the Debo's at? But listen, though, my brother, yeah. What do you feel Congo needs to help escape out of this present um this um oppression? Do you feel like they need a collective of African countries to come together, or do you feel like this is an international affair and everyone needs to get involved? It's like they did, like they did with um, Ukraine and they yeah. did with Israel. Etc. The Palestine thing, I went to the Palestine protest, the numbers were crazy. This just shows you, you look at these numbers, this was just 1% of the Palestine protest. This is all of us problem. This is, it's not a we or a you, it's an I problem. Mm. I is all of us. You understand? We need to come together as the I and, and stand up against these things. Just like we did for Palestine. I see bare, more black people at the Palestine thing than this. Mad! And it's not a compar- it is a comparison. And and where are the Palestinians? <laughs> and where's the Palestinians? Oh, but they're busy they're though, busy isn't it? Still. They are kind of busy. Yeah, well, but that, that's the whole point, though. And <laughs> everyone's busy on their own thing. That was that's the that's the whole point. That everyone's mm. busy on their own thing. Then fuck it, then. So how come there was more black people at the Palestinian thing than at this? If that's the case, why are we not busy with our shit? Why is Africa not busy with Africa? We all know the reasons why, but um, yeah. Why? Why? Why are not African busy? What? Why? Really, baby? Yeah. No, no, I'm just cool. asking you. We all know the reason why. So why? Yeah, we know why they are not on ours. 
right? right. We do. Right. Oh shit, she got something. Because it's about Africa, man. Nobody cares about Africa. Why do they care about Africa for? Strong. They don't care. They don't care. They and they care. never will. Never will. It's just Africans caring about the whole world. It's not vice versa. It's not. Yeah. Somebody has to say that shit. <laughs> what? What? No, I agree. Anyone disagree? Yeah. No, I completely agree. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. um. Yeah, that's why we see whatever we see right now. Where are you, man? Oh, because oh, because it's not actually. Think, oh, why aren't you here? Why aren't the Palestinians here? You should be here because we was here for you at the Palestine protest. For real. For real. You see what I'm saying? Where's the Palestinians? I see about two here. Let's stand two. up for all of all of all of mankind, man. Yeah, that's all true. All of my mankind. brothers will come up for Palestinians because they're Muslim, and that's right. We should come up for Palestine. Palestine, but, but we should come up for Congo as well. But isn't that isn't that inkling to show what's going on out here? Because if black brothers are coming out for the Palestine thing because they're Muslims, yeah. What about? Uh, uh, shall I leave it? No, shall I leave it? <laughs> I'll leave that one for another day. Are you mad? We got fire. We the free Congo, free all of Africa, man. Are you mad? It wasn't these like <laughs> not even like, people but, though. I didn't know it was that much. To be fair. Yeah. More so, people than I thought was there. More people than I thought. Free Zaire. I genuinely didn't see the uh you know that the advertisement for this and that well, that's I what i was going to say that should have been like everywhere like everywhere um it definitely would have amped up the number of people <laughs> Mad, my soul, hundredized powers from Powers Network. I am live at the Congo protest. I'm here with a big brother, Shakara. Yes, How yes, you doing, my you. brother? I can't complain. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. You know what? It's good to see you here, man. Like, like I told you earlier, I've been seeing you on the internet for years. So to catch you here live in the flesh, I'm honored to have you here, my yeah. brother. But we're here for important business. Yeah? We're here for Congo. Yes. What do you think is the result? What do you think should happen? From this protest, there's a. I've been to sorry, I've been to a lot of protests where the energy dies after. Right, right, right. So after this protest, what do you think the Congolese people can do to keep this awareness alive? The, the first thing that we have to understand is that it takes organisation, yeah, to to really have effective change, um, and and power and force when it comes to solving these problems, yeah. And the other thing that we need to do in relation to organisation is to understand the connection between Congo and what's happening in Nigeria, what's happening in Niger, what's happening in Haiti, what's happening in South Africa, what's happening in Sudan. Because the reality is that when we talk about what's happening in, in Congo, it, it's a front of the near-colonial fight, which is the uh, imposition of foreign interests upon us as African people. Yeah, And so it's really not a war that Congo can win by itself. 
do you think the rest of Africa need to get involved, or do you think it's an international affair? No, it's it's a, it's a global African community that needs to understand what is taking place in the Congo and organize to stop it. Because when we talk about what's happening in Congo, it's a collective of European powers, corporations, and governments who are responsible for creating that 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 reality. Yeah, and so we we can't expect just the people of Congo to fight the entire Western world by itself. We have to come together as a collective of people, led by our people in the Congo, as it relates to the Congo, to support activities that are taking place on the ground in the Congo. And that means we support them with our people power, we support them with our financial resources, we support them with whatever resources that we have, yeah? Um, and so I think that, that, that one, of the, one of the key elements of this is that we need to understand what is taking place, what organizations are on the ground in the Congo trying to solve these problems and connect with them and support those organizations. When you say fight, what do you mean fight? Do you mean boycotting? That's that's one element of the fight. Okay. Yeah. What else would you recommend? And when you're in a state of, of let's say, uh, warfare, any any tool that is around you is a tool of that warfare. Yeah. yeah. So it could be military. There, there is there, there, People are dying. Yeah. yeah. So at some point, there, it may require us to take up arms to protect our people. That's one element of the thing. Yeah. But a lot of this is benefiting corporations. So we need to be able to amass the, the kind of uh, people power that can wage a sustained boycott against those corporations, if that makes sense. That's another element of the fight. Another element of the fight is being able to provide resources for our people on the ground. We talk about women being raped. Those women are going to need uh, 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 therapy, yes, and uh, health care, yes. We need to be able to organize and provide that. And there are, there are organizations on the ground that are doing those works. We need to identify who they are uh, and support them. Um, I've got one question. Yes. Do you think the Congolese people should stop buying or, or find another alternative to um, stop supporting the minerals? 100%. But again, it, it, that's only going to have an impact if enough of us are doing it, right? So it's not a, it's not a thing by just the Congolese people. It's all of us as, as a people that really need to be engaged in that. And so once we are sufficiently educated and organized, we can uh, coordinate that effort. So it's not just a haphazard thing, me alone, I'm going to make a decision. That's all fine. If you make a decision, I'll make a decision. That's fine. But it's, it's the, the effectiveness comes when it's a collective decision that is coordinated among a mass of people. Thank you, my brother. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. My brother, before you go, just tell him where to find you. Shakara Speaks on everything. Shakara, S-H-A-K-A-R-A Speaks. And you can also find me uh, as my media channel on Got Kush TV. Yeah, Got Kush TV. Check it out, family. I look forward to seeing you. Make sure you check out Got, Got Kush TV. It's been running for years. Yes. 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 Yo, big up, Love Shakara. Yeah. Big up. Big up. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah. Shakara spoke well as usual on that. And where we kind of all we kind of reached these conclusions already. A lot of what yeah because we spoke about stuff and then when we played it, the two brothers that were speaking kind of echoed what we were saying. Mm. You know all right, yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah. yeah. Free Congo. Free Congo. Are you mad? It's my soul. Hundred eyes from Paris Network. I'm a. Right, cool. Yeah, I'm at the Congo protest. I'm here with Mimi. How you doing, Mimi? I'm okay. I'm okay. As you can see, we we, we have to break the silence. I'm here for a purpose. I have my motivation is personal, and uh, we have it's about time. Enough is enough. Who's who's funding this atrocity? To be honest. We know that the shackles, that the Congo has shackles. And this goes back to the colonial time. Yes. Imperialists, we say enough. Today we can talk about Rwanda, but there's people behind Rwanda. That's we know the mm. UK is involved. You know the EU is involved. You know mm. the USA is enough, is, is, is behind. And um, why, why is it? Why is it that we call Congo uh, the, uh, the, the, the heart of Africa? We know Congo has wealth that undeniably the world wants. We want it for Tesla. We want it for our, our, our mobile phone. And enough is enough. For us, enough is enough. The world needs to know we're here to break the silence so your everyday person knows that the, um, enough is enough. We've had enough. Do you think Do you think the rest of Africa needs to get involved or do you think it's an international affair? It, sorry, can you ask that again? Do you think the rest of Africa need to come together collectively to work on this or do you think it's an international affair that needs to get involved? 
I think the day that Congo will be free, Africa will be free. It is important to unite. I, as a Congolese, I know that I always take, I, I always support the plight of wherever there is. If there's an end for SARS, if there's there's some someone, a, bl a black brother like me or a black sister like me is in pain, as we see in Nigeria, the conflict we support. It's important to unite and I call for all Congolese friends, I call all Africans to, to join this plight and save free Congo. Thank you. If people want to get involved in the protest, where can they follow? You know, I'm part of the Congolese Action Youth Platform. We lead a project called, uh, a campaign called Genocos. So we are in all the platform at Genocos. G Genocos is basically a combination of two words, geno genocide and cost. Um, Germany, we know with Geno Germany there's Holocaust. With us, the Genocost is show it really defined and clarified the link be why the Congo is, is 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 killing at the moment. Why are they killing the Congo? It's because of its minerals. So it's the Congo and the cost. C O S T. Congo uh, Genocost. Genocost. Thank you very much, Mimi. Yeah. We hope this success, hope this protest goes successful for you guys. Yeah. We're here rooting for you. I'm here supporting you. We will. You. Thank it's you very much. It's going to go on. This is just the second time, and I'm sure in two weeks time maybe, but you'll hear about about us on instagram on twitter we are there on facebook look for cayp that's a congolese action youth platform or general cost we're there and we'll keep you informed thank Join you us. thank you have a good day Yeah, man. It's hard to tell people don't do nothing. The platform that supports our people only, yeah? So free Congo. <laughs> Notice that a lot of people do have in common is that they're frustrated that the news outlet is not pushing their message accordingly. So I suggest people we start a black network or a black multimedia group to highlight these atrocities and maybe bring more people together. You know, as a collective, we are powerful. Yeah, I've heard you heard it before. Individually, we are one drop, but together, we are the ocean. So, yeah. Well, that was insightful, man. Nice to see. Big up motion. Uh, you say you like all Congo that. Get quiet on me, man. All right, let me see. So, I go on, family. Who's in the chat? Feel free to jump on family tree. Yeah, man. Yeah, bigger them up, man. I understand why they're doing this. I do. Like, yeah, it's frustration, man. But, yeah. Hot. Tell me what you think. This guy reckons that. Well, I'll let you tell it. I'll let him tell his story. Of a Freemason. This is live footage of a Freemasonry satanic ritual. <laughs> Man like motion, huh? My elder. What is your elder? Is that? My elder. Uh, you misbehaving yeah, like big up. My elder. Oh, big up. Big up motion. Big up, big. Yo, big up, baby. Well go on. What's good? My elder? Say? Yo, well go on, Axel. Oh, stop this, <laughs> Axel. Uh, <laughs> don't have it, motion. Motion finally jump off his horse to, to 
to jump online for me. <laughs> Lord Jesus, you don't want to start. I see, I see high you. horse. <laughs> I know you saw the Insta comment on that. Yeah, yeah, I'll catch that. I, I'm not allowed to comment right now, so I can't reply. Oh, hey. for fuck's sake. Uh, <laughs> they're banned me from commenting. Blood, yeah. Yo, you said, jump man. back on about the Axon White Flag. Join us, man. <laughs> Flay. Mm. Mm. So what so going on, though? Fuck, blood. Blood, blood yo, working nights. Well, about two uh, weeks of nights, yeah. and then back back to normal days last week. Mm-hmm. And then um I ended up getting nicked for breaking a guy's nose. <laughs> no way. No. <laughs> yeah. No way. Mosh. Yeah. 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 Oh, Come on. Talk, talk, story time with Mosh, man. Talk to us, mom. Yeah. Fuck's sake. You as an elder. So, Come on. So, yeah, don't think because I'm an elder, I won't bust your face. That's what I'm trying to say. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> <Nah>. <laughs> Flipping, I parked up in my van doing a job, brother. And the guys drove past me and literally just broke up my my, my mirror in it. Now mm. we get company vehicles, but we have to pay the excess in them thing. There, you get me. And mm. on these vans, they're talking like two fifty for a mirror, and I said, I'm not paying that for some other prick. So I followed him. Anyway, managed to fuck. I flashing, flashing. You pull over, pull over. Boom, boom, boom. Managed to pull him over anyway. I'm there taking pictures. This guy's trying to drive through me. Like, I'm in the road. The guy's trying to drive through me. Whoa. Whoa. And at one point, yeah, at one point, he's just kind of like pulled off. And he's just side on. And I just literally just swung my hand through the rust cut window. And yeah, just broke his nose, fam. Is Whoa. it? You, caught him. you drive Dude. by. You drive I by. caught him. Both. Caught him clean. You get me? Caught him clean and then obviously he called the, nice. the Babylon. The Babylon rolled up, had me in the interview talking some shit, telling about, oh, we're going to investigate. I just told him, listen, I don't trust you lots of investigations because your investigation seems like you want to just find people guilty. Yeah, you get me? Yeah. So, boom. And then, you know, them language they use, oh, was you aggressive? So I had to say to the police woman, listen, if I say for fuck's sake, is that aggressive? Because you, you lot are using swearing like to say that's what's classified as aggressive yeah, question, you get me yeah, yeah, yeah. you understand i said to him mate you broke my fucking mirror mate like of course i'm gonna tell him fucking do you know yeah. what i mean but yeah man so i gotta go back for bill next month and all the rest of it luckily my company they got the they got the um video cam footage on it that um cause we got cameras on our vans in it the front yeah um so yeah they they found the footage of him bracking up the thing and all the rest of it so yeah, but he and lied off. He, he lied and said he didn't. Yeah, bro, he sped off, bro. Mm. Me and him was on some right. high speed so pace. Then, what is he getting arrested for? For that? This is why I asked. I said this man's made me a victim three times, and you're gonna not gonna arrest him, but you're gonna arrest me because he's using his van to fucking try and usher me out the way, and he's ended up with a smack. Like, do you know what I mean? Yeah, self defense. Yeah, I just told them. Yeah, it's strange. It's the straight thing, my solicitor said. Hold on, if there's a policeman in the road, you'd be talking about a, um, a assault with a deadly weapon or attempted GVH or some yep. shit. Yeah. Yeah. It's that it's that it's stay, bro. Yeah. So yeah, fam, yeah. my whole shift, I was supposed to be I was supposed to be at work crew, but I got nicked at like ten in the morning. I didn't get home till like half eleven and all them time there. Yeah. Kicking back, you get me? The missus thought I was getting remanded and all that. You know what it's like, the missus was upset yeah. and Da, 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 da. Get me, but yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's it's all good. My mum, my bosses said, you know what? It's my bosses were cool. To be fair, they said, you know what? Your exemplary record at work is what saves you. <laughs> you get me? I said, oh, rascal. Wow. <laughs> I said, rascal. And no, also, bro. to be fair, God, you should have just you should have just took the horse, bro. <laughs> <You're in there. laughs> yeah. 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 Galloping in the <laughs> nay, 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 nay. That don't run. <laughs> but yeah, man, fucking hell. Mad thing. But yeah, but they are still, you know? Yeah, they are. They are. Nah, man. You nearly lost your job for that stupidness. You but you know, know what I realized? You, can go. Mm. you know what I realized, though? Some of what? these people, yeah, and it's not all people. But a lot of people, Europeans, women, they know the systems for them, right? Mm, yeah. They know the systems for them. So they know they can call out the police and say, oh, this black guy's been aggressive. And then they're going to come, you get me, with sirens on, full pelt, 
You understand me? Probably all five, six van. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's like a cold word, man. Mm, that's how it is, fam. So I just said, when they said to me about aggressive, I said, please don't use this stupid rhetoric on me. You get me? I'm way too old for it. Yeah? You're not doing it. You get me? Yeah? Forget that. These two women, they try to make interview me. I just tell them, listen, man, it's not like you lot's investigating ain't investigating. It's just your assumptions. We know what you lot do. Mm. You get me? Yeah, they didn't like it, but I said I don't give a shit if you like it or not. You get me? So at least you get to lick his face off. Pause. Ooh. Box, box. We don't oh, lick yeah. man face. A box, we box, box. them. <laughs> nah, I forgot. Yeah, I forgot you was to make. <laughs> <laughs> a box, we box, brother. You get me? But yeah, man. I saw it go. So, Why did he and you know the worst thing is that was so dumb of him. So stupid. dumb. My mind, you saying that I was chatting to a minute, so obviously he's wound yeah. it down to chat. But I didn't realize if I'm gonna use my van as a weapon, I better do my window up. You get me? Eat it. Eat it. But yeah, fam. <clears throat> Mad thing. So I gotta do. And it's definitely. And it's definitely broken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hos he went hospital that day and all the rest of it. My colleague saw him the day after. They said it, the, the bridge of his nose is all flattened out. <laughs> I said, shit. Oh, nice. How did, your I said, him? How did your colleague see him? Because the road that we was working on, they were working on it the next day as well. So he was back in that work? No, he was, he's not a worker. He lived in the area. Wow. Oh. <laughs> You get me? He lived in the area and was just being a dickhead and just thought, oh, yeah, let me take the piss. So, you get me? But, yeah, the next day, the colleagues them saw him and said, yeah, man, my man's nose is flat. And, oh, now, you know what people are like at work now, isn't it? Every little thing now, I walked into the to the, to the yard and everyone's like, oh, oh, no, I'm sorry, oh, I'm sorry. I'm yeah. sorry. <laughs> 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 Anything you say, yeah, so. <laughs> yeah, it was mad fun, but, yeah, man. It was stressful, but yeah, it is what it is, man. Deal with it now. So let me ask you a question. Do you think that, because mm. I found this little video, right? So do you think that anyone can get into the Freemasons, pretend to be a Freemason, and take video footage of the Freemason stuff and put it up on the internet and live? Um, if, you, if you live, you're going to be categorized as a madman. Yeah, so what they try and make what you say be the most unbelievable thing. But this whole imitating thing, I don't know, man. I don't know. These people know each other, innit? I don't know how they're imitating. Okay. This is live footage of a Freemasonry satanic ritual. <laughs> People say you sell your soul. This is what I imagine everyone to picture. This is a spiritual adoption that Freemasons essentially get to bring these children in. Each Freemason is assigned their own child. They do this little ritual with them, and it's essentially they're married spiritually. A lot of <laughs> oh. wow, wow. Wait, this one's strong in it, <sighs> Broski. Hold on. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Listen, listen, wait, wait, wait. This can't be, that can't be a thing. Right? How many likes have we got? It can't be 44. I was just seeing 50 a minute ago and this and that. What, what, what are we on on the likes? Someone tell me, please, family. Yeah, so this can't be a thing where they got to, like, ceremonially marry a, a child. Can it? That's I a man know, thing. I, I, but surely, I don't know anything. It means about that it. there's 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 men out there who remember being married to another man when they were youths in a Freemason home, and that's just a mind fuck. And the worst thing is that you look like I it's, expect it's, James Jones to look. You know, I was thinking. <sighs> yeah, I was thinking the same thing that these youths are walking around somewhere. Mad. That's a mad thing. Man's got a veil on. Brother, <laughs> I gotta reload it because what? Okay, quick. This is live footage of a Freemasonry satanic ritual. <laughs> people 
people say you sell your soul, this is what I imagine everyone to picture. This is a spiritual adoption that Freemasons essentially get to bring these children in. Each Freemason is assigned their own child. They do this little ritual with them and it's essentially they're married spiritually. A lot of times these children are foster children. I mean, if that doesn't sound like... Brother. What? Is that Muhammad the job? Mad. What are you saying? <laughs> hey. What? Hold on. Unlike pedophilia, then I don't know what is. After 32nd degree, you have to have a life-changing event, they call it. So you have to drink blood out of an actual human skull when you go into the 33rd degree. Or some people say that there's murder involved, rape. They have lots of little symbols that mock Jesus, that mock God. It's basically their way of practicing Satanism in a ritualistic sense. Freemasons will never say the word Jesus. It's always grand architect, supreme architect. That's crazy. There's a lot of judges that are Freemasons, and that's how you see Freemasons get out of jail free they say these code words while they're on trial and they get recognized by the judge who gives them a lesser sentence if you notice every freemason lodge for the most part is always located next to a police station or a city courthouse building and that's just strategic in my eyes freemasonry is not your home your home is with jesus christ why do they always ruin it with that man with what jesus christ with jesus christ thing. well <laughs> well, brother, I don't know. You got to check it. I don't know. You got to check it like this, yeah. When you deal with this subject of whatever free basis in the occult, a lot of it seems to be tied in with quote unquote Christianity, New Testament, Old Testament, Torah, yeah. Judaism, things of that nature. They seem to be implemented now. The big argument is: were these people that that let's say started the religions, if there were people that started the religions, were they a version of what you'd call a Mason now? In that case, it makes sense why they have lots of religious iconography and references. Or, or both of them are controlled. Both of them are controlled, created by the same people. And it's like, yo, they're giving you the red and the blue. You make you can make a choice between Christianity and or this stuff. And they're both gonna reference each other to to um confirm each other. So we've got to give you the devil's religion. If we're gonna create a religion, yeah, we're gonna create also con do the controlled opposition and create the way and the religion and the, and the beliefs of the of the devil and therefore we've got you if you choose one or the other we've got you a muslim would probably might might believe that or well, maybe not a muslim but someone else I don't know, might believe that it's a bit like yeah am i making sense I'm yeah yeah you're, you're making you're making sense but that's that's the part where where all my questions are in it I don't because I don't know, but I feel sometimes that they. I don't, maybe yeah. these are just real, Mac. Maybe huh? that's why. That's why whenever you look at stuff like this or whatever, it's usually being exposed by some religious person that believes that Jesus is the answer. Maybe yeah. Jesus is the answer, Mac. Yeah, fair enough. And you're I just saying that. that you're being ruined, being ruined by what the truth. <clears throat> <laughs> I just see it as part of a, a, a limited viewpoint. Mm. Do you know what I mean on on this subject? It just mm. it doesn't it doesn't seem like it fits. But I don't know. Then it, these are the mysteries. I think that's like, the yeah. trick, though. Yeah, go on. I think that's the trick to make things. Some of these things are so outlandish and unbelievable. That is what gives some people their security. The fact that. A vast majority, or at least, a, 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 do you know what I mean? A, a major amount of people won't believe it. Do you get what I'm saying to you? Yeah, and then you end up with the whole phrase of tinfoil hat, conspiracy nut, da 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 da, and all the rest of it. Do you get what I'm saying? 
Yeah, of course, of course. I, I get that, definitely. We're not trust them up below. Motion, do you believe in Jesus? Do I believe in Jesus? Not the name Jesus. Um, from 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 research, I know that at the times, other places wrote about somebody with si a similar person, but I, they didn't call him Jesus at the time. Do you believe you know in I mean? Yeshua? So, do you believe in Yeshua? I believe in a creator, but I don't know the name, to be fair. I wouldn't even say it was, do you know what I mean? I wouldn't say it nah, was Yeshua. What do you think about, what do you think about the... The prophet in the Bible. Oh, what do I think about it? I mean, I believe there was a person um, that used to profit, that he was a prophet, but um, the name and stuff like that, I'm unsure, to be fair, bro. No, uh, I'm not I, asking yeah. about the name. I'm not asking about the name, but this prophet, was he, he was inspired by God or sent by God or, or, or part of God, or do you believe in that? Who in, in, inspired, I can inspired, I can probably accept. Um, I don't know about one because one, you know, one with is, 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 you know, something else. And I guess that's something that we can't compute. Do you know what I mean? To say, oh yeah, I'm one with God. So for that reason, I'd be like, mm, I don't know. But was there a prophet? Was there a prophet that did things? Then yeah, I believe there was somebody that did that. Yeah. That person claimed to be God's son at, at the very least. Yeah, he did. He did, yeah. Um, but then he also said that we can all be sons of the Most High. So, Okay, what about the claim? That... Okay, cool. All right, cool. You've answered that. You've answered. It's a difficult What's one. What's going on, right? everybody? God bless you all. We yeah, got my you know. brother, Kyle Clifton, who was deep in Freemasonry. I mean, his story, just what he did, what the Lord called him to do, his mission to expose this satanic cult, it goes deep, man. And today he's going to explain everything he did, how he did it, what's been going on after exposing some videos he took. It's crazy because, you know, a lot of these things are kept secret. You know, it's a secret society and you know how the enemy is. He wants to hide things. He wants to keep things secret. Uh, who said, who said Nip Nipsey Hijab? You look taking the piss. Mad. <laughs> <laughs> Muhammad Hafu. <laughs> What's going on? Secret, so he's not exposed. So, man, I believe that the Lord used him to go in there and expose this stuff so people would come out of it. So, today we're gonna, you know, we're gonna talk about all this. All right, his eyebrows, like you can see, with like <laughs> looks like man's been playing with tweezers. What? You finished, you finished. <laughs> well, lucky you finished. <laughs> Your eyebrows on crit. Well, you finished. Uh -huh. Brother, that's mad. Brother, 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 what's that? What's that, brother? Brother, that's a mad yeah. thing. This, what he did, how he got in and just exposed some darkness. The Bible says in the book of Ephesians to expose darkness, bring light in these dark places so that people are not deceived. Because there's a lot of people that are in deception when it comes to Freemasonry and other cults, believing that, you know, it's a good thing and that it's the actual truth and, you know, this and that. And it's just. And the funny thing is that he's wearing that checkerboard t shirt. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, uh, no. Poor choice of garment. Uh, Speed racing. What's that? Hmm. It's just sad, man. So we're going to expose it today. So make sure you watch it all the way through, man. When did God call you to expose Freemasonry? Like, what happened? Like, how did this all start? So it was actually several years back, probably about five, six years ago. I was researching into the evil stuff that seems to be controlling the world nowadays. And I was looking into mm -hmm. Judaism. I was looking into Freemasonry. I was looking into all these, like, occult groups. I decided to reach out, do some research. I found there's a local lodge right down the road from me. And I uh, reached out to them. I let them know that I was interested in joining and uh, after uh, sitting with them and meeting I thought, so I thought they said that you that you have to be invited no you can is that true is that true I'm sure like Emmanuel and that was saying that you have to be invited I don't know if that was that's a fact my man just emailed them just texted them said, yo 
Well, go on. You know, a lot of them have switched you up nowadays and trying to be your modern. Meh says his moustache is a clue that he's mental. <laughs> man, man said he's rolling with a Bruce Grubber lion now. What's going on? Mad the grubs. <laughs> <laughs> it's mad, but I don't know, cuz cause uh, looking at his face, he's got the face of a character. Right? Yeah. Mm. You understand what I mean? He yeah. reminds me of the talented Mr. Ripley or some shit. Jesus. Yeah. He could he could tear off multiple things and keep changing. Right. The Scooby Doo mask. Yeah, but like several, like you can do the, the mustache, you can do the cheeks, the hat, he's got like some long ass hair. Yeah, he's some got, nonchalant he's got a beard face. that he can whack on. Yeah, change the eyelashes. Um, he's uh, probably got a scar change, somewhere. Change the contacts, take the hat off. He's got a whole different yeah. Long hair thing going on. Mm -hmm. Take the beard off. Put on. I'm um, take the moustache on. Put on a goatee. Turn it ginger. He's gone. <laughs> you, you get me? You wouldn't pick him out. Like it's just some nondescript android looking cyborg looking AI looking Scooby Doo mask man. Yeah, he's either that. He's either that, or they're gonna do a sting on him soon about his internet history. One of the Cause it's like, why am I not? It's not that I'm not buying it. Trust me, this brother goes deep into this story. Yeah, so it's not that I'm not buying it. It's that why are they let? Let's go. I don't I was know. meeting with them. I had to basically befriend these group of guys um, until they would invite me into um, into their little club that they had, their fraternity. Okay, so that's true. He, he did have to. Get their attention, then get invited in. He didn't he couldn't just sign up. Okay. After wow. um, about two years of uh, sitting down with them and having dinner with them every single week and getting to know them, they mm -hmm. voted me in. They have to do a, a unanimous vote. They voted me into Freemasonry. So I had to go through these uh, rituals. And I think I was a little mm -hmm. bit over my head uh, to begin with. Um, I think I wasn't ready to really expose them to the highest degree, at least right away, because I was so young. Um, but after after about six years, I finally grew a big enough following where I could uh, post this footage and go undercover. And I decided to do it. So after five years, I, I loaded up my... Grew a following? Mad. So what was the, what was the six following years, about that They stuff? didn't brainwash and ritualize the black, the, sh the fuck out of you. Really? And was it, what was the following related to? I don't know. My hidden camera set it all up. I went into the lodge and recorded their highest uh, degree ceremony. So you literally posed as someone who wanted to be a Freemason, but the entire time your heart wasn't on it. Like you just, you just, you had a, you had a mission. Yep, that's right. So and was there know, ever? I, was, I wasn't baptized at all. Um, after, after going through all of this, I realized I'm like, I, I have to get baptized. This just still doesn't sit right with me that I went through all this and I'm not baptized. And I, I got baptized and go to church every Sunday. I leave that in the past now. Yeah. Come on, Amen. So like, so when you were going. Through it, did you ever think in your mind? Hold on, did he say amen? I was expect I expected to hear Marsha Law. Yeah, true, saying <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's act fishing, you know, act fishing. You stereotyping motion, huh? <laughs> say that again, you're stereotyping. Yes. <laughs> cool. <laughs> cool. Thank you. And you're welcome. You know, black numbers ain't making no damn fucking sense. Otherwise, the blacks get up and down. But it's weird. Because when I joined and I it's put 40 weird, something, man. I had to literally leave, the ch leave it again to jump back on to see if my number was correct. Because it just looked weird. But yeah. Something now makes sense. But anyway. Yeah, you are not getting the, this feeling of this guy yet. He's just like I don't know. He's just back in church now. Yeah, six years in the Masons. Mm. 
your mind like you yeah, might be it or the entire time you knew it wasn't it um no no i knew it was never it um i knew that of course i always believed in god i always knew god was the the supreme being of our planet whereas the freemasons say that the, there's another supreme architect and it's they start to get into satanism and it's a whole wow a, a lot of times in the lower levels of masonry um they they don't really get too in depth into who the supreme architect is but as you get higher through the levels you start to kind of unlock some of the secrets and you realize that it is satan um wow Baphomet. man they have the upside down star. They have the, the Jewish stars on the wall. It's crazy stuff in there. What degree did you get to? Uh, so the way that the degree system works in, in Freemasonry, a lot of people think that the 33rd degree is like the highest degree. But the way it works, it's kind of a tiered system. So it starts out with the first, second, and third degree. The third degree is actually considered the highest degree in Freemasonry. And after the third degree, you can choose to go to different uh, sects of Freemasonry, like the York Rite or the Scottish Rite. Um, I've and heard about that. Yeah. Most people decide to go to the uh, Scottish Rite. Right, which gets you from the third degree to the 33rd degree. All they say that that knowledge is, is it fills the gaps between the first, second, third degree. So it's kind of a, you're not lateral. It's just filling in those little gaps between the first, second, third. Blood rituals, you have to drink blood out of an actual human skull when you go into the 33rd degree or 32nd degree. So, I mean, that stuff's real. It's pretty, it's common knowledge. It's out there. You can read all these scripts. Some of the stuff I, uh, I discovered or I, I filmed, it may have been known by tons of people because that was kind of my main complaint is everyone's like, like, yeah, Kyle, you, you didn't expose anything. Everyone knew this. Well, nobody's actually gotten high quality camera footage of these rituals. Yep. yep, that that is very true. Like you always hear about it, like people who came out of Freemasonry, but they don't have the actual like live footage of it going on. We've actually had people come to the church who renounced Freemasonry. They got delivered from demons, you know, gave up the ring and all that stuff and have exposed, you know, the handshake and the books that they had and, you know, left it at the altar to be burned and all that stuff. So so like, did you hang around people who are high ranking Freemasons? Uh, yeah, there was a few 33rd degrees in the lodge. It's pretty hard to get to 33rd degree. So just to explain the structure a little bit, first, second, and third degree can be obtained in about two years. Um, but after that, from third degree to 32nd degree, you can obtain that in one weekend. It's a little weekend retreat they invite. <laughs> See, this, is really? a, this is a thing a lot of these men will say that is like, is bullshit. This is masonry. Like, like, I don't know if it's bullshit, man. Yeah. I don't know if it's bullshit because it's deeper. But then than... you, see, you see with the, um, the whole agenda of things. It would make sense that they've brought in ways to expedite this process and get more people on board. Do you know what it is? I've, Do you know I've, what I mean? I've suspected for a long time that the idea of ranks and degrees is a little bit of a smokescreen. By that being said, I've kind of been shown that there may be someone you think is on whatever, second degree or whatever. Mm-hmm. But you have no idea what his role is, what his knowledge base is, and and actually what level he's been initiated into. True, true. I'd say right? that, I'd say it was so something that fact, goes very deep. They, they do it in a way where, like you know, like in you know, like in a war strategy, uh, the general might be dressed up as a as a private. Yeah. <clears throat> like that type yeah. of mixing and matching, so you don't know. You don't really, really know Wagwan. Mm -hmm. You get me? And there's people, there's people close up to, close at the top that really don't know the coup, like someone that they're standing right next to. But they would, but he would believe he knew the same. Basically, you you don't know what your fellow brother knows, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, no, I'd, I'd say really? there's a lot of stuff like that, and I'd say that it's something that goes deep sideways in terms of even outside of the lodge. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you know what I mean? There's other groups that hold different there's information groups, yeah, and, exactly. and there's, there's, it's like a matrix of how they connect. Yeah. And put the plan in play. Yeah, man. I swear there's a game like that where you got to... No, because when you, you think got, about you like, like, what certain women are on... you got to disguise and distract the person that's got like the item. Yeah. Um, distract the, the, the searcher from the... So everyone's got to act like they're the one that's got the item. Mm. So that the one that's really got the item can get through. Yep. Forgot what you call that. Uh, you know what? It's a great... It's... Go on. I was going to say, it's a great trick to do because I remember once going paintballing and we used that same tactic, you know. Mm. We had to, you know, one of them ones where you got to drop the bomb in the base and them thing there. Yeah. Okay. And we used that's the same the tactic set up in four groups, every group act like they got the bomb, so you must act like you're carrying something. 
You understand? Yeah. And it has to be believable. And it works. It does work. That's them kind of small screen definitely works. Mm -hmm. Definitely. I, I wouldn't put it past them. I would not put it past them. Oh, yeah. Rugby, American football. They do that in that little... There's better than they, plays, isn't it? There's yeah. better than plays, to be fair. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You fake stuff, yeah. yeah. There is, man. There's yeah. those a little fakery going on. Yeah, see one man making a break for it. You're like, right, he's got the ball. Mm -hmm. yeah, got it. Yeah. Some line Trust It's a crazy one. Basically two days. Um, you put on a little play for each degree. Mm -hmm. The third degree that we're going to be watching today is essentially just a play. They're, they're replicating what they consider the original Freemason. Um, but then after 32nd degree, you have to have a life-changing event, they call it, um, to become a 33rd degree. So really? what that life-changing event is, um, it's kind of uh, up to people's discretion because I've heard some people say they have to donate a lot of money to Freemasonry. They have to convince a lot of people to join Freemasonry. Some people say that there's uh, murder involved, rape, uh, tons of tons of other stuff that's involved. Like like something like dramatic has like something like has yeah. to be done. If you were to explain to the people who don't know what Freemasonry is, like what is it? Like what is Freemasonry? The way that I describe it is you take something pure like going to a Christian church or a Catholic mass and you see that they're celebrating God, they're celebrating Jesus. And the way that I <laughs> you take something pure and then you said a Christian church, which I'll be like, okay, cool. And then you said a Catholic mass. No no yeah. offense to Catholics, no. but nah, sorry. No. But, and sorry. You know what we can think? Even some of the old churches, Christian churches, when you no. see the flooring. I yeah, know, I, the... I was giving it a squeeze because like, I was just I was like, ah, <laughs> all right, cool. We, we give that one a little pass, yeah, just because we don't want to get too technical. But there's no way you're getting the, the, the Catholic church pass, man. Yeah, it's bait. Really it's all bait, man. man. That's too bait. It's That's all bait. Crazy. I've been in mad churches now, and it's just that eye is hovering above a lot of stuff. Just a pre in it, just pre in. <laughs> <laughs> I've been mad so, church. What, and do I know, keep, what do you know about? You know, it's like I keep going church. from place to place to place, and the same fuck. We just lurking. What do you know about church with the snake going up the cross and that? You don't know yeah, about and that. The yeah, snakes, yeah. Well, on top of it. <laughs> And the tro and the troglodytes, the troglodytes the troggler diets on the outside on the out oh, exterior. When you, add it up, when you add it up, it's like you're getting buoyed right now. Like there's no, you're better off going to one of them churches that's just above Iceland. What churches is that? Never mind. And what stuff. Iceland's? Stop paying them, man. You know, you know. Oh, just above Iceland. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, yeah, yeah, yeah. You mean Iceland's the like that? Like, like Iceland's the shop. Going to the ones that's um the old Mecca Bingo and that, but exactly. <laughs> oh, mad. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, listen, but there's yeah, that just shows how much money that these churches generate. Yeah, because the real estate that these people like, I'm like, well, how did they get this building? Like, you know, as I walk through high streets and that, or through areas, and I think, wow, that's a six foot old cinema, mm -hmm. old this, old that, some mad, mad church. Like, how Success are you getting these buildings, boy? This is peas. And you know what he said about the um near the police station thing? Yeah, You're always close to the police station. Kind of yeah, thing. I just realized it, car. Even the police station I went to one day, they got a Mason Lodge literally round the corner. Mm. Literally oh, the, around the corner. The tunnel that connects it. I wouldn't be surprised. Do you know what it is? It's just, it's just a nature to town centres, isn't it? There's a, way mm. they, all, there's a way that they've all been done. The bank's there, police station's there, the jail's there, the town hall's you there. You see the Brighton one? Just on that, you know that strip down from the station? Actually, oh, that yeah. long strip that goes down. The Brighton one's the stair on the right, just on that. I don't know what they call that, a high street or just a... You know what I'm talking about? You've been Brighton, right? I've been there, but I don't, I don't remember. Never come from the train like station this. before. Yeah, I haven't been Brighton train station, if I'm honest. I don't know, to be fair. That really little, yeah. yeah. It's just like one that one long road that goes up to the train station. It's like, but well, it's got shops and everything on both sides. Like, it's like a high street, basically. You've got a big Mason, Mason thing there. 
that I look at Freemasonry is it's the antithesis to that. It's basically they're they're mocking Christianity. So they have lots of little symbols throughout all of the degree work that you do in Freemasonry that mock the Holy Trinity, that mock Jesus, that mock God. It's basically their way of practicing Satanism in a ritualistic sense. Wow, man, that's crazy. They have deacons. They call the lodge leader. They call them worshipful master. They have tilers. They have like a guard that actually stands outside of the lodge with a sword so that if anybody tries to run out or run in, there's a guy literally just sitting in a chair with a sword and they call him a tiler. So everything has to be done in orderly. So to leave the lodge, you have to knock three times on the door for them to kind of let you out of the door. And it's all done in a ritualistic sense. So if anything goes out of order, the tiler kind of intervenes and says, hey, you guys aren't doing this correctly. What the heck, man? So this is uh, somebody entering the third degree of Freemasonry. So he's becoming officially a Freemason. So the initiate is blindfolded. He doesn't know anything that's going on. This is uh, completely new to him. He hasn't seen anything like this in the first and second degree. This is kind of the first time he's starting to see the ritual aspect of Freemasonry. Uh, wow. And he's blindfolded. He's basically playing the part of uh, a man named Hiram Abiff, who um, is well known in Freemasonry. It's kind of the original Freemason. I know that there's talks about him in the Jewish Talmud, but I'm not too sure on where the story actually comes from or if it's actually a true story. That sounds like the House of the Parliament. I can't lie. Slow <laughs> <laughs> down, bro. Give me the secrets of a master mason. I will take your life. This is no time or place, man. No secrets. Not to be about time, place, patience, or completion of the temple. Give me the secrets of a master mason. Look at Nipsey. <laughs> some weird stuff man go on nipsey tell him what word of is this we have slain the grandmaster higher than this this is no time for reflection what shall we do with the body agree Now the body, the body's being buried. Oh, you make him dizzy and not. <laughs> but they put on um, dirt on he shovels in dirt. So do you want to explain like what just happened? Yeah, so basically what you're seeing is the initiate is basically playing the role of Hiram Abiff. This initiate blindfolded and he's being led around the room and there's there's essentially these people saying, give me the secrets of a master mason or I will take your life. Yeah. And when he says no, they strike him in the head with a hammer. It's a mock execution and they push him down into this canvas where they carry his dead body around. And it's basically his reward for not giving away the secrets is to become reborn again as a Freemason. So it's essentially a Masonic baptism. What? So I say it's yeah, it's it's really a mockery of Christianity as a whole. And uh, they they carry him around the room. What they do is they put him in the corner of this, the room and they throw sandbags on top of. So it's to make him feel like he's being buried in a shallow grave. And they have a they actually have a bucket uh, with uh, dirt and a shovel, and somebody's actually shoveling the dirt while they're lo loading the sandbags on top of him. So it's it's all part of the ritual. Yeah, a Freemasonic baptism being like born again into Freemasonry. And, yep. and did you did you go through this, Kyle? You went through this? I did, yeah. Wow, man, that's crazy. What were you thinking when you went through it? Like when you, when you were going I, through it? You know, I prepared, so I I looked online, so I knew exactly what was coming. So the whole time that this stuff was happening, I was uh, uh, professing. So if it was a ritual, like this is where I, where I get skeptical. If it's a ritual, 
or like an oath. I don't know if you can, I don't think oaths work like I'm going to take the oath, then I'm going to say psych at the end. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Like these rituals, you can't just say psych at the end. You've been through all of this and then you say, oh yeah, <laughs> by the way, I'm really just a Christian that loves Christ. Haha. <laughs> like you didn't just do the Ouija board. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's a mad one. It's like, how do and you... maybe maybe this video is there because they're showing a mock thing, right? So it's there to kind of almost downplay what's been said <clears throat> in some ways about actual markings and them thing that you get me on the live ins yeah. and all kinds of yeah, stuff. Yeah. Maybe it's a way to downplay all that stuff by saying actually this is the ritual that we do this or they it. do. Yeah. Yeah. I think I think there's just play play lodges around as well, man. Do you know what I mean? I think I think that's something. Dibby Lodge. Uh, so you know, like a Dibby Chinese Dibby whispers. Dibby Lodge. Yeah, yeah exactly. Dibby. Like you know, like a Chinese whispers, and it's just, it's just gone around. You got some little small town version. They're just doing their thing. Somebody gets to be the mayor, but they're not really on it. The senator don't really chat to him. You get to be chief of police. You're just doing police, and so, do you know what I mean? Like I think there's yeah. the small town element of it, and that's what keeps it to a place where when people start saying. Yeah, this is something bigger than it is. People are like, oh, no, it isn't. We're just doing theatre. And everyone in the room is doing theatre. So they're man having a lodge clash. Exactly, man. I think I think there's some of them are just kind of child's play compared to others. BB can't really talk on this because obviously we all know he's a Moroccan Mason. Oh, he's gone. Oh, oh shit. Play so, yeah. up, Bibs. Well. His, his apron was itching him. <laughs> Sing my faith in Jesus Christ. Um, and then, like I said, I, I felt like after I did it, I, I was a little bit over my head. Um, that's why I, I decided to get baptized and, and uh, go Yeah, through. like like fully surrender to, G, to, to Christ. Amen. Exactly. Amen. So I'm guessing like this is when he comes back. Okay, so Freemason. Okay, now they're bringing him back. Carrying the dead initiates, initiates body they just killed. So this is body. It's like the, this is like the morning ending. Let us make our escape back the kingdom. Let us hail Hail, Captain Hail. Hello. Is that your ship yonder? It is. Whither are you bound? Ethiopia. Much. What's up? Are you going there for, man? Why are they bound to Ethiopia? And it's like, Ethiopia, yeah, okay. also, Ethiopia. And see, see, and see with history and that. Do they mean the whole continent? Mm. Like, Possibly. <laughs> but either way, let's just say it. Tigrinya, Tigrinya. Yeah. I'm harder. I'm harder. <laughs> yeah. They heard us right. where the meat was. They want some fermented pancakes and raw meat. It, yeah, they were like, let's, let's get it. <laughs> Has anyone got a boat? <laughs> fermented crumpet. Oh my Bad. Is that your ship yonder? It is. Whither are you bound? Ethiopia. You take passengers. I do. Will you take us? I will. You have to keep an all path. We have no pass, but we have money. And we will pay your demands. You cannot go, for I have strict orders not to take work from the temple out of the country unless express permission from King Kong. What shall we do? We'll put it back in the back. Agree. King Solomon pulled up. Why is, why is that guy in the red dress like Uncle Akeem, though? What's going on? Yeah, it's King Solomon. Doing the hand sign. 
Man, oh yeah, man does some mad thing. Wait, wait, is it? Is it here? <laughs> mad move, bro. Who is it? What the heck? Yeah, yeah, but they're judging, I man. Wow. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Below above. Lodge of high, you know. <laughs> so you guys are walking around the, the dead body, right? Yeah. You're walking around and you're essentially we're we're essentially going down into hell and saying this like ritualistic prayer while we're doing it. If you listen to the words very closely, they're talking about as above, so below. They believe that they're entering another realm while they're saying this prayer. Wow, bro. Would you feel like cringe in there, bro? Would you feel off when you were in the Freemasonic Lodge? Oh, yeah, lodge? 100%. Yeah. Anytime they say, say the word God, they actually bow their head down in shame. It's it's pretty interesting. That's crazy, man. And that's Solomon. And who's the guy in the purple and the yellow? Uh, King Hiram of Tyre. So it's another one of the kings that are underneath uh, King Solomon. Oh, in the Bible, the whole my hierarchy. God. Yeah. Oh, Lord, my God. Oh, Lord, my God. Is there no help? Oh yeah, this this is the move. So must have not been looking. Damn, it's it's pretty interesting. That's crazy, man. And that's Solomon. And who's the guy in the purple and the yellow? Uh, King Hiram of Tyre. So it's another one of the kings that are underneath uh, King Solomon. Oh, Lord, in the Bible, whole hierarchy. God. Yeah. Oh Lord, my God. Oh Lord, my God. Is there no help for the widow's son? Brother Hanukkah. Raise the body by the different minutes. <clears throat> so they, 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 they did they <laughs> see that. <laughs> so they, 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 they did they heat the shape. secret handshake. Look at his shapes. <laughs> Cut his shapes. Raise him from the dead. <laughs> yeah. When you shake the hand of somebody, um, if you want to like give them the uh, inclination, like let them know, like, hey, I'm a Freemason, you take your thumb and you put it on their knuckle. Yes. Yep. You put it on their knuckle, and it, there's further confusion that the person's not a Mason. There's little code words you can ask them. You can say the word Boaz. You can whisper it in their ear, and if they reply back with a specific phrase, then that's how you kind of know that you're speaking with a Freemason in public. All right. So he's been dead for 15 days. In their imagination. You will endeavor to raise the body by the true grip of a telegraph. So I, I guess the um the, the, the dead person is supposed to just they're told to just stay there the whole time. The real grip of a fellow craft handshake, the ja, the ja chin. How you say, ja chin? Ja chin. It's the second degree uh, code word. Usually the first and second aren't used as much as the third. So they're praying right now. And they're, are they praying to their God or like, to, or are they praying to Jesus? They're, they're praying to the grand architect. So they'll, the they'll never, Freemasons will never say the word Jesus. What? Man that is born of woman. Yeah, I don't know if that's true. I don't think that's true. 
would never say the name Jesus. I, I doubt that. Is of, uh, is of few days and full of trouble. He cometh forth as a flower and is cut down. So they never use the name of Jesus. You never hear him talk about Jesus. Never. I've been there for. I, I was there for five years, and I never heard them say the word once. Wow. It's always Grand Architect. Supreme Architect. So we've lost a year now. He was six years. Now it's five. Even when they. <laughs> say or write the word god they they actually write they don't write it all the way out they write g slash d that's crazy bro that it will sprout again and that the tender branch therefore will not cease but man dieth and wasteth away yeah man give it up to ghost and man gave it up to ghost it's like the bible says jesus gave up the ghost when he died Bro, they used amen, salvation, all that stuff. That's crazy. It's perversion. It's all a mockery. The lion of the tribe of Judah. What? Five points of fellowship. Mahabon, real good to master Mason. Wow. That's their. Uh, that's the code word that you know if someone is a Mason. Like if someone says Mahabon to you. Yeah, it has to be um, whispered in your ear while they do the third degree handshake. So it's five points of their body has to meet. So it's the the feet, the knees, the shoulders, and they got to kiss each other or like uh, cheek cheek to cheek. cheek to cheek. And that's when they whisper the word Mahabon. And this is like for Mason to Mason. Yeah. What's the difference between all the handshakes? It's just different types. The first one is to identify if you're first degree. So if you say, oh. hey, I'm a first degree Mason, then you got to show the password. So the third degree is the one that's most commonly used that you'll see famous Freemasons doing. So I kind of studied all the Freemason groups in Arizona, which is where I live. And there's some baseball players some Arizona Diamondbacks players that are Freemasons. There's a lot of judges that are Freemasons. And that's a lot of the times how you see Freemasons get out of jail free because they say these code words while they're on trial and they get recognized by the judge who gives them a lesser sentence. If you notice, every Freemason lodge for the most part is always located next to a police station or a city courthouse building. That's just a strategic in my eyes. That is strategic. Wow, that's crazy. It's almost like the Grand Master, her, her, whatever, her, what is it, Harim Abif, whatever. Yeah. It's like Jesus. And like, like they're trying to like, it's like the version of Jesus Christ. Exactly. That's exactly what it is. So now he's inducted in. They're all clapping, saying hello and giving him the handshake. This part is where they threaten you. And as far as like what you can and can't say, this is where they give you all the passwords and the degree work. This is kind of the official. You just witnessed the ritual. Now you witnessed like the, the ceremony. Okay, so this is the ceremony. So now he's making an oath. And they're going to read off all the things that um, could happen to him if he exposes this. Yeah. That is that I will always hell forever conceal and never reveal any of the secret hearts. Arts are points. This is crazy. Of the hidden mysteries of Freemasonry. Oh, that's crazy. The canopy of heaven. Uh, under the canopy of heaven. That's a deep one. I said they never said the whole universe or none of that bullshit. You know me, canopy of heaven. Mm -hmm. This one. So yeah, look, he proper exposed 
at least th this basic version. I hope of it. they can give out that phrase, and any Freemasons that identify it and hear it are supposed to come to their aid. So this is wow. This is like in public. So like if like if something's going on, they just put up that sign. Yeah, and, and then Freemasons. I was accused of doing this before. Doing doing <laughs> some distress sign, some Freemason distress sign. Yeah. All the light, which can be confirmed upon me. He's about to receive all the light from the large master. <laughs> It's an instrument in which you're taught to serve. That's, what, what was he putting in his, his hand? What is that? Uh, I believe it's a, a, a compass and a uh, yeah. square. For geometry, right? Yeah, it's all about sacred geometry to them. Their main symbol in Freemasonry is the compass and the square. So this is a spiritual adoption that Freemasons essentially get to bring these children in. The way that they look at it is it's a child bride. So the child wears a veil, dresses up in sometimes a wedding gown, and uh, usually it's for the boys, but there are instances where they bring girls in also. Um, and each Freemason is assigned their own child where they walk down the uh, to the altar and they do the... Emmanuel! <laughs> is this true <laughs> is this true i don't know man this is a deep one yeah those black and white towels they're marrying picnic do this little ritual with them and it's essentially they're married spiritually it's very what? creepy stuff yeah and it's for the higher degrees uh, this isn't like a requirement they say they want to help the children a lot of times these children are uh, foster children that's kind of the scary part to me is they're bringing in these already damaged children and they're introducing them to freemasonry and they're spiritually marrying them i mean if that doesn't sound like pedophilia then i don't know what it is that is man that's exactly what it is that's crazy that's sad so they're going and they're adopting these kids bringing them in just to spiritually marry them and like kind of like train them up and groom them up to become freemasons later exactly so this is called the daughters of job so that's where this part kind of caught me off guard when i heard about this they essentially bring these children in this is a, a freemasonry for girls you have to be i think between the ages of nine and yeah, seven man. and I, you know we already spoke about this a few times i still got the page up um look you see i still got the page up on my tabs from when we covered this daughters of job thing. And there's a couple, man. Demo Lay, the Disney Demo Lay thing. There's, there's quite a few of these weird little things where they, they're involving kids and group. I just don't know. What it's just a scary thing. Joby to bees. Our bees are girls who are too young to join JDI but they can still benefit from learning how to work as a team and get out of their shell. What's, what? Why would you want your children to be part of this? It's scary shit, man. There's a whole society of people that just, you don't know what they've been raised into. Like, what is this? Mazel. Well. Teen, but the mm -hmm. Freemason ritual for little girls is essentially bondage rope. If you notice, they have these rope tied around their body. They teach them how to tie the ropes. They tie it around their breast. They tie it around their waist. And it's, it's essentially just bondage rope, Japanese bondage rope. That's crazy, man. That's crazy. The Eastern Star is for women in, that want to be in Freemasonry um, when they get older. So yeah. you'll see it's basically you graduate from Job's daughter to an Eastern Star. And their main symbol for their group is the, the pentagram. Wow. 
What? Freemasons absolutely hate when you say their secret passcodes out loud. They believe them to be extremely sacred and only ever to be said in a low tone of voice. So Talmud, Kabbalah, Star of Remphan, Mahabong, Widow's Son, Lion's Paw, Boaz, Shibboleth, Jaquin, and Tubalakin. So if you say these things out loud in front of a Freemason, they'll get irritated? Oh, yeah. That tweet actually got me a lot of death threats. People reaching out to me. How dare you say these things? How you dare you write these things down? Because they don't believe they should be written or said in a, in a high tone of voice. It all has to be whispered into the ear. Wow, bro. This is this is straight idolatry. This is like this is demonic, bro. This yeah. is demonic. So they, they like idolize these words. They idolize them like it's like it's wow, man. This is Mahabon crazy. Mahabon is the biggest one because that's their that's their go to. That's how they identify a Freemason. So when you throw that word out loosely, it kind of demeans the meaning of it, and uh, they, they kind of loses its magic that they believe it has. People out there that are watching, man, you see a Freemason and you're yeah, but they don't want to hide it no more. That's what it is. That's why you're out here doing it. And that's why you're living and walking. I'm saying these these Freemasons, bro. If you got a bag of judges and that sending you death threats, I'm sure they could they could make you disappear if they wanted to. So it makes me think that, yeah, well, they're just exposing themselves and using him to do it, or maybe even allowing him to do it. Maybe like if it just in case he's genuine, which I doubt, but just in case he's genuine. Uh, maybe they allowed him to think that he's outsmarting them and put it out there because everything is revealing itself in these days. Everywhere you look. Man, you could use this in a way, you know, have love and just let them know that you know about these passwords because they're not so secret. For any Freemason out there that's watching this that might be pissed off, we don't hate you. We love you. We want you to come to Christ because this is this is extremely demonic. You cannot inherit the kingdom of heaven following these practices, these rituals, the satanic religion. Look, if it has so much power, why would it be secret? Why is there a problem with letting people know? You know, in Christianity, there is no secrets. You can come to Christ and everyone's welcome. There's no like hidden things, hidden words, rituals that you have to do. To, to uh, I don't know, brother. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I think some things are. Forgive me. Forgive me if I'm wrong. But did Jesus not? I'm sure Muhammad did. But did Jesus not take some of his followers and and give them some stuff that wasn't for everyone? Or maybe maybe that was just Prophet Muhammad. What's interesting is that Star of Renfran thing is in the, is biblical, isn't it? Well, yeah, but it's not the Star of David. It's, mm. it's, it's been renamed and repackaged as the Star of David. Oh, yeah. Creepy. Star of Renfram. That's, um, that's Zulu's thing, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> that's Zulu, Zulu's situation. Uh. All uh, right, this is nearly finished anyway, guys. Big to acquire rank in, in, in the kingdom of God is like for me. faith in Jesus Christ, loving God and like your neighbor as yourself. Me. So, Kyle, you said that um, after exposing these videos, they, they tried to break into your car. They broke into your car? Yeah, so in the middle of the night, right after I posted this video, my car alarm goes off. Me and my uh, roommate run out with our rifles, trying to find whoever did it, but they were already long gone. And then I received a legal notice, somebody knocking on my door, trying to serve me papers for a lawsuit. So I'm not sure. I still haven't heard back. I still never got in contact with that process server so i still don't know 100 percent what it's for or from uh, but then after shortly after that what? the freemasons released a statement which is what we're looking at here this is to be shared between all their lodges in in the state it's a newsletter that went out to all the masons an official wow. release yeah. hmm. He's not unknown to the internet. A simple search will find something similar, but his posting did expose him as someone who cannot be trusted more than an exposed our fraternity. The band lodge is investigating this incident and will act upon the results according to the Arizona Masonic Code and legal advice from the Grand Council. I request that you refrain from spreading any rumors, but if you have direct information about the posting, send it to the Grand Secretary. Mm -hmm. oh, I don't know, man. Oh, this is sent to all Masons. All what Masons? Who? How? Nah. Oh. Nah. I ain't feeling it. 
One of the med members has posted on social media videos of our ritual. I feel it, man. Of trust in a violation of his obligation to the craft. He took an oath and could not keep it. The information he posted is not unknown to the internet. A simple search will find something similar, but his posting did expose him as someone who cannot be trusted more than it exposed our fraternity. The Grand Lodge is investigating this incident and will act upon the results according to the Arizona Messianic Code and legal advice from Grand Council. I request that you refrain from spreading any rumors, but if you have direct information well, about the post it, it's broke it's into your car, have you had any other you know, death threats or any type of, like I would say, like spiritual war? Broke into your car. <laughs> That's what they done to you. They broke into your car and did what? What did they even steal anything, brother? They just opened your car, made your alarm go off, turned off it. the immobilizer. <laughs> yeah, I ain't feeling it, man. I ain't feeling it. Warfare going on? Yeah, I definitely. I, you know, I can feel it. I know that they're doing some weird stuff in that lodge. They're they're trying to spite me for it, and I can feel the the spiritual toll on my on my body. Uh, mm -hmm. But going to church every Sunday, I mean, I can and praying really hard to Jesus Christ, I can feel that uh, immediately lifted from my shoulders. Amen, oh. amen. Yeah, you know, spiritual warfare is real, man. We're going to be covering you in prayer, bro, because this is this is important. This is this is big for the body of Christ. It's going to help bring a lot of people to Christ. Um, And then not a lot. Still has some things he needs to let go of, but I believe he's going to come to Christ soon. He's filled with the Holy Spirit, give his life to Jesus, get baptized and all that. So we're going to it might be my number one live video on YouTube. Like, and a lot of people were commenting down below. Bro, when it comes to Freemasonry, it's a generational curse and it passes on. I know this just personally because of um my wife and my brother-in-law, man, their, their father's a 32nd degree. And um, when they came to Jesus, you know, they had to get a lot of prayer for like, you know, deliverance, just healing from that stuff and generational cycles. So, man, it's it's pretty real, man. And um, he's coming to Christ, by the way. He's been coming to the, you know, church every now and then. Not a lot. Still has some things he needs to let go of, but I believe he's going to come to Christ soon. He's filled with the Holy Spirit. Give his life to to Jesus get baptized and all that so we're going to be covering you in prayer bro I know a lot of spiritual warfare comes with this especially when it comes to Freemasonry I know that when you get to a certain degree they do start partaking in rituals like I mean when I say rituals I'm talking about witchcraft like on they start sending stuff out like witches and warlock I know this for sure because when I was in witchcraft when I was in voodoo before I came to Christ they gave me like say what you said to witchcraft witchcraft you say Hmm. A little um, laminated piece of paper that had a Freemasonic symbol on it, and um, the the warlock in Haiti that that, uh, that gave it to me said, as long as I kept it in my wallet, I'd be protected. And I remember when I came to Christ, the Lord told me, "It's time, like you need to get rid of it." I remember I went to the water; it was like in West Palm Beach, by this like little river or whatever it was, and I threw it out. Man, when I threw it out, a whole bunch of ravens came and they were like tweaking out, bro, like going crazy. It was it was spiritual, man. I just threw it into the water, got rid of it, and was done with it, bro. And um, yeah, man, it's it's real. A lot of witches and warlocks, they use Freemasonry and voodoo and Santeria and all that stuff. So that's crazy, that's man. True. Do you have anything else you want to expose about Freemasonry that, that you've learned while you were in and even just doing research? Uh, you know, I'm kind of, uh, once the book's closed, I kind of uh, let it die off. Um, so a lot of people, when they when they get this like clout, they'll just keep talking about it, talking about it for years. I think that I made my point clear that um, all conservatives out there, all Christians out there, Freemasonry, I know that it's normally in those circles, but it, it's not... It, it doesn't need to be. Um, if you're conservative, if you're Christian, then Freemasonry is not your home. Your home is in church with Jesus Christ. Amen. Come on. That's it right there, man. I appreciate you, bro. Thank you. And God bless you, man. <sighs> yeah. What's well, it? Freemason snitch, yeah? Freemason informer. Well, I learned some things. So big him up. Give thanks. Give thanks. Yeah. He might be fucked, though. But it just seems just, I don't know. Yeah, I've just told, and that's it. I don't know, man. I'm just going to move on in my life. So I had to grow up older. So when I was four, they was, they was um, fucking nine. And Look at this, brother. Eight, Look at the state of this guy. Um, the <laughs> I get <laughs> Look at the state of this guy. I get money, I get money. I get money in all sorts of ways. What's up with that brother there? Uh, fucking comedian clown dude, man. All right, man. Talk to me, fam. What are you lot saying to me? What are you lot saying to me? What's on your mind? What's interesting is that even if that letter was real, right, is that they've literally just sat there and said, he ain't expo he's exposed himself to us more than he's, he's exposed us to the world. Yeah. Do you get me? Because 
a lot of the things he's saying is out there. Do you know what I mean? We know they do mock rituals. We've known this, do you know what I mean? From from thingy, what's his name? Sutton Jones. From them time there, we know they've been doing these rituals, whether they be mock or real. Do you know what I mean? So they're not exposing nothing really that ain't been exposed before. Do you see know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, that's, his, that's what he was saying though. He was like, yo, I ain't really, you know, all, all he did is get it in 4K footage, basically. Yeah. Still, still something about. Whatever. Listen, they, they are, they are. Everything is ready to be unveiled. Everything's ready to like, you know, be out in the mm -hmm. open. Everything. So yep. there's nothing, you know. So just bit by bit. You're just getting more and more information. Strands mm. here, strands there. There's been a couple of these guys exposing and footage and this and that. Yeah. Leaving a, win leaving a window open at the lodge so you can get a sneaky camera angle in, catch a bit of a, you know what I mean? Get some sounds. Mm. Get X Factor guy came out and exposed bare stuff, like Australian X Factor winner. Oh, really? Yeah, there's some long video. Don't you remember? I played it, man. I swear I got my channel struck. Some long ass <laughs> video, like two hours long. Fuck it. It was so sick. Yeah, type it's it in. Same. Australian X Factor winner exposes Freemasonry. Oh. Okay. Did you lot did you lot talk about the um that boxer, that Ryan Garcia? Um yeah, we brought it up, but it weren't the, you know the right it weren't the right panel. So mm. Didn't really get, get into it like that. But yeah, we just was talking about how mad he is and all the mad shit he's been doing and whatever's going on with yeah. him. What did you think about that? So it's difficult. It's again, it's one of their ones there, right? Where you're sitting there like the things he's saying that he went through. Yeah, like you could say that it's believable because of the way that he's acting now, right? That yeah. there's some kind of historic something that's gone on and, you know, he's been unable to, to move away from that. But at the same time, it's like, why now? This is the biggest fight of your life and all of a sudden you're just, is this your humiliation now? Do you know what I mean? Like, is this your, I don't know, man. I don't know. It just, it just, it just seems like a weird one. Seems like a weird one. It's very all of it. But then we do know that they've been troubling the picnic them from young, the Britneys and the Timberlakes and all them. That all of them they've been getting troubled from young. You know what I mean? So I don't know, man. And then we hear about this black excellence slot, and all these black excellence slots seem to be getting exposed as well for troubling the people them picnic. You get me? So well, why did you give them the black excellence? Title? No, because they the picture in it, Jay Z, Diddy. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah, that's done. Them donnies, and yeah, I hear you. You get me, and them donnies want to take people shopping and that. You get me, and party and yeah, you get me. Party and when Diddy was to party, no, no, no. just gotta say party. no. They don't want to party. They want a party party. They want a party party. You get me. <laughs> and when Diddy was to party, you just gotta tell him no. <laughs> Listen, no. I mean it. You get me. You gotta say no. I mean it, man. <laughs> Trust me. Yo. But it is, it's all that imploding thing, isn't it? Like, like you said, the end times, things will be exposed, things will implode, things will break down from the inside out. You understand me? Mm, yeah. That that is how it's going to work. So expect to see more. You get me? Expect but to like, see more. It, it, that makes me more intrigued and concerned about. What is when, when with all this infrastructure crumbling? What is the new thing that's gonna do you know what I mean? Because there's you know, you know, they say uh, nature abhors a, a vacuum. Mm. So with this vacuum, it will be filled with obviously, clearly, if they do, if they do, you don't demolish something unless you've got the plans for the next thing up. You get me? So, yeah, um, yeah, so what's the what is it? What is it well, like in terms of even down to government? Let's start a government because it seems that governments are eating themselves. The idea mm. of 
governed in this two party way and whatever seems to be so. What is the next thing? I'm thinking what a little girl that can read minds that's here to help everyone because she's got a connection to the Galactic Federation or something like that. What is it? What are we gonna be on? Mm, there'll be one, yes. Yeah, so it's almost as if there's some one ruler thing, and it seems people like it AI. may not be people it, say AI, like an AI machine. See, I don't know because I feel like people will. I don't think it will carry the masses yet. So there's a there's a building up to that in it. The more they mess up, the more people will more then sit down and say, yeah, AI, AI, because you know what I mean. It's not going to make the mistakes. They're not going to have expensive scandals and this scandal well, and that well, scandal. Remember, yeah, yeah? we we probably in the last generation of people that re like. Maybe the last, yeah, last second to last generation of people that really have any faith in this whole voting thing and rare, rare. Mm. I feel like the next lot coming up, they're ready. Yeah, they're yeah, ready. but are they ready for the right thing? I believe they're ready because they've been indoctrinated to be ready for something. No, that's what I not... mean. That, no, that's yeah. what I mean. That's exactly what I mean. I don't mean ready as in they're ready to for real revolution. No, 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 hell no, no, no. I mean they're ready uh. for this this proxy revolution, this this manufactured thing that we seem to be heading towards, where yeah. we, we find out everyone's on fuckeries. So either, either we're going to go along with it, which it looks like a lot of people are, or I don't know, like, what's going to happen? This is so interesting. I wish I could fast forward just with vision, like, five years. Mm. A little over the fence and see what's going on. Yeah, they know what's going on. It's planned out. You get me? They're looking at their thing and saying, right, we're on target. So keep things as they are. and Keep the status yeah. quo. Shit, we're yeah. behind schedule. You know what? We need to ramp shit up again. Boris, you need to do this. You get me? <laughs> I wish he. Get on with this. You understand me? Like, there's a schedule, man. There's a schedule. Definitely a schedule. Because, like, you know, there's a, there's a big generation about to die out. Mmm. Get me a big generation of old people, they're just gone, and now it's this new, this new thing. All these modern folks, I know, all and the, the old generation, thing. they've all smoked weed, they've all been involved in the 60s, had their, their swinging 60s, and all them things there. Mm. They've been involved in that mental revolution, and they gave birth to kids. You know, how many people, you know, how many people like 40, 50 year old, and that, that their, their, their mums used to take heroin and that. Hmm. But yeah, no, real regular shit. Mm. It's true. It's true. It's true. And you know the worst thing is, the more you move away from London, the more you see it. Is it, brother? Out in the countryside, bruv I've never seen places so okay with just, just, just drugs, fam. You get me? It's like yeah, a, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. yeah, I must stand. It's a cool thing. You get me? Like. Yeah, I was on this. I popped this amount, and I done this amount, and yeah. I was on this as well as that, and da da da. And yeah, yeah, it, it's the different. Culture, but yeah, the drug culture out of London, I do know this is mad. I've I know mm. this. It, you know, obviously, roads and jail let man know that. Mm. You know I mean? Drugs, um, slaggery, all them things there. Yeah, man, it's it's proper, bro. It's proper out these ways, man. They 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 don't they don't bat that like, they don't turn their nose up at people that take certain. You understand me? Take certain yeah. drugs and in fact, certain people that I've seen that are more popular than people that I've seen crackheads more popular than people that and not. You understand me, Ronnie? I'm like, what the hell? Get me round my way, bro. bro nobody would rate you, bro. Yeah. <laughs> you understand? You're just money oh, oh, coming. Wait, wait, wait. That that being said, is that strictly true? Yes, yeah. these ones, yeah, yeah, these ones, yeah, because they ain't like the the old school don't gangster don't matter, crackheads. Don't matter. don't matter. We still rate your crackheads and druggheads and, and, and people, and it's still going on. Like, that's mm. the whole, you know, hip-hop, this, that, um, rock and roll, sex, drugs, rock and roll. Amy yeah, it's true, man. It's true, you know, the Cockney man, yeah. The yeah. Cockney man, they used to say champagne and cocaine. Yeah, and okay, all that, yeah. a bit of fucking <laughs> sniff. Uh, like, you know, it's seen as the, the celebrity A-class drug. Yeah, yeah. Even though most of them have moved on to, you know what I mean, bigger and better. Mm -hmm. I still got that thing of the high life cocaine, in it? 
Trust me, that's what it is. It's still classified as that drug. They love, the, they love their druggies, man. They make them national celebrities, man. National treasures. Mm -hmm. Trust me. me. They love their, their drugged up people pushing that. The alcoholics, the, the George Besses and all that. Yeah. Yeah, Gavin. definitely. Winehouse, Gaza, flipping. Yeah. What's the Winehouse's ex? All them people there. They, they push it. Yeah. They love our drug addict, yes. Yeah. It's true. It's called counterculture, bro. And they create it to make it seem like it's the cool thing to do, to go against what society wants. When these times, society wants you to be a nitty. Hmm. They got you exactly where you, Why would society not want you to be a nitty? Let me. They got you exactly where they want where they want you. Let me, Rion. Bit of Charlie, mate. Yeah. Uh, so old crackers move like Spider Man. <laughs> Most of Parliament are, are on drugs, says Trilogy. Back in the day, you saw one, two tramps in the town centers, and they were like eccentric celebrities. Now, town centers are ram full of them. Bro, tell me about it, bro. It's not even a joke. I mean, imagine, yeah. A place like Bath, that's supposed to be posh, has more homeless per capita than a place like Bristol. Mad. Yeah, the place, Bath, is full up of homeless and, and druggies, you know. Full up. Yeah, Bath. Sure. Place is mad. And it sets up. That's why it set. You get me? I've always said this. They love to have high wealth interspersed with very, very high poverty. You get me? Yeah, like, yeah. They they don't play with it. Trust me. And there's a reason for that. What what do you think that reason is? It feeds, isn't it? You, crimin, cr criminal element. It feeds the criminal element. You get me? So it feeds the prisons. You understand me? Plus the wealthy, they get their insurance payouts and make more money. Do you understand me? Yeah, it's not a joke. Like, where is it? Um, Barnes, Roehampton area. Yeah, them areas there. Oh, they got the the most one of the most poorest estates on one of the richest roads in the mm. whole damn country. You understand yeah. me? Yeah, it's mad, bro. It's mad. Oh, mad. They got some mad estate out there, boy. Crazy estate. Like it looks like a yeah. fucking film set, bro. When you, like mm -hmm. it's like you see it from like the top of a uh, kind of hill, and it got it's just mad. Like, yeah, you mad the big estate. Yeah, the big estate in Roehampton, innit? Yeah, I'm like, I didn't know this yeah. was here. I only been there like I've been there like twice. I didn't know this shit was here. The fuck is hmm. this? Get it me. Is. There's some real get all get all white folks on there, boy. My, I didn't hmm. even get to see who else was there. Boy, yeah, that place is like massive, bro. Trust me. All those little areas. Yeah, I, I see it for what it is now. You get me? I see it for what it is, man. Oh. See it for what it is. All right, bro. This 22. is Riot LOL. Omar is his real name. He's a 20-year-old kick streamer, TikToker, Twitter slash... This is Riot LOL. Omar is his real name. He's a 20-year-old kick streamer, TikToker, Twitter slash X user, whatever you want to call it. And here's him about to get a girl that's clearly, let's say, not of age to expose herself live on his stream. But before we get there, let me tell you about a website called Kick. Kick is a live streaming competitor to Twitch, started by these three dudes, one of them being a live streamer named Trainrex, who left Twitch to start Kick because of their inconsistent policies. Now, Kick is fairly new and more lenient on what you can and can't do on there. That's why some of the most controversial figures have made Kick 
their new home, giving Kick this persona of being the place for the troublemakers, the rebels, the place for free speech where anyone can say anything and anything can happen. Hey, even people in my field, some Omi TV and Omegle creators have also moved over to Kick. Also, Omi TV is an Omegle alternative that everyone's been using since the original Omegle shutdown. But for the sake of this video, I'm just going to call it Omegle because it's basically Omegle 2.0. But let me paint you a picture. Creators on YouTube that live stream Omegle content have to cover the screen because it's always unpredictable what you're going to see on there. Not going to lie, some of the things you see on Omegle could get your channel terminated just like that. It gives you a little bit of a perspective on how Kick operates. All right, now let's talk about Riot LOL. When you first enter Riot in a bunch of these Kick creators' live streams, you get a warning saying you must be 18 or older to view this content. Keep that in the back of your mind going forward for the rest of this video. Fair warning, this is going to get very serious very quickly, oh. and I definitely understand if you want to sit this one out. But here we go. Riot live streams for three to seven hours every single night sometimes even longer. His content consists of just trying to find girls on Omegle. Like it's literally the main focus of his content for hours on end. And after going through dozens of his VODs, you start to notice a pattern. Hey. Now, hello, my name's Omar, uh, nice to meet you. Um, Hi, Omar. Nice to meet you, where are you from? Hello, oh my, hello, my name's Omar, nice to meet you, where are you from? All right, let me tell you uh, where I'll take you on a date. Let me know if it hits. All right, uh, I'll pick you up. I'll pick you up. I'll pick you up. So I'll pick you up, and then we'll get some. We'll get some sushi. Uh, we get some sushi. We get sushi. We will get sushi. All right, and then I don't. I don't really fuck with like boring dates. You know what I'm saying? They gotta be like fun, right? Not awkward. Not corny. I don't like the boring dates. You know where it just feels like unorganic and it's just like cringy and awkward. So I like to do something to break the ice. Oh, probably like a carnival. 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 A carnival. Okay. So like play some games, ride some rides. You ride me. And then, um, and then like, I'll win you a cute bear. He tries to quote unquote, riz up these girls by saying the same lines over and over again, just so that he can eventually get their Snapchats so that he can build up his Snapchat roster. Dude, my roster is actually nice. No, 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 no. And that's it. That's his content. Is what I thought until I saw <laughs> this interaction. He started the conversation off by doing the same old shtick. The more they talked, the more the girl was opening up to him, telling him about a toxic and abusive ex she had. I'm gonna spare you the details. And let me remind you, she has no idea that she's saying this in front of a live stream full of hundreds of people. And the worst part is that she seemed very out of it. She was slurring her words, jumping from one conversation to the next, pausing in the middle of talking just to examine the room while blinking. So that's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Wow. Anyway. Wait, what'd you say? Oh, nothing. And after that, she told Riot that she was drugged by someone at a concert that night. Can I tell you something? I was uh, at a festival, but no, I, not at a festival, but at a, at a concert, you know, Foo Fighters? They, they came in my, in where I live right now. This guy he came to me and he gave me this kind of cake he, he said like hey take these you're gonna feel so good so i ate them with my friends but i ate one completely there was in this uh. i still feel up. somebody offered you an edible and you accepted it at a concert uh i feel sorry for this black kid he's looking for some content i don't know I don't know what he. <laughs> I don't know what he's trying to prove. <laughs> <laughs> he's trying to do some expose thing. Yo, the chick just said, "Yo, she, the brother said, eat this, you'll feel so good." So, what do you think that it was just a normal cake? The cakes make you feel so good. What do you think? Come on, man. What's the naivety? You had a weed cake, bro. Right. Give yourself a clap. Yeah, the damn weed cake. And where, where's this leading? And really, yeah, whatever. But the entire time she was saying all that, Riot was constantly looking at the kick chat. And all they were saying was, Z, 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 Z. She's yapping like crazy. She's hot, but talks too much. Omar doesn't even seem amused. And after seeing all of those comments, it sparks Riot to say this. All right, dude, listen, yeah. I'm not going to lie. I can't do this anymore, bro. The curiosity is just in like, it's like spinning in the back of my head. It's killing me. 
Like, dude, listen, let's let's go. Fit check. Come on. Spit check. I'm like, I'm not gonna lie. That's like enough talking, bro. I'm like, uh, I'm like about to sleep. Yeah, let's go. I don't want to get. Wait, it's like getting so hot in my room. Yeah. So, uh, you know, I'm shirtless. Your shirt is on. This is a really tough situation, you know. He proceeds to cover the screen. She get on the same page here, you know. Can I see your? <laughs> like, <laughs> why am I doing? That? Because I'm fucking high, but I'm doing that. But it's so fucking embarrassing. Like, uh, set it up. I'm so what? Let me see. Damn. Holy. <laughs> shit. I mean, you said you got a fat ass, right? I mean, like at this point, can I like, you know? Can I see it? And then the audio goes silent for a few minutes. And then he comes back and does this. Bang! I'm the GOAT. Join the Discord, boys. I wish there was a way I could, like, cut out my version. Because, like, I'm not going to lie, chat. Oh, God, I was about to risk it all. I, I get done around here, boys. Is that fire? I'm not going to lie. That was the baddest girl I've ever bagged. What you just witnessed is the main reason <laughs> why I'm making this video. He uh -oh. goes on Omegle just to get girls to expose themselves so that he can secretly screen record it and post it onto a Discord server under an NSFW channel. That is his content. And it's all done live on kick. In the worst- <laughs> I, This guy gonna be dangerous, you know. This brother here is going to be dangerous. He's presenting the show so on point. That you you think you're talking about a, a master criminal, but my man is just Gallum are just dumb enough to take their stuff off. I tell you how you effed up. The reason why you effed up is because he made this thing 18 plus. So Fommy made this thing 18 plus. It is what it is. And listen, girls shouldn't be getting on the internet on webcam showing off their bits and thinking it's private or whatever. This is dumb. Internet safety 101, man. You get me? Keep your bits in your clothes. But why? People don't want to listen. I, mean, I don't know. I don't know what this guy was aiming at, but it didn't bang, bro. No, it didn't at all whatsoever. Like, how are you gonna put down that the man said the size eighteen plus and then cuss him because eighteen yeah, plus yeah, people yeah. are behaving? Up. Yeah, it's a big failure. Yeah, a, a real big failure. Yeah, that was a flop. That was a flop expose. Not gonna lie. It's like, you know what he does? This is what he does. <laughs> this is his content. Chilo <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> you know, G said, I don't get it. Yeah, he's basically I don't even want to say it, but yeah. I think the I think the black dude is a little bit salty. You know what I mean? I think he's a e bit sorry. <laughs> he's a bit salty man he wants to like you know wants to switch oh. it up a bit maybe maybe he wants some results as well I'm not accusing him but I'm just saying it's possible he could want results that he crazy do you know what I'm trying to say results he, he never got poor lad poor lad <laughs> poor this, lad this is what hey, he does <laughs> Man said his man said his send nudes request was rejected outright. Crazy. Yeah. Now he's bugged. Fucking idiot, yeah. This is what I hate about people, you know. People just want to love try jump on this exposing bandwagon. Oh, let me expose this. Let me expose that. Let me shut the fuck up, man, and chill out, man. <laughs> shut the fuck up. Get me every minute people want to expose this, expose that. You know what I mean? Dude? Fucking shut up, man. Get me to the point you're like exposing things that adults are doing. Man, if an adult wants to strip naked and a man wants to record that, so so be it, man. You get me? And then the fucking idiot talking about she got drugs. No, you took a no, drug. You, you did you literally took a drug. Literally <laughs> told you it would make you feel good. I don't know. I don't know what he what you thought he meant. And he said it will make you feel good. Right. <laughs> yeah. I know. Yeah, someone I thought it was a carry. Yeah. I know that there's something in it. I'm the, my, next yeah. is, what's it? my next question is, what's in it? Trust me. Fucking joker. I ain't talking about you got drugged. Man, shut up, man. You took it. 
Sure. Sometimes I can't stand people, you know. Sure. In fact, most of the time I can't stand people. More time, more time. <laughs> more time, trust me. You call them foolish, you know. Sure. Wow. Ten minutes. Right, let me drive. Remember, I gotta make a drive. Yo, where the panelists at? Yo, I gotta make a drives. Yo, people them. We're not there. Cause my reception will will will, will cut out. Yeah. So mm. People Many then, well, the their greatest minds shared a universal. Where you at? Where you at? Allowed for their genius expression. The right button while you're at it, man. And slap that paper. An architecture, an underlying esoteric tradition that spans back through prehistory, which they apply to their modern inventions and theories that centers on number, harmony, and cosmology that lies at the very core of mystery school religions. Evident in temples from ancient Egypt, Babylon, India, Greece, and Rome, architects of the Middle Ages and Renaissance studied the same geometric harmonics and proportions, which they also called music of the spheres, that they applied to their cathedrals and religious architecture. A Roman architect and engineer from the first century that had a great influence on the Renaissance was Marcus Vitruvius, known for his multi-volume work titled De Architectura, which he dedicated to his patron, the Emperor Augustus, as a guide for building projects. It combines the knowledge and views of many antique writers praising the ancient Greek orders with a focus on the importance of aesthetics and beauty, which I'll touch on again later. A notable iconic illustration in the work of Vitruvius is the Vitruvian man with his arms and legs apart and inscribed in both a circle and square. A unique synthesis of artistic and scientific ideals and often considered an archetypal representation of the high renaissance that also inspired one of its greatest minds. <laughs> Leonardo da Vinci was a Renaissance painter, sculptor, <laughs> architect, inventor, the, the, that too funny. military engineer, and alchemist, the epitome of a true Renaissance man. He was renowned for his diverse talents and innovations including sketches of several flying machine concepts in his notebooks during the Renaissance period, which have recently been replicated and put on display at the California Science Center Museum, which I recently had the privilege of viewing for myself. Is this Michelangelo, One of yeah? Da Vinci's most famous flying da Vinci. machine designs. Da Vinci. The ornithopter da Vinci. was inspired by the flight of birds. It featured a wing flapping mechanism that mimicked bird flight. However, there's no evidence that da Vinci ever built a working model of this machine. While the replica looks very impressive, I don't think I'd be willing to test flight. <laughs> Another interesting model is the aerial screw, which resembles a modern helicopter. It consisted of a screw-shaped rotor that, when turned, would allegedly generate lift and propel the machine upwards. This one looks more sturdy. With an electric motor, I think I'd be willing to give this one a try. Da Vinci sketched several designs for parachutes, which he called tentelli, or little tents. These designs were intended to slow the descent of a person or object from a height, thus influencing later developments of parachuting technology, resembling a large kite. He understood the principles of lift and drag and his glider designs incorporated elements to maximize lift and control. In addition to his flying machines, da Vinci also designed a type of aerial assault vehicle intended for military use. This design resembled a large platform equipped with cannons and manned by soldiers. It was intended to be lifted by hot air or manpower, allowing it to hover over enemy positions and deliver firepower from above. While da Vinci's flying machine designs were groundbreaking for their time 
and demonstrated his keen understanding of aerodynamics, materials, and mechanical engineering, none of his designs were successfully built or flown during his lifetime. However, his work laid the foundation for future developments in aviation and inspired generations of inventors and engineers. It's quite interesting that, said, that, yeah, that mm, most inventions, right, is always used for military, like everything. Yeah, military applications first. Yeah, everything in, within every type of science is interesting. Always military first. Always loads of shit. And, and medicine. Yeah, medicine is a... <laughs> yep, yep. Let's not go there. Most medicine too. <laughs> Let's not go there, man. Let's not go there. But it's true, though. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. He was gifted with a curious mind and brilliant intellect and diligently studied the laws of science, nature, art, and math including sacred geometry, which is the belief that certain geometric proportions and shapes hold spiritual significance. In an esoteric context, sacred geometry is not just about intricate patterns and symbols, but the belief in a divine order that governs the very fabric of the universe, the fundamental core structures from which all life emerges, from the smallest molecule to the vastness of the cosmos. There's a repeating geometric archetype, but what makes it historically revered as sacred is that these patterns and proportions could allegedly allow a person to tap into spiritual truths and cosmic energies that are often described as magical. Sacred geometry starts with simple shapes, the circle representing unity and wholeness, the spiral, the symbol of evolution and growth, the triangle, a sign of harmony and ascension, concepts like the golden ratio or Fibonacci sequence further testify to the universe's inherent order and mathematical beauty. They appear in everything from arrangements of petals in a flower to the wings of an insect. This is the essence of sacred geometry, recognizing the interconnectedness of all things. Now this video is so dope! Okay. You say? I think this video is dope. This is like, yeah, I like this. I like this a lot. <laughs> Shouting. This video is so dope. <laughs> yeah, my geek side is coming for man. Mm. Yeah, finally. Come on. <laughs> you know about Fibonacci sequence, yeah? And the golden ratio. And the golden ratio. Yeah, of mm. course. I've heard about it. Everything is from that. Um, yeah. I don't know. Maybe. The Fibonacci sequence is a series of numbers that go from 1 to 1 to 2 to 3 to 5 to 8 to 13 to 21 and on and on. In fact, it'll continue like that forever. If you're easily confused by math, don't worry. This is not that complicated and it's very important to know. So let's walk through this together. This number sequence is very easy to understand. You simply Hit the like button, family tree, before we get into the Fibonacci sequence. Hit that like button. Yeah, I want to see the lights going up because I feel like, you know, the lights were kind of just stayed in the 40s. And, like, you know, we, we reached the 50s and then, I don't know, man, some lights came down. I don't know what it is. But, yeah, please like up the show, family, if you're there. You simply add back the last two numbers. For example, we start with one, the smallest total unit that we can have. There's nothing before one, so we simply have to duplicate it. So we get another one, but the next time we perform this process, we get one and one, which makes two. To perform this process again, we'll have to add two and one to produce three, then two and three to produce five, and three and five to make eight, and eight and five to make 13, and so on until infinity. Nature itself uses this extraordinary simple number sequence to construct so many of her forms, everything from galaxies to sunflowers and now i'm going to show you how this number sequence translates into actual physical geometry if you're just starting out it's best to begin with the surface like a graph paper meaning that it's easiest if you draw on something that has evenly and symmetrically placed square units of measurement that are all of the same size to make it simple we'll have one of these units represent one 
and we'll trace it out in red. Then we need another one unit. So we'll draw that one next to the first one. And then directly below them, we can draw a line connecting both of the two squares that we just made. We can duplicate that line three or more times and produce a perfect square. Then we can duplicate that process as many times as we like, or as many times as the canvas that we're using will allow. And as you can see, the five square is five units by five units. The eight square is eight units by eight units and so on. Now we can finally add the special spiral. There are various ways that this can be achieved, but I will demonstrate the method that seems to most closely resemble nature. This method allows you to use circles to construct a spiral. First, draw a perfect cross with each arm the exact length of the square that you're working in. The center of this cross should be placed furthest from where the spiral will end up being. Now, all you gotta do is draw a perfect circle, which by virtue of its size and positioning is cut into four equal pieces by the cross. This means that the square that you're working on should take up one quarter of the circle that you're using to produce a spiral within it. Now, all we gotta do is erase the other three quarters that we don't need. But in this case, either side is the same. So we can simply add back one quarter. Now, all we gotta do is repeat this process again and again until all of the zero curvature scaffolding for the Fibonacci spiral is filled. As you can see, in its completed form, it very closely matches the twisting motion of a galaxy. What do you reckon? Um, what do you reckon? Well, well, I mean, you can always apply stuff where it suits you, right? Exactly. I would say. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> if you want to look at it and find it, you're going to find it. So, yeah, this is the magic with math. You can know. Uh, and science. <laughs> and science and that it's not an absolute but these lot are making it out to be an absolute why you know yeah they still disprove this probably in a thousand years or something yeah culture is uh the fibonacci sequence okay you've heard of it i'll give you the first two numbers with fibonacci sequence it's a one and a one all right and how you get the next numbers is by adding the previous two okay so what do you think the next number is two two right and then if i add the next two just the next two just three. the next two we get three and then five. we do five. Eight. And it gets a little harder now, Chris. Oh my gosh, 13. 13, yes. And 21. 21, excellent. Uh -huh. So so yeah, so this is the Fibonacci sequence. You probably learned it at some point in like algebra two way back when, and you did said it just enough to get through the test. And then you forgot about it. And then you forgot about it. That's okay though. That's why you're here. And I've always heard that these numbers relate to spirals. I don't know if you've ever heard this before. I have not heard this. I, I've always I've always heard that these relate to spirals. And so I, I was kind of around the grocery store counting spirals on things that I found. Okay. Right? So and what I noticed is I have this pineapple here, and if if you can see, it has two sets of spirals, one going down to the audience right. Okay. And then another set going down to the audience left. Okay. And this pineapple has eight spirals going down to the left and 13 going down to the right. So uh, can I just take your word for it? You can take I, my word. I don't, I don't have to count. count. Don't worry, I was there. I counted okay. multiple pineapples, but this kind of <laughs> this kind of happens all over. So I have an artichoke here and it, it also has five going down one direction and then um, eight going the other direction. So it's still a different part of our Fibonacci sequence, but still part. Of, and then you can find this everywhere. Like there's like horn fruit and then the flowers you have next to you. If you look real closely, even the seeds at the tip of those flowers, um, have spirals. Like a similar structure? Yes, they have a, a, a similar Fibonacci sequence of spirals that are going um, around the seeds. So, I don't know, check with sunflower seeds. A, a lot of plants seem to utilize this, even seashells. And I've always wondered why. Why is this happening? It, you're you're going to explain I'm, I'm going to try to. Okay, okay I'm going to try to. So, um, if we can get like maybe a top-down view here. Sure. Um, I have, I have a, this is going to be my meristem of a plant. Okay? okay. And the meristem is where all the leaves come off of. So, let's imagine that one leaf came off my meristem. Okay. Okay. Now, where do you think the next leaf should grow? On, probably on the opposing side. On the, that makes a lot of sense, right? Because yeah. we want to maximize the amount of sunlight we're getting, right? Okay. So I'm going to want to put a leaf on the opposite side. And let's see if I can't. Yeah, perfect, perfect. And But here's the other question. If I did it 180 degrees, then the next leaf has got to be 180 degrees. And then what am I doing? You're covering it up again. I'm covering it up. That probably doesn't make sense in nature, does it? It, it doesn't make sense. So, so then the next thing is, well, what if I did 120 degrees? What if we did one here? Maybe you put one like a third of the way, Chris. Okay. And I'll put one over here. And then we run into the same problem again, though, right? Right. I'm then covering the next layer of leaves. So three-dimensionally, this kind of looks like I have kind of a, a fake plant I can show you. Three-dimensionally, this kind of looks like this, where the previous leaves are covering the ones below it. Okay. And plants don't want to grow this way, right? No. Like, because then they're just, they're, they're just like shading all of their own leaves. And so what the Fibonacci sequence gives us is the perfect angle to work with. And if you, it's, it's a little complicated math. Okay. But if you take some uh, ratios between these different Fibonacci numbers and you convert it to an angle, you get 137 and a half degrees. 
Okay. You, you might have to trust me on this. I'm going to trust right. you on this you might have to trust again. me on this. But what I'm going to go ahead and do is we're going to measure out 137 and a half degrees from each leaf, and it'll kind of start to make sense. So if I put one leaf down, okay, and then I'm going to give you the next leaf to put down. Measure out. I'm going to measure out 137 and a half degrees. So put it down so at the very center of it's right Gotcha, there, right on the line. Right on the line. Okay. And then we'll do the next one here. All right, go ahead and put that one right there. And then it looks kind of uneven at this point, it right? It does. But we're going to keep adding leaves. We're going to keep adding leaves. Okay. All right, and then I'll do it from that one. We'll kind of straighten it out a little Wait bit. Wait a minute here. And notice how they're not overlapping over one another. Even though it seems kind of random. I'll give you another leaf, Chris. Here, take this whole pile of leaves. Okay. I mean, all kinds of leaves for you. We'll have the next one right over there. And it's filling that gap, like, just perfectly. And there is a small amount of overlappage, but right. the plant is trying to minimize the amount of overlapping. So we couldn't do this before just by trying to randomly place them down. But any even number wasn't going to work. You needed this kind of irrational number that pop, that um, the Fibonacci sequence is. And so you know, even if we'll put one more down, and you can see that we have a very nicely even distributed. And if I kept doing this, if we did this with like a thousand leaves, yeah. you'd mm -hmm. end up getting a spiral. And if you counted the number of leaves in each one of those spirals, you'd get the Fibonacci sequence. Isn't such, that, such as this there. Exactly. There we go. Makes sense now, Jeff. I think that that's a really cool way to kind of incorporate math into science and that uh, we can talk about how plants, while they don't think and feel like we do, they are still using some of these laws of, of math. And this is what... No, but some people do say that. No? Uh -huh. No, but some people do say that plants can feel and think and stuff right now. <laughs> well, yeah, this is kind of like the new thing that's been spoken about even more. I mean, it's been, yeah. it's been said in the past, but yeah, now I think they're finding some findings that plants of, or certain plants or certain whatever biology may have a, some kind of communication, communication and whatever awareness. Mm. So what's next? We're not allowed to eat plants. Is that the next thing people are yeah, going to they're, gonna start, they're just going to produce everything for you. 3D print, 3D print some substance for you that's going to like nourish you. That's, a, that's all you need. Gloop. That's some great gloop. One pill. One pill One a pill month. One pill is Yeah. Yeah. One pill a month. So you got to spend a month's worth of food shopping on it. Lord. <laughs> you know what, though? It wouldn't surprise me. With this science going, yeah, it wouldn't surprise me. It wouldn't surprise yeah, because they're making all sorts. You know, they're making poo water, poo burgers, this, that, this, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. Let me. But still, they're not they're not um, changing salt water into into fresh water for people. But they're yeah, making, because that they're is so hard to poo, do. They're turning poo into water, though. <laughs> why is why yeah, is? Yeah, but that's true, though. That's what's happening now, isn't it? That's what we're doing. Why is it so hard? To, why is it so hard to take salt out of water, Axel? It's not really. You're just gonna boil it away, isn't it? That's what you're trying to filter it. But it costs too much, I guess. Mm. Mm. Yeah, they'd rather use poo. Yeah, because poo, you just need to hard. <laughs> no, you know what? Let us look at. Yeah, let us look. Uh, look it up properly. Why is it hard to make? Uh, why is it hard to make fresh water from salt water? Yeah. Uh, but then, 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 one sec. Bibi, fix that, man. Yeah. Please, man. Okay, seawater is on average 140 times saltier than drinking water, yeah? To efficiently remove these salts, uh, salts and desalination plants use a specific... specific oh, I cannot read this, Jed. This is too much. You need some terminal desalation and uh, reverse osmosis to do this, yeah? They're saying it's too hard. Uh, ba -ba 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 so for every gallon of seawater the plants process through to reverse the osmosis only half of it is recovered as a fresh water they're saying mm. Mm -hmm. 
this well, in turn. I, I, think, I think they've got a pill or some powder or some something that they could just put in the water and get the salt out, separate the salt, turn the salt heavy or something, make it collect in one spot. They got come on, man. We they're going to they're going to Mars and stuff, ain't they? The yeah, they can, it depends on what they actually want to, you know, man, I don't need to tell you this though. <laughs> no, you know, you know, you know, they need to, they want to depopularize the earth, isn't it? <laughs> I'm laughing, but I'm not laughing. I'm being sorry. <laughs> yeah, but this is what they're trying to do. So if they really wanted to save the humanity when, uh, make us live for some time to drink. To have a fucking drink, yeah. You lot in UK can even have, have a normal water running. Imagine the rest of the world, just yeah. Yo, um, it's all about the money. They are saying one way to bring down this distillation energy costs. So it's all about the money. It's to cost yeah. too much money to actually make it clean, so we can be able to. Radar, can I just say to radar? Um, you know, you can have water pipes, you can funnel the water. It doesn't have to, the processing plant doesn't have to be on the beach, brother. You know what I mean? <laughs> I said, we're lucky to have beaches. Imagine if they were yeah. processing buildings. <laughs> yeah, but it's all, I mean, it's sick though. It's only 2.5% of Earth's water that is like fresh water. The rest is salt. Yeah. It's crazy. That's actually crazy. Leonardo da Vinci's scientific investigations also led him to explore the underlying patterns and principles governing the universe, believing in the existence of a divine order or harmony that could be understood through mathematics and sacred geometry, which he regarded as the universal design language of the cosmos an ancient science that explores and explains the energy patterns that create and unify all things. Sacred geometry reveals the precise way that energy of creation organizes itself. This mathematical framework is found in art, architecture, and even in the very design of life itself, including our DNA. Far from being the exclusive realm of academics or mystics, sacred geometry is everywhere, serving as the bridge between the analytical and the intuitive between science and spirituality. At the heart of sacred geometry lies the seed of life, a design made up of seven intertwined circles. At first glance, it's a simple symmetrical pattern, but its implications run deep, often incorporated into spiritual architecture, such as cathedrals, temples, and mosques. The seed of life speaks to the fundamental structures of life and existence. Each overlapping circle can be seen as a cell, a cycle, or even a day culminating in the interconnected nature of life's processes, often associated with notions of rebirth, fertility, and the spark of new life, demonstrating how life and patterns expand and evolve. Which brings us to the flower of life, often depicted as a series of 19 interlocking circles enveloped by a larger encompassing circle. Revered by ancient civilizations, the flower of life is believed to be the cosmic blueprint, encoding the very design of every atomic structure life form, and essentially all known existence. As modern science ventures deeper into quantum realms, it finds echoes of these ancient geometric patterns, reinforcing their significance as foundational designs mm -hmm. of the universe, which speaks to a lost spiritual science of life once known and forgotten. Of course, the spiritual life force has traditionally always been symbolized as light, with no greater representation of esoteric luminescence than the sun. Rather than restricting oneself to one particular school of faith, Leonardo believed in uniting all knowledge, understanding that there are echoes of universal truths or spiritual light that have been passed down since antiquity via mystery schools, encoded in all religions. That said, while considering the relationship of the 12 apostles to the 12 signs of the zodiac, what Leonardo's Last Supper implies is written in one of his notes, 880, quote, but I only wish I had words to serve me to blame those who are fain to extol the worship of men more than that of the sun. For in the whole universe, there's nowhere to be seen a body of greater magnitude and power than the sun. Its light gives light to all celestial bodies, which are distributed throughout the universe, 
and from it descends all vital force. For the heat that is in living beings comes from the soul. And there's no other center of heat and light in the universe, as will be shown in book four. And certainly those who have chosen to worship men as gods, as Jove, Saturn, Mars, and the like, have fallen into the gravest error, seeing that even if a man were as large as our earth, he would look no bigger than a little star, which appears but as a speck in the universe. And seeing again that these men are mortal and putrid and corrupt in their tombs. Mm. Sun worship. Sun worship, exactly. Mm. Heliocentric. Yeah, the heliocentric model. But also mm-hmm. pre Christian Gnosticism, Hermeticism, Sufism, Al- the custodians of these esoteric traditions can be traced back to the ancient Aryan Magi. Our Lord. The Israelites oh, invited two kingdoms. He's funny, man. He's funny. He's funny. Oh, Aryan, you know. Oh, here we go again. It, okay. Yeah, you know, I told you, man. He, he's a real Nazi guy. Yeah, the blonde is. hair, blue eyed Aryans are behind everything. Man, his thought is so, so good, though. Like, yeah. Yeah, that's like, why I like his stuff because, like, you know, mm-hmm. he's got his perspective coming from yeah. his his school of thought, which is everything is white, white, white. Ooh, white, white, white. White, 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 white. White, white, white. White, white, white. white. <laughs> and Aryans are white. So the Syrians were the first to come in the early 700s, and they took the entire right. uh, people of the northern kingdom of Israel into captivity, and they dispersed them into uh, the land of the Medes, and that's where um, they so-called, they, that's where the t- these 10 tribes then became lost. Of the remaining king of, of Judah, they were finally conquered by the Babylonians, and I think the year was 596 BC. And the majority of the population was then brought to uh, Babylon. And so this is the key of where the story begins of the uh, Magi. Let's just make it clear. We have all these Christmas carols and things about the three kings. Yes. Um, actually, there's no kings mentioned in the New Testament. The kings are, are talked to, or the three kings are the three wise men. I think we just it's just nice to make clear who these magi are, that they're not actually there as kings in the Bible. Um, maybe you could start, David, by you know making out, you know, just describing who you, what you think they were. What does magi mean? So this is the whole point, and this is the whole basis of, of occult history. So the, the funny thing is that they are not really discussed in mainstream history. So I'm going to read to you uh, a, a, two paragraphs from Albert oh, Pike's boy. Morals and Dogma that was published, and I'm not sure, maybe the 1850s, approximately middle of the 18th century. To show you how this occult version, this occult interpretation or understanding of the Magi is fundamental to the history of Freemasonry in particular and the occult in general. Uh, so how says, did you get back here? Quote, the occult science of the ancient Magi was concealed under the shadows of the ancient mystery. You tried to run away from the Freemasonry. Look, it came back. Uh, <laughs> I have the pike, man. I have the pike. <laughs> you tried to run away. It was imperfectly revealed, or rather disfigured by the Gnostics. It is guessed at under the obscurities that cover the pretended crimes of the Templars, and it is found enveloped in enigmas that seem impenetrable, the rites of the highest masonry. Magism was the science of Abraham and Orpheus, of Confucius, of Zoroaster. It was the dogmas of this science that were engraven on the tables of stone by Enoch and Trismegistus. Moses purified and reveiled them, for that is the meaning of the term reveal. He covered them with a new veil. Uh, when he made the Holy Kabbalah, yeah, exclusive pause, heritage pause, of the people of Israel. Pause, 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 pause. <laughs> this is going too fast for me. Magism was the science of Abraham, Orpheus, of Confu- Confucius, and Zoroaster. Ooh, this is a whole bunch of mixed up. Abraham and Orpheus. It was Orpheus. the dogmas of the science that were engraved into the tab- tables of stone by Enoch. And she's mischievous. Moses purified and revealed them, for that is the meaning of the word reveal. He covered them with a new veil when he made of the holy Kabbalah the exclusive heritage of the people of Israel. Uh, Yo. 
and the inviolable secret of its priests. The mysteries of Thebes and Ulysses, Ulysses, sorry, um, uh, preserved among the nations some symbols of it, already altered, and the mysterious key whereof was lost among the instruments of an ever-growing superstition. Jerusalem, the murderous of her prophets, and so often prostituted to the false gods of the Syrians and Babylonians, had at length its turn lost the holy word, when a prophet announced by the Magi, by the consecrated star of initiation, uh, which is serious, came to rend asunder the worn veil of the old temple, in order to give the church a new tissue of legends and symbols that still and ever conceal from the profane and ever preserves to the elect the same truths. So, so, okay. so saying that Moses created the Kabbalah, um, and they had some new prophet that came well moses was this new prophet that came to bring in the new symbols basically for the initiated and conceal it from the profane that's like me and you the average dude boy came to render asunder the worn veil of the old temple in order to give the church a new tissue of legends and symbols so the old paradigm the old way of looking at things was replaced with this new stuff. Mm. Yeah, it's masonry. Same truths. So, so the key with the the the, uh, the magi is that they were a Babylonian priesthood, and so conventionally, it's understood to refer to the priest of the Persian religion of Zoroastrianism. There was also at the same time another cult priesthood that were known as Chaldeans. And they, this, this was the Babylonian priesthood. So again, these are, this is a, you know, there, there's so much focus on Greek history and so little, um, you know, the, 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 the birthplace of so much of this tradition that this, I, the, this history escapes most people. So the Chaldean Magi, as they were called, were famous throughout the world as a sort of wise men. First of all, you have to start with this notion that the Magi were priests of the religion of Zoroaster, what's called Zoroastrianism. It's a, it's a Persian religion. The Magi that but, 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 okay, okay. But he's talking about two things. He's talking about the Magi in the Chaldean and the uh, the Magi from Zoroastrians. Right? That's what he's saying. Yeah, that's what he's actually saying. No. Yeah, the people. Uh, the, this history escapes most people. So the Chaldean Magi, as they were called, were, were famous throughout the world as a sort of wise men. First of all, you have to start with this notion that the Magi were priests of the religion of Zoroaster, what's called Zoroastrianism. Yeah, but he's saying the Chaldeans, Chaldean uh, Magi were Zoroastrian, is what you're saying. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that, that doesn't make sense because they're two different people groups. But okay. But the Zoroastrians is that a people group or is that's that's a religion? It is a religion, but they weren't in Persia. So and the Chaldeans had their own and their own, and uh, they weren't right. in Persia. No, what I know. Zoroastrians, where were they? Zoroastrians, the Persians. So what that's do you mean? What they... I know. Oh. Well, strictly. Sorry. Uh, I don't know about strictly, but what I've learned is like Zoroastrian Persia and of uh, Chaldean Iraq Syria, more 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 Iraq still. But that's me. Iran. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Zoroastrian Iran. And Chaldea is where? Iraq Syria. Is a, it's a Persian religion. The Magi that became famous uh, throughout the world practiced a number of doctrines and beliefs that had nothing to do with Orthodox Zoroastrianism. The, these Magi, the ones who again who became popular, these, uh, because our word magic comes from Magi. So fundamentally, what you see is that they uh, they worship some kind of dying god. In their case, it was Mithras or Mithra, which is basically the Persian version of Baal. Uh, and uh, a version of the goddess, who I think her name was Anahita, which is the origin of Athena. And uh, they would have practiced, believed in astrology, numerology, they believed in reincarnation and vegetarianism. So now again, back to Greece. So this is where it's important is that 
in, in Greece, we already have a sort of a bedrock of of uh, this dying god tradition that was existing there through the survival of various, you know, the, the worship of Dionysus and various other versions. So what happens is that in the year, I think it's 538, Cyrus conquers Babylon from the Babylonians and he releases the uh, Jews from captivity. What happens at this point is that uh, the majority of them are allowed to return to Israel and to rebuild the temple. But they don't all return there. Some of them go to Egypt and some of them end up in Greece. Because what's important here is that the, the Persian Empire uh, conquered the entire area of what is today Turkey. And so on the very uh, most westernmost part of Turkey was a, was a region called, uh, a Greek-speaking region called Ionia. And it's well known that the first beginnings of Greek philosophy began there. And again, what historians don't tell you is that, that th those philosophers emerged under Persian occupation, even though they're referred to as Greek. And so when you look at, if you look at the, the what they call pre the pre-Socratics, the earliest Greek philosophers, their ideas all hold elements that are similar to the Magian cult. And in particular, you can read um, Heraclitus, and he says what's very interesting, he gives one of the most damning pieces of evidence, and this comes from the 5th century BC. He says that the cult of Dionysus was borrowed from the Magi, and that's an infernal cult dedicated to the phallus. So the cult of Dionysus was key uh, because it was the earliest form of the ancient mysteries in ancient Greece. So again, this was the same dying god, dying god ritual that involved uh, intoxication, uh, dancing, and orgies, and human sex. Dionysus. Dionysus, you know, the man of sex and wine. Mm? The god, heard, sorry. Uh, yeah, the god. So I, mm. I heard, it's mad, because it was like, they said Dionysus was raised as a girl. Oh, as a it's, woman. Ooh. Yeah. So that's the first gender god then in the Greek. Yeah, that's what he would raise us a woman. Uh -uh. Yo. Uh -uh. Oh. Sacrifice. So from the cult to Dionysus, you get the cult of Orpheus. What you have is you have this archaic. Uh, you know, mm, more ancient um, religious tradition in Greece, which was dedicated to the worship of Dionysus and these other gods, which now gets supplanted by this new cult, especially the cult of Dionysus, but also the advent of Greek philosophy. And so that has been taken in our time by Enlightenment philosophers to suggest that the Greeks, because the Enlightenment was, was the so-called age of reason, so they were trying to see history as an evolution of reason, which is why they suggested that the Greeks were rejecting religion in favor of reason, and they were abandoning superstition in favor of, of uh, you know, empirical thought. The reality is that the Greek philosophers were actually adopting a new religion, and that religion was the Magian cult. And that's why when you look at the fundamental teachings of the earliest philosophers, particularly Pythagoras and Plato, you can see that it was derived from Magian teachings. And this is the way that they were viewed ever since. And this is why throughout history, Plato has always been viewed as one of the major uh, founding figures of the Kabbalah by Jewish Kabbalists uh, as well. And this is why now you can see uh, why Albert Pike will claim this heritage for the Magi. This Magian cult is basically uh, early Jewish uh, Kabbalists who were, because the world at the time did not know who Jews were, uh, so they basically confused them uh, uh, as, uh, as uh, Persians or Babylonians. And so this cult then spread more and more, especially with Greek influence, when Alexander the Great conquered uh, much of the world, that's when this uh, Greek version of the Kabbalah then was infiltrated to various parts of the world, most importantly, the city of Alexandria. And this really, Alexandria is really effectively what we can regard as the beginnings of the occult uh, tradition, because this is where now you have this whole confluence of all these uh, different versions. So now you have in Alexandria, you have the influence of the Persian occult tradition, the Egyptian occult tradition, which is known as uh, Hermeticism, you have the influence of the various ancient mysteries, so the mysteries of Mithras, the mysteries of Sybil, the mysteries of Isis, the mysteries of Osiris, were all basically just variations of the ancient nine god uh, mysteries. And then you have the influence of Jewish mysticism, which is evidence in groups like the Essenes and another group affiliated with them in Egypt, and Alexander in particular, called Therapeutae. And then you have the, the Greek influence, which is called Neoplatonism, and that's how it enters the fold. And then you have Gnosticism. Gnosticism is basically the Christian version of all these uh, various cults, but they're all they're all, the, the thing is that scholars refer to this era as an era of syncretism because there are so many, uh, what they thought were separate elements cross-pollinating each other without understanding that they all had a single origin in the cult of the Magi. 
and they were just basically branches of the same cult. So Hermeticism was the alchemical sort of practical magic branch of, of uh, this occultism. Neoplatonism was the theology, <clears throat> and the ancient mysteries were the rituals. The, the, the one belief that holds all of these, um, um, that shared with all of the, the, the groups in the syncretism in Alexandria, so between Neoplatonism, Hermeticism, and Gnosticism, is the belief what in the, the Jewish version was called Merkabah mysticism. And Merkabah mysticism, which is what Gershom Shalom called Jewish Gnosticism, and characterized as the origin of the, of the Jewish Kabbalah. So the fundamental belief is that um, there, are, there are seven heavenly planets or have seven heavenly gods associated with each of the planets, and each associated with the metal. So you have sort of like a spectrum from the sun uh, to Saturn, and Saturn is lead and the sun is gold. And so it's kind of an alchemical process where the mystic has to uh, proceed through the seven planets. So you proceed through the seven planets. Uh, so basically transforming yourself from lead to gold when you read, because the sun is, the gold is symbolized by the sun, and then that's where you have union with the sun. Why, why does this matter today still? Why it matters today is because when we talked about the Illuminati, I just read you the quote from Albert Pike. He explained that, you know, this so-called heritage of the Magi is the rights of the highest Freemasonry. So because what that referring to is the, the development of the cult of the Magi is in actuality the development of the Jewish Kabbalah. It, the birth of this particular tradition of magic, uh, which uh, manifested itself in Judaism as, as Kabbalah, and again manifested itself in Greece as uh, philosophy. So when you look at the birth of this thing, of this cult, this is it. Everything that you can describe from that point forward is derived from there. So tracing backwards, uh, you have modern uh, movements like the New Age movement uh, that stemmed out of the Theosophical movement. So he went. He ran from. He ran from geometry, man. Went deep yeah, into he's the... fully into occultism now, man. It's just, yeah. But it's, it's basically leading up to talk about the people that started certain architecture still. Well, basically the idea is that um, because the Bible talks about the sons of God. Uh, I so big up, man. Before the flood, the sons of God uh, came and uh, basically interbred with the daughters of men and created, or the Elohim is what they're referred to in the Bible, and so it's translated in English as the sons of God. And they produced a race called the Anakim. And so the Anakim were responsible for all kinds of uh, violence and corruption on the earth, which uh, led to God um, commanding the flood. Modern interpretations of this have taken that to refer to. Quite interesting. So, while he's talking that. about that, though, Jess, yeah, he's showing the Zoroastrian. Uh, Turned into the fire. Fire, exactly. <laughs> and and he has another video about the it, the light of Lucifer, the 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 fire. Oh, is it? Right. Yeah, it symbolizing spirit and wisdom. Mm. Yeah. Atlantis and the fallen angels. These fallen angels apparently not only interbred with um, human beings, but that's where they learned, uh, you know, what was later called the ancient wisdom. So they caught them all kinds of forms of magic. Okay. So what you're implying here is that these guys survived the flood. This is the story to account of how the occult tradition was introduced to humanity, to to attribute it ultimately to the fallen angels. Atlantis was found not only in Greek and Egyptian writings, but also in Sanskrit writings. Before Plato was born, Herodotus referred to the Sea of Atlantis, and the ancient Vedic Aryans of India referred to the sunken island or sunken city, also called White Island. Uh oh, states. Variations exist among the Berber tribes near Mount Atlas in North Africa. Oh, no! <laughs> we did not do that now! Uh, we did not do uh, that! Yo, B -B hold this L! B -B hold this uh, L! <laughs> No way. So, okay, so, baby, you are actually a what now? Huh? The Aryan. Yeah, an Aryan. You came into Africa from where? From hmm? Yemen. Oh. No, I mean, from... No, 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 Persia, 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 <laughs> Persia, 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 referred to the sunken island or sunken city, also called White Island. Variations exist among the Berber tribes near Mount Atlas in North Africa, who knew of the ancient city called Atala. The Mesoamerican Maya and Aztec remember the fall of Azatlan. And the Basque people hold the legend of Atlantica, the sunken island, sometimes referred to as the Green Isle, 
from which the Basque ancestors allegedly arrived onto Europe. And, and so on, who, you, we were talking about the Basques b before, right? The Basques, right. In, ain't they in the Spain, isn't it? They're like northern Spain, the Basques. Right. Yeah. White folks. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So, yeah, he's just claiming everything white. That's us. Us, us, us. us yeah, us. blue eyes, blonde hair. That's us. Everything goes back to them. Do you know what mm -hmm. I mean? I hear we got another Aryan jumped on. Big up. Welcome. Yeah. We have I mean, I'm, one in the right now. I am here to represent Aryans and that. I mean, I'm just. I'm... What's the Aryan um, greeting? I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Nanu, Nanu. All right. Well, if you're going to be silly, cool. But big up, Sneets. Yeah, yeah. Come on. In it. Big up, man. White power. Fight the power with white power. Yeah. Fight the power with white power. <laughs> Let me behave. Uh, <laughs> yo, Beefy, I've heard that's a music there. Because. I saw a video about some white man talking about Iran being Aryan, being Ireland. Is this the same thing you're getting this from, Beefy, from video YouTube? Hmm? Are well, you trying to question Beefy's scholarship? <laughs> oh. No, because I think I've, yeah, I've seen a video about it. There's some uh, white man teaching about this, uh, that Aryans are Iranians, then the same for Ireland. So, hmm. Mm, Ireland, Aryan, yeah. Ireland. Well, yeah, this is nearly over anyway. Esoteric and occult authors. From this collapsed civilization arose the pyramids that are found across the globe, including places like China, where hundreds of massive pyramids litter the landscape that rivaled those in Egypt. Rival. The mathematical properties does. of the pyramid at Giza has triggered much debate as it clearly demonstrates pi, which is problematic to mainstream anthropologists who credit the Greeks with this discovery 2,000 years later. The Great Pyramid also demonstrates the equilateral circumference and polar radius of the Earth, as well as the golden ratio, or relationship between two numbers that are next to each other on the Fibonacci sequence, which is also present in the human body itself. Which brings us full circle to da Vinci's Vitruvian Man, drawn in 1490, which was inspired, as I said, by Vitruvius, who was an alchemist and wrote extensively about the golden ratio that shows up in the human body. For example, look at the 1 to 1.6 ratio of the human arm, the divisions from the shoulder to the elbow, and the elbow to the end of the tips of the finger is a perfect 1 to 1.6. Breaking it down even further, the divisions from the elbow to the wrist and the wrist to the tips of the fingers is also a perfect 1 to 1.6 ratio. And this continues on into the hand and even into the fingers. In fact, the entire human body obeys the Fibonacci sequence, which speaks to a hidden code or design, an archetypal blueprint that permeates all life and the universe, which is the basis of alchemy. Ah, lovely. It sounds so beautiful, In doesn't it? Alchemy sacred geometry is often yeah it does but, it does you, you, you think, but you don't believe in god though huh you don't believe in god of course i do who's god who's god i don't know but i just know there is a most high creator yes yeah yes 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 are you it, mad it, me is gonna, uh, is i'm gonna cry you? if i'm not i'm gonna die if i don't believe in most is he watching always. you always man I don't know who it is, but I just know there's a most high God and I watching yeah, you. Is he, yeah. is he protecting you? Protecting me. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Are we going yeah. there? Yeah. No, I just stay there. Uh, yeah, okay. like, yeah. So you believe yeah. in this God. So I want to know what's your relationship with this God? What what, what where's your belief come from, first and foremost? Sneaks, get off me. I'm gonna ask you the same questions. Yeah, Is so obviously, obviously, I'm in uh, both these. What's the question? So no, I'm going wait. Just wait. Um, the question is, mm -hmm. uh, Axon says she believes in God, and I want to, and I asked her basically, where is this God, and why do you, why do you believe in him? 
It's quite simple. Okay, so for okay, where is this God? I don't know. He's everywhere. I believe uh, it's a belief, isn't it? Um, yeah, I cannot. I be, okay. So in my world, yeah, in my little head, every living thing has a purpose, and I can see that. Yeah, uh, and we cannot be made of nothing. It's too perfect. This life, like. Uh, so I'm really bad at explaining this, but okay. Let me put me. Let me yeah, put take myself. your time. Take your time. Take yeah, your time, it's man. very hard for me to explain this, but okay. In my little science world, right? Every mm -hmm. time I start to study something, mm -hmm. I just notice how complex we are. Every time I think I know something about some specific. When you say you study something, what what is it you studied? Paint okay, so for example, yeah, I I study like six uh, courses in university about blood, right? I and I right. thought. About blood, 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 blood yeah. yeah. I thought I knew everything about blood, but no, nah, I don't know nothing. I don't even come close to 1% of blood. Uh, every time I go in in some biochemistry world, right, and I'm looking at the cells and I'm going further into the DNA or I'm going even in further down to some mechanism within the cell, right, I just get so flipping amazed. Jets. It can't be, like, it's not possible to not have a creator for me. Why is it not, not possible? possible? Why is it not possible? Because, okay, um, the precision, yeah, the precision, everything has a reaction. Everything is in a cas cascade reaction. It's like a thread. Uh, if you do something to one end, something else is happening. Like everything needs to be in some symbiosis, I think it's called in English. Like everything needs to be on point. Um, if I go even third, further down from my uh, cells and stuff, yeah, I go in, in back to the atoms, the com uh, compounds, how they are reacting, how they are actually, um, how should I say this, man? Uh, yeah, how they are reacting, how they are acting together, who, what happens when different gases collide or when we are actually playing like magic with the chem the chemistry. Nah, man, nah, man, nah, man. The construction of the atom, um, I can, yeah. There's a perfect circle. Like, it's just like perfection to the point that I, it can't You've be You've never seen the atom? Nothing. Have you seen the atom before? No, 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 no. Yeah, but you not said the construction perfect. of an atom. You said, yeah, 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 yeah. So You don't know what atom looks like. No, 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 but obviously, obviously, I'm talking theoretical. And if we didn't know how an atom worked, Jedi, we would never be able to make medicine, let me put it that way, yeah? or other no. reactions. No, yeah. no, 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 no. No, there's a difference between atoms and molecules. An atom is a, is a, is a small molecule, right? But atom, an atom? Yeah, because you're, you're, you're working with molecules. Yeah. To create medicine. Yeah. Ke in ke like in chemistry and that, right? Yeah. You're touching yeah, yeah. molecules and, and yeah. whatever. But you're not working yeah, with that... atoms. You don't work with atoms in medicine. But obviously, two atoms make a molecule. Okay. That's what I, that, that's a molecule. Yeah. It's two atoms together. Two atoms make a molecule. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Yeah. So, for example, I yeah, I you have. That. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, so, for example, like gases, right? Like yeah. gases, like chlorine or uh, argon or anything like that. Uh, they never go. They not like freely walking around just like one atom. So they need to be in, bonded uh, to another, bonded to each other. So it's always like yeah. uh, chlorine two or I don't know, argon two or H H two. For example. You so yeah, yeah, but yeah. But mm. are you sure it's atoms that are bonded together? Of to course. Make a molecule? Yes, of course. So then, so then, have what you seen a molecule before? No, 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 Jedi. I I have never been that far down in the microscope. Okay. I haven't. Okay. Yeah. 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 So, mm. Well, you, uh, you obviously you believe it's possible to see an atom. Yeah. Yeah, I am. Mm. Okay. Yes. Uh, 
so this is the reason why I'm so. Welcome, people. No, I cannot big up the big name, up. man. Uh, okay, so I'm very passionate when I'm talking about like that type of things, right? The, the it's a uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm very passionate because it's, it's mind blowing. Yeah, it makes me lose my mind almost when I say all the reactions and um, and that we don't know zero point zero point zero point fucking zero 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 five percent of our bodies, for example. We don't know, and uh, it's uh, yeah, the perfection is unbelievable. It's actually unbelievable. Um, yeah, that's me. And. And like one mind has put all this together, or one a yeah. higher being, a higher being. I don't know. I actually don't know. You know what I mean? I, I think it's uh now it comes to into belief, isn't it? Like I can't. Yeah, that like, it's like it's one thing. It's one thing me syncing up my iPhone to my TV. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. But did I create the iPhone and the TV? Yeah. No, I didn't. I, you know what I mean? The iPhone and TV were created. They were like, and I got nothing to do with the science of how that is done. I just like, so what I'm saying um, is, yeah. imagine that your creator just worked with what is and didn't create the atoms or didn't, it's not, didn't tell them to do this in their intricate little ways, just how things fit together. Yeah, but I don't know if I'm making sense. I know what you mean. Like they, there's, but, there's but creation. Don't you think there's an instigator? Like, is it, is it, is, I mean, okay, so you might not believe it's actually, okay. No, no, no. no, no I'm not, what I'm questioning no. is, what yeah. I'm questioning is each individual little aspect of reality was did, sat down, planned, and thought of. Or mm. if just having the ability to create and make things happen means that the intricate things kind of deal with themselves in a way like it just it's only intricate because we're looking at it through a microscope okay i hear what you mean i, I understand fully yeah um but that's the power of that thing you know what and i the mean like, yeah. the, of the creator right and also the um the power of the things he created this is its purpose you know what i mean so um they have their own functions in a way do you get me yeah am i making sense yeah so um so i would say like maybe this created um uh, created one thing but it turned into some other stuff you know what i mean in, in the long run uh like an instigator just having some tools and then that's it then let the work because i also believe in micro evolution and that's me yeah, I'm not in a macro, but micro evolution. Micro so, adaptation and micro evolution. Yeah, I hear you. yeah, yeah. So that's my type of uh, thing. So you can start the thing, put it there, and do the same. Let the thing just do itself, right? So type of thing. Very simply said. <laughs> but yeah, that's me. Mm, uh, uh, so you there? Yeah, hello. You sound stressed before I've asked you the question. <laughs> do do no, you believe in God? Um, yeah, but I think that's because I've grown up in a Gurdwara, like from a very young age, and I've yeah, like I've been raised in it to. Uh, to think that there is a, a creator, I spent most of my childhood in the Gordora. Um, and that, like the Sikhi perspective is that God is is linked with everything, is interconnected with all things, like Axon was saying. Do you know what I mean? Um, my mind's gone off my original. Do you, you, you have any, um, have you got any evidence to support? This is another thing that I was going to add to it, but because I don't have evidence that I, as far as I can prove for myself that there's a God there, um, the only other thing that I can use as an example is, I don't know, it might seem like a really small example, or, or, or like using the law of attraction, for example, attracting what I want, like manifesting something into my life, 
I've actively asked for something, put something out there verbally into the ether, and it's come to me. Do you see what I mean? In ways that's like, in ways that's mind blowing. Do you know what I mean? No. Yes. No. No. I, no, I, I do. I do know what you mean. I, I think I was wondering. Where's God in all of that? You put it out into the EFAR and all that. Let it, a lot of people, like yeah, I hear what you're saying, but there's a, there must be a higher power out there. What, granting you your wishes? Yeah, see, now it sounds like a, a judgy genie type situation. Sounds like an addict. <laughs> yeah. a judgy genie. <laughs> Yeah, but that to me, that, that to me is like similar to what they teach you, like when you're a kid, in it, like when you make a request in a religious like setting or whatever. Where's that going? And there's an echo. I can hear myself. It sounds like a. What the fuck is that noise? This is Zellini. Sweet. Okay. You, you notice me, man? In it, in it, in it. <laughs> what silly questions? Shall I bad you up? Like yeah. Sikh, we do, we do something called Ardas. When you do Ardas, it's like a, it's like you're asking God for help for something specific. When you do Ardas, yeah, your request is going straight to God, not to some genie out there. Mm, yeah, yeah. You lot's gods might be the genie though. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I think you're talking about some like lesser entity. I'm talking about the top, top done, like the yeah, top one. A lot one. of, of lesser well, genies. Well, apparently, the lesser entities pose as the top done. Hmm. So, I guess what I'm saying is okay, you believe you're communicating with an entity. You believe you're communicating with some kind of something out there, but who's to say? How do you know yours is the top don and not a lesser entity posing? Or how do whatever? you know these lesser entities haven't just like they, they, look, For me, my perception is these entities have got a less, like a, a smaller fraction of the ability of what the creator can do. What's that based on? Um, conversations in my head. <laughs> <laughs> Should have known. Should have fucking known. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 nah, but like, there's nothing wrong with that answer either. That, that I've, to be honest, I think I'm probably pushing for that, for that honesty. You know, because I, 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 I have to. Yeah, I feel like I have that, to. Don't be like beefy, like but. Where he says he spoke to God or one of them ones, or you know, no, no, that's um, Zulu. God showed I'm him sorry if all. this causes offense, right? But like, you can be one of those people who meticulously reads through scriptures and blah, 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 or bring Dalil or whatever, but are you actually any closer to the truth than I am? Or like, it's all about belief, it's a belief, right. We can't be like stone. I don't know how to say this. Why, yeah, but it's why like, not? No, but why but not? no, but no. Why can't, why can't you? Why why are you a scientist? Yeah, mm -hmm. happy to be like, oh, it's belief. We can't be. What is that? What kind of shit is that? You don't do that I'm, for science. Yeah, of course I do. Are you mad? Or you just have belief in science. You don't have facts. No, 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 no. I have you current have facts. No, 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 it's two proven. things. It's two things. It's two oh, things yeah. here. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Science. You have a belief and then you test your belief, right? Yeah. So With I have two experiment. things. Inside. It's, yeah, it's two things. It's a fact, like you said. I can believe what I see is proven. I can't. It's tangible, right? Then we have the theoretical science with the fact, theoretical facts, yeah, that I, it's theories. I, it's not tangible. It's a possibility. It's a, still a belief for me. So I need to differentiate these two very hard, right? So I'm very like, um, how should I say? I know, and always, always, I keep, I keep saying this a thousand times, yeah.
just because I said that I'm finding something now that is perfect and it makes sense and it's on point and it's factual for me right now doesn't mean after 10, 15 years, it's going to be disproven. This happens in science all the damn time. So yeah. it's not Absence factual, of it? evidence is not evidence well, of how, how, how does facts? How does something factual change? Yeah, so what people do, this typical atheist do, right? Or um, yeah. people who believe in this so hard that it's actually factual for them. Nothing we do is an absolute. We need to stop this uh, presuming everything is an absolute. You know what I mean? Like everything is an absolute because it's still going to be tested for 50 years. Just something, just because we knew something 50 years ago and um, we made sure it's like, okay, cool, this is something factual. Now it changes. It changed now, 50 years later. You know what I mean? Does mm. it make sense? Yeah, this is how we roll, really. Yeah, see, this is this is the thing. See all this here, though? This is just what I'm not prepared to do personally. Uh, I, I don't... I'm not even going to say have the patience here. I just, I'm not prepared to, to go through my life um, having the quote-unquote faith in, in, in a book I may have been shown or quote-unquote some stories may have been passed down, whatever it, wherever it may be, for the whole of my days. And then I get to the end of my days and what? There's, there's a chance that I might be wrong, but there's a chance that I could not be. Better safe yeah, than sorry then, Zelini, what about that? Say that again, sorry? Uh, what about better safe than sorry, do you think it's like, you know what I mean? Yeah, I, I hear that still, but I'm just, yeah, I'm, I'm not prepared to do that. That just goes for all, all um, religions. Like like I've said before, I definitely believe that there's something much greater than, or bigger than, than us that has manufactured this whole thing. I've kind of come to the acceptance that I probably will never find out in my lifetime. So I'm not really going to rack my brain trying to find out and trying to argue other people down that probably believe in the same greater power, but they just know it as something different. To me, that, that don't really make no sense. But shout yeah, out. And I think I think that could be yeah. a good, a great outlook, or it could be just the outlook that um, that is wanted, for instance. Yeah. The, the concept that you know what we all really dealing with the same high, higher power just by different names different parts yeah that's yeah. kind of very opposite to the, the directness of most of their scriptures which would tell you that yo these men are actually dealing with the demon or devil or so, uh, do you know what I mean and this devil wants you to to think that oh yeah Allah and Yahweh are the same oh yeah Z uh, Zor the Zoroastrian and and Buddha and 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 whatever, you got me. Uh, uh, Baha'i, Bahu'Allah, they're all the same, man. You know, like it's just different names, different paths to get to the same thing. But when you look in the scriptures, the scriptures don't be saying that. The scriptures be saying, "Yo, beware of false gods and false idols, and don't commit shirk and." So on and so so forth, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah no, I hear that, and obviously, I, I'm not a person that's that's even like read them like that, so I, I couldn't yeah. even 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 comment or make a make a um a valid a valid assessment like that. But what what I will say is that I could also understand why one may try but may want to try and deter um people from going going to another. So yeah. they might say stuff like beware of the false X, Y, and Z. Do you get what I'm trying to say? I'm not trying to say that this is the case, but I'm just trying to say that I don't... For... I right, put it this way. I'm also talking about the Bible here, yeah? But there's a lot of things that, to me, they just don't make no sense, bro. You get me now? That could be for how the way I think. That could be just the time I'm born in. That could be a lot of things. But for me, when I see certain things, they don't really add up. So I'm not someone that is going to invest in something that I don't think makes sense. You get what I'm trying to say? Like, really, have, you ever had a, have you ever had a have you ever had an experience you can't explain that's just baffled your brain? Yeah, a hundred percent. I've had I've, I've had a couple of them, but again, like, like I said, can before, you tell us one? I, can you tell us one, huh? please, Lini? Just tell us one. Um, I I woke up one day and it was like 
and it, this, 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 this ain't sleep paralysis before anybody thinks this year, but I woke up one day and it was like, I was outside of my body, bro. Do you get me? Like, it felt like, like I was literally, there was my body there, but it, it wasn't me, fam. Do you get me? Like, it felt like I was, I was somewhere else. But again, I, I couldn't explain this. I know it wasn't sleep paralysis. What, because what, what, it, could I, you see I, your body? Could you, did, was your eyes open, eyes closed? Could you no, see no, it? but, but I, was, I was awake, bro. I was awake, fam. Yeah, I was awake. I was awake. I couldn't see my body, but I just, I, it felt, I felt like, bro, well, I'm not here right now. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Yeah, I don't know what it was. I can't explain it. Like, I, I don't, I don't even know where to start. But I just know that, bro, this wasn't normal, bro. You get you what I'm trying to say? You, yeah? Go on. What what Cali pack was it? <laughs> I, was I should have thrown that as a disclaimer in there. Yeah, you should have. I was surprised. I you story, you know? but, but don't yeah. tell me you weren't running. Nah, but I was substance free, bro. This was like this. This was early in the morning, bro. You get me? Yeah, this was this wasn't yeah. even. This is like a fresh day now. You know I've experienced I mean? something similar, but it was not as. It was just in a really sneaks type of dumb way. Shut up, Shelly. But yeah, that? Like, 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 sorry, sorry, it's like I was saying before, yeah, again, I definitely believe that there's something out there, do you get me? What I don't know, I, 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 I couldn't even begin to comprehend. By something, you mean something non-human with, with a brain? With a, well, no, 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 sorry, let me change that. With capabilities. So, uh, yes, certain intelligence yeah. that's non-human. Yeah. So it could be an alien for all you know, just an alien. Yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe. But with the capability to, to 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 create what we know as as as, as Earth as life. Oh, so oh, so you're putting it. Oh, so you're putting life down to a creator. You think we were created? You don't believe in a big bang? No, 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 no. I definitely don't believe none of that shit. And so your your belief is that we, whatever it is, we were created like that, or life was created. Should we say? Yeah, yeah. Life was created. You get me? If if you want to put it that way. Yeah. But yeah. I, I, we're, we're definitely not going for no big bang theory. Right? Why? That's because so, Nanny had you in the Baptist uh, church or the Pentecostal church. No, nah, it's, it's not. It's, you know, it's, no, it's, 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 it's not even about none of that for me personally. Yeah, for me, yeah. Like when I look at Earth, the world as it is, bro. Yeah, like even something, something as, as as simple as the human body functions. Well, not simple, but you get me. Like something, something as as as, as what your body does on a daily basis, bro. For me personally, I feel like certain things are a bit too complex, bro. For this just to be some set of atoms and chemicals and whatever that have uh, that have combined together and hey presto, this is what we got. Now I could be wrong, hundred percent, but I just don't feel that in it. That's just me personally. Mm, mm, mm. One hundred. Yeah, I'm going to the same thing. Yeah, yeah. I yeah, said yeah, the yeah. same thing, but I think that we're just looking for the specialness in yeah. material. You know what I mean? Like because. Mm. Every, like what's not going to look complicated if if that makes sense what wouldn't be complicated anyhow that you look into the building blocks the 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 the, the smaller the microscope or the the stronger the microscope the more you're going to see the more it's going to be like oh my god this is so complicated like what wouldn't be okay so what about like everything being a circle then let me put it that way like everything ha has an infinity everything is in a uh in a cycle cycle everything everything i'm looking That's not down true. It's not for me for me in my science world right everything how far down i can go wait 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 you got your because you talk about slit slit a lot right the slit the slit um experiment right right double slit slit experiment where you you observe um particles um uh things that go from waveform to 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 whatever you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. right now there's there's part of this experiment where this thing becomes random and does its own thing and it's neither uh wave or particle right what is it then it's neither it's both it's both okay so okay. isn't that what the slit experiment no. proves right i don't really know about the slit like that jets i haven't looked into it still i'm sure it was you that was quoting the slit experiment come on man was it uh, 
And did you say you don't really have the slit like that? Please. Yeah, it sounds like we, a good experiment still. I can't lie to you. Nah, the, was it? No, nah, but Axon just admitted what we've already suspected. What, you don't have a slit? <laughs> what what we're doing? What are we, are we doing? All right, yeah. man. All right, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to be serious here, yeah. Sorry, sorry, <laughs> sorry. Sorry. Why are you getting angry at us because you're slitless? Sorry, man. Sorry. Yeah, oh no slit. We, yeah, you believe in God. You were created with, a, with us. Well, <laughs> yes, listen, listen. <laughs> All right, here yeah. we go. Let me just go wait, let me just refresh go us on the double slit experiment. Let me see if Jed's is chatting shit or not. No, no. Just real quick. Professor Dave here. Let's talk about the double slit experiment. He knows a lot about the science stuff, Professor Dave explains. In learning about the first few discoveries that led to the development of quantum mechanics, we discussed wave-particle duality. So we understand that both light and matter behave as both particles and waves. See what I'm saying? Right? But we Meaning... That maybe it doesn't have to be a action reaction because they're both act, but action and a reaction are both cancelling okay. each other out and making each other exist. Mm. Right. Uh, <laughs> okay. What's what is light and what is the particle? Light is the information. The particle is information. In a different at a different frequency. Particle is matter. The wave particle. is the yeah, particle is seen as dense matter, right? And the wave is seen as mm -hmm. a wave, non non matter. Non matter. Light, light yeah? is non like, matter. Like the way you can't slap someone with light, right? You can't dash, you can't dash a light at some at the back of someone's head. Mm -hmm. You can't pick it up and dash it, but you can intensify it and aim it, and it will burn the back of someone's head. Hmm. But but what is light? Light what is actually is photons, right? And what is photons? Photons. Information. Yeah. So okay. So light is light, yeah. but it's also photons, and photons are what? Information. Information. I'm gonna challenge you this, but let's continue. Uh -oh. Let's continue. Oh, there go. What you, what's the challenge? No, 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 but I need, I need to know if you said, okay. why are you saying it's information? Because that's what photons are. Information, information to be to be decoded, you know, that's what it is. Mm. Okay. Photon yeah. is, photon is, inf photons are information. Once the, that information hits the perceiver, like the, the, your eye, then it is... Um, Oh, that type of information, you mean? Well, yeah, of course. That's what it is. Yeah. But... A... I don't know. Does a photon exist without a beholder? Without without an observer? Uh, this is what this, in, this, is what this slit experiment... This is what this slit experiment talks about. Okay, so... I, okay, watch. let's watch this video. You know me, I'm going to question you with everything. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> what did you just say? No, I said, let's watch the, this uh, double slit experiment. Let's go over some of the technical details. So let's zoom in for a moment. In 1801, Thomas Young performed experiments where light was passed through a plane with two slits in it, striking a screen beyond. The diffraction and interference patterns that resulted clearly supported the wave model of light, with the brighter bands representing constructive interference and the darker bands representing destructive interference, with the width of the bands being a function of the frequency of the light. Later in the century, Maxwell showed that light is a wave of oscillating electric and magnetic fields. So it seemed as though the case was closed on the declaration of light as waves. But as we said, in 1905, Einstein solved the problem of the photoelectric effect by assigning particle nature to light. Thus, wave-particle duality was born. 
Later, de Broglie proposed that particles must therefore also display wave-like behavior. And this was shown to be true in an experiment, just like Young's more than 100 years prior. This modern version is what we are typically referring to when we talk about the double slit experiment. From this, it was shown that a beam of electrons exhibits diffraction and interference patterns, just like light does. This demonstrates the wave-like properties of electrons, and by extension, matter in general. Later, low-intensity experiments showed that even an individual electron, when passing through biprisms or slits, will interfere with itself, making the wave-like nature of the electron undeniable. So it was shown that electrons act as both particles and waves, but not just electrons. Neutrons were also shown to exhibit diffraction patterns. It must be understood that since all particles are also waves, literally any object could hypothetically exhibit a diffraction pattern, so long as the object passes through an aperture roughly the size of the object's wavelength. But remember that massive objects have incredibly tiny wavelengths. So for something like a human being to diffract, they would have to pass through an aperture around 10 to the negative 36 meters wide, which is a trillionth of a trillionth of a trillionth of a meter. So this will be pretty tough, no matter how much you dye it. In this way, we begin to see how Newtonian mechanics is not the fundamental descriptor of motion, but rather that it emerges from quantum mechanics as objects become large enough that their wavelengths are negligible. So don't worry, everything you learned in classical physics will still work just fine for any object you can see with your eyes. Well, but, it doesn't. You just you just reduced it down to some mad uh, numbers that we no one can do. So and say, oh, it's possible, but you just have to be a trillionth of a trillionth of a trillionth of a meter small in order for you to do it, to pass through it, and then whatever defracture, defracture, whatever he said. So this is where their science becomes spooky because it becomes theoretical again. Do you know what I mean they do some physical I stuff? I agree. I agree. And then they get and then they write off the rest with the theoretical shit. And then they're telling mm -hmm. you, oh, what we realize now is the bigger that our object comes, then they're there and this changes and that changes, and they'll just keep moving that goalpost. But essentially, what it was basically trying to say is that both light and matter essentially have the same components and can do the same thing. It's moving like a wave. That's what he's actually trying to say. Yeah. It's moving like a wave. It's a particle. Yeah. And a wave. But then there was, there was, maybe he goes on to talk about it, but he, yeah, when they do the experiment, they ob observe them doing both. And then, um, they're moving the same way. That's the thing. That's what he's and, to say. and then on top of it, they realize that the observer actually affects the result. So without an observer, they that they don't get the same result. Yeah, so, so what, it might be me, man. I'm confused, so, bro. Uh, well, well, essentially, um, what Axon said was every action has a reaction. Yeah, yeah, and I'm saying that this experiment, in my belief, shows you that actions and reactions are essentially the same thing. But no, nah, but we're talking about uh, weight, yeah. So we're talking about like... A light, it's really about light and matter though, right? It's, yeah, about, it's yeah, really yeah. about matter and, 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 and wave, particle and wave. So, but I think we were taught to believe like one inspires the other, like the wave... The wave mm -hmm. comes before the particle. Yeah, but this one is just saying that, like, the same, uh, the particle is moving just like a wave. So you can, okay, so for they example, exhibit this, the, yeah. Yeah, so uh, he's ta actually talking about electrons moving, right? And when electrons moving, they are moving uh, as a particle, but also like in a wave type of thing, right? Yeah. So the, the light and the movement makes it become a photon, 
right? So you have the movements and the particle equals. Yeah. Uh, so what we know is it's all down to vibration. So if you change, yeah, yeah, change yeah, yeah. Of, Quite simply what, said, what yeah. You, what you look at as matter can can behave like light based on, if you change the, the vibration of it. Correct. Come again. What you look at as matter can behave like 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 a wave if you change the vibration of it. Mm. Yeah, specifically electrons. Yes, yes. What well, you calling? What you are calling matter? I'm saying electrons. Sorry, I'm just following him. Okay. But so yeah, 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 So yeah, what is yeah. an electron then? Yeah. So that's a substance, isn't it? So the matter. All right, right. So why is it not matter? Why are you calling it electrons when it's matter? Yeah, but I don't. Now, nah, for me, are you, are you looking at the screen? Yeah, but the, the things he's I'm talking seeing... about matter. Yeah, but now nah, he's actually talking about electrons because that is yes, the and the electrons is the matter. Yes, Jets, it is. But when I equate like matter in general, I, I see it as a compound type of thing. But when I'm talking but about it, don't like, make light, sense because you're the one that told me that the molecules are made of two atoms. Yeah, so but you I'm believe the about, building blocks. Yeah, but, but with the, so yeah. you believe electrons are the building blocks because an electron is is is, is a is a, a part of an atom. atom. Yes. Yeah, atom split in two. No, it's a no, no it's, a piece no. of an atom. Then so you yes. got quartz, electrons, protons, neutrons. neutrons. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. 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 Cool. So. Essentially, we you, we, no, but we're not discussing. No, for real though, we are not really uh, disagreeing. This, disagreeing in this, we're not. Uh, we're not. But I just like my wording is a little bit. Okay, different. no, fair enough. Yeah, I can't pretend to know about this stuff, man. I'm just work, like you know, I've heard bits. No, but you do good. I'm involved. impressed. I'm actually impressed. Come on. Oh, yeah. Two uh, <laughs> Shut your mouth. <laughs> 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 yeah yeah so yeah that we said that just just to get to mm. um god god <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah all so, basically all god. this all this type of stuff is so mm -hmm. complicated that basically yeah. it's got to be god it's got to be god isn't it like because we don't understand it so it's got to be god because we the mighty humans it's so amazing to us there's got to be a creator. There's got to be some some mind that sat there and said, let me make this deliberately. Nah, nah, Jets, don't do this yet. So, so wait, 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 wait. Jedi Ali, what are you saying? You believe it came from nothing? I believe there's no such thing as nothing. Ay, 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 ay. So, you actually... I don't, be I don't, believe, in, I don't believe in nothing. You don't believe in that there's no such thing as nothing. Come there, on. No, there's that's, no such that's thing as no thing. That's a good start. That's a good start. For me, I have hope for you now. Hope for me for what? Yeah, so now I have, have hope. So you're saying that, okay? That means we've we always been there. Huh? What? Well, what hasn't always been there? Mm. So some people believe in spawn, um, accidental... Yeah, energy can't be destroyed. Ah, oh, you you turning into Newton's law now, it's neat. The third law. Mm, mm. That's what you said now, it's neat. Energy can never be destroyed just to change the forms, right? That's the Newton world. Um, do you guys believe in that? I'm not sure if that's true. Hmm. I was just kind of throwing it in the mix. I'm not sure if that's true, but it seems like it. That's going back to what you were talking about. That's back to your theory about like the circle and cause and reaction and everywhere. That that explains your universe, right? Yeah, for me, it's more about the circle and everything has a circle um, and stuff like that. Yeah, that's what I believe. I see in the nature, everything goes yeah. around. And whatever, 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 yeah. Everything goes like that. And uh, higher up, as high as I know, yeah, everything seems to be in a circle, some type of circle. Um, 
but I don't know. I'm not sure about the higher ups. Whatever I know, it's like further down. Um, mm. The Big Bang thing is 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 uh, the Big Bang thing is mad. That's just a that that's that. Just there was there was nothing. Then there was a bang. Mm. 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 No instigator. No nothing. You don't know nothing. No particles. Not nada. It just be okay just be and Before suddenly that, there was nothing from nothing and then it's like that's oh. more magic that that's harder to believe than god for me it is and what makes it even or worse or is it or is it not god because are they not describing god cuz cuz unfortunately we get all around everything and then you get to the point of talking about this creator like mm -hmm. adart zelini um Bro, this creator that created everything or set the ball in motion, like how could that creator exist? Like who created that? This is beyond our understanding, isn't it? Ah, uh, here we go. Throw yeah, our brains yeah. away. No, 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 no. Yeah, but that's true, though, Jess. We're getting to a point where we don't have any answers, right? We and this stop. has always been my point, bro. Yeah? yeah. This has yeah. always been my fucking point. Yeah, no matter how... How 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 confident people want to sound when they're reading the religious scriptures? Because nobody has the answers that people really yeah. want. Yeah, hence, hence why we're still here in 2024, but I'm trying to figure this thing out. Like yeah. again, like I said, I think people need to be more, 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 more accustomed to the idea of bruv, just accept the fact that you may never know certain things. This 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 you first know, You know what though, yeah? I I from one. Mm. I, for one, um, I understand. There's a wisdom to what you're saying, Zilini. There really mm. is. There's a wisdom to it. Um, the pursuit of knowledge is a never-ending one. I think once you get on that train or once you train your your mind or, or, or if your consciousness is of that type, yeah. it's, it's almost like a it's, it's almost like a torment because you always yeah. want to know and you're never satisfied. Like, bro... Man, there's the, what you're saying to me sounds good, but there's no way I could ever be satisfied of the fact that oh, man's just not gonna know. I feel that like that's like the ultimate trap. Like, no, so you're gonna stop looking, and then of course you're not gonna know. Yeah, but I, 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 I look, look at it this way. Yeah, there's people that probably had way more resources, bruv, way more, way more at their disposal to to find out these answers and information, cousin. They, yeah. they they don't have it or if they have if they have you. found it they ha they haven't given it to the rest of us so the, I think the, this is what makes I'm me me yeah you know, I, 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 secretly I, I, I think that if anyone can find that I can you know you know one of them ones and I think most most curious minds maybe have that like you know I hear you I hear you Zelini but I'm gonna, do, you know do you know the do you know the closest I mean, way though the, the best analogy I could give you and again I don't be no disrespect to anyone you get me but it's like it's it's like plastic surgery, bro. Like once you do something, or, you, or again, like why you look into it, bro. You're never gonna stop, bro. Yeah, you're <laughs> never gonna be satisfied because you're never gonna yeah. get the answers that you feel that you you are looking for. Uh, who so said never... though? Who says? Well, well, well. Actually, you're well, right. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Put it this way. Now, why do you I, I, no? What? Why are you well, saying with such confidence? Because 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 you're I, never I've gonna never, know. Because because in in this little short time that I've I've, I've lived on this earth, bro. I, I am yet to find hair of or meet somebody that can give anybody these answers, these definitive. Mm. And and I think, yeah, this is how people like me, maybe like Axum, mm. are roped, not roped into, lured into certain things, yeah. certain practices because of the promise of knowledge. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? The promise yeah, of, you know yeah. what? Because yeah. like, I've had that said to me, like, "Raw, you know what? You can meet your God. You can chat to yeah. him. Yeah. Which is a very tempting notion to yeah. see some real shit. Because people like me and you, Zellini, we want to yeah. see some shit. Well, 100%. But you, you know, know? what yeah. I, I, Again, I strongly feel that in my lifetime, I will never get to see or I will never be shown these things. You get me? It may change, mm. you get me? But currently, this is how I... This is, this is my, my start to it, so... I feel like I'm not prepared to rack my brain trying to figure out these things, bro. Do you get me? And again, I know I know religion is not people racking their brains or, 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 or nothing like that. Or for some people, it's not that. But 
for me, I'm gonna want, I'm gonna always want to know. So, 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 did you get me? Like that's that's that, that's I, I I I feel like once I get that sort of first for something, bro. It's a never ending uh, 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 chase. It's a never ending in. It's a never ending um, uh, 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 race for something. You get me? So I'm not gonna be happy with one or two answers. I'm gonna want to know more. Then I'm gonna want to know more. Then I'm gonna want to know more. It's gonna get to a point where someone can't answer me, bro. But you know what it is, though, Zadimia. I feel like that always, right? Every time I think I know some stuff, I don't know shit. Yeah, mm. more knowledge I know, I get. I, I I'm not coming anywhere. Yeah, I'm I've, just, ki- I've kind of got that feeling as well. Some certain times, that's yeah. <laughs> so the more yeah. the, the more you actually find out knowledge on certain things, it's like yeah. the more you realize yeah. I don't know nothing. Don't know nothing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> And and it fascinates me. It makes me actually go, uh, go um, local and want to know even more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's just me. And I'm, I'm too curious about this life to just let it be sliding by. This is how and, I feel. Yeah, I'm too curious. Yeah, I, I'm. 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 It's like a drive in me to understand this life. Yeah, and let, uh, it, yeah. Sorry. Let me say this quickly. Uh, um, yeah. Yes. Silverback, what you've done is what I call the classic speaker's corner intro. Yeah, so what will happen is me, no, real talk, but I'm gonna break it down, right? Yeah, all right, so let's start like this. You fucking Islamophobe, why don't you fucking ask a real fucking one? You when when you ask a real fucking uh, a, a mufti or very rare, rare, someone knowledgeable, not just this any guy. See, if you was really sincere, brother, you'd ask. A, a mufti or a sheikh, yeah? And then I turn to the camera and say, so, I guess you want to know how I got to this position. <laughs> we rewind, yeah? And we and it's me, you and Axum and Sneets having this conversation. Uh, all believers in a higher power, not particularly religious, but believers in a higher power to one extent or the other, agnostic, whatever, right? And then we're having this conversation and then this person that thinks they've got all the fucking answers uh, um, uh, in, in 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 a book comes and says to you, "May I present to you the Quran?" <laughs> it claims to be the creator. It claims to be from the creator, and it's and it's for all mankind. No other scripture claims this, right? And this is how when we says, "Oh, oh, really? Okay." Then we ask a question. They answer, and before you know it, you're picking apart Islam, and you were just minding your own business. This is how it does. Religious facts, people big facts, big facts. Start from a stance of. They have all the answers, which I love. Big like, facts. I'm not criticizing you, but it's like, okay, you're you make okay, you're making me look at this book now. You know what I mean? You said this. Oh, this book's from God. You say the Creator. It's from Him. Man, did he write it? No, no, oh, he didn't write. It. Okay, did he? Did he? Uh, did he deliver this message to the person that did write it? Oh no, no. Okay, didn't do that either. Oh, big up, big up, big up, JD. He said, not knowing is important to admit. Trying to get empirical answers is what we do. Yes. Uh, I, I, I yeah, that, no, man. yeah. And I, I think that. I that. more time, man's asking questions to actually, big up MD, wherever you are, to actually find out what you don't know. Because mm. more time, if you haven't put thought to it, you don't even know what you don't know. Mm. If that makes sense. Yeah, you no, know, no. You, know, yeah, don't. you don't know what you don't know. So you have to ask certain questions and be like, Rah, do you know what? I actually don't know what, you know? I actually don't know. And th- I don't think that's the, a nice place to be. So, because sometimes you think you know things because it was just handed down to you. Thought processes, mind, teaching, family life, culture, yeah, whatever, you think you know stuff. So, always questioning is a way of actually checking what you know but then again the simple life you think man's living a simple farm life i don't know man you know is ignorance bliss because it does feel like a big job to have an inquiring mind but then when i look at people that don't question things i don't envy them zelini i don't want yeah, to no, be no, no 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 for, for me Do you know for what me, i mean bro? Yeah, no, for, for me, it's, it's definitely a balance, bro, because man that don't question, you're definitely getting bombastic side of that. But however, <laughs> yeah, it, it, it comes a point where, for me, bro, yeah, it's like, I, I wouldn't even say questioning too much, bro, because you always question, but it's like, you question to a point where you, can, you can't get a sufficient answer, bro. So, mm. 
you can't even fo- uh, hit them with a follow up question because you haven't even answered that to a to a to a sufficient level that that man is comfortable with the answer. You may have said some stuff that or whatever you get me, but it's like no, it's still not making sense to me. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, you know what? Secretly, I do think that maybe maybe not all the answers. I think some answers are out there, you know, Zalini. I genuinely like mm. some of the baby step answers that lead to the big questions that we want answers to. Yeah. I think we'd be surprised at what answers are actually out there. But, but like, yeah, you're right. Is this why people are in secret societies and that shit's kept secret? Is that why? Because they're getting answers. M- maybe. Mm. Maybe. I could, I could, I could see that as plausible. Well, there's definitely something they want us to believe. Yeah, you know what I mean, ha and and and, and, <laughs> and and as well, yeah, I, I, I feel like certain knowledge is not meant for everyone. Uh oh, do you get me? Like certain knowledge in certain people's hands is 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 very dangerous or may become very dangerous. You get me? So, I, I can understand not that I'm agreeing with that. Yeah, but, yeah, but like, it's like you know what it is though. I hear you. And maybe that's mm. true. The problem is who's getting to decide. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Who's the, yeah, yeah. Who's the, who's the gatekeeper? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's the gatekeeper? That's the where the issue is. I get it. Because yeah. yeah. I think I've seen some people read some things and find some stuff out, and ain't really seem that it's it's been too good for them. Yeah. You know, some people mm. go off the edge. They. Huh. Yeah. And and I also but, think people accidentally stumble across stuff. Yeah. And they go nuts. Yeah, 100%. And, and, and I think I spoke about this before. I think one of the main reasons is of that is that your belief system for so long has been one thing, brother. When you one may thing. come across information that may compromise this or yeah. or, or, or prove this to be wrong, balance. your brain can't comprehend this, brother, or figure out how to deal with this. You get me? So you just end up bugging out. And now, man, are calling you mad and all this other stuff where you just need to be able to, to, to figure out how to process the information and, 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 and move forward. You know what I mean? What say right. you, Sneets? You're, you're, in, you're ignoring contents of the book by asking questions to avoid reading it. Interesting. Who, who's that aimed at, Silver? Uh, maybe me, maybe you, maybe both of us. Mm. Or maybe someone in the chat, I don't know. <laughs> One thing I will say about religion, yeah, or a certain aspect of it, is that I see that it, it has people living a, a, I don't want to say organised, a structured lifestyle. I think that's the best word I, I can use right now. And yeah. it, 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 it um, it's very, very healthy. Do you get me? Like, the, the, the results of that. I may not agree with what you're, 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 you're believing in to get to that, but... Like the way the, the the way people live their lives, you get me when they when they follow certain religions. Yeah, discipline to an extent, Shani. Yeah, like I, I'm not gonna lie, man. I, I proper like that still. Hmm. Hmm. Can be achieved without it, though, right? Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. But I think for most people, that's just the most common way for them to to achieve that. Do you get me? Other people have other other ways, but. For the majority, it's, it's yeah, I, I'm, a, I'm a devout Christian, I'm a devout Muslim, I'm, I'm a devout Sikh or whatever it may be, you know what I mean? And there's certain men that go to the gym at five in the morning every day, do you get me? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> certain men, yeah? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, <I mean. laughs> discipline. <laughs> devoted, devoted. Mm. Yeah, no, de- definitely, baby. 100% it's a balance, man. 100%. You get me? I've never been a fan of the two devoutie devoutie, but I've also never been a fan of someone that doesn't take it seriously. Do you know what I mean? Whatever they, they, they choose to believe in, so. Okay. I'm going to come off this. Yeah. I don't know what this is, but I just wanted to check it out quickly. I'm not going to watch all of it. I've just literally just seen it. So, I don't know who this guy is. Because I genuinely believe this is it. This is the truth. 
I hate. But what I do know is, yeah, everyone that keeps goes into contact with these big shows on a on a on a I don't know on a deeper basis, they always seem to have all these stories. Talent show. Yeah, there was something always. Remember, didn't I say who did I say to you earlier? Motion. There's the Britain. No, the um, Australia Got Talent guy. Who done that yeah, and, big, and you got strike for that for that. Yeah, uh, I got strike for that it. He done that big documentary or whatever, talking about yeah. the races and this and how he got they brought him into this and that from he won the show and he went in. Very detailed. Hey, sneeze. I swear I heard that guy's dead. How is it? Yeah. Well, I'm not surprised. I'm not, mm. and then there was the next guy that just went. Funny and I don't know. He was on holiday and disappeared, and something happened, and they're looking for him. I don't know if they found his body. Do you remember the black guy? They, um, they were looking for some no. winner, whatever. Anyway, so this dude, I don't know what he's gonna say. I just want to quickly. So, oh. so before, before 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 you play this, yeah, um, on the theme of missing black people, yeah, I don't know if it's I want to say clickbait because obviously people are missing, but. Seems to be this 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 theme of 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 of, of missing mi, mi, missing black people and and that not and being done. Report. Yeah, like you know what I mean. There's just, it's just it's just unexplained and it's not even looked into uh, uh, in a way that you'd think some something like that usually would be. Do you know what I mean? There's been about six that. or seven of them still, but yeah, I can believe that. Um, yeah, this girl was missing and. They found mm. her, but they didn't say or something. Yeah, there's there's one in the Thames, then then there's one found in an alley. I think a next brother drowned. Like there's a couple of suspicious, yeah, suspicious circumstances to say the least. Hold on, I don't think there's a theme. They have compared it to the stats of other ethnicities. No, but uh, what, what I mean when I say a theme, Shani, is that in, in quick succession, like. It seems that all these people have died months apart, bruv, and they're all just suspicious circumstances. So, yeah, I don't know. But, yeah, what's this video saying anyway? Yeah. So, yeah, it was trying to say that they were, um, like, they might be a serial killer. It, it, oh, maybe I shouldn't have said that way, but whatever. Might be a serial killer. Maybe he's part of the Met police. Da -da -da. I don't know, man. Or oh, what, like, like, like uh, uh, that guy Wayne Cousins? Like him? Who's that? Yeah. The the guy that killed the woman and I think like one or two other people. You remember Sarah, Sarah Everett, that woman that died at the bottom of secrets at the bottom of my road still. Is that is that is that brother Wayne oh, yeah. Wayne Green? Yeah, his name's Wayne Cousins, bro. He was a, he was a yeah he was a Fed that worked in the Home Office or something something like that. I don't know. Mm. Well, yeah, serial killer Met Officer. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> <laughs> And how many of those types of guys are probably in the force? Loads. Yeah. Loads. Mm. Loads. There's weird guys. Oh, yeah, I heard that in Fort and Heath, there's fake police going around. I'm not in, I ain't even heard this. No, I ain't even seen that, bro. I ain't heard there's fake police going around with a badge, plain clothes, stopping man saying, yeah, we're feds. Da da da. Um, and then, like, basically robbing man, getting man's pins from their phone and all sorts of things. Yeah, yeah there was a warning. Yeah. Metro put out an actual warning. I ain't, I ain't even heard about that, fam. Mm -hmm. Fucking hell. Listen, someone's going to get a bird when they get nabbed, boy. Yeah, of course. I swear, like, there, were, there were some men that, that tried to do that back in the day still. And I think, I think yeah, they were, they were robbing people of motorways or something like that still. Yeah. But anyway... Mm -hmm. The West has been falling beefy, man. It's been a fell. You reckon? Yeah, so, to be quite honest, man. So when you say the West, though, yeah, come on, saying the West, so what, is it East good? So I moved to China or Beijing or something? <laughs> Do you know what? Someone else said that to me a couple of weeks ago, bro, when I said the same thing. I was like, yeah, I tell that China's that much better, bro. Yeah, um... I don't know, man, but I just know for a fact I know what the West is 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 is, is doing in it. You get me? I hear stuff about the East in it, but I'm not over there, so I can't really confirm or deny. But yeah, I've seen what the West has done and what the West is doing. So 
kind of tell you first hand stuff. Well, if you don't like it, back off, back home. Do you know what? They, there was a woman that looked like you that said that on a video. Oh, really? there, and, and, and I backed her. And man tried to slaughter me, bro. Of course. Yeah. But, yeah. I'm getting, I, I I'm getting, I'm getting told that more and more often, you know. Bro, listen. Go oh, back, back to that back Yeah. <laughs> bro, listen, Jed. I see a video today of a guy on a subway in New York and he's telling the next black man to go back home. Go back to your own country. Yeah, crazy. And the don that's doing the videos, like, I never thought I'd see the day when when a, a black man said another black man go home. Like, that is mad. It's a bit, it's a bit, it's a bit mind boggling. Still, I can't lie to you. You get me? But yeah, no way. <sighs> I came on. Give me a link. Where? Where am I? Where am I looking? Give me a link, man. Let's see. Diddy's house getting raided. What? what? Oh shit! I that's it. Channel, we ate. Go, go away, away. Oh, we oh, ain't oh, going away. Oh, You're this. gonna get me oh, now. Special <laughs> delivery. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did like that beat. Hey, man said it's the P, the O, the L, the I, the E, the E. It's police. <laughs> <laughs> Say what? Say what? Yeah, this has to be online. That one, so we will let you uh, get to work right there on the ground. Let's go up to Stu again. As I was mentioning minutes ago, uh, they're at his home here. They're also at his home in Miami. A part of all. Raw. Right, that it is secure. All right, and you know what I don't all right, come on, man. Come on, man. Don't tell me to take the pants to man when you're dressed in military gear to do a hey, raid. Hey, 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 it's Fox News, bruv. Yeah, you don't doubt it. Yeah, yeah. Hell, man. And then this group that you see there, those are the ones that are actually going to go inside. They probably have, like you said, they probably have ideas where what they're looking for, where they might be. So, But right now, it is still a wait waiting game to make sure that everybody yeah, you served is your purpose Sean. and that it's secure <laughs> for the uh, wow. for the investigators to you make served your purpose bro yeah don't worry man. they'll probably get jay-z in the next five years as well. the rest of i'm sorry it's over now <laughs> <laughs> it's hey. over now it's hey. sorry <laughs> You know, you know, I punched the man up on Tekken earlier on, brother, and the man sung that song. I swear to God, strike me down right now. Yeah, it's over. It's over. Move over. It's my turn now. Now, uh, uh, the game's shut down. Hey, that's Sorry. mad that you said that, you know. Oh, fuck you know. Hmm. Massive that house underground. Is in fact involving a sex trafficking investigation. We do know that, according to Diddy's attorneys and the rapper himself, he has denied well, got the new in doing in any of all this. Nice, so, seven um, there still. There are two sides, of course, to this as this all plays out. But it is interesting that these raids happening at the same time, according to TMZ, a raid of his Miami home is happening right now. <laughs> hold on, no, no. hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me ask you a question. Mm. I heard of Reuters. You don't know about Reuters? No, what's that? Come on, you know Reuters. Reuters is the news agency that disseminates news to the to, dif to the different companies, right? So you oh, right. Like, often the, the art the stories come from Reuters. Yeah, yeah, and then everyone would get their information from there, kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, I heard of them supplying news and that. Since when is Fox News referring to TMZ? Like TMZ said, you understand? Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, that's like saying. Yeah, yeah. That's, like, that's like I tell you what. That is literally like um, the ITN or ITV news, ITN news saying um, the Shade Borough have, have tweeted. The Shade Borough, yeah. Well, you, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, what yeah, are we yeah, doing you, here? Yeah. yeah, I hear that. Yeah, but I feel like that's part, it's like the Western culture or, this, or the rest of the world is kind of slowly assimilating to pop culture. Because isn't like, it? Pop culture, isn't, bit... Go on. No, I'm going to say TMZ and these type of things, they pose as alternative media. But they're not alternative media. When you uh, understand who yeah, the Harvey exactly. Brad brother well, is, and yeah, well, it's, it's well, really. Well, well. They're trying to brainwash the masses. So the masses are interested. So they know, oh, this is where a lot of people 
get their news from or whatever this type of news so we're going to try and appeal to them oh let's use some of these words try and get them on board am i totally off no no you're you're you're, you're, you're kind of yeah. sorry sneeze yeah, <clears throat> i was eating <clears throat> oh. yeah. try not to slap my chops am i slapping my chops pause <laughs> All right, am I making noise? Um, can you hear me? We don't want to hear you slapping your chest. We don't want to hear you. Sneaks, he's talking to you. Can you hear me consuming my food? Is it audible? Is the cons is the consum consumption of my meal audible? As it travels down your your wind cut your pipe, your esophagus. Oh, esophagus. Why are you turning it into that? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you doing that, man? After, you know, you know after you know, masturbate, guys, can you, know you hear me? Nah, it's not you, look. It's Sneets. I just said one thing. Sneets is random, so I don't know. Sneets, you're getting a bit axe me. Like, just relax. Sorry. Right, is, is the mastication of my food <laughs> audible? Why did you want to use that word? My, because hey, that's, the, that's well, the technical term for chewing, well, actually. Mastication. Mastication is pause. <laughs> that's yeah, what you're doing, mate. It, it, it sounds it sounds too close to other words, yeah. It's a boss, yeah. Though, it's a lava. <laughs> it's definitely yeah. It's a lava. <laughs> that's, a, that's a giant lava splash right there. <laughs> you're the one as well as now we're looking at the live pictures. I'm not masticating. What's going on in <laughs> 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 Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, I have to reach that one. I want, masturbation. I want you masticating. I want Shifa. What Shifa? You masticating, yeah? Man. <laughs> I said you're a, you're a habitual masticator. Mission <laughs> 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 right here all connected to Sean Combs. So again, until we find out further word as to what exactly they're searching for and why, uh, we continue to look at the procedures taking place well, regarding this raid laptops. that's this is a bit much for laptops, by right? Homeland Security. You have <coughs> they said sex trafficking zone. As well. <coughs> oh my so gosh. The ground shots, you see multiple agencies there a part of all of this and uh, they have Is a of resources on hand oh, I have a, drone flying I have, I, I, as well I have a strong feeling that you will end up there taking, still. Uh, a closer look at but at this point they need to build a wing for these people man right, I do have a strong feeling he'll end up there still I'm not gonna lie to you I mean I've seen I've seen something about um, Jay-Z as well bro. but they what are you saying about Jay-Z at certain parts um, of the property and so they he's basically involved in sort of like this year but um, some other stuff as well but they get also uh, the a, a couple murders so clearly, when they're talking about three murders or something while. and as Haley mentioned with her shot down on the ground right there more people are coming to your area Haley yeah, I would say it's mostly media at this point. We were uh, the first ones here on scene, but yeah, since there's probably a dozen different Imagine if someone said two years ago do you know what? <coughs> They're just gonna start exposing all the black perverts. Yeah, you did. All right, bro. <laughs> you did. We get it. We get it, bro. <laughs> yeah, we get it. <laughs> no, this is silly, bro. I'm still not shocked, but I'm still uh, along for the ride. And then I think, hold on, we knew this was gonna happen. Mm. Yeah, Jay Z. I'm putting that down to Rumorville, bro. That ain't nothing. No one ain't touching Jay Z. He's too squeaky clean, bruv. Nah, he, he ain't Diddy. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. He diddy, you say you don't think he's above the law? No. <clears throat> I think I think I think at one moment in time, all these guys get given the 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 the, 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 the grounds to think they're they're above the law, quote unquote. And then certain people just remind you, bro, like when we shut your whatever down me, but you get me at the click of a finger. Don't get it twisted. Cause you feel so you got a couple zeros in your account. That you get me. I understand how you how you acquired that. You get me. Who made it possible? Do you know what I mean? To an extent. But. Kind of seems like the whole purpose of these lot living that flashy lifestyle in the first place, just to, mm. just to, just to get dropped down. Do you know what I mean? Visibly. Yeah. yeah. Real rich people. They don't never act like how 
these no. folks do when they get money. They never act like that. No way. You know, like they, they they're the hardest person to notice in the room, more so. Hmm. No facts. The feds not coming, not finding nothing. They know something there. That's why they hit all houses at once. The foreman told them what's in there. What's in there, bro? Listen, to be quite honest, yeah, unless unless this guy's an absolute walking idiot, after the whole Cassie thing, I think he may have um What are you looking unquote, for? Paperwork? Quote unquote. Um, hard drives? No, don't tell me it's not the fucking hard drives, bro. <laughs> yeah, but even, even, yeah, but even if it is that, bro, after getting a 60 million, 50 million lawsuit, brother, and the whole world's looking into your business, bro, I, I, I personally would feel that you that's not something you probably keep. You probably get rid of that. You probably have a have a slight feeling that this may be a possibility in the future. I don't know. You'd ha you'd hope you'd hope there was that level of of intelligence going in. Give me a second. I got to go to it. One second. I, I would even hope, bro, because if you're on the nastiness, hope you get captured by and they do whatever. But I'm just saying that. Uh, I as yeah. I don't feel like that would have happened a couple months ago, and you've still got this stuff just laying around your house. Uh, I don't know. Where we are? They're trying to get tips that. So the rain. Yeah, well, they basically, house. yeah, and they're saying that it's not apparent what they're looking for, but you know, it's probably hard drives, laptops, stuff like that that may hold the information. So I doubt he's gonna have. Go on. So they're raiding, and they don't know what they're. They're just going to try and see what they're going to do. No, 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 no. The news are saying that they don't know what they're rated for. They probably, of course, know what they're looking for, but mm. okay. the media saying that, yeah, they haven't been given that information yet, so. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Hmm. I mean, it sounds all juicy, but this is because they're allowing us to see, isn't it? Yeah, but maybe they want you to see the demise of this, this, this person. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. You get me? Right. I just look at it like, you know, it is, there's a bag of them that are all involved in this thing and it just comes down to whether you, they've done what they're supposed to have done or they've answered to who they've got to answer to or X, Y, and Z. And yeah, in return, the information may be not released or whatever. Do you get me? And when they step out of line or do something that someone don't like shit like this may happen to them mm. but again that they're all actors sports students they're all yeah me when they go to these little weird parties bro they're all in the same vicinity or you just passed your cell by date or, or that do you get me or the the the, the your main use is is kind of become redundant now so do you know what i mean you don't really need to have you there anymore like, yep, you're thinking you can do this, do that, buy this, buy that. Like, I don't know. Maybe we need to sit me down a bit. Do you know mm. what I mean? Yeah, I, do you know what? <clears throat> I think there's a lot more people that look at it differently nowadays because of obviously the internet has helped information go around. Since I was in college, there's all these. Um, I remember it started off with like three six mafia and looking into um little wayne and when you reverse their music and all of this used to be like bare dvds and stuff like this going around but obviously as into uh, as internet and technology in general have developed it's easier to get information around so obviously that's like even like the people who are heavily into like pop culture or whatever are starting to use the use words like illuminati and do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, yeah. There was an actual point that I was trying to make, but I found it. Uh, I mean, I've lost it. <laughs> That's not like you, Steve. <laughs> Shut your mouth, man. Have you finished <laughs> masticating, yeah? Have you swallowed all your food? <laughs> it's too dumb. Yeah, shut your mouth, man. I feel like you're, I feel like you're getting a kind of kick out of the thought of me masticating, and I don't feel that should ever be a thing. Yeah. <laughs> Shut up, man, you little masturbator. Axum. Axum was defending you. No, 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 Sneeze doesn't do that. Sneeze doesn't. Because somebody got asked a question, yeah. Some, um, some uh, Muslim guy got asked a question and he fucking waffled with the answer. And then I was like, yeah, that's a, that's a, he's done a Sneeze. And 
Axon was there with her tongue. No, not my snitter. No. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, like Shiffer. Shiffer. It's more like, oh, you heard it, isn't it? It's more like Shiffer. Yeah. How about you try and say something nice about me for once in your life? Huh? I said you got big tits. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with you? You don't know, do you? I mean, a cat characteristic <laughs> that I own, that I possess. Sorry, look, this is, the, this is a mad thing because I guarantee you um Zellini don't know the answer to this question either. Zellini? <laughs> That's holding his wow. breath in. <laughs> so did he. Uh, he, <laughs> didn't, he didn't want to hit the, he didn't want to hit the mute. He doesn't even know what the question is. Uh, did he, I didn't even want to exhale the smoke. Yeah, how about <laughs> I froze. I froze. I so, do you think it's weird that no one knows if you've got big breasts or not and we've seen you millions of times? Like, do you think it's weird? That's crazy, isn't it? What kind of cloak is I want to assume. I want to assume. Maybe you I hide them well. Them. You can't remember, though, can you? Maybe I hide no. them well. But why hide, why would you? you? Some what stud. Yeah. Taping them down. you got, you no, got, you got duct tape that. over your breasts. Like, what in the, what in no, the darkest sexual are you doing, bro? He has gorilla glue what, in her nipples. Hey, listen, stop that. Shut your flipping... Stop your flipping... Hey, just calm Matthew. down, calm <laughs> down. Just calm flipping down. I'm slapping, yeah? Calm down, man. Okay, what I was trying to say is... Yeah. Um, when I say hello to people... So you use no more nails? All right, cool, we get it. All right, go on, go on, go on. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, funny grip. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, when I say hello to people, I don't stick my tits out. So blue tech. <laughs> PVA. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's his staples. <laughs> Paper clips. <laughs> <laughs> Is this you trying to get me back? Because I said there's food going down your throat pipe. Oh, oh my! Why do you like this throat pipe talk? What is it? Really? What is it? Okay. <laughs> oh, mom. Okay. Different uh, media agencies. Yeah, it looks like his uh, his homes on both coasts are being raided. We still have not gotten word on exactly where P Diddy is. If he is in fact in New York right now, or in Los Angeles, and, uh, of course. Yeah, we we haven't seen him here in Holmby Hills. This is right off of Sunset and Beverly Glen, and it all unfolded. I'd say about thirty. Ooh! Did you, did you just see oh, BB's no, no wait, no wait, man. Hold on. Sure. Plot twist. We think about sex trafficking. We're thinking about uh, bombing and weird stuff that he's into. We ain't thinking about two pack. Oh. Or the murder yeah. of his ex-wife. Oh no. Kim oh Porter. yeah. That was most recent. Or the slapping of Drake was. Sorry, no. <laughs> what? Do you know remember when he slapped? <laughs> you physically slapped Drake? Uh, he slapped fire out of Drake. <laughs> <laughs> well, was it at the basketball game? No, it was over. So I think it was over. You know that beat zero to a hundred. I swear Didi said he wanted it or something. Uh, get me Drake, that's what he done. Cause, uh, get me, apparently from, from multiple sources. Uh, get me, yeah, a man, a man got, yeah. A man got clapped up still. <laughs> I can believe that though. Hmm. And this ain't the first Drake? person he tried to do that. He tried to do that to you. Diddy might be a bit a bit sus and fruity, cause, but he be but trying he, to... He got a gangster streak to him. Yeah. Yeah, like Drake is not that guy. He's really not. I think... I don't know. He's done a good job of maybe trying convincing some people that maybe he is, but he's not. Yeah. No, nah, Diddy's dangerous, man. But nah, yeah, all jokes aside, he's a, he could be. A, obviously, he's got a bit of power. He's got money in it. What money? Money men are, yeah. are dangerous. Yeah. Yeah. Money is poor. Now, Tupac getting murdered was a personal thing between him and the murderer. 
What about that guy that gone? What about that guy that went jail? Confessing to that. Why? Well, what's happened to him? Huh? Who's that, Keefy? Yeah, Keefy D. Oh, he, he's he's awaiting trial in November or something. I think. Is it okay. mad that any of these he, and, he, and he's saying and he's saying P Diddy paid him to do it. Mm. So could this not be re related? Mm. Are they about to solve one of the biggest murders in hip hop? History? I'm gonna say to you, family. Mm. Now, mm. pop up lot this thing. I went to the elections in America. <laughs> 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 I swear to God, if it's this year, no, it's soon yeah. though. It's soon because no, I'm definitely awake. I'm dashing the whole shit away. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, Joe Biden's gonna the come and say Biden, that he personally. Yeah. Who were they saying? Who were they saying is gonna be the next one? Um, well. Zelini said Jay Z. I'm just like untouchable Jay Z. <laughs> they didn't even started really? putting that like, dirt on him yet, like not properly. Yeah, there's I'm been that would be a shock. They gotta get like we gotta get some some revealing and that you know they gotta warm us up. It took 20 years to get ready for R. Kelly. <laughs> 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 No, he's up in the closet, still hiding mm. in the closet. <laughs> and Diddy, Diddy's getting the slow destruction. So just to like sweep Jay Z off his feet, I don't see that happening. And you sweep Jay Z off his feet, then you got to be. Able to, I feel like they need Jay Z and Beyonce right now <coughs> for mm. my control. It feels my yeah, control. it feels like Jay Z and Beyonce are Beyonce. Did I just say Beyonce? Yeah. She they're beyond. That, they're they're beyond. Yeah, that they're. Uh, Do you like know what? I, I, I would say, although Jay is very super influential, right, it's not to be understated. I think Beyonce is more the more the key in that equation, but Someone no, but said I something. think they come together though. Not even just one of them. I just think both of them. Are, there's some. I don't just get this vibe that they're extra protected, but. <sighs> I think that yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah, but this, yeah, but this, this is the thing. What they needed so, for indoctrinating. So was Sean Combs, bruv, until he wasn't. Yeah, <laughs> but I'm not saying that it's not going to be possible for them. But I just feel like right now, it doesn't seem like that one I'm going to see. One second, one second, one second. Mood best, but how is it How is it affecting L when everyone knows that PGD is so much? Man, oh. oh shit! What in the? Hey, no, nah, that's top, that's top three checkmates at all time. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. Do you get me? Nah, you gotta give credit where credit's due, me best. I think you might have to jump on after that one there. Yeah, big up, you lot. Good night. Talk to you soon. You just jumped off to say that. Yeah, like yeah, that, fuck yeah. off, man. Just fuck yeah, off. No, no, sorry. It was a great show, though. I enjoyed it today, Jen. <laughs> so, really so, so you had your freaking out there. You know what? You made me sick, man. As your man, your man has arrived, yeah. <laughs> Goodbye. Bro, is it A4 batteries like this time, or, or is it triple? Jun. Never mind. Let me slow it. Let me some junch. Fucking hell. You think, you know? Bye bye. Good night. <laughs> good night. Bye. Yeah, good night, dickhead. No, say be gone, be gone, harlot. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, mum. Yes, man, behave yourself. Yeah. I'm trying to be nice. Just warm. Just warm. It's cold out there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Cold no in the me warm, man. On, on, them yeah. scan... be, on them rinkaby corners. <laughs> the Scandinavian <laughs> nights. The, yeah, the rinkaby strip. Man. Scandinavian nights. The, ma the, the Malmo blocks. Hey, listen, don't play about. <laughs> Yeah, like, crazy, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. yeah, big up though. All right, big, big up, big up. Big up, Axum. Take care, Axum, man. Yeah. You too, you too, hon. Use protection, man. <coughs> yeah, you hey, so too. hey, someone, someone said that you're going to Slit Street. Why are we back to that now? Are you letting me go? What? Read the comments, man. That's nah, it's true. true. You ain't been the same since the double slit experiment. So. Oh, I don't think you should leave me here with them. It's got you think. Oh, that means leave me here with them. I want to get back to you. It's so nasty, no, man. It, 
wasn't nasty exactly. piece of work, bro. Yeah, that means you leave me. Bro. No, you he's talk Trump already. Maybe he's leaning left. Yeah, if if that's say, your fantasy, you know, hey, listen. Yeah. Probably text a friend already sitting next to her. Yeah, I'm just gonna stay and just relax. And uh, uh, and her friend's like, No, no, you need to come with me. Man. You better stop come because me. if I jump off with Axum, it's just gonna be you two sausage fest, sword fighting. So, you want to be the, the filling? No. For fuck's no. sake, I'm no. out. Big up the channel. No, you, 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 like, I'm out. No, oh, Axum. Yeah, whatever, mum. Big up. So. It stinks. <laughs> you know <what> I'm <laughs> Stinky slit. 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 Still it. Still it. Uh, still it. Still it. Strumming. Strumming. Slit. Slinky. My slit is fresh as a daisy. What? Right. Slinky. Slinky. That like stinky. Stinky. Uh, slit. Uh, yeah. Okay, okay. Okay. I see. Slinky. Yeah. Silverback, can you time Gibby out, please? I just don't S like him. Thanks. Slit. Like, I said I've tried, but it's not holding weight. How's it not holding? Diddy is Marley, man. Are you there arguing with yourself in the chat? That hurt you, look, look. When Diddy and Biggie were doing their thing, he wasn't Marley. Yeah, he was. We've always said Diddy was Marley. Are you crazy? <laughs> We've, everyone has always said Diddy was Marley. Don't. Why are you even trying this, mid best? Like, Do you want the challenge or not? Well, like, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, prove it or not, you just don't want to come in your way. Let's do a donation talk. Martin, <laughs> hey, <laughs> you're moving wild, Mood Best. Thank you, you know. <laughs> this is not you you Are you great? Listen, he's been Somali since the Source Awards, late 94. <laughs> Yeah, nice it, mood. I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. This is this has been that kind of common knowledge for a while still, bro. Oh, oh I listen, I listen, I listen. Just I share listen. the screen. Don't even talk. Just share the screen. <laughs> just share the screen. Just don't even just let the action. Let the action speak. Don't let don't let the words speak. Let the action speak. Fuck it, uh, P D D reveals his inner somewhat now. Nah, Mood best, you're done. You're done. Do you want to send that over to the to the cash up or PayPal, bro? Oh to you. You, 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 you can choose. I <laughs> said, Wallahi, yeah, Wallahi, brother. Don't do it to yourself, man. This is <laughs> just oh, that's that crazy. Thing. It's crazy. Hi, <laughs> hey, Mood, you still there, bro? <sighs> Fucking hell. Do you know what he did? You see right now, he's cross he's cross referencing. I know, I know, I know. I did his own he's trying to resting. find anything on Google that, that, that disagrees with this. He's moving like the librarian in, in, in Ghostbusters. Yeah, I get you, man. I get you. Hey, like, hey, that's a that's a sticky one still, brother. <laughs> 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 Yeah, but he has oh. had two C. He has had two C since anyone could remember, though. That's that, you know. What I mean? Come on, man. Big up Diddy, man. Well, I see. I shouldn't say that. Big up. <laughs> Do you think he's a fan of Injera? Oh, hey. <laughs> I big, big up, big up, up the fans. Yeah, no so, salam alaikum, hey, brother. Wa alaikum assalam and with. I where's Jed? Where did he run to? I don't I know. Bring oh, that dog. Yeah, he I, to do it. I Jed's in it. I, this is the second time. Listen, Broski, if you're listening to this, yeah, hundred pound. Uh, you know what? Furthermore, yeah, hundred and fifty in it. Fuck it, hundred and fifty. Oh, yeah. I just prove. Oh, yeah. 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 I listen. <laughs> I listen. I'm gonna. If you can prove it, I'm gonna concede and I'm gonna send it right now. No. Okay. What type of proof will you accept? Because we thought that he's just shown some kind of. Yeah, you said he's not. You said he's Somali in it. Hey, Mood said, I'm jumping Prove on it. now, bro. Prove it. I'm hitting the link now. Yeah, I don't I care if I'm on road. Proof. I don't care if I'm on road. What kind of proof is it that's acceptable? Because he just showed something in a clip. Ancestry, anything. His dad talking in Somali. His mum, 
like him going to mock this show or whatever, Capital City or something like that. Wait, 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 wait
Yeah. That means he's gonna. That means he's gonna send something anyway. Really, what he's saying is, you get me. Yeah, well, I'll send it. Fuck it, I'll send it, right. oh. and I'll hold that L forever. I ain't never ever gonna argue with you if you can prove that. Well, we all know anyway. I don't really wanna. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. You can say that. We all know and all that, but prove it. Forget that. We all know. Prove it. I'm. Hey, mood best. I'm not gonna lie, bro. I hate to do it to you, cuz what you're done. You're done, bro. Right, cool. You're done. Oh, yeah. um, give me two seconds. I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna post shit. the link. I'm gonna post the link. Wait, wait. Yeah, firstly, just... firstly, <laughs> firstly, firstly, I, I, I want you to take in the source of the link before you say anything. Then right, you cool. take, yeah. then you take in the link in it. Right, cool. so Put it up once... on the screen, innit? Put it up on the screen. Bruv, one sec. Yeah. Calm down, bro. Chill, chill, Meek. Chill. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, wait, hold on. You know he took his DNA, yeah? On a show called Finding Your Roots Family Reunions. For fuck's sake. Oh. <laughs> Why are you thinking it, bro? No, let's see this, you know, let's see this. Yeah, the DNA let's results are going to come out. Yeah, me best, you are so lucky, bro. You so are. Uh, you better thank. Yeah. Uh, yeah, then hold it, hold it, hold it Zilini. All nah, that. because you're, because you're still gonna <laughs> get yeah, the, nah, that, because because you're still gonna get the link, bro. You're still gonna get the link, uh, but the video is not available. But it still has the link and article there. So mm. yeah. I call read can it. You, uh, put the article on screen. Put the it's in the side chat, there. man. Relax, yeah, man. Can you just tell me the name of the? Wow. Can you tell me? Can you tell me? Yeah, Jed. When you're ready, still. I see an article from a. What what's that site called? Daily man. Somali mm. Sorry, spot. say that again. Sorry, 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 Puff Daddy is officially Somali. Mug. Mm. So officially, bro. I don't. I don't. You get me. I don't know, cause I don't know. Let's 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 keep looking. Izilini, you tried it, man. I you try send a forum and all of that. Somali spot. Yeah, forum. Yeah, yeah. Somali spot. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I right, cool. Yeah, man. Shout out yeah, Somali yeah. Scott still. I right, cool. Read it Ooh. and show me the proof in that forum. It's all long, man. My eyes are hurting, man. You can read no, it. Don't yourself. It's very it's convenient. Your eyes proud. are hurting. See, very see the link there? See the yeah. link there, my brother? Bro, I just check the link and all of that. It's nothing. Bro. It's a forum, bro. It's <laughs> nothing in there. Really? It's nothing in there. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Ah uh, yeah, but anyways, like I said, I rest my case. You man ain't got no proof. Yeah, yeah, just Somali, bro. Hold that. Just yeah. because the Freemasons have hidden his identity yeah, doesn't yeah, mean he's not yeah. Somali, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, so you know what we're looking that. at. We all know what we're looking at. I call prove it that that man hid his identity and all of that. Prove it. Prove that it. You, man... you want me to go against the Illuminati yeah. now, yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, man. it's true. You can't go against the Illuminati for two hundred pounds. Yeah, it's true. You can't go against the Illuminati for two hundred pounds. Fuck it. Yeah, fuck it. Fuck it. Uh, uh, yeah. I rest my case. Of 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 I rest my case. Echo. 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 Man said. Uh, man said Abdidi. Man. <laughs> You know what? If anything, if anything, I'll say he's actually like I'll say yeah. There's a bit of East African in him, but not Somalia. I'll say Kenya. Love it, man. Yeah, I'll say Kenya. He's got he's got that Bantu look, bro. His real name is yeah. Abdidi, bro. Love it, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. I show us in it. I, I. This is the biggest Beckham L, bro. Fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> Gigs and that. Gigs and that, yeah? Say nothing. He's half Somali, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For real. Yeah. What's the, and what's the other half? Israelite. We're watching Oprah. DD was a guest. She was asking lots of questions about his background. And he said he found out that he was half Somali. I, I just... Whatever you're reading, put it up on the screen, please, my brother. <laughs> oh my god, he's still reading from that same forum. Now, this is a different one. All right, cool. It's half this Mali, is Somali's right? online. All right, cool. 
Yeah, man. Half Somali. Yeah, how... He admitted it on Oprah, apparently. All right, cool. We can get that on YouTube. If it's on Oprah, we can, nah, we can get that. Nah, can't. Why? Can't. Why? I see you, man. There's all the episodes you, man, on there. there. You can't, though, bro. Like, what, what do you want us to say? Yeah. All right, cool. So all speculations and all of that. Sean Puffy Coon, Somali. This is crazy, bro. Say that. Mountain evidence, bro. Nah, there's no evidence, evidence, bro. Nothing. Forum and that, yeah? Is that what we're doing now? 2024. What a forum. <laughs> 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 I, I can't believe it. Hey, my brother. Look, hey, they sat up in the side chat still. I don't know, I don't know if it's any, any help Melvin to Melvin Earl Combs sounds Jamaican to me. 100%. Uh, uh, Jamaican. What is that? He, he's Jamaican, bro. Give yeah, yourself, man. Um, Rastafari, ja. I knew that. Nah, you know who that is, though, isn't it? You can't, you can't trust him. Another yeah, because we, we all know a bag of Jamaicans who Melvin. Whatever man. you said was speculation, so what? So I we all know a bag of Jamaicans called Melvin, but allow yourself. Man. Yeah, allow that, have it? I was telling you there's no Jamaican called Melvin. I, I didn't yeah. say there was, cause, right, but it's, nine, it's not. Bro, I moved. You're taking a massive L, brother. You're just, you're just Wallah, crying now. No, Wallah, I'm not bro, taking no L. You can't even no, hear you over the wind, fam. You're fighting for your life, because this is what I'm saying. I'm not, <laughs> just trying to win, just this is what, bro, bro, listen. Yeah. Right, go on, yeah, right, go on. Yeah, you speak, you speak, go on, you speak. Yeah, yeah, let him go. Let him go. No, no, no. It is, it is. I'm not having this, bro. I'm not having this, bro. I'm not having it. Bro, <laughs> not having hey, brother, it. can you see that link? Can you see that TikTok link here? Can you see what it says? Oh, my God. You man are bringing forums, Somali sport, and now TikTok. It's, bro, it says... All right, cool. We're back, we're back to reading. It. Allow it. Allow it. Judge. Well, uh, bro, like, what, 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 sorry, sorry. So, what, so, mood best. Like, what do, what do you want? His dad's birthday. Right, cool. How come we're not yeah, going Wikipedia? Yeah, how come we're I not don't like what? What? Like, what, nah, what do you want, man? Zilini, Zilini, how come you're going to TikTok and all of that? Why are we not checking Wikipedia? We, why what? are we not checking why Wikipedia? Wikipedia man? Man? We don't yeah. use it. Why? Not Wikipedia. Because, man. because, 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 because we've all gone, because we've all gone on Wikipedia and seen bald face lies just as much as yeah, the So, let's so, 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 wait, so, wait, 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 so, wait, bro, wait. So, let's not pick and choose when we want to use Wikipedia because certain other times you're there, you're there arguing saying Wikipedia is a bunch of shit. So, we're not going to but Zelini, look at your evidence. It's TikTok, bro. Why are you getting so triggered? Because I don't understand. If this is not true, you shouldn't be so mad. He's like, he knows that. He knows. Bro, what if I tell... <laughs> well, I don't know nothing. Bro, listen, right. all I'm saying... Come on, man, tell us, yeah. man. But I'm what do you know that we don't? Prove it, innit? Yeah, the ball is in your court. Prove it. And I'm, an, I'm a man of my words, innit? Listen, I mean, best. You see what you're doing right best. You see what you're doing right now, yeah? This is like... Axum trying to tell us she's not white, but we've seen her. Do you know what I mean? Like it, it, it's we've seen the Diddy, bro. We oh. can clearly see oh, the warrior. Yeah, pause. Like, do you know what I mean? Come on, man. Stop. I don't know what you're doing. If you're fighting this a bit too much, bro. And you what? You're hundred percent sure he's Marley, yeah? Man, yeah, man. Look like at his name's Abdi. You're dumb. Look at you're so man. dumb. Yeah, he he don't look like the other two black brothers there. I'm not gonna lie to you, because. Could he be from an internet cafe in Streatham? Maybe. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what a reach, isn't it? What a reach, isn't it? I ain't saying that. Until you, until you man can prove it, yeah? I ain't saying nothing, innit? You man prove uh, it. Because... Like, how, I mean, just, just be real with yourself and everyone else. Like, like, there's a part of you that knows he's... You secretly... know, he's your brother. You feel it. No grapes is my brother, bro. No, I, I, right I, I, bro, bro, we, bro, we hit, bro, like listen, just, that. Yeah, stop yeah, doing yeah, all yeah. that, man. You Come on, like, you know we're not doing that. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And mood, I know said, you think... And you I, just I, said, there's no Melvin, like, there's no one named Melvin in Jamaica, No, I didn't, no, 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 no,
Swinging. Fucking reeks. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Stop well, squealing, bro. Stop squealing. You man are lying, yeah? yeah. You man, all, all this lies because man says South London hold man the said, L. Man bro. All right, all right, all right. Mood best, listen. Listen. Mood yeah. best right now. <laughs> I mean, listen, listen, cuz all jokes aside, I mean, all, jo- all, well, all jokes aside, yeah, this, this, yeah. this, 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 this Somalian thing has not come up since he got uh, associated with XYZ. Nah, this is old. This like, is I'm telling you, bro, no band, no band. No yeah, this bro, is not new, you know either. Zilini, you're not lying about that, yeah. Man heard it for years and years and all of that. All right, but there's no, it's not a fact. It's not a fact. No, it's but you got to understand, bro. You see, as like a wealthy, healthy American, you may not want to click like no, no disrespect. Yeah, exactly, bro. man. Especially, especially in the nineties, bro. Like, like, do you know what yeah. I mean? People know, the, like you know, the word is out. People know. I see. I don't want to hear that. People know. <laughs> Prove it then, if people know. <laughs> you don't want to hear nothing right yeah. now, do you? Guys? Nah, you best. don't want to hear a lot. I just want to see proof, you know, black and I white with paper. Brazy. I want to see him. Yeah. I family tree hit the paper car. Mood best ain't gonna do the right thing in it. So hit the paper, man. <laughs> I, Don't some love. Like, you gonna yeah, deny I'm it gonna to the it. end. You're gonna wave, yeah, wave, gonna... wave, wave um uh 150, 200 in my face, and then he's not even gonna take all this evidence. You get me? He wants just, blood you... test. I he just don't watch that, man. Test. man got you forever, bro. Don't worry. I don't know about what that. man wants. What do you want, you... bro? Like bro, he's Somali, don't... he's Pete, he's he's Abdidi. <laughs> I yeah, the challenge. I put challenge on the side in it. Forget that. Man's got you forever. Jim. Don't worry about that. But I'm, Listen, 200 pounds for you, man, to prove it. I right, furthermore, yeah, seven days in it from today. What's I today? Right, what's today? Monday, nah, 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 nah. We don't want yeah. no from nah, today. Yeah. Da, 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 yeah, from today. Monday, today, nah, to Monday. Nah, nah, nah. Stop that. Stop if you that, man can that. prove it, if you man can prove it, it's there. That. We don't want all that. We don't want that. Yeah. Me. Tomorrow's not promised. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's true. Well, that's true. Tomorrow's not promised. Yeah. Said, oh my said. god. Pilo said she asked chat GPT. Hi, Trilo. Behave yourself, you know, about chat GPT. Imagine <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Alexa. Man, man, man said chat A. Man said chat A. B. B. And the H short for Abdi. No, so yeah, no, but still, big up the family, Sneets, big up my sister, and all of that. Big up, big up, yeah. 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 these men ain't gonna prove nothing in it. Oh, get out of it, man, get out of it, man, get out of it. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, the, yeah, we're gonna do something in it. Don't worry, Jeds, I got you in it. Don't uh, worry. Yeah, all right, big up, man, big up, big up, yeah, yeah. yeah. Can and it's always love, man. Big up, big up. I people put something in the paper, like on the show. It's all it's free. You get me? Big well, so up, man. Jedi. Are you, man? Bless up and all of that. I big up, bro. Big always up, bro. love. Always. Bless up, guys. Big up, bro. Come Watch on. me best. Watch me best go and try and source a vial of PDD's blood. Bro, let yeah. it go, man. Yeah. Let it go. Yeah. <laughs> Midwest don't play about his people, boy. He's like, you are not attaching P. Diddy to my school. Man jumped on in the wind. Yeah, like, in- instantly. <laughs> no stop Zilla to be found. Get me? Was... And then we got fucking <laughs> D-Block. D-Block down there posing as, as fucking... <laughs> I, can, I can't believe. Did you read <laughs> some of his, did you read some of his arguments? Oh, whoa, <laughs> whoa, whoa, hold on, hold on, hold on. From the, Diddy came from the gay road in Jamaica. Did you know <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Violence it's, on violence, it's, it's, bro. it's boring though, man. Uh, do you know what I mean? You don't even know who the fuck you are, number one. And, num- and number two, bro, we can clearly see P. Diddy. You're like, just flinging bottle caps. I think, from the I think, I think, I think, you lot, I, think yeah. I think you lot kind of forget that we can actually see P. Diddy. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, we can see the, the fucking Marley 2C butter in his head. Like, we can see all that. Oh, it's God. not, it's not hard to hide. They got yourself, bro. They got yourself, bro. Oh, yeah. Nah. Did he? You know, did he took blood. I said he took a blood test, but I don't know. Minutes ago, uh, they're at his home here. They're also at his home in Miami. Of course, uh, it's a it's a little bit calmer, I would say, than it was 
about 20 minutes ago when it all happened. Uh, the, the guns that were drawn earlier have been since put away. They looks like they just put away their drone, but of course doing a thorough job of checking the home for any kind of details that they can come up with related to this, uh, these allegations against sex trafficking. As you said, Sandra, there's several lawsuits against him for uh, these allegations, all of which he has denied. Uh, so we will have to wait and see, of course, uh, and everybody's interested in the details of, of what um, this sex trafficking thing, this this uh, to, this to sex tra allegations. trafficking charge has got to stop though. It needs to be stopped. Yeah, from your vantage point, it needs to be stopped. Look like some authorities are no, because they just like, everyone's right a sex now, trafficker now, isn't it? Done. You get a hole, or you know what I mean, you get a hole, you let her ride with you, and it's sex tra trafficking. Like, I just think this is getting ridiculous now. Is he selling women? I is think he... they're doing that thing where. Go on. I'll give me some feedback. Um, I, I think they're doing that thing where if something has actually got credibility to it, they will overuse it to such a point where then we get, like, people get tired of it and it will start to become ridiculed. Yeah. Yeah. Uber driver's going to start getting nicked for sex trafficking. That. What is it? What? Are we, you yeah. Know? And at the same so then time, people are not gonna... mm, go on. That's it. I was just gonna chat shit. Go on. At the same time. In the... No, we ain't going. Gonna. We ain't going, Juma. We ain't going, Juma, until we got. We've got out <laughs> banana and rice. We ain't go with Juma. We ain't. We ain't go with Juma. Until we've got out banana and rice. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Nice. Why do I feel like you was Harlem shaking in your kitchen to that shit? That's a disrespect. I'm just going to it. Uh, but I'm me. <laughs> this girl is an idiot. Okay. Or not, is that not the case? No, it looks like more are coming. Um, I think what you're seeing is just the vehicles moving to a different location. We're kind of at the bottom of the hill, but if you go up a little bit farther, some of the vehicles that you saw down here earlier have since uh, kind of gone to the other side of the hill. This is obviously a very prestigious neighborhood. Uh, I said earlier, Humphrey Bogart's former house. We got moods. Door to P. Diddy's uh, in the 200 block here of Mapleton and Holmby Hill. Much love, brother. The sunset of, uh, Beverly Big up, Lynn. big up. Um, so the vehicles have basically big just up, moved babe, man. Well, big right. up, big up. Uh, did, you, did you ever hear that uh, P. Diddy was Somali? Yeah, man, all the time, back in the day. <laughs> Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not surprised by the results. I'm not surprised. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, my brother. You see, mood best man. Just, for, just for and I'm an old, I'm an old yeah. man. Yeah, yeah. Big up, Z. Well going, brother. Well, Bane, what say you? Is Diddy Marley or not? Yeah, he's definitely Marley. From my Thank you, man. Bro. I don't know why I'm trying Spoons to fight allegations, bro. You, you ain't in court for Cassie, bro. Loud, man. Just, just yeah. going through. Yeah. 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 prove it. Don't play. I don't know why it's so funny to me right now. It's don't killing play. me. I'm dying. I'm dying. I'm dying. I'm dying. I have been laughing <laughs> listening to this. Hey, the, vim, the vim in his voice, bro. Right, yeah. No, the emotion. Yeah. The emotion. Yeah, yeah. He was emotional. Hey, he was emotional. Hey. No, one word. One word. I'm not having it. I'm not having it. No, man. Yeah? Adamant. <laughs> 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 Oh, stop it. Yeah, I don't know. You best, yeah. You, I don't know. Man. You, it, it, who was I fighting? Who is it that I didn't want? It was, um, it was, it was probably something from Badders UK on Saturday. I was trying to fight. Oh, yeah, Lani. It was that when I was trying to fight Lani. You lot were trying to say that that Lani good girl was Nigeria. I was like, no way, I'm fighting with you. from like Zaire. Mm. <laughs> it was a close shave, though, bro. Mm. Fucking close shave. I was getting Neighboring. 
You took that to the yes. court of appeal and it got overturned. Well done. Yeah, it got overturned. Well done. Mm-hmm. You, are, you, are, you are one of the, the one and a half percent bro, that, 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 that get their cases overturned. Is that the you? Is that, is that mm-hmm. you? Uh, but, yeah, well, Mead Best. I, I don't know. Mead Best needs to um, disprove it, really. This is going to be a long Yeah, really? It's not, it really not, needs to disprove it. it. This this is, I, I think we're going to have to take this case to the old Bailey. I think it's... And, 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 and if it does go to... Take it to court, though. Accidentally, do you think Diddy just weren't like it's clearly I'm telling you his birth name is Ab Diddy? Man said he's Al Shabab. Man said he's Al Shabab. So are you saying that his trademark his trademark dance was was like a version of a sister? <laughs> <laughs> if, if you kind of see the early days, I can give you the early days. I'm just saying, it might be some sort of resemblance. I'm just saying, isn't it? Like, you remember, he, he was a dancer to begin with. The, the, sh- the, shoulder, the, sh- the shoulder movements oh. make sense. No. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, Harlem is, uh, is curtains. Went to so the that, Harlem is skiss. Uh, like that, like that, like that, like that, like oh, that. Man said 125th and Lennox is fish. Literally, 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 Oh my God. That's it. That's Lower Manhattan. This kiss now. Listen, you like that? That's it. Queens Bridge. Queens Bridge. This You're dumb. That's it. He took the this to Queens. You know, way out of his borough. Oh, yeah, straight. Man, yeah. Took it worldwide. That's it. He took the this to BK. <laughs> It's only over the bridge. Let's the... <laughs> <laughs> say there's footage of him in Bronx River Projects doing it. Yeah. Take the piss, uh, saying, take that. Take are that, you admitting? Are you admitting then? Yeah. Look, D Block is admitting. <laughs> Man said, "How did they allow one Somali to violate all of them?" Like oh, the see. Man, you know why? He said, "Look at me." Look at me. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> Look at me. Look at me. He's not on code right now. Uh, I'm the warrior now. Uh, his gig's Jamaican. Man, move yourself, mood best, man. <laughs> you probably keep trying. Sure. Right. Move, man. All of that because he's drowning. Rubes is drowning right now. He's drowning. He's drowning. Clutching Clutching the fuck out of those uh, law enforcement officers from the Department of Homeland Security, though, back here on the street in Mapleton, since uh, they've come out of the home after they've done their thorough investigating inside um, that beautiful home belonging to P. Diddy, to Sean Combs. That house so is flat, I don't think though. they have any intention of going anywhere anytime <laughs> soon. And overhead, you can see uh, law enforcement helicopters and, of course, Stu up there in Sky Fox. Thank you so much, Haley, for that perspective on the ground right there. Do we all need the bulletproof vest and all that, though? Like, are we mm-hmm. overdoing it? Mm-hmm. 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 There are some more. It's more just standard procedure the for the US, though, isn't it? I shall, should I say, so this will become a walk. Look at her. Yeah, she's Ooh. struggling. What walk is that? Definitely. In, in the, in the, in the, you know, struggling. We all know how that works. The suits are going to be the investigators and probably the uh, the, the ones that are. It's the vest. It's making her feel awkward. It's too big. That they might want to physically get their hands on and that's what they're waiting for right now to make their way inside this property this be like you said very beautiful home out there in the homely hills area and they just waiting to get the all clear to allow them inside while these uh, uh while these officers that we see right there in the tactical gear well their job is to make sure that everything is safe for them here i would venture to later on the law to make any 
We're seeing that here at Holmby Hills and also in Miami where they are searching Sean mm. Combs' Miami home as well. So again, this mm. doesn't just happen overnight. This is a process that they've been working on for quite some time yep. to make sure that they have enough evidence to be able to conduct a raid like this, especially mm -hmm. with so many law enforcement agencies involved, investigators involved, and you see just personnel involved on location right there. And you do see a number of people. This is going to be an active situation for quite some time. Again, we don't know what they're looking for. We don't know what the interest is right now. We can uh, only presume that it is part of a sex trafficking investigation. Uh, those are um, multiple lawsuits that Sean Combs have been facing this year alone allegations that he denies but clearly this could be all part of the process here but again law enforcement does just not go in willy-nilly into a home and conduct a raid like this unless they get the necessary evidence they need to get that search warrant to acquire entry as well so if we could take a look from Haley's point of view it does seem like there are more individuals gearing up or maybe more investigators on the scene uh, from the ground there Haley one thing about the sex trafficking Wait, thing, though, yes, is that... Trying to get an interview sorry, dude. Live yeah, yeah, sorry, man. sorry, King. Oh, no, no. <clears throat> the, um, the sex trafficking thing, right? So, if, if say, say, for instance, we lived in the US, right? And we lived in separate states, and I decided that I'm going to go and get myself a hoe, and get myself a prostitute, and I'm going to bring her to you. If I cross that state line with her to give you what's going on, I have now sex trafficked. Does that make sense? That's what it seems like. So that's that's what that's what the new, the new said, so soon, Uber man, Uber driver's gonna start getting yeah, yeah, yeah. This is what I'm saying. I was I was saying like, well, how far does this go then? Because yeah, if you are the Uber driver, then what, what happens? You see, then? You, you see a lot a lot of the, the sex trafficking cases, especially over in the US, yeah, for over the last I don't know, say five years. You probably find the majority of them are situations kind of like that. Mm -hmm. because, mm -hmm. like, I think they they changed the law a couple of years back to 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 kind of. Uh, make it easier for them to arrest people, bruv, that they mm. deem to be involved in certain things. But like you said, we know we all know what sex trafficking really is. Do you know what I'm trying to say? But mm -hmm. what they've tried to, to to label it as now is 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 not really that for the most part. And that was my next question: is like, does it, do do you feel like that's gonna then dull the view of sex trafficking from the from the like this this the, the view in public in general? Yeah. Do you get know what I'm saying to you? Because they're gonna say, oh, sex trafficking, all right, cool, whoa, well, yeah. Cause it's a serious thing, like there's a serious, there's serious stuff going on, obviously, like definitely going on. But it's... Mm. just, just, just a thought. Sorry. No, I just regarding to how it, how it's viewed publicly. I, I, I just think what they what they basically ended up doing is creating more confusion. Mm. Because mm. while they're busy arresting people for that, like you said, might be with a gal and they go to link someone else with the same gal and across the state line or whatever, mm. there's people that are really got gal in wooden crates, right? Really, in the back of fucking yeah, yeah, like, taking them across. You get me? Wherever yeah, disgusting. Like, while you're there busy trying to fuck with the people that are just doing what you said. The people that are really keeping up with those sort of fuckers, I feel like they're just kind of they just get away with it, right? Yeah. And I'm again, I'm not saying that Diddy's like innocent here, or not, and I'm just saying, just for instance, just like with the sex trafficking being brandished away, is I just feel like things get diluted sometimes, and then sometimes we're supposed to take him seriously, and then they just don't get taken seriously. Do you know what I think the, the truth is about Diddy, bro? I believe that he's done some mad shit, really, bro, but I also mm -hmm. believe. A lot of the people that were involved have done what they've done willingly. Yeah, I do believe he may have done a couple of things that, yeah, that are just, you get me, just mad. But for the most part, you knew who this was. You get me, you felt like this may have, I don't know, propelled you to some way yeah. or got you into, yeah. I don't know, a certain room or whatever. Yeah. So you may have, you get me, done what you've done. And there's some people that, they're just involved in that, bro, as it is. They, they don't need no incentive. You get me? Hundred so, percent. No, hundred percent. I agree with that. Hundred percent. But I feel like all of them people are messed up in this, bro. You get me? So it's like, yeah, there was a lot of going along with it. Yeah, there was a lot of going along with it. There was definitely that as well, though. As many as they were victims. Yeah. <laughs> you get me? And if anyone's actually listening, bro, like his ex bodyguards been saying this shit for an eternity. He's been saying it for years. You get me? Well, the fat one. 
Yeah, yeah he said it for years. Do. You get me? So, yeah, man. I don't know what to make of any of this shit, man. You know, it's just a game and to security. me. security, you know? we mm-hmm, had a lady come mm-hmm. down here just a minute ago and give her card. So mm-hmm. trying to contact her so we can, of course, get some official details from her because everything that we're getting is basically behind the scenes from our law enforcement uh, sources here. So basically, we don't have anything new yet. We're still just waiting to kind of figure out exactly what happened. We know, of course, P. Diddy's homes on both coasts have been raided. Uh, you can see some more uh, officers coming coming out of his property right now just trying to see if i could see the lady who um we're hoping to get the interview with and she um she's just messaging me back so i've got to send her an email for the request first so we're working on that to get you some more details but yeah it's still uh still very active on scene just more and more vehicles showing up this is largely most of the law enforcement officers here sandra are of course the department of homeland security and then we also have lesd and lapd here as well so as soon as i can get anything official on camera we'll come back uh we'll come back and let you know definitely i know what it's like on the ground right there you're dealing with a lot of officials trying to get some answers trying to talk to people and of course it is very difficult to do two things at once so we will let you uh, get to work right there on the ground let's go up to Stu again as i was mentioning the procedure of this and you've covered so many of these types of stories you've been overhead when these raids have happened this isn't a process that just happens overnight clearly they are looking for something they have enough evidence and they were able to get a search warrant before they could even do or conduct a raid like this Oh, you definitely, as Sandra, and what you're talking about really kind of shows exactly what you're trying to point out, that this didn't just happen overnight. This wasn't just a, an accusation, and they came and, you know, knocked down the doors and started tearing up the house. This was something that's an ongoing investigation. Lawyers, dep- attorneys, and uh, district attorneys, they all have to sign off on this. They have to look this over. Judges have to make that decision as well, and nobody wants to be on the end of a, of a wrong it's looking like a complete mess <laughs> forward forward see if there's anything else actually um, started yeah absolutely for comment we have not yet heard back obviously we want to hear his side uh for sean combs's part he has denied any allegations regarding sex trafficking and any investigation into that but yeah this this could take a lot of time in terms of uh collecting that hard drive and flash drive <laughs> Zellini, i'm out bro i'm out what did I tell you, bro? You just like this fucking hard drive fucking talk. Mm. <laughs> get me? That's how you know this is a bullshit, bro. Mm. It's not no, no fucking hard drives, man. No. Nope. Stop this nope. shit. <laughs> nope. Hard drives. Bro, do you think we're dumb? You know what? If this was the 70s, they would have told us the microfilm. The micro, you have the microfilm? And here's the like, thing. How long does it take to collect a hard drive? No, no, I'm not even being funny. I'm not even being funny here. Oh, yeah. It doesn't it's, take it's, long to collect like a hard a, drive. What is she talking about? Like a comedy joke. Get me? Is that coming? Why is man got? Why is there hard? Dri- why is everyone got madness on hard drives? For what, bro? Hard drive. As soon as you hear them talk about hard drives, you yeah, know that done. this is some bullshit, bro. It's done. Hard drives. What's in your hard drives, bro? Mm. Well, you just got. Well, you just got. What you sex trafficking on your hard drive? Mm. Man, treating it like a crypto wallet or something. Like, what's scared mm. of it? Mm. But way unsafer. Hmm? It's crazy, isn't it? It's crazy, though. Oh, fuck it. Your home is never your home when at any time they can run up in there and take anything. People were suspicious when he started crying watching Black Hawk Down. <laughs> 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 I was gonna highlight that from Cool Cat still. That Mad. was funny. That was funny. Man, <laughs> man, said he really, man said he really made I'll be missing you for fucking that, you know. Yep. Uh, yep. yep. <sighs> That's funny, man. That is fucking funny. Ah, uh, Cool Cat, you're a joker, bro. It's about the bin jammings. <laughs> you know, trying it. Is that what you know? Is it trying to remix his stuff? Somali. Mm-mm. What is up with this guy, man? So Dick Giggs was getting 
daggered by a, a Mali. <laughs> Listen, is that what you are on? Mad. That it's fuck you. Gonna, you're gonna take the victory. Admitting to it. You can. Yeah. A little, Mad. Allow, allow this this top and bottom argument you're trying to keep up. Mm. You don't care who's fucking who, cuz. You get me? Get your priorities right, bro. Mm. So so he's Somali as long as he's fucking gigs. Is that mm. what you're trying to say? That's an L still. Brother, that's an L, man. Mm. <laughs> that's an L, I can't lie. That's yeah, an L. Yeah, I, did, I, I, yeah, I didn't even look at that anything other than an L, to be honest. <laughs> It's just like what? So okay, so you're admitting it, right? Cool. Uh, uh, I, I believe I, I believe you know the PayPal, right? Or, 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 or <laughs> I believe I believe I believe you big know up, the PayPal. Uh, uh, big uh, up, Bubis. This guy ain't gonna have nothing to say. Just yeah. Yeah, la, 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 la. I'm gonna say exactly what they just said in a slightly different way. In his immediate, you know, entourage for his organization. Uh, that involves these properties, so uh, one can't. All right, cool. I got, I got something for you. We've all seen it, but maybe we could discuss it quickly. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Big up the Hoffmeisters. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Wait, hey, hey, did any of you not see uh, Maldine getting punched up? No. Huh? You don't never saw Maldine getting punched up. He had a boxing match or some shit. Is it? Ah, uh, wait, hold on. I got to show okay. you. I got to show you this. Well, you know he's an annoying person, but the way he yeah, the way... <laughs> <laughs> I feel like this is gonna be really bad. Uh... Is a prime example. So Tally taking the center of the ring early, coming in with the big shots. We've got three three minute rounds. Oh, rips the body with a nice right hand. You can hey, Zelini, are you seeing this? <laughs> what is this fool? Uh, that's a bit of Zelini see this boxing. That's the boxzilla. Look at you was ready, boxzilla. <laughs> man. He was ready for this. I heard disaster. I love him, man. I said, I have to join in this one, man. He got yes. <laughs> big up stuff. Big up. Big up, big up. Yeah, that's big the foremost. That's the foremost, bro. <laughs> Abdidi? Yeah. Mm. What? Say that again? Abdidi, Abdidini. Abdidi. Mm. Oh, like. mm. He can't did, keep it real. He did get fun stuff. No, no, no. We're talking about P. Diddy. P. Diddy? What about him? Abdidi. Yeah. No, 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 no. No, no, no. You know what I mean? What do you know what I mean? All I want to say is 3P Diddy he ain't doing nothing. Whoa. Mad thing. Whoa. Yeah, he's definitely, he's definitely, he's definitely, no, yeah, he's definitely confirmed. Yeah, he, he ain't done nothing, man. He's yeah, just he's a four guy. Yeah, yeah, he's saying free him, man. Yeah, he definitely, yeah, that's right, that's right, cool. Are you not saying free him? No. Are you I'm not saying listening free no to one. his tunes? I'm not, I'm not saying free no one. Are you I'm not going to, are you going to, are you gonna are you gonna stop listening to his tunes? Yes or no? I don't listen to his tunes anyway. Bro. I don't listen to his tunes anyway, bro. What are you talking about? I don't listen. To, I, I haven't listened to his tunes for a long, long time anyway. Like it doesn't make sense. Like what, you, what you're talking about? You're I've a lot of. I have thrown a lot of people in the bin. Like like Jed will tell you that like, I listen to literally a handful of artists, bro. Yeah, same. But I just listen to Jed. I can't like. Yeah, there you go. Right. So I listen to a handful of artists, bro. The P D though, like real, real. Yeah, like who? Who was? What I thought you lot, you lot back in the day. Mm -hmm. like, no, you lot man. Back in you the lot grew up on P Diddy, yeah. No, what? Stop that, man. Yeah? Right, look, man, it's like, <laughs> right. uh, how can I explain it? It's like you know a H tune in it, but you didn't grow up on H in it. Mm. I know who's H again. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Rd, 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 Rd. Okay, yeah, or, okay. H, yeah, the white guy. Or Russ. Russ. You know no, 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 I don't know. No, 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 no. I, I listen to Ross. I can't lie. I can't even lie okay, to you. Uh, um, whatever, but you get it. But, He's just there, but isn't it? P. Diddy, yeah. he was in the game, though. Like, if it was Tupac versus uh, Biggie Smalls, no, 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 he was no, in no, that but, camp. But, but, he but, was right, involved. Right, no, but stop. Listen, right? Nah, nah, nah. They were around doing their thing, making their music, right? But I've never, hand on heart, never bought any P. Diddy produced album. Products. 
Like I've never got, I've, I've never bought anything. I've never endorsed any of his stuff. Like I've never, no, I haven't. No, well, so you're telling me no one, no one listens to that tune of what's his name, Biggie Smalls, and he goes, "Fuck it, I want to go to hell. I'm a piece of shit." I and then he did some... anyway, man. Bro, yeah, I, mean, your tune. I, I don't know the tunes like that. That's what I'm saying. I don't know the tunes like that. I know Bane's listens to it, man. He's a liar, man. No, no, bro. I don't know the tunes like that. <laughs> you get? I know people that know tunes like that, but I personally don't sit down and listen to them tunes like I that. I hate that, Bane, do But you don't have to get pressure. Just leave that post or PDD up on your on the room. Just leave it. Okay. You don't have to take it down. Good for you, man. It's nah, right, man. You got, you got claimed a minute. It's cool. Are you crazy? That's crazy, bro. It's wild. That's that, yeah. That, that is, that is crazy. I can't lie. That is wild. That is wild. That is wild. That's 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 wild. wild. It goes to go to the gay bar. Go to the you got a DD, a P Diddy poster up. Just get me. I don't know, <laughs> just give up. Yeah, just give up and go there, bro. Jump, Chill out. Jump on the Blue oyster. Blue go to the blue oyster. <laughs> <Blue oyster. laughs> <laughs> What's the blue oyster, bro? It's from um Please Academy. Oh, <laughs> oh hey, listen, listen, listen. Someone, you know, like someone mentioned that today in the gym, you know. And it's I, from Peace Academy. Love, it was that running joke, and it was that running I joke. I kind of guessed what it was, but I didn't and then it, know. Because they always end up like tricking them to go in there, innit? Like the, the, the police, the other police officers that, he, that he's trying to like catch out of like not doing their job, innit? Basically. Okay. And then they always get set up to go in there. Yeah, okay. Because I was. And like, it's that yeah. funny music comes on that. Because these men yeah. were talking about somewhere, <laughs> and I was like, yeah, I feel like. Mm. One of them places you have to make sure you go on the on the on, like make sure you go to the correct day because the other days it might not be what mm -hmm. you expect. Just don't go there. Like, oh, what, what a bit a bit of a um, blue oyster and then we was all cracking up because I kind of I knew what he meant but I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really is. Yeah, running joke from the eighties. Okay, it was a big man that bought that joke as well. Yeah, yeah. Well, I know what you're talking about now. Look it up. Right, You'll yeah. see it online. You'll know, remind you. But yeah. So basically, this guy. This obviously, I don't know if anyone expected any better boxing. Did you see this already? You stops. I watched that live. I can't lie. Mm. Yeah, stops, man. You're a proper you, huh? isn't it? No, 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 no. Come on, no, 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 no. Where was this about like, Who paid old? for it? You paid for nah, this. this was. This was. No, nah, no. Nah, this was free, man. It was free. Mm. No, literally on YouTube. Okay. It was on YouTube still. And come on, like, who's not gonna watch who's not gonna watch ten minutes of Modine getting it wasn't even ten minutes. Modine getting punched up. You can see Modine is locked in that nervousness. He needs to loosen up. There's there's a fear and nervousness right there. He's got to let go of those hands if he's to have a chance against Vitali. Yeah, he was staring at his corner man, very, very <laughs> dialed into his corner man, but now the corner man can't be here with him. And he's the got fight to is on. breathe. He's holding his breath in, he's He's just kind of running. I'm not sure what his plan is here, but Vitali hunting him down. You know, fights like this, they often come down to cardio. Up, Taking his time to start could be the right play. <laughs> Bit of a low shot there. This is bro. funny, bro. Like, this, this is, is funny, a disabled, bro. This is a disabled guy, bro. Yeah, yeah. Who? Um, like, Modin. Modin, bro. Mm, 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 mm. Like, this ain't a normal man. Like, what kind of mm -hmm. man? What is mm -hmm. this, bro? I don't get this. Nah, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Apparently, he was fasting. I don't know why he would be fasting to you. Know, get into it. No, no, that's what he said, man. No, I, that's no, not what no, I'm saying. No, I'm not making... No, no, no. This is an no, Iraqi L, by the way. Do Mezzo. Do this do is that, a Mezzo L. Mm -hmm. No, no, that's not my Akhi. That's, that's Mezzo's Akhi. <laughs> I'm <laughs> <laughs> but Mezzo, man. Where are you, man? Yo. You know it's fine for Iraq. Akhi. You know me? I'll do this for your Akhi. Akhi. <laughs> <laughs> You don't bring out Ramadan. Uh, mm -hmm. I believe it stops you trying to get him off the wall. Yeah, bare excuses, isn't that? This guy like is. You never knew what him. monster was going to be fasting. The brother is him, so he's, he's fighting. Yeah, from yeah, but he's Probably not doing that. Though. The right hand. Trying to cut the ring off now. <laughs> he may have winded him quite a bit as well. Very <laughs> slow start from Odin right now. Could be the could be the game plan. We're only a minute in, and we got two more rounds to go after this yes he was watching nature videos with possums <laughs> that's the greatest fight prep i think i've ever heard <laughs> i don't think we've even seen a strike thrown from modine yet not, not a very yet. educated hold on man was watching nature videos about possums, possums before fight. the fight 
It's just but a whole I, joke. But they're not what? came out properly, man. Like, if, you, yeah. if you're just going to be a mockery, just spin his job efficiently, mm. bruv. You got this next guy that everyone just seems disabled. There's no able body men. It's mad. crazy, man. I thought he'd be able to fight a bit better than this. I expected more. That even just that, you know, the look of boxing, not necessarily to be a boxer, but just to like know how to at least make one punch look decent. And I'm talking about like secondary schoolboy levels of a punch. Like mm -hmm. just a punch. Like when you go to your nephew and say, right, yeah, punch, punch here. Mm -hmm. And they, do you know what I mean, fam? Like it's my brother, like I'm 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 in a hundred percent agreement with you. Cause even if you do sign up to something and you're not really trained classically you, in the sport, punch, punch. I'm sure you can even imitate what Imitate, you've been bro, watching look, all over these years that you've been alive, surely. You look like somebody that's never fought before in their life. They both look like people that aren't ready to step into the ring, Jed. Yeah, facts. They, they, like, both of them are like, no one's really swinging. He's just putting his arm out to try and stop him from punching him, right? Keeping him at arm's length, Moldine, right? The other guy's, the the other guy's trying to swing, well. and he's not even trying to swing to... He's not even really connecting, but then he's still flinching at the fact that he's putting his arm... It's, but why have you got it's, it's a mess. It's a mess. Got shoulder and traps and chest. Like, how, how you did can't you do acquire none. these things? Can't do none. Where do they come from? How did you get, like, you look like you've been in shape at, at a point in your life. Mm. Mm. Get a guard here. He's got to go for it. He's got to. Very He's weird. Got to He's holding. Oh. Very weird. Great left hook from Vitaly. <laughs> what is that, man? Oh, Dean kind of quickly looked over to his corner. I think he felt that left hook. But Vitaly himself, he's got to bite down on the mouthpiece. I mean, nothing's coming back at him. And he's he's worried about almost like a long parry. Just walk right through that and throw your shots. Both yeah. these guys are really nervous right now, you can tell. Vitaly's nerves are definitely <laughs> melting away. Those <laughs> <low years. laughs> no way. Modine might be getting a bit more nervous. I mean, his movement is just not there right now. <laughs> Menzo said, can't lie, people like Stops made him big. They love watching him act like a clown. Now he's famous. Yeah, well done, Stopzilla. Well done, man. He's literally yeah. just running away from all of these, 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 these punches. Yeah, them. he's not throwing anything back. He's not fighting. Like he's not fighting. Look, his arms only ever out to try and stop him from getting closer to him. Yeah, and that's the it. Punch, yeah. yeah. You right there, Sneets? Nah, she said Modine's getting punched up, man. Leave her. Let yeah, her I'm good. She, likes, she does like Modine still. No, I don't. Piss it off. Yeah, Modine's getting punched up, Sneeze. Good. Good. Let's see. Why do you hate him? I don't, <laughs> I don't hate him. Well, I just think he's a bit of a Lulu. That's mm. why us English, we need to support, like, you know, our, our, our fellow brethren. No, you need, get... you need to support your Aki, yeah? I <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> is he not is he not your athlete? That was literally oh, right. oh, oh. oh, okay. What? No, I thought he's British, isn't it? You're British, he's British. What's the password? <laughs> what are you, Stop Zilla? Pardon, is that Somali? Stop the I can't mean, yeah, I'm Jamaican. I'm Jamaican. What? Oh, he what? said, what? Stop said, what? Sneet, stop said, you take, you take Modine and he takes P. Diddy. No. Oh. You're going to take both of them, right? said tag team. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> There's no room for him over here. It's no good. <sighs> Nothing. And. What I would say, though, is he's moving his head away from Vitaly, right? And that's when you got to start ripping that body shots. I mean, the biggest shot we saw so far, I think, was that right-handed body. Yeah, look, Vitaly <laughs> with some big swings there. <laughs> Modine certainly has opportunities he does, he does have to reaction counter, but he's not letting his hands yeah. go. This is where all that talk comes to fruition. Two minutes and 15 seconds into the fight. Oh, oh big swing. Vitaly. Oh, oh, Mo has got to come up with some kind of a game plan. Neon is his cornerman, I uh, think. Bro. So Neon's got to give him some advice here. At some point, he's got to gain some respect. Oh, Big right hand. turning his back Vitaly's to him. In the corner. This fight could be over very soon. I'm... 
<laughs> Modine looks hurt. Both in my hour breath. Standing knockdown from the referee. Let's <laughs> call comes out of the mouth of Modine. Seven. Not someone a kind of thrown from Modine right now. Yeah, someone's got no, to advise him. Someone. It's over. And it's mm -hmm. over. Oh no. Okay. Wait, pause it, pause it, pause it. Pause it. I just okay. I just want to say I just want to say you do you do know that Modine won this, right? What? He no, won, no. he won. He won. I swear. What? I'll tell you the reason why he won. Apparently after this fight, this 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 guy here was asked to it's do a drug test. No, 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 no. He was, this guy was asked to do a drug test and he refused. All right, no. who did he get um who did he get bombed by to be able to win this? Why fight? did he need to be able to take why did he have to take a drug test? Hold on, I don't why? know. I, I thought this was I don't know. I actually don't what? know, but apparently did he refused a drug test and then everyone's saying rah, he actually roided up for or whatever. Mm -hmm. He he done steroids for Mo Dean, which you don't even need to do that anyway. He could have just punched him up regardless. This is wild. This story is wild. How did he he, win the he, he refused to take the drug test. Yeah, but they're fighting, so he hasn't won. After, after, you know, they announced that he won TKO, oh, and then apparently, yeah. after. Yeah. So that's a W for Mezzo and his people, man. Shout out, man. Shout out to the Mad. Mezzo, don't have that. Nah, it's like, when that's this, crazy. just look at this for a minute and tell me, what's the white box here? Yeah? It's over. And it's over. Oh, no. Good display, good big. Did I just, did you see that? Mm-hmm. He's shrugging his shoulder, lad. This is nah, it was a bit of a, is it a bit of sass? Is it a bit? Is the guy? <laughs> no. Good display, good victory from Vitali. I don't think we saw what a lot of us were hoping to see from Modine. A lot of talk leading up to. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. Any of you guys? Any of you guys remember the white guy, Vitali? No. Yeah, he had this uh, thing back in yeah. the day, didn't he? he yeah, doing, yeah, yeah. Apparently, he was popping. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Made a lot of money off of that still. He threw bake he threw sausages or bacon or something like that in Modine's face, innit? Mm. Did he uh, did he? Yeah, had one of yeah. the press conferences, yeah. That's mad. And that's a why as well. Mm. Modine's mm. hilarious, bro. Up to this, and one of these two men delivered. Unfortunately for Modine, it was not him, but Vitali came in with a good flurry at the end there. And that's what we were talking about, right, man? We said, hey, if he just walks through what's not coming at him, he'll be able to get a stop it. Credit to Vitali. He did not concede a single punch. Um, obviously, Modine, we're going to see. He said he was getting in shape. You can see Vitali coming in with it. Here we have the replays. You can see Vitali coming in with a nice big right hand. <laughs> <laughs> so it did. Dead. Dead. <laughs> <laughs> you only landed one punch, the rest of them. <laughs> no. That last one was good, though. Look, that last one, watch it. Bow. <laughs> That's bad. That's joke. I don't get it, bro. Like, Modine's like in his 40s or something. I don't get it, bro. How could you have that little athleticism? Yeah, this is poor. This is poor. And, th and, like, th and this is what the kids get to look up to. Mm. I'd rather they look at Jake Paul. To be fair. To be fair. Who's fighting Mike Tyson soon, isn't he? To be fair, yeah. I hope no, like, I'm not gonna lie. I I'm hope really... Tyson tears them up. How is that what you're thinking? I'm I hope opposite, he tears them up. Opposite, bro. I want Mike Tyson exactly. to get knocked out cold. Exactly. But do you know <clears> what though? You know why I say this? I say this because you know what, Mike? You were my mom's favorite boxer, bro. Mm -hmm. Why lower yourself <laughs> to this? Like you like it's like I don't get it. Is it from is, you need the money? Like, what is it? So for that reason, since you're willing to put your Legacy in jeopardy, you deserve to lose it. Mm. You deserve to get wait, 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 Jed, Jed, Jed. Yeah. If he was in his shoes, if he was in his shoes, you're sick, you're already a legend. Everyone knows you're a legend. You've done it. And then some kid comes up to you and says, Well, a couple of mils, you and me fight. You've you've already no, but he doesn't no, no 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 wait, 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 wait. Cause stop. So he, he's not doing it like as far as it goes, money wise, he doesn't need it. I would like, believe. 
He Tyson's doesn't, got doesn't, pigeons to he feed. He's got pigeons no, no, to feed. No, 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 no. Baba, 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 baba. Do you know how much? Do you know how much dough he's making off of his weed from? Are you mad? He, oh, I don't even know. Are you mad? Yeah, like, on, seriously. Thought, yeah, he, just on seriously. The no, see the guy that we used to, he was first doing a podcast with the, um, the, the, the American footballer. I believe them two have got a whole weed farm, bro. That they just... Okay. Yeah. I thought he was doing it with Henry Cejudo. Mm-mm, mm-mm. You know that, know. right? Yeah, but I don't know. Like, whether he's changed up. No, I, ain't, I don't watch him like that, but I just know that that's what he was doing with that guy. And then okay. whatever's happening from that is happening from that. So he's, he's yeah. That he's, weed farm is not making money for him to step in the ring with my man, man. Oh, it is. Oh, it right, is. Yeah. No, he, no, he, no. What I'm saying is that he doesn't need to do like the money thing isn't a a, a thing in it. Like it's not. Is it? He he basically said that he just wants to like end their streak in it. He wants to end the streak in it. Like look, this is long. What streak? Like, what, Jake Paul wants to end thing, Yeah, the whole no, no. He wants to end Jake Paul's one. Like because it's like this whole thing's been a mockery, which it has been. And that's what I'm saying. I, I want to see if if he's talking really, if it's really oh, about that. Hey, that's what I you're thinking, see. yeah. Yeah, but no, that's what he was saying. That's what he was saying. No, that's what he said. That's what he said, isn't it? He said, yeah, like, he I don't give a fuck about the money. He said, he, he said, fuck the money. He said, fuck the yeah. money. I just want to go in and tear them up. Like, fuck this streak thing. Like, Tyson, no, Tyson's talking shit because his Jake's streak already got ended by Tommy, Tommy Fury. So what streak is he talking about? He's just talking about these, these these YouTubers thinking that they can come in and start doing some boxing. That's all he's talking about. He said he just wants to put the fear in them, innit? Like, don't do it. Mm. We'll see. see we'll see. Yeah, I want Tyson to get beaten up. Just, just, <laughs> yeah, don't, don't do that, Tyson, man. Don't do that. No one's asked you to do that, bro. We yeah, if I, if I, if I had someone like that, that young, though, yeah, bro, it's a bit mad. You know, like, uh, listen, bit so, knocked out so, so hard. Just to show how consistent I am, yeah. Mm-hmm. I said the same thing when he went to fight Lennox Lewis. I said, Don't fight mm-hmm. him, man. What are you doing, man? Mm-hmm. It's an exhibition match. Rare, rare. What happened? You go in and got yourself fucking put in your bum. Mm-hmm. You made, made Lennox Lewis feel like he's he yep. beat Tyson. Like, why did you do that, yep. bro? Didn't need to do that. Yeah, he didn't have to go, shouldn't have gone that far. Do you know what I mean? That's dead mm-hmm. move for the. I, I know then he was definitely doing it for the money, apparently. But Jake Paul. But that yeah, that was before he um started his thing, for real. Yeah, that makes sense because that would have given the foot in to start it up, innit? Yeah, for real. Okay. Because I know he was, he was definitely on his face, wasn't he? Yeah. Final mm. segment. Final segment. We are in the, the final stretch. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> it religion. I thought that. Christianity was something that was made to control people and lead them away from raising their consciousness levels. So that was my belief system at the time. And obviously in in and around that time was the first time my group did Brains Got Talent. Uh, We did quite well, we got to the final and I started a new group. And what it was, it was uh, my group was called Nemesis and we got to the final BGT back in 2008. We made a group called Caney. So the guy's name was Kyle, um, we were called Nemesis. So it was basically Kyle Nemesis Entertainment. And it was a mixture of like live vocals and dancing. I remember I got into bed and I, I lay down and immediately I felt my soul get ripped out of my body and I fell and I fell very, very, very quick. And I remember looking at that and thinking, this place doesn't look good. And I can tell that that was, it was demonic. Wherever that was, it was very, very demonic. And then it went pitch black. And when I tell you this darkness is, you can't even see your hand here. So basically the winning of the show, the money, the house, everything. What do I need to do for this? And out of the darkness, even though it's pitch black, I could see very clearly the scroll appeared. And it was a white scroll with gold trim around the edge. And it was a contract that I had to sign in blood. I was now seeing it for myself. And I knew immediately what that meant and what it was. And immediately I felt myself fly back into my body. And then I opened my eyes, looked to my left, and there's this demonic entity. It looked about four feet tall, jet black, standing next to my bed, looking at me. When you're around these things, you get this immense feeling of fear that you you can't even move, like you can't do anything. You're just stuck, almost like you're paralyzed. I'm not okay. I'm really not. Like, what did I just see? Mm. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going 100% shit my pants if I saw something like that. 100%. <laughs> <laughs> 100. And, like, I don't know whether he said you're paralysed from fear, but if I'm not, I'm I'm not going to stay around. Like, that's bad. 
Nah. Anna Khan says, Black, you say, hmm. Oh, is that Khan? I think so. Oh, what's it? Yeah, oh, what? Yeah, black. What? Demons are black, innit? Of course they are. What else? Are they? They're not going to be white, are they? Well, God forbid. God forbid anything bad is white. You little fuckers, man. You like try to sneak it in any way you can. Isn't it? Little fuckers. Oh, oh, the demon was black. Oh, yes. Mm. Gold tooth. <laughs> I could smell weed before they entered the room. Intimidating and aggressive, my dear. Niggas, niggas, demons and niggas, too. <laughs> Break. We look we, like listen, we're under attack, bro. We can't get, we get a moment's break, please. Leave us alone. Do you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, it's back. Hi, mm -mm. Isha. Thank you for having me. Isha, thank you so much for being with us today. I know you have an incredible story, a powerful story you're going to share with us. So, where did this all begin? Honestly, I wouldn't even know where to start because I've always been quite open to the spirit world. Uh, I didn't really know at the time what the spirit world actually was. Uh, growing up, things were always a bit strange for me. Um, I used to sort of see things but not really know anything about it. And because you obviously when you're young, you've got a bit of an imagination anyway. So you, sometimes you think, oh, okay, whatever, it's nothing. But one of my earliest memories in yes. life was um, yeah. living in, I believe it was near central London. And my family lived on a second floor flat. And I just believe it's near. Where did you, where did you live, Mudgy? Mm. Uh, come on. Mm. You think it shows scout people just like in normal real life? Like, like I think they scouted you in some way. Do you Who? see what I'm saying? Like, whoever it is, the, the, the dodgy people that are behind all of this, like, do you think that they scout? people like like if he like he's had this uh, sorry my words like, right now so, so he's saying he could see things from a young age yeah. do you know what i mean so he's got some type of link see to spirit, right well. in yeah. a way so yes do you think there's a possibility do I think it's a coincidence that from him having this ability from young and all of a sudden finding yeah. himself on something like britain's Got talent. At the no, end I of don't. this situation, yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, no. Because he would seem... The, the, the he would seem like an so average person. That these are pipelines for people that do have certain skills and ability, whether they know that they do or not. I do think that these things are pipelines, you know. And, and how is it that they would know, like that about like an average person like i, I can think see that they have I a track on I, I think they have a track on bloodlines and also um they have ways of reading people and i think that within their system they also have ways that people can make themselves known accidentally or whatever through testing through observation in schools and stuff like that there's obviously got to be some gifted people or some some people with the ability to spot gifted people and all of a sudden kids start getting scholarships and da, da, da. my son got offered a tennis scholarship when he was young and we turned it down you know okay. he got a scholarship yeah. he got a scholarship to a big to a big private school yeah and then and then he started going to that private school then they tried to give him a, uh, they wanted to give him a tennis scholarship and have him with some tennis coaches and that, and something just was not right. And I was, no, 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 no. Come, and he come out of that school pretty soon after that as well. Mm. Mm. But, um, yeah, it's a big, a big private school in Dulwich, uh, it's the biggest one. If people should know what that is, mm. yeah. but yeah, so yeah, and my brain started to go off into a different realm, like, yeah. as you 
talking like do you remember mm. ages ago we were having this conversation and you were like these people they'll kind of meet up in these spiritual realms and and then mm -hmm. i like i likened it to like a a, a, a teams meeting and like yes yeah, so team meeting a zoom call yeah 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 so what i was thinking when you said accidentally stumble upon do you think these people i don't know maybe in their personal interest of spirituality um i don't know trying different things uh do you know what i mean testing their ability and do you think that there's some type of way that they can detect that is that what you meant like accidentally stumbling upon something no i think they're two different things but i agree with both of them Okay. No, I didn't mean, I didn't mean that by about by accidentally stumbling across something. I didn't mean that, but um, I do believe that there's a way to oh, okay. you know you're that doing also, something, and you're doing yeah. something, and it can be detected. Maybe like you know, maybe like your power level or whatever. Yeah, or, yeah, yeah, yeah. More, yeah. More, more importantly, because and this is like it's kind of beyond human capacity because like. There's, there's spirits involved or there's a consciousness involved. It's probably maybe not for a human to have to do the detection. Maybe it's just for the human to be yeah. to be told or for humans to be told, okay, check this guy out, check that guy out. This guy's been born. Do you know what I mean? Because it's like, you know, if you can read people's auras and people's power levels and people's abilities, then it's possible to like get a notification. Maybe some people like not get a notification, but whatever sign is. Put there's out actually there, physical someone. tools, isn't there? Like, like, do you remember there's such a thing called divination rods? Yeah, yeah. So I, I would, I don't know. Maybe, maybe they use some type of tools, some judgy tools. I, I genuinely just think that it's, it's like. People have frequencies and people have pheromones and people have sense and people have aura and whatever, all these different things, whether physical or not, yes. that kind of precede you, can precede you with somebody with good eyes. So yeah. if you are maybe a certain, a certain type of person capable of a certain type of frequency or a certain type of ability, it's quite possible that your the your lineage would be one that would be of interest and therefore right you would maybe have been under scrutiny already like or maybe your parents or your parents parents or whatever <laughs> that lineage and anyone from there would be under scrutiny and it's probably just as quick as a, a just a check just like okay there's a new one to this one okay they see oh no nothing nothing to worry about here or no potential there and then they just move yeah. on and every so yeah. often one of them, one of them little boxes that they check is all golden, and they're like, "Oh, we got one." Okay, yeah. oh, kill that one, or, 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 you know, kill that one's family, and then we'll foster this one. Or I don't know. A lot of the time, it sounds weird. A lot of the time, I think that these special children are placed in the in their current families, unbeknownst to themselves. Mm. So they are possibly, possibly the offspring of people that are fully involved. And therefore, like this is, I'm not saying this for everyone, but I think this happens for some as well. Yeah. Right? Like, you know, you just think that you're just this average dude or this average girl and rare, rare, and really there's a bit of a Hogwarts situation going on. Yeah. How many movies have you seen this in? Like, mm -hmm. and... Uh, yeah, and I kind of look at movies like they're not just fiction. <laughs> not all of it. Remember, at least. And I'll tell people they use fostering. So it's weird that we watch this Freemason thing today and even the Freemason man was like, right, imagine. And I've said this before I watched that. So, And I've said this multiple times for years now. So people can see that some of my wild little theories... <laughs> might have some weight to it. They're not even wild. Some of my wild ideas that maybe don't make that much sense or I haven't done the work to really explain how I know or what I know. Obviously, I keep some things to myself, but, like, in terms of the fostering, adoption, and that, I definitely know that is a well-known tactic. That's a that's a tactic that they use. They place these children 
Yeah. They separate them from families or they <laughs> place them. And it's just, I don't know why they do it. Instead of just raising them themselves, sometimes they just do some mad shit. I don't know. But yeah, look, these kids. I think they haven't got time to, <laughs> like, themselves. You know, I think a lot of the time it kids from, from other lineages are raised and they, you know, not really made aware of what their history is. And these mm. times they've got an innate ability or power or strength or, you know, bloodline or whatever. They, or they got a hit, um, some form of like destiny to fulfill, you know. Mm. You know what? You're going to be really influential in the realm of literature. I know it sounds weird. No, it doesn't. You're gonna be a act. You're gonna be in the realm of entertainment, or you are going to be in the realm of um, politics. You know, and then it's like they they just nurture and groom and give that person, leave that person in an environment where their story looks totally detached mm -hmm. from the tapestry of the elite. So they just look like an outsider. Mm -hmm. You know, and then when you. Do you know what? I, you know, th th that's not. That makes sense because obviously for them, keeping up the facade is a full-time job. It's like you said the other day, it's like they've been drumming this person with this much information their whole life and then all of a sudden it just takes this one thing to unravel all of the work that they've done and they still manage to break through. So, so they've got a hand in everything, it, isn't it? It would make sense that, yeah, they, they're going to need all hands on deck. It's a very mm -hmm. huge project that is neat that that needs constant supervision uh, supervision and it to be actioned continuously otherwise the veil is just gonna slip down. why do you why do you take your why do you take your camera off well should i turn my camera on yeah man you look like okay. a cool dude yeah. salute salute trucker dan how you doing Shed in a nigger's food, curb stomp, a nigger baby in front of his mother, feed a nigger his own penis, oh, cut yeah. a nigger a thousand times until his skin turns red, hang niggers from trees, ban niggers from voting, take away every right a nigger has, reclassify niggers as a different inferior subspecies, mm -hmm. send niggers yeah. to the so they can starve to death, use niggers' skin as toilet mats, chop niggers up into a stir fry, and feed them to their Woo. families, send niggers Woo. into space to their slow deaths, yeah. and last but not least, vote for Gypsy Crusader for President 2024. Jeez, and yet, even after that, they still manage, they're still the ones that taught you how to bathe in it, so... Now it. Yep. Still no flannel. Say no more. You got all this advice. <laughs> Say no more. Uh, savages. And inside that, I managed to lock myself into my parents' bedroom. So, um, and I was locked in from the inside as well. So they, they could not get in. So they had to actually call Fiber Grade out to come and knock the door down and then let me out. So uh, one of my best memories of that day is my brother and sister passing digestive biscuits under the door to me so I could eat. Uh, Cause I was in there for a good, maybe couple of hours before I actually got out. And as the fire brigade were basically taking the door down, I got instructions to move away from the door, maybe go into the bed and just wait in the bed until they've knocked the door down. So I was safe. So I did that. So this memory turned into a situation where I was crawling underneath the bed under the covers and I remember kind of getting the sense that I wasn't alone. And imagine I'm calling from like where the pillow is and I'm heading down the bed. From this side, this little boy comes up like that and stops. And we're looking at each other head on. And I remember clear as day, like he didn't have a t-shirt on. He had this like dark pale skin, um, dark, dark eyes, um, shortish black oh, hair. He looked probably that similar that age that to me. Does make sense. I was about four years old. How, what does dark pale, dark pale. Mean, like? Mm -hmm. Only thing I would say, dark pale is like when I come out the the bath and the soap's extra harsh, so my skin's all like kind of grey, mm -hmm. like dry skin. I don't know. <laughs> you, know I mean? you can be dark and pale, you know. No, okay, no, so no. But it, it was just a weird term. Like it's just a weird way of describing. Mm. Yeah, dark pale. I'm thinking skin. like I'm I'm thinking like dull earthy colours. I can't really picture oh, it. Pale. Hmm. I'm struggling. I'm thinking of like decomposing bodies, like them kind of. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Tones, well, but you, you would have said like a. You wouldn't have said dark pale though. Like it's, it's, I don't know. I thought like I just feel like yeah, it was weird. It was just weird way of describing it for me. No, but cool. Do you think he made a mistake? 
I don't know, but it was weird. Because mm. he was crawling under the bed, under the covers. There's another one I was like, hmm, what? Mm. Yeah, yeah, crawling under the you bed. Under, under the, the bed, the under the covers, like, what? You what? mean under the bed covers? Yeah, yeah maybe. Everybody it's knows just... the boogeyman can't get you when you're under the he covers. He might be nervous, he might be nervous, isn't he? He might be nervous, I don't know, I don't know. Oh, but it's just yeah, weird terminology that I'm hearing. I'm like, what? Hmm? It's just a bit mad that a grown man would have this type of reaction, like to go under the covers. No, 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 no. He was a child. No, he was a child. He was a child. You think he wouldn't just fucking keep the door down himself? No, he was a no, child. No, you're right. No, you're right. You're right. Oh, I forgot yeah. where in the story we were. Where we were, yeah. Wow. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah? Take that back. Uh, cool. The rest of it don't make sense, though. <laughs> <laughs> well, Kyle, though. Hmm. Yeah, he is old. And we just stopped Let's and looked at him. Like, uh, he didn't have that, a really stop good. down the bed. From this side, I'm calling from like where the pillow is, and I'm heading down the bed. From this side, this little boy comes up like that and stops, and we're looking at each other head on. And Goodbye. I remember clear as day like he didn't have a t-shirt on he had this like dark pale skin um dark dark eyes um shortish black hair he looked probably similar age to me at the time i think i was about four years old and eyes and we just stopped and looked at each other and then we just went like that and he went one way i went the other way and you would think it's crazy you think it's a dream but i was fully conscious i was fully awake the door came down about 10 minutes later um, and I was already out the bed at that point. I hadn't gone to sleep. What I saw, I saw. So that was a bit of an indication that something had already opened a door in my life that I didn't open myself. I was already at that stage open to spiritual forces interacting with me physically. So that kind of set the stage for my early life kind of growing up from there. So the next stage of my life was nothing short of traumatizing on a daily basis. So I used to get very, very serious spiritual attacks night after night after night after night. It was it was vicious. Um, I got, on an average night, I'd probably have about five or six different uh, horrific dreams, like horrific. Um, and this went on every single night for years. Seems, uh, it seems like a nice Jamaican mm -hmm. man as well. Like, I don't know, man. It's, oh, it's man. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> this shouldn't be happening to Jamaican men. <laughs> <clears throat> his reaction to seeing a stranger in his bed was odd. You know what, man? Growing up, I've had many strangers. <clears throat> Weird as shit, didn't it? So, I hear you. But the like, scariest thing I've ever experienced. Like, I'll, like, I'll give you an example, yeah? I remember one time I was at, at in my primary school and I was lining up to get my food and I was, you know, like they put stuff on your tray and they ask you what you want. Do you want some of this? Do you want some of that? Do you remember? I remember I stopped at this dinner lady. I looked at her. She had red eyes. What? Her eyes were red. Like uh, the, the whole of it or just her pupil? Are we talking people, like in the witches people. movie? Where they, their eyes... Just... Yeah, go on. What were their eyes like in the witches? In the witches, they've got this purple tinge in their eyes, but I'm just mm. using that as an example yes, to say, yeah, was that like part of it yeah. red? Yes, yeah. Okay. Red eyes. Red fucking eyes. And years later when I thought about it, I was like, this must have been pre-just like just cosmetic... Um, yeah, contacts and contacts, right? It must have been, and, and even if it wasn't, why would she be wearing red contacts? Like in those days, in school, it wasn't like, like yeah. it wasn't normal for the average person, like a dinner for someone like the likes of dinner a lady, dinner lady, to be wearing contact lenses. That's more something that you'll see now. You probably see a dinner lady with lip fillers, nails done, and all of this type of shit because that's the norm. Like the average person wants to look expensive, like a celebrity, that because that's what's been pushed by these celebs. Everything that used to once be out of the average person's grasp is now completely within your grasp. It's overkill. It's everywhere. 
And do you not believe in ghosts? I don't know if I believe in ghosts. I don't, I, to be honest with you, Jeds, I don't know how to differentiate between a ghost and just, to me, they're just all entities. I think they're entities. Some of us, I think some of them are capable of doing more. Some of them are confined to, I don't know, certain capability, not being able to do as much or whatever. So I think maybe, I think maybe a, like by the description of it, a ghost is one of those where it's kind of like, they can overlap with our plane of existence, but maybe they can't really do much. Like, if you look at a ghost, you could put your hand, like, I mean, in, in the movies or whatever, they're always depicted as, like, you can, you can put your hand right through it, you can walk straight through it or whatever. Something that's just lingered there seems like something that's accidentally there, not supposed to be there. It's like the soul that's not passed properly to where it's supposed to be going. That's my perception of a ghost I haven't ever experienced one I've never seen one my mom has said that she's seen uh one before and when I asked her as a child she said she saw my granddad at the foot of her bed um apparently my grandma wasn't very nice but my granddad was such a nice man I never met him he died way before I was born and I said how did he look and she goes he just appeared like I was like he looked like glowy <laughs> I, I tried to explain in Punjabi these words I was like did, did he look like white and see-through and I remember showing her pictures of Casper and being like look this is what they say ghost looks like did it look like this she was like no it just looked like a normal person and and she was just like uh, and uh, I was like did he speak she's like no I was like are you sure you weren't asleep she's like of course I was like of course I know I was awake like but I haven't experienced it. The closest thing to that I've ever experienced is I was laying in bed one day. This was this was not as a child. I was an adult. Um, I was kind of like attempting to meditate before I went to sleep, and I felt something sit down at the foot of my bed. The bed went down slightly. Yeah. Yeah, and then I kind of. I didn't do any sort of movements and it was just really strange to me because you know how the first thing I just said is if I saw that I would shit myself. I didn't shit myself. I didn't feel any fear whatsoever. I just kind of very slowly put my head up to try and look. And I saw nothing. Uh, um, uh, D Block saw a little white man at the end of his bed. <laughs> Uh, and what 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 D block jump on <laughs> did he say anything to you <laughs> he was frozen and couldn't move silverback do you know what usually i would cuss you but i think you're right you know because i haven't experienced anything like that ever since <laughs> Yo, George, tell me. Let's play a little bit more, man. And it got to the point I actually asked for help. More now, interesting we... than I thought you than I thought it was going to be. To be fair, we all agree yeah. this guy's from Jamaica, though, isn't it? My parents at the time, uh, we didn't talk um, as much as we do now, so I didn't really divulge a lot of the information about what was going on in my life. But I spoke to my mum about this, and she said, "Okay." Maybe don't sleep on your back. Try and sleep on your side. Maybe that will help you avoid the nightmares. And it kind of worked for a bit. And it's almost like the spirits realized that I was figuring out a way to avoid the situation. So I would wake up and I would just roll on my back. Or not, sorry, I wouldn't wake up. I would eat in my sleep and I'd roll onto my back. And I, I would know that I've rolled onto my back in my dream because I'd be having a nice dream. And then immediately it would turn into an attack. And mm -hmm. it would just be brutal, nonstop, nonstop, nonstop. Um, and it got to the point where I couldn't actually wake up from the dream. So um, after a couple of years, I realized that, okay, if I can die in my dream, I will wake up and I'll wake up okay. So I used to try, when I when I knew I was getting into one of these dreams, I could feel it. Because when these things are around you, it's like you can feel the energy from them. And for some people, it's this kind of feeling of absolute fear where you feel like you can't even move, like you feel paralyzed. And this was the early stage of that. It wasn't as bad, 
but it was like the early stages of that kind of sensation that I used to feel then. So I used to feel it coming. So I was thinking, right, I need to jump out of a window. I need to run into a road and be hit by a car. Like that's generally how I used to think in my dreams to wake myself up. Uh. And for a period of time that worked as well. And then they realized, okay, that's what he's doing. So they will then change scenarios. So if I'm trying to run out on the road, all of a sudden there's no cars. Or if I'm trying to jump out of a window, all of a sudden there's no window there. So there was, they started blocking that as well. They'll try and find any way to keep me there. This is, um, I think when we're young, we're, we're having a lot of lucid, a lot, lucid, dream, lucid dreaming seems a lot easier when we're young. Yeah, maybe. And, and most of us seem to be doing it accidentally or intentionally, some of us, you know, between some of us deciding what we're going to dream before we go sleep, others changing the dream while we're in the dream. Um, you know, um, yeah, or, or making us us wake up. Like, I did all of these things. Like, I didn't. I didn't do none of this suicide shit. I didn't. Like you know, that wasn't the way I got out of my dreams. I had my own technique of realizing I was in a dream. Do you know mm. what I mean? And then I would. And, I think you know, I'm, I was able to control my dreams. To be fair, like, I enjoyed my dreams. I fully everyone, became no, you, do you not conscious feel like of me being a, in a dream and and being able to control it, and then just doing whatever I want. Do you not feel like, like that's like a, oh yeah, that was the other thing I was gonna say. So, um, deciding what you're gonna dream before you dream it, waking up while you're in the dream and changing mm -hmm. the dream while you're going mm -hmm. through it, and then the third option, which I had forgot, was. Um, Waking up and then going back to the dream that you. Yeah, oh, yeah, that is that is the one. That is the one. Yeah. Neat, yeah, 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 yeah. That 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 is actually the <laughs> sickest, yeah. sickest. No, yeah, that is cool. You never experienced that, Sneets? I don't think I've ever experienced anything fancy like this to do with dream. Oh wow! Like I, like in my adult like in life, I have like sleep issues. Um. As, mm. It's for like for, for a while now, I felt like I don't really dream regularly. And if like, it's been like this for quite a while now. Um, mm -hmm. And if I do dream, I'm, I don't think that I don't dream at all. But if I do, I never remember them. Never. Um, hmm. So yeah, I remember having dreams and stuff as a kid, but never being able to like, what you guys talk about, like um, knowing I'm in a dream and controlling it or, Mm. knowing what we dream about it uh, well, and then it happened or like the closest thing to that is something that maybe i've been thinking about over the last i don't know intensely maybe over a few day period or whatever and then maybe a few days later i have a dream about it but there have been some strange situation like it it It'll always be to do with a person that I really care about and a strange situation or just a situation that's a little bit puzzling to me. I think for me and my dreams, it's kind of like it helps me to problem solve. But for you guys, it seems like this really no, fun... No, because we do have those dreams also, though, Sneets. We do no, have those dreams no, but, also. Yeah, but that's the only thing that I can remember to tell you. Like, mm. do you know what I no, mean? No, I hear that. I hear that. I'm saying we also do have them. It's not that we just have these dreams and we just do whatever we want. Like, we can... But we do also have those ones that do prompt us with emotion. Of or course. Something to do. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, of course. But they but these ones are the only ones that I remember. Okay. okay. And I feel like obviously I'm gonna remember them because they hold answers for me. Like mm, mm, mm. and also you remember when who was it that was on here saying something about dreams? Who was it? Was it Mega Man? And he was like, Your dreams are either to do with your past, present, or future? Was it him? Oh, I, I, I don't know about that, but when I was little, I'll be honest with you, the, re the moment I realised in my dreams I can fly in my dreams, I was fully involved with, oh, when I go to sleep tonight, I'm going to fly. So in any dream, if I don't like it, I just, off I go. That's it. I'm in the air. I'm out. That's it. It's always been that way. Even Maybe tonight. I'm Really, maybe I've maybe I've not really experienced it because I've never really wanted these things. Like, I don't have a very, very intense desire to just like fly. Mm, I do. I know it sounds mad, but <laughs> don't get me wrong. If someone, if some, if there was some, uh, I don't know. 
if I had the ability, if someone was like, I'm going to give you the ability to fly, do you want to experience it? I'd be like, fucking yeah, of course. Like, but I don't like think that and think, in my dreams, I want to fly tonight. Maybe I should try it. Mm, you should. You should. See why. It's weird because over the years, I've been able to map every part of my, where I grew up, like on the, on the estates and all around and map them from above mm -hmm. in my dreams. Like it's crazy when I actually think back as to how I was really actually it's mapping this out as a young child, actually mapping this out. It was crazy. <laughs> mm. Hey, yeah, ma'am. Dreams are there to be enjoyed as well. There's said that to me before. That even my brother has said that to me that he's like, he's been able to kind of like lucid dream and whatever. And I'm like, why the fuck can't I do it? <laughs> even like, you remember earlier on we were having this conversation. And Zellini was talking about how he left his body or whatever, and I was saying, yeah, I experienced a really like a dumb, lazy version of that. Is what happened is I woke up this once and I remember it was like. It was like a weekend, so um, I'm, I'm getting a lie-in. So my, we my body's exhausted from, like, the lack of sleep in the week or whatever. So I'm having a bit of a lie-in. I remember it was like I never used to sleep with my curtains closed. So when sunlight came through, if it was blaring, it was blaring. And it was one of those mornings. And I think it was about 10-ish because I remember waking up, looking at the clock, went back to sleep. Next time I woke up, I was paralyzed, I couldn't move, and the covers were over my face, and that shit me up because I can't move and I can't see what's happening in the room. Like, what if Satan's right on the other side? <laughs> <laughs> I can't do anything about it. Not so even like, some average little demon. I said Satan. <laughs> I mean, my face is covered. I don't know. The, the realm of possibility mm, is... He also himself. So <laughs> I was lying there, and I'm there just absolutely straining. Straining. I don't know whether I was straining physically or spiritually. I was like, am I going to shit myself before anything happens? <laughs> like, and then all of a sudden... And then, I thought, right, fuck it. It's nothing is happening. I can't move. I just went back to sleep. So I just thought, right, just close your mm -hmm. eyes, go back to sleep. Went back to sleep, woke up. I felt like I'd gone to sleep, but I don't know what time scale we're talking, whether I even slept or what happened. I don't know. And then I opened my eyes again and I'm still fucking paralyzed and I mm -hmm. cannot move. And I'm like, right, I, I don't like this. I'm starting to get more like anxiety my top lips all sweaty i can feel my i can feel my face just mm -hmm. heating up i'm getting scared so then i gave it absolutely everything that i got all of my absolute might to like to try and move to break free and of all, something yeah and mm -hmm. all of a sudden i it was very strange my body felt like it was really tingly like almost like a, a, a cross between pins and needles throughout my entire body and like some type of electrical pulse. And and then all of a sudden, I'm just sliding down the bed, sli slowly hit my head off the table and everything. Mm. Yeah, th this is what I'm talking about. I don't understand what the fuck happened. Like I'm sliding down the side of the bed and I'm like, oh, I'm on the floor. I'm still fucking paralyzed. I can't move. Why can't I move? <laughs> And then, I, and then I was just like, okay. How did you end up, no, if you can't move, how did you end up sliding? I, I don't Bro, know. You know, like, I don't know. one of the worst sleep paralysis I had was... Mad. No, but then, listen, I closed my eyes and opened my eyes and it was back to, like, I was in bed. I'd never slid off the side of the bed. Mm? This is what I'm saying. I closed my eyes because I was like, okay, I'm on the floor. Let me close my eyes. Let me try and sleep because I'm just not unparalyzing myself. Close my eyes. And then I think, I don't know what happened. Open my eyes again after what I think was a small period of sleep. And then I was able to move in my bed, normal. Mm. Till this day, I cannot tell you what the fuck happened. Don't know. But yeah, Jed's the worst sleep paralysis you had. We can't hear you.
Bang, there you go. I'm here. Yeah. See, yeah, uh, it's a bit strange. I, like, if if you're lucid dreaming, can you feel things physically? Everything. You feel everything. Okay, <clears throat> then that would, that would explain why I was sliding that down the table. I felt the table hit my back of my head. <laughs> like, What's your little madness with cartel? You just jump on and chat about cartel and we talk about dreams. Um, JD. You let me, man, as big up yourself, though. But yeah, man just jumped in to talk about cartel and that, you know. Where have you been, JD? About cartel. Big up, JD. Yeah, big up, bro. He's in there chatting about ghosts. But yeah. You like love cartel, man. So, Jay, yeah, the worst sleep paralysis you had? Uh, I'm not going to talk about it. I decided against it. You saved me. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you saved me from chatting it. But yeah, oh, man. Yeah, I've had a lot. I've had a lot. Of I've had lo loads of sleep paralysis. Loads. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, just loads and loads. It's that was the one and only. I think. I haven't. I think the best thing to do is try and relax. It's counterintuitive, <laughs> it's counterintuitive right? I clearly didn't do that very well. Counterintuitive. Oh, I had sleep paralysis laying next to someone, mm -hmm. and and I was dreaming. Oh, I remember this. I was, I was in my dream, and in my. Or oh, in my, oh, I don't know, in my head, I was saying, touch me, touch me. Help me, like. <laughs> touch me, like, just touch me. It's like almost I knew that the minute you touched me, I'd break out of it. Do you know mm. what I mean? So touch me, touch me, and then trying to struggle and that, and eventually she touched me, and then... I was like, I was fucking calling you for fucking ages. Like, what the fuck? What did you? <laughs> and she was like, like, all I heard was, mm. <laughs> 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 oh, I'm screaming your name loud, like, ah! Yeah, hey. and all you heard was, it's muffled. You get me? So, mm. And just like, mm. a little wobble, like, where I was, so no. So she was just like, you're all right. And I was like, ah, ah. <sighs> you know, like, one touch, bruv. Like, Broken. That's, that's just fucked up, man. Yeah, that's fucked up. I never had this thing where people talk about a demon sitting on a chest or a dark force sitting on no. a chest. Or a witch. Yeah, no. It's funny how it's always associated with a witch or uh, a demon or some shit. Like, that's something I find strange because I've never seen a film talking about sleep paralysis before I had those type of experiences as a very, very young boy. You know? That's why I um, thought Satan was on the other side of the covers because, pre uh, do you know what? I almost think you know some people like, say that they actually feel like the weight of yes. someone on the bed, even yeah. if it's not sitting on them, like, like on the end of their bed or something like that. I've experienced people saying that before, yeah, but I that's not what I felt. But I think around the time that it happened, I was kind of newly introduced to it like I didn't know what it was I didn't know it was a thing um and then it would be like you know you see those illustrations and it would be like with a picture of like a little demon on someone's chest or whatever I'd be like hmm you know I wonder what that feels like so I experienced it but I'd never felt this demon <laughs> but it's very strange very strange Weird. Obviously, at the time, I didn't realize that I was spiritually traveling. I wasn't, my spirit wasn't in my body. So if they trap you out there long enough, it's like you have an empty vessel here that's just waiting for demonic possession or demonic influence to a high degree. So it's in their interest to keep you out of your body. So yeah, things, things were like that for quite some time. And this oh, was yeah, in your was, dreams? Was this was in your dreams, correct? Yeah. Every single night. I used to have at least six, seven of these every night without fail. 
Can you talk a little bit about is I'm not super familiar with the astro projection. I know you're going to go into that later, but is this a form mm. of it? Yes, um, it's a form of it. It was something that I was doing unconsciously from whatever age I could remember to tell you the truth. So astral projection essentially is a, a way in which you can separate your your spirit from your body. Now, there's a process that you can actually go through and learn, which allows you to practice it and then be able to do it on will. So I used to be in communities of people who used to practice it and they would manifest in your room if they wanted to. And I, it, was, it was really strange, actually, because I knew that I could do it and I knew it wasn't because I, I was training to do it, but it was almost like a switch I couldn't turn on or off. It just happened when it happened, but I didn't have control. So as I got a bit older, I then kind of moved away from being more of an atheist and kind of moved into the new age movement. And that's when I started learning all the techniques for how to astral project, how to train yourself, how to do it. Uh, the lucid dreaming, because they're not the same thing. Some people believe that lucid dreaming and astral projection are the same thing. They're two completely different practices. Uh, one of them is actually being conscious and being able to affect your dreams. That's what lucid dreaming is. So it's almost like you wake up in your dream and realize, hold on a minute, I'm actually dreaming. So then you can start manipulating your environment to have a better experience in your dream. That's what lucid dreaming is. Astral projection is when you physically remove your spirit from your body to the point where you can actually stand up in your bed, look at your body as if you're dead. Like some of the testimonies I've seen on your channel before, where people talk about, oh, I feel good. My chest doesn't hurt anymore. And then they look down and see the dead body and they're like, ah, I'm gone. It's similar to that, basically, except it's a conscious choice you're making to separate your spirit. And you can actually see your body. You can see everything in the room around you. But things look different. Um, it almost looks like you've got supervision. You've got, you've got powers you wouldn't normally have. You could fly through the ceiling. You could just float away. Um, you've got amazing vision i could see into people's houses um it was it's it's some it's unreal it's something else but i didn't do it for the purpose necessarily of traveling um it was more to connect to the spirit world because the belief system around that is kind of in that sort of direction where you have what they used to call ascended masters or spirit guides so that was the kind of direction i went in but i'll, I'll come back to that in a bit um that was kind of the next stage of life but yeah it's it kind of developed through a YouTube channel that I used to watch. And ironically, the channel that got me into it was also the channel that freed me from it at the same time. Uh, over a period of about four or five years, I think, I went in and I went out through the same vice that locked me in, in the first place. But um, I'll, I'll come back to that shortly. But just kind of going back into like the childhood sort of neck of the woods. So after a period of time, uh, the nightmares got severe, now up on neck of the woods. and I was trying <laughs> to figure out ways in which I could manage them. <laughs> now, one thing that I always found interesting about a lot of my nightmares is I always felt like I was falling. I always felt like I was going, if I was going into a nightmare, I'll be falling. There was one dream I used to have quite a lot as well, where I would be on my mattress as a child, and I'll be in a house that's unfamiliar to me. And it's almost like a stairwell that goes in like a square, and it goes up like that, spirals up. And I'll see people walking up the stairs. But my mattress is falling down the middle of the shaft, right down the middle. And I remember there was one when my dad is kind of reaching out, trying to grab me to save me. And I'll just fall into this dark pit. And then I'll wake up in my bed. And when I'm in the pit, it's pitch black, You're but I can see certain shit, lights and certain things. Bro. And then as my eyes are falling, adjust, I'm, is those lights and shit. things like the and light plus, my alarm. Yeah, so another thing is this, which don't make sense. I've never fallen yeah. from a fucking height before in my life. How mm -hmm. do I know what that sensation is like? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That is the scariest fucking yes. thing, bro. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, and it jerks you away. Like my first falling dream, like scared the shit out of me. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. That was like a major nightmare in my. You know, you got. I don't know if you you got your top ten nightmares and that, but like, I, I not all. Let me ask you like a question. If you look, do you like remember any of your nightmares that you've had? Yeah. Would you not say that your most memorable one is from childhood? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. D have you had any decent nightmares as an adult? Yes, one. I have. I've had yeah, yeah, I have. I have. Yeah, 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 definitely have. have. Yeah, but they're not. Have. They're not. Spooky, it was the only no. one. No, no. It's. It was. They're not what though. 
they're not spooky. Like the the nightmares that I've yes. had as an adult yeah. are not spooky. Yeah, mm. no. This one that I had as an adult was very it really it it fucked with me because it was really close to the time that my dad passed away and it was to do with that mm. it was it jeds it was just really really strange it's like it's one of them i'll tell you offline privately in it but it really it freaked me out it it really just fucked with me mentally adult nightmares are more real mm. Style, I don't, I don't know, know, man. I don't I know. The last one I had was like a zombie apocalypse type situation. Ah, beautiful. It was quite fun. Yeah. It, was, it, was, it, was, it was very like, you know, like it definitely um, no felt. Yeah, it wasn't no joke thing because people were getting mucked. Like people that I loved and yeah, how dear were getting and it was mad. It was mad. Yes. No, it was a mess. You know, like yeah. it was all to the point of like we we, we got through our madness, so we lost some people, then that got rushed, and then we finally got to somewhere and managed to settle, and then it just settled in and it was like raw. And mum was like, and I was genuinely feeling hurt, like raw, we lost people. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. Like, what the fuck, through boy? And then it just finally took its toll and it's just like raw. And then I woke up and I had that one tear and I was like, raw, raw, like raw. <laughs> Raw, yeah, yeah, raw. Yeah, yeah. that one was that was a good that one, was, man. That was a that good was a one. one. That was a we're good one. one. Yeah, that was a yeah, good yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. That was good one. That was training we boy. So right. it's good. It's good. It's good. Mental fortitude, we boy, because when it's yeah, when it's time. Hmm. Let me. I didn't fall in my dreams, so it's all right. It's cool. <laughs> mm. Gotta keep pushing, blood. Mm -mm. But yeah, I think um Child childhood nightmares are scarier because you don't have the ration you don't have the rationale that you do as an adult when you're at that yeah, age. Yeah, they're very much more impactful, aren't they? Now you're yeah, exactly. You're able to be like, Oh, it's not real, it's fine, you're safe, mm -hmm. like you're cool. Do you know what I mean? Whereas as mm -hmm. a kid, fucking hell, I want to scream the house down and I want everybody to make a big deal. Do you understand what I just saw? Like <laughs> So so as a youth, if you had as a as a child, if you had a a nightmare in the middle of the night, would you go into a parent's room? Into your parent's room or something? Uh, I would wake up. Yeah, well, I would wake up. I'm like, it depends on how bad it was. I never really <clears throat> experiencing something where I've needed to wake up and go and find my parents. Like, I've a couple of times got up I'm like, oh my god! Just looked around for a second and realised, okay, yes, I'm safe in my bed. And then like, gone to the toilet or something. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Rather than yeah, doing that because mm. I know what my parents are gonna say. I'm fucking go to sleep. Go to sleep. Nothing's gonna happen. It's fine. And speak to my dad the next day. He'll be like, why do you get scared? Do you know what I do in my dreams? He's like, you need to pick up a sortie. A sortie is a stick. Run after them and you need to beat mm. them. <clears throat> and I'll be like, okay. <laughs> yeah, that's eventually what it, 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 my nightmare episode was definitely yeah, that where this is just like, fuck it. I just got to get on with it. In my dream. Mm. And that was that. And that's how I found out. <laughs> oh, I can fly in my dream? Cool. Say no more. And that was it. Dreaming became a a gift rather than a, oh, for fuck's sake. You know what I mean? When I was little. Mm. That was that. It's mad that you see that, though, Jeds, because, like, when it came to dreams and stuff like that, it's like I had this kind of knowing in me that it's like, when it comes to stuff like spiritual, you kind of got to deal with it differently. Whereas in normal daily waking life, I was very much a kid that's like, any minor inconvenience? Are you serious? Um, no, mom, dad, do you know what I mean? <laughs> mm. But when it comes to stuff like that, yeah, but you yeah. have to get on with it. <clears throat> yeah, I think so. It's in your own head. It's just you. You have to deal with it. It's your thing. It's you. It's your personal own. And I, I think I'd come to that conclusion judging by my parents' reactions to to this type of stuff. Like, oh no, 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 no
if you walk around naked in your room, like walking around after a shower with no towel around you, you're more prone to get attacked by demons or sleeping naked when it's hot. Whatever, that's man. so dumb. Nah, that's, that's bullshit. Sleep, I primarily sleep naked. Like, uh, Satan, no, demons, go away. Demons can get attracted to you. Oh, please. I don't know. I mean... Sneaks this I mean, air in the half. I'm not... <laughs> yeah, people sleep naked. It's, it's very good for you. <laughs> yeah, sleeping naked is the best for you. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. The, mm-hmm. Especially if you want to have a long, interrupted sleep. What I find is, even if I'm like, falling asleep and I'm like... It's relaxing. If I got like shorts on or boxes on, well, uh, that shit, I'll end up waking up because you know the hit like I'll you know yeah, man will move around, wriggle, get hitch up mm-hmm, or something mm-hmm, or mm-hmm. overheat exactly. or something. Yeah, yeah, you just realize that, bro. It's just you're just way more comfortable with nothing than something. Yeah, and you've got outside That's package cool. as well, and you're getting cloth co- like caught up in. Oh, yeah, gosh, it's not like, I don't want all that, man. Front wedgie, you're trying to sleep. Do you know, like weird shit's happening while you're sleeping. Ain't comfortable, mm. bro. Nah, man. And then uh, we watched the video, like, remember, Steve, about the science behind sleeping naked. Do you remember? I swear it was on this channel. I don't remember the details of it, but I think yeah, I remember. No, I don't really remember too much. Just topic. just basically any in anything like restricting you in any way could lead to breaking your sleep. So best mm. to sleep naked. Mm. Yeah. I mean, in a cool bed, yeah, and like, you know what? what I've got, I've got one of those like, super heavy. I got one of them super heavy um, weighted blank quilts. Wake, oh weighted, yeah, yeah. Weighted. Mm-hmm. I've not got to sleep with it yet though, but yeah, it's just there. You should, Jeds. I think it will really help you, especially in like the winter months and whatever. Maybe that's it. out. Why? Why do you think it will help me? Because it's a comforting thing. It's a. I think any I any little don't... bit of help that you can get to combat like your winter issues, like my... yeah, but I don't winter think... it's got nothing to do with sleep though. It's to do with the lack of sunlight. Yes, but hold on one second. Yeah, but in your sleep, you heal and you replenish. You... Yeah, I suppose so. I'm not really sure how. So that's going to help. Blanket would help during like seasonal affective disorder or. Or in the winter, apart from if, I don't know, I just I can't really see it. But sleep has just the right type of sleep can have a profound effect on your mental and physical health, Jeds. I think. Yeah. Well, yeah, I get you, but I didn't say I can't sleep. I ain't got have no sleep. I got no sleeping issue. I'm not talking. I'm. I didn't say you can't sleep. I'm saying. No, so why why the weighted blanket? It will improve the. I think it will improve the quality of sleep that you're getting. Yeah, but this is just us assuming that I'm not getting quality sleep. And I'm not saying I'm not or I okay, am. Leave your blanket but, wherever it is. You don't need it. That's cool. Let's move on. Well, you sounded like you're taking that personally. Mm. Like I can't even <laughs> make a conversation. I'm just out distracted. Of you. <laughs> huh? I'm distracted. Okay. Yeah, well, you're getting weird. Let's get no, in the going? Oh, my cat's seven past mm. eleven. Uh, Sneets is getting weird. Oh, shut up, man! It's just that timer. Yeah. Hmm? I can't even be asked to explain. Yeah, I'm so glad you're here, babe. Because it's mad. Mm. For example, like the red light, <laughs> I'll see something else, and it will be like another light that's coming from the street light outside. Which kind of indicates, but yeah, this blanket is so fucking heavy, bro. Ain't no joke. I don't know why you didn't use it, huh? Because it, it, it would just keep all the like the warmth in, and you know, like during these winter times that we've been cold in it. Do you know what the heavy blanket is, um, uh, babe? What do you know? What do you know? What the weight, heavy weighted is? ones, the weight, yeah, the weighted ones yeah. feel like you, you, yeah, it feels like you're getting hugged. In you, have you been under one before? Yeah, yeah, I've tried, I've tried, I've tried, I've tried. Oh. Bro, it's heavy, guys. Mm-hmm, like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, but so I'm just but I kind of like that. I kind of like that. I kind of like, <laughs> like, like it too. It's, it's all right. No, it's all right, you know, bro. Like, honestly. 
I've just Googled, right? And you Google says... You wait. I'm going to try mm, mm, mm. to check to that. You know, like, you're actually, yeah, you, yeah that's all right. You're going to feel like you're going to be held down. In, in, you know what I mean? Like, you're yeah, nice, nice, man. Trust me. Like, you're going to be feel like, yeah, it's cool. It's cozy. It's cozy. No harmless. Okay. So I can't, Googled... You can't watch them in the washing machine, you know? The, my, okay. the oh, washing machine no. won't spin with that, in it? No, no, no. So it's a dry clean job. Yeah. Or get a steamer. And I'm a sleep sweater. Get a steamer. So, get a steamer then. Get a, yeah, so am I. So am I. Don't worry. Yeah. You might have to get a steamer. Steam it off, you know. All right. That's going to be a laundry job. Sorry, you've Googled it and it said, um, said what? Sleep? Yeah. Weighted blanket benefits are, um, it provides comfort and security. It eases stress and soothes anxiety, improves sleep quality. It calms the nervous system, um, helps with anxiety and depression. Oh, it helps. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is funny, isn't it? it just sounds so leaky, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. yeah, do you know what? This is frightening to be in. So okay, let me, read that little, let me read that little bit to you. So it yeah. says, many people with anxiety and depression find themselves trapped in a vicious cycle. Anxiety and depression can negatively affect sleep, and in turn, the lack of sleep, the lack of sleep it's exasperates it's anxiety and depression. So yeah, I don't know. My anxiety is so soft right now, man. We just push yourselves. That just sounded mad, yeah. That is. Uh... Push yourselves out here, man. You know what I mean? Does does the wind make you scared? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like the fuck, we got people allergic to water. Does the sound of your own breathing put you off eating? <laughs> it's mad, bro. It's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah, I think the nervous system one is um, warranted, though. It says an overactive nervous system can lead to anxiety, hyperactivity, rapid heart rate, and shortness of breath, which are not conducive to sleep. I believe that. Um, I'm not even talking like from a depression, anxiety perspective. You can just get, um, you can remain in like flight, fight or flight mode just by constantly breathing through your mouth when you're like primarily you're supposed to be breathing through through your nose. Do you know what I mean? I've actually noticed that I a lot breathe through my mouth. I actively no, have <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm a like from Stranger Things, yeah. Yeah, but the, yeah, it's mad. They got compared to mouth breathing, isn't it? Do you know what? Yeah, um, what's the science on mouth breathing? Like they were saying, like it changes it's, your brain chemicals. Yes, kids. I've actually been on panel in pat in the past and remember saying this. So like. Yeah. I, I, can, I can have erratic mind, like just thoughts. All of a sudden, I'm like, why is my brain moving like this? And then cut to my breathing. What's my breathing doing? Mouth breathing. Mm. So my brain is not getting the oxygen that it needs. It's not oxygenating effectively in that moment. So my thoughts are all over the place. It's, so you, it's want a, start, you want to start breathing for your nose? Yeah. The, I, I say this to people. Like, you know, when... It, the best things to help you stop throwing up is that I could still see things, but I was. <laughs> I thought you did that on purpose. <laughs> no, I didn't, I didn't. Like I was you know, getting the text um, where I was laughing. You know when you. you're throwing up, yeah. The quickest way to calm your gag reflex down is to breathe what? through your nose. No, I'm, I know you're really tempted to make a joke. But I'm dead serious. Like, no, did you? No, did you? So what? Yeah, listen, do you know how many people I've coached through throwing oh. up? And I'm like, what? Like, what? What? <laughs> no, stop it. Stop it. <laughs> what can I say? I'm a healer. I'm a healer. Okay. What, what if I said me too? Of course you are. Of course you are. Sneaky. <laughs> I'm a healer. What if I said She's like a healing. No. She's like a healing. Stop it. Gag reflex. <laughs> You know, if you're around family or whatever and they're ill and they're sick or whatever. <laughs> no, stop uh, this. Big at you like in the chats, man. You know she did that after us. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 
makes sense. I'm talking sense right now. You guys are so dirty. It's Ramadan. Can you please <laughs> take one? Oh, man. I'm this innocently is, speaking, and you oh, guys are dirtifying the words. What? But try it, bro. If you, if you get sick, no, I'm alright. I'm alright. Thank you, no, I'm alright. Thank you, no, I'm alright. Thank you. No, right, thank you. Listen, I'm okay. I swear no, you're right. I swear you to God, right? you will thank me. You will thank me. Are you me. all right? No, 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 don't, no, 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 <laughs> lava, lava, lava. Okay, but yeah, so mouth breathing and nose breathing has a very big of, a, impact on mm -hmm. your brain mm -hmm. and how, you know, just the way your body operates, it just sends a mad signal to your brain, like, like you're in danger, puts you in fight or flight mode. So guys, breathe through your nose and out through your mouth. In through your nose, out through your mouth, primarily. I'm moving mad. Yes, you are. You little masticator. Halfway, not conscious, but I was still seeing it. So it was like the early stages of me kind of being familiar with the fact that there are things out there that aren't easy to explain. But because I wasn't a Bible reader, I didn't really engage with that at all. I actually hated the idea of religion because I hated going to church. I was, uh, my mum was raised Catholic. Um, mm. She's not a Catholic anymore, but we went to a Catholic church in North London. I think it's called the Church of England. And I absolutely... <laughs> I think... <laughs> but excuse me? He went to a Catholic church called the what? Hmm. I, I do what, believe what made a... I missed that. I do believe you've made a mistake, old boy. I'll hmm. play it for you again. Listen. Hmm. Uh, my mum was raised Catholic. Um, she's not a Catholic anymore, but we went to a Catholic church in North London. I think it's called the Church of England. Hmm. Anyone spot the fuck up? Just, right, yeah. That isn't a Catholic church, is it? That's <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Is he confused or is he lying? <laughs> I don't know because he crawled under the bed into the covers. Ah, uh, oh, leave him alone, man. He knows what he meant. He ain't gonna let me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, he knows what you meant, man. It was a mistake. You get me? If Bane ever bumps into him in public, he's gonna be like, "Listen, mate, I need you to explain what the hell were you yeah. talking about." Mad. Dark pale. <laughs> oh yeah, that was it. That was it. Dark pale. Wow, man got a catalogue of his fuck ups now. Dark pale, you mm say? -hmm. Just writing notes. Man, dark pale, pulled up the bed into the covers. Big Evans is where's the fuck up? What do you mean? Man said he went to. Man said he went to a. Uh, a, um, a Catholic church called the Church of England. Mm -hmm. uh, Craig Evans asked him, where's the fuck up? Mm. Mm -hmm. The Church of England is a Protestant Protestant sect, therefore would not be a Catholic, the name of a mm -hmm. Catholic. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Don't make no sense. Mm -hmm. I don't know why, what, he's, what he means by that. And I absolutely hated it. Absolutely hated it. Um... I didn't get a feeling that I was learning anything. I didn't get a feeling that there was any sort of love. It, to be honest with you, I just, I was bored. I was really, really bored. And I dreaded going there every single Sunday. The best time of my life was the hour when I left. <laughs> so that automatically pushed me away. But one thing I find very interesting is a lot of people that go down the new age route came from Catholicism. There's not that many that come from atheism or strict atheism. A lot of these guys used to be Catholics or Mormons who started to realize there were things wrong with their, with their sect and they look for something and they tend to look for the thing that's the most opposite to what they were raised in. And the New Age movement is absolutely perfect for them in a, in a sort of way because it's, it just accepts everybody and it puts power into your hands to say you are the God, it's your energy, you can manifest whatever you like, <sighs> similar to Scientology. All of these sort of New mm -hmm. Age sects have very similar ideas they're all very separate, but they all lead in the same I'll direction, really which is bro. you are God. Nice and that, but I don't even trust you the girl that you got on the screen. You know, it's her channel, and I don't trust her. 
teaching the after, touching the after that. Mm. I just her. She looks a bit. George. Just, yeah, I feel can manifest. You need to raise us to the fifth dimension so we can break out of this consciousness and join what we used to call, interestingly enough, Christ consciousness. And that was the field we needed to get to for perfection, where we then become creator gods and we're happy and we can create our own environment. And Is he that's about the, the kind of direction the region movement was going in. And you could do that. So is that again? Is he talking about the oil secretion from your pineal gland? Hmm? Oil? Christos. Hmm? He said, okay, never mind. It's all so right. Christ consciousness. Okay, all right. I'm just going mad. It's okay. What, Let's just press what, you, what you think the oil is called Christos? Uh, yeah. I heard that from this dude called Santos Bonacci. Yeah, I know Santos. Mm. Yeah, Christ consciousness. It's just new age shit, man. Right. Not to say that there isn't a reality to it or whatever, but I didn't know that the, that this oil was supposed to be called that or whatever. Yeah. that by connecting to your higher self or as we used to call it the divine feminine um which is another very interesting thing because when you look at how they are changing the world around at the moment where they're trying to make women men and men women uh one agenda they're attacking is the masculine male it's quite obvious to anybody who looks at what's going on on tv to, to see that they're attacking masculinity they see it as like they say toxic masculinity they don't like it and they raise the idea of women becoming men in that aspect. And it's just another attack on God's order. It's just about removing the ideology of what a man was meant to be, what a man, woman was meant to be, and the unit they become when they come together. And it's an attack on that. So all of these practices, as you come out of it and you see the truth, you see the reasons why certain belief systems are in place and how it's leading you away from God. And all of it is designed to lead you as far away from the Lord as humanly possible and put all of the power into your hands. And that is the direction I took as my next phase. So it was, yeah, it was pretty intense. So the next kind of part kind of then led into all the astral projection. Um, and then I flew out to Ireland and had quite an experience out there as well. Um, so yeah, it was pretty intense. That was in and around sort of 12, 13 years old. Wow. I think it's interesting how the devil tries to play from this playbook of I'm going to meet a need that you have, a longing, an emptiness, and it starts off looking good, but little did you know how demonic it is. So tell mm. us, Isha, how it went from there at 13. What happened next? Yeah, so um, I went from where I was at that point, and I was like, yep, I'm just fully atheist. Um, the dreams were still quite bad. Um and then as I kind of grew, um, what really triggered it? So this was probably near... What's going on, Sneeze? I'm so sorry. I'm going on mute. <laughs> no, but what's going on? Is it what you was asked? Sneeze. Yo, Sneeze. It's being silly, man. I'm not. It's my cat. <laughs> your cat. Your cat's making you laugh. Yeah, he's under the bed. He's just like bear, just going mental. <laughs> Bonnie kicking everything. Oh man, how can you have a cat in your room, man? Like, Nearer to about. I would say 16 years old is probably when it started. Pain <laughs> just make her feel shit. <laughs> Telling you, man, they sat around with me, man. Uh, <laughs> <it's> mean. <laughs> Yeah, it's it, isn't it? 
Yeah. I've got a very twisted sense of humor, sorry. Oh, man. It's like, it's got a cat in your room and that. What the fuck are you doing, bro? No one stays outside, man. Yeah. You're not allowed in the bedroom, man. Move, man. Oh, yeah. He's outside. Move, man. Fuck out of it. Fuck out of it, man. Especially as your cat goes outside and that sneaks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. None of that. Like rat particles and that in your in your in your bedroom. None of that. Oh. Yeah. None of that. You know I mean? And you wonder you wonder why you get sleep paralysis. <laughs> Look what the cat dragged it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cat in the yard. There's a cat in the yard, man. Horny pussy. Nothing. <laughs> Playing with the pussy a bit on there, giggling away and that. The pussy under the bed, <laughs> under the covers, under the bed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, mad. <laughs> yeah, see, why did you leave, though? Oh, that's a pussy I move, man. Whatever, man. It's late night, it's late night, it's late night, it's late night. Sneets, return, man. And um, a family member introduced me to a YouTube channel called Spirit Science. Mm -hmm. And Oh, I oh, know this channel. Mm -hmm. You know Spirit Science, isn't it? Mm -hmm. You do, right? The little... Yeah, yeah, the thing. I remember watching a video, I think it was called The Video of Creation. And all it is, it's an alternative explanation of what happened from creation all the way through to where we are now and what we need to do to get back to where we were before now at the time obviously i wasn't a bible reader i didn't know any of the stories of the bible now i kind of look back um i'm still getting to grips with the bible i'm reading it um that's one of the things i've really made a covenant with god recently to say i am going to get better with reading my bible because if you don't know the bible you don't know god so I'm making more of an effort to go through it. But I knew elements of the Bible from certain sections already. And I knew a lot of the story. So I could draw parallels to what I was doing before and what I believed in and what the New Age movement was trying to lead me towards. So like we all know, right, the devil, he doesn't really create anything. He uses us. We're the ones that create things, but he uses us to create his world and his vision, right? Now... If he's not creative, what is he going to do? He's going to counterfeit. So mm -hmm. the whole spirit science video, it mirrors almost perfectly with Genesis. So mm -hmm. it talks about how at the beginning we were amazing beings. We had this, like, um, what's the word for it? It's memory, which was like, like a movie. You could remember everything from your first day up until that point, like a, like a movie, 4K, like brilliant memory, amazing vision. You can see everything and anything. All your senses are heightened. And that's basically a description of the spirit world and how we are when we go to heaven, which ironically is what was like what it was like in the Garden of Eden before they fell. So it's again mirroring what happened in the Garden of Eden. And then it describes a time where people fell and there was a great fall. They call it the great fall. They don't explain why it happened. They just say that we fell and we lost our memory. We lost a lot of our strength. Our lives became shorter and we fell down in consciousness. That's what they say it is. And then they say um, we have, a, I think it was about 24,000 years to go back to Christ consciousness. And if we don't achieve it, then we will never go back. So that whole ideology was you have to meditate. You have to raise your vibration, your energy, like people like to say. And you need to raise that to a level where as if everybody gets to that level, the energy fields around the world will be strengthened and you could raise the world into the next dimension, which is going to be a much better dimension. Everyone's going to be happier. It's all love, all singing, all dancing. And the people that were doing this work were mostly called either like star seeds or uh, indigo children. And I remember asking someone what the difference was. And one woman told me indigo children were born in 1987 and before, I believe. And star seeds were after that. So they consider me like an indigo child. Um, and for anyone who's wondering what this vibe is with Chris Brown when he's talking about indigo, especially he made an album, I believe, called Indigo. 
now you can see why. And that's why it's got all this sort of mystic pagan imagery on the video. And anyone that's been on his most recent tour would have seen very strange imagery, including like look devilish looking cherubim in the background, like massive statues. When you know these things, you start to draw the lines and you see, okay, they're, they're telling pag pagan stories essentially, but they're hiding it and wrapping it around things like entertainment and artistry and spirituality is like basically the, the buzzword for it, right? So they're just hiding it in plain sight. So I was learning all of this knowledge and I was like, oh my days, this is the truth. This, this is it. This is what I can do because people always want to get their hands on something that is tangible. They don't want to have faith. People want to have control. But mm. what that is, is pride. People right. want to have that pride to say, I, me, I did this. I did that. My works did this. And that's ultimately what led people to fall in the first place. They believed, oh, well, I need to have all that knowledge. Why is God holding out on me? That's the lie that Satan told Eve in the Garden of Eden. And it's the same lie that he's telling us now. You guys have got this. You guys can do this yourself. You need to raise your consciousness level. You've got to work hard on that. And together we're going to come up to the fifth, fifth dimension and live amazing, beautiful lives. Um, and a lot of people that believe that will then wake up in hell. And they're not going to be happy that they were deceived so easily. Um, and I went all the way down that rabbit hole. Um, and it all leads in one direction. Once you go down that way, it leads down to the alien deceptions. And I found my way to things like the Pleiadians. Um, so there's a whole belief system of aliens in space. You'll probably see it from ancient astronaut theory and stuff like that. It's always on History Channel and Sky, um, interestingly enough. And they'll talk about things like this, like the ancient civilizations. And they'll always attribute it to aliens. But never do they consider the fact that these aliens could actually just be demonic spirits from another realm. Uh, they always have to say it's, it's aliens, when in reality it's just demons and fallen angels. They're essentially the same thing. It's just Hollywood has trained people to see aliens as one thing and demons and God as another. So we need to bring those things together because they're very much the same. Now, I used to watch videos of people channeling alien entities, um, I, I think they used to call it the Council of Light. And the belief system around that is there's an alien galactic federation that it wants to help mankind. And we're trapped in this prison and we can't get out of it. So they're basically trying to help us spiritually. They're going to send people down to help us. And they're going to raise the consciousness level so that we can break out of this um, 3D prison and come into the fourth dimension and the fifth dimension and then join our space brothers and sisters in a better life where we can travel around the solar system. That is kind of where that belief system goes. They also have things like the Archons they believe in, uh, the Anunnaki, which is also on the History Channel on the ancient alien theories. They believe the Archons and the Anunnaki were the ones that actually created mankind. And they have the drawings of these beings, very, very tall with like, almost like pelican heads. And they're, they're actually drawn on the side of Egyptian uh, temples and pyramids. And they believe them to be the Anunnaki. <laughs> who were the ones that came from space and they fought a, a galactic war. They took over Earth and they enslaved all of mankind to do all of their work. And we're still on the roll now. And it's this whole reptilian theory that we're controlled by this reptilian race, um, which is also very interesting when you look at some of the testimonies I've seen on some channels and they describe some of the demons they see in hell as having scaly skin and eyes like reptiles. So if that's not another indication that you're being deceived, and that mm. what you're seeing are actually demonic entities masquerading as aliens or something else, the parallels become very, very obvious. And it was quite fortunate for me because I've always had the mentality that, okay, look, I'm quite strong in my belief. However, I will always entertain the idea that I could be wrong because I always want to ensure that I'm on the right path, no matter what it is. I don't want to be fooled or misled, even though for a very long time I was, because I generally believed this is it, this is the truth. I hate religion. I thought that Christianity was something that was made to control people and lead them away from raising their consciousness levels. So that was my belief system at the time. And then I went to the next step where I was, I was starting to actually practice astral projection. Um, this was in and around 20, 20, I'll say 2014, roughly. I started practicing it because I couldn't do it on will. Um, and I wanted to be able to just lie down, meditate, bang. I'm out and I can fly around and have fun. So I started practicing the techniques. I watched a lot of videos on it. Um, 
I started practicing quite a lot. Now, nine times out of 10, when I tried to do it, especially at night, I would just fall asleep. But then my spirit would separate by itself because I had it from birth. I was always open to the spirit world. So there'll be times where I'll, I'll try it and I'll go through the phases. There are like certain things that normally you'd feel before you know your spirits exited your body. Uh, one of them is you start seeing like flashing lights. Then everything starts to shake. It's like you're in an earthquake. And then out of nowhere, everything goes still. And then you would float out of your body. And that's the last phase before you come out and then you can travel. Um, so I used to practice that all the time. And I used to have, I would say unofficial spirit guides because I used to have these dreams where I was being shown things. Um, I had one where I was being shown how to mask my energy. So this, I remember being chased. It looked like I was in the middle of Italy or something along those sort of lines, like Venice. And I was running through the streets and there was a crowd chasing me. And this being was kind of talking to me. I couldn't see it, but I could hear it. And it was saying, do this. And then they they won't be able to find you. So I would like concentrate in a certain type of way. Then all of a sudden, th these people were looking around like, where did, where did he go? And they can't find me anywhere. And I knew, and there was another child there as well. He looked maybe 15. He was also being trained by these entities. I knew that he was a real person from somewhere, but he was going through training the same way I was. And... That was just one example of all the things they were trying to show me. There was another dream that I had where I was trying to project and they were showing me the constellations in the sky because these things are very important to them. They base a lot of their ideology off what the stars are doing. So they, I remember I was flying through space. Now, I believe this potentially to be either in the second heaven or leading towards the second heaven. And I was flying through space and I was seeing planets just flying by. Like I was going at a ridiculous speed, and then I, I don't stopped know where you at was, one bro. planet. There ain't no fucking sense. Mm. Oh, where the fuck you was? Mm. Yeah, it's a it's a deep story. It's all right. I'm I'm gonna pause it and leave leave it and return to it. Mm. Since since I'm getting we talked by it. entities. Yeah, mm. it's very interesting. We'll bring we'll come mm -hmm. back to it, and um, you know. Big ups to all of you lot, man. I know Sneaks is pissed off your vibe, but don't worry about it, man. She's just like that. You get me? Let her sleep. What? what? Let her sleep in bed with her, with her cat. Snuggle. <laughs> <laughs> Snuggle oh. puss. Yeah. Your little road cat all up in your bed and that. Snuggle puss. Pigeon foot, mm -hmm. pigeon toe, and nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Big up you lot in the chats, man. Big up everyone that's hit the like yeah. button. Today. Big up. And uh, make sure you, you, you join me back tomorrow. I'll try to go live early tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow. Get me. Um, yeah, so lock in, man. Keep it real. Keep it true. You done, though. Hit the like button on your way out. PayPal, all that good stuff. Bane, enjoy your evening. Bless that man. You too, brother. Take care. <laughs> Blessings, man. Easy, kid. Peace. Big up all of you lot in the chat, man. Tomorrow. Yeah, man. Big up. Done, no, man.